Hey guys, <laughs> I don't know who's going to join me today, but I want to thank you for hitting that upload button. I'm just going to make a quick post on Instagram that we're live and uh, let's do this. Okay, never mind. I don't have time for it. <laughs> All right. Actually, I woke up. Believe it or not. Good for me is there's actually watch content to talk about, guys. Uh, that's right. Hodinky overnight. <laughs> Hodinky monochrome. There's a whole bunch of releases. So I'm not going to be without content. Shout out to America on his uh, pickup yesterday. A beautiful platinum day date. Freaking minted. It's over. I mean, with the watch like that, it's pretty much pretty much over. Why would you want to buy anything else? Hey, we got Casey Jones Brooklyn, dude. Two dollars. First super chat for the stream. Number one thousand. Ah, That's cool. Thank you, dude. Hey, check out this IWC. This was just released. Uh yeah, look, it's it's almost perfect. I freaking hate IWC for doing this because if this wasn't some bullshit blackjack black aces version, I would might even consider like selling mine and upgrading to this one. Full loom dial. I mean, what a stunner. Stunner, guys. Uh Casey Jones, dude, get some sleep. What time is it over there? It's it's 12 o'clock actually, Hawaii. 12 o'clock shout out to my hawaii audience i'm gonna try not to scream at the top of my lungs because people over here are still sleeping the roommate is still sleeping everyone is still still uh, just waking up ivor ivor dude where are you from there's some uh like really mysterious people in the chat always ivor is like one of those mysteries uh aw good morning good morning everybody the the Watch Apprentice, congratulations on the 1,000th stream. I know. We did it, guys. We did it. We got to 1,000. Um, yeah, it's, it's been a crazy long time. Uh, how many uh, uh, podcasts did Joe Rogan do? Like 1,300, 1,500 or something like that? It's a pretty good number, and we're, we're catching up. Not on the same in quality, but... Still, catching up. Cheeky Winders, great achievement, Tim. You should be very proud of yourself. Here's to the next 1,000. I hope to, in the next 1,000, I hope to develop this into a lot more of a professional production and be able to start like really bringing in some heavy hitters in the next year. Uh, so I really, I really want to thank everyone who's joined me on this while journey and by the way if somebody wants to join uh th today is going to be a bit of a, a viewer appreciation day so if you want to join me on the stream the link is in the chat let's uh let's do this let me just open up youtube because i just realized i don't have youtube running in the background see so, yeah. Okay. yeah perfect now we got everything hey shout out to uh, ink Wait, what is this? Angler's Edge. Wow, 23 months. Angler's Edge. Thank you. Is it, Who is this? Interesting. Angler's Edge. Dude, thank you so much for supporting my channel for 23 months as a member. Mal, look at this. This is actually happening. We're going to do it. We're going to do it. I've got, uh, I've got some motor picks to look through. I've got some watches to check out. Uh, let's uh, let's talk some watches. H upvote, guys. Let's get Timmy to a one to one viewers upvote ratio. That's never happening, but uh, that would be it. Would be cool. Jonathan Pitcher, dude, thank you so much, man. I'm very impressed, Tim. Killing it. Be proud. Thank you. Yeah, I need to turn this into a, into a podcast. Uh, we're gonna do it together. We built this. We built this this far. We're going to keep doing this. Uh, Dingo Dave, Timmy, it's 5 a.m. I know, it's freaking 5 a.m. I, I woke up. Uh, the roommate's still sleeping. I took a shower. 
I, I uh, poured myself a glass of, of Diet Pepsi. Or Diet Coke, actually. It's Diet Coke. Uh, this is instead of my coffee. Ah, very refreshing. Tim Jacks, member for eight months. Congratulations on the milestone. Thank you. And JC, holy moly, $3,000 super chat. Holy fuck. JC, actually, guys, I'm live streaming from a JC studio. JC, you were here since the beginning. You introduced small G to the channel. Like, I can't believe it, man. It's been such a long journey. Not a lot of people, believe it or not, stayed around from those days. It's, uh, it's a wild ride. I <laughs> uh, love you guys. It's unbelievable. No, dude, I, I really appreciate it. I don't know how much this is, but it's it really it really helps uh, because I wanna I wanna build it into something professional. So now we we achieved I think like peak amateur level. Like I feel comfortable now. It's such a I'm at such a I'm at such a good place right now uh, to be able to run the show. Now we just have to step up and level up the quality. Pacific Turtle. Oh wait, 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 J uh, Jonathan Pitcher. 14 months. Uh, killing it. Thank you. And Dingo Dave, $3. Look at all those hearts. Oh, thank you, Dingo. I appreciate it. Man, guys, it's good times. It's good times to be uh, on YouTube. Uh, sweet JoJo. Congratulations, Timmy. Huge effort, mate. Thank you. Wouldn't be possible without all of you guys helping me out, either joining me in the chat, joining me on the streams. Uh, sending me uh, emails or, you know, buying my <laughs> silly, silly uh, merch stuff uh, on my channel. By the way, <laughs> okay, so in order to uh, avoid any, uh, any possible uh, legal situation, I've actually, I went, I went back and I've redone the mug, okay? I redone the mug. Uh, now it has a <laughs> the fuck shut up me. Uh, okay, so there we go. I want to avoid all the legal trouble. And uh, by the way, if you guys want to get yourself uh, a mug to commemorate the show, this was a uh, th this this mug actually was done by a viewer of mine who went through every single episode. Well, not every single, uh, every twenty fifth episode. And included a picture of me, how I changed over the course of uh, these 1,000 episodes. So if you guys want to check it out, check it out. I'm gonna drop the link to uh, to these <laughs> to the merch. It's silly, silly stuff. So if you if you guys want to see it, it's here. And uh, we're gonna we're gonna move on and talk about some of these amazing watches. This IWC. And uh, we got Burt Dundee. Hey, oh, oh, by the way, by the way, Mall Thread, member for 19 months. Uh, congrats, Tim. 1,000 episodes. That's been keeping watch enthusiasts away from Netflix every day. <laughs> well, there's nothing There's nothing there on Netflix, to be honest. It's just, what, what is there to watch? Everything has gotten so... It's the, the, it's, the entertainment is not the same. The movies... It's changed and YouTube, it's kind of it's kind of cool. I like I like this medium. I haven't watched anything, right? Like it's it has affected me. <laughs> uh Asia, we need a commemorative with that one thousand stream mug. Oh yeah, so yeah, that's that would be it. Right. So we got we got there's two actually. Um uh, there's two of the limited edition white ceramic mugs. So these are uh, commemorative 1000 these are limited to only 23 pieces so if you guys want to get this one that's only there's only two left so probably sh probably should have dropped the link to to this one uh, immediately but yeah there's two left of the commemorative um then this one 1000th episode this is going to be uh, available for the next seven six days i guess seven days um this was gonna be very li limited there's only two there's two colors so it's like 
strong green and a lime green. And I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna keep this one. I'm gonna make seven of these. That's a pretty funny one. <laughs> Holy shoot. Damn. I don't I don't know if I can even disclose it, but fucking unbelievable. Maldives. Maldives, by the way. Uh okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna text him later about this, but it's really important. Man, what a guy. Maldives, thank you so much for for all of your support. <laughs> Absolutely incredible. He just sent me uh, uh like a big big PayPal uh, for support the channel. Dude. Really appreciate it, man. A thousand episodes, a thousand episodes. Now it's gonna be it's gonna be important to increase increase the quality of the show going forward. I'm gonna work my ass off to do that for you guys. Kari, to your super chat, Tim. I love you. Don't never quit making live streams. No, that's it. I found I found what I like to do, and you know what they say. When you're doing something that you like, it doesn't even feel like work. I guess that's why the roommate really beats the hell out of me every single day. Because she thinks I'm not working <laughs> too hard. It's like I'm not doing anything. I'm just uh, sitting at the computer having fun with you guys. She has a, She's stuck with a real job. <laughs> uh. Uh, Casey Jones, I totally missed the Tim Wright pink hair era pretty much. Work through that entire phase. Yeah, it was so quick. The The pink hair lasted only about like one week. You can even see it here. There's only one. There's only one shot with me with the pink hair. Then boom, back to <laughs> back to blonde. Uh, James Hess. Okay, Tim, I'll get one. But you send it to Germany. Uh, it's automatically sent. Uh, so if you get it. It will be deliver. It will be delivered where it has to be delivered, but you have to be quick. I think. Hold on. Uh, there was only just only two left of this one, so okay, still two left. All right. So if you actually want to get it, if you want to get this one, this one's gonna be. A, they're a little bit more expensive. They're just showing me how much. <laughs> it just shows me eight bucks. How much it cost me to order one, like a sample? So I can order these as samples at a cheaper, at a discounted rate. Uh, Casey Jones, Brooklyn, two dollars super chat. Thank you so much, Tim Wright. Equals hardest working man in the industry. I'm trying. I'm trying. It, I know it doesn't seem like work, but and I don't want it to be work. This is the, this is the only thing I'm really scared of. Oh, hey, Marcella, Marcella. Hey. I just came to say hello because anyway, I'm going to, I, the restaurant is open. Soon mommy going to yeah. scream on me. <laughs> yeah. Oh, hey, if you, if you can, if you want to just leave your camera over there in the corner, just uh, if you can't talk, but if you want to be able to chime in, feel free to <laughs> do so, man. By the way, Marcelo, mm. uh, I'm going to send you a numbered mug. Wait, when is your birthday? Like on what date? Uh, September 30. Oh, it's September thirtieth. Okay, now there's no number thirty mug, so maybe <laughs> maybe I'll send you. I don't know. I'll find I'll find the number uh, that that you that you that would be good for you. Anyways, we'll talk okay. about it later. <laughs> no problem. Thank Can you, we believe it? We're at a, I'm at a thousand episodes, Marcelo. Um, what a journey! Wow, this is the this is a hell of a journey. One thousand streams. Wow. Yeah. Do you remember which stream you joined on? Uh, on, uh, yeah, I actually kind of. It was 100 and something, 150 something, something. Oh, like 150. That. Yeah. yeah. It wasn't that long. It was 140 pretty. 140 something, 150. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, by the way, so what's going on right now? So, you're just going to start, you got clients at the restaurant, you're going to have. Uh, you're gonna have some people. Um, to, today actually is Tuesday, so today is not uh, uh, so so busy. So far, I got only one one reservation that actually going to come late. The table going to come around ten o'clock. Um, yeah. I uh, so uh, I was my wife was driving me crazy trying to make some shorts videos for whiskey. 
oh, and how it shot. Oh, yeah. So, uh, so I was working. I was working on this. And, oh uh, no! Way. I, I, you You're know what? I just short. going to show you. I just yeah. going to show you uh, some of the of the whiskey. This is now. the new so, stuff. So, you oh no! So, the, so, so look, wow. I, I'm going to start with the. Let's start with the shelf up. So um, that's the good stuff. We have the, the everything is expensive here. You have the blue. You have the Lagavulin 16. Holy uh, shit! Kalila 12. Kalila 15. Uh, Kalila mm. 18. Actually, the 15 is more expensive than the 18. It also seems. Uh, uh, this is limited edition, and the alcohol level is uh, 59.1. The the normal wow. Kalila, the 12, the 18, and the 25. I is, never, uh, I've never heard of this uh, whiskey, by the way, Kalila. But yeah, the, uh, yeah they, they are actually very nice. They are very, uh, very close to Lagavulin. Uh, mm -hmm. They used to be very famous like uh, appearing. Yeah, they, they used to be very famous appearing in uh, in blends. Uh, like Johnny Walker blends also and 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 so on. Um, uh, the prices actually goes. Uh, this is actually not expensive. The twelve is like fifty bucks. Oh, this okay. one is two hundred and fifty. Oh, wow. This is two hundred and this is five hundred. It's not cheap. The, the not twenty-five cheap, is, is five hundred. Now uh, the, the uh, Macallan eighteen sherry cask. Yeah. This is uh, uh, in Japan. Uh, um, we call this seven hundred actually. They like uh, seven hundred dollars. Uh, about six hundred. Uh, about six hundred bucks. Yeah. I want to have a shelf like this behind me. Uh, yeah, ev this eventually. Is, this is Macallan Twelve Sherry Cask, uh, and also became quite expensive for me. It's about a uh, hundred bucks. Yeah. Wow. Because uh, this is uh, Macallan has went up in price. Yeah. Uh, th this is Thousand. a special. Uh, a talisker this is also a from two, uh, from uh, 2009 to 2019 10 years also but is a special wow. uh, a special uh, cask and uh, i think is a, a cask a wood there's something uh, uh, amoroso cask yeah. a wood i i think it's more like a kind of a wine cask and mm -hmm. and the, the smoky everything is beautiful yeah, yeah it costs the talisker double. is freaking yeah, amazing it costs double. smoky whiskey. It costs double. Of, of the normal Taliska, it's like 150 bucks. Uh, okay. the Taliska is uh, 60 bucks now. Uh, yes. I like how Taliska they don't add color, so it, it's a yeah, really they don't. light it's whiskey. Natural. Yeah, it's um, uh, La Floyd. La Floyd. La Floyd 10, uh, yeah, La Floyd 10 is, is shit. I mean, the, the smoke is fake, the color yeah. is fake, uh, everything is fake. <laughs> but it's a single mold. Um, then you have this ones, and this one is the Israeli uh, Israeli whiskey. It's, oh, here we go. Uh, yeah, they they starting they opened the distillery about ten years ago. It mm -hmm. still doesn't have an age me uh, age uh, statement, so we assume that it's over three years. Yeah. But uh, this one here, he actually won uh, uh, as the best uh, as the best uh, single mold of uh, 2023. Ah. That's pretty listen. <laughs> okay. It's okay. One. So they were they also did the this one. This is a red wine neck. Uh, I tasted it's okay. I mean, but uh, anyway, they are actually quite pricey, like 80 bucks for no statement whiskey. So yeah. It's expensive. <laughs> okay. this is, it's expensive. They, this is the uh this is cheap stuff. Bowmore. Yeah, never Bowmore, heard of it. And and uh, twelve years, they are cheap. It's like forty bucks or something. And th this is also like forty bucks. Then oh, this next you shelf, have, this is good, then you really have good this stuff one. as well. The, the, this is ten. This is actually excellent. It almost uh, remind me Albeck. This I don't like. Um, this uh, Royal, uh, Royal Salute. Salute. Yeah, Royal Salute is the good stuff. No, for me it's shit. It's expensive. Really? Anyway. Like... Yeah, it's like it's like two hundred and fifty bucks. But I I didn't like it at all. I just bought both what? of them, yeah. For whatever tourists like, uh, like to drink it, uh, fuck them. Let let them drink. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't like that. Uh, th then we have here the the brandies, and, yeah, uh, Remy know, like Martin, the cognac, and, and the brandies. Yeah. But let's go now down here. So this is what the is uh, Japan, uh, Japanese uh, uh, chita. Uh, mommy, how you call this chita? Chita, chita. This cheetah. one. 
But it does look like that's the, it looks that like that's what it says, Marcel, on the label. Yeah, of chita, the right? It's not in Japan. Yeah. It's, not, it's not written in Japanese. It's written in English, actually. Yeah, chita. so on the so left this side, is, yeah. this it's on the right side mold. that it's in Japanese. Yeah, it's a single mold. No, no way statement uh, age because it's, uh -huh. it's kind of also cheap. New. It's like fifty. It's fifty bucks. This one's uh, uh, the uh, uh, no. There's no bad ki Japanese whiskey. They're they're all so well done. Yeah. The, this one is the Nika. The, this Nika is excellent. Nika. This is uh, the, also no no age statement because they are cheap. Again, about uh, fifty bucks. The this fresh. also a uh, Nika. Now this is the expensive stuff. Oh, this the is the Yamazaki. Ooh. This is one is the Yamazaki twelve. That's the stuff that that uh, Cars and Chrono yeah. drinks. Oh this no no, Yamazaki... he drinks the Yamazaki eighteen. Sorry. Yeah, but wait, this Yamazaki yeah. twelve cost uh, seven hundred bucks. Oh shit! Never mind. Yeah, and mind. Uh, and this Yamazaki oh, eighteen. Oh, there's the Yamazaki eighteen. Yeah, I I didn't open. I'm not going to taste it. Mm -hmm. uh, th this bottle cost me uh, almost two grand. Oh yeah, this is almost That's like two thousand dollars. It's one you of the You could have bought a shitter for that for that price. <laughs> I spent so much money on it. This is actually expensive as hell. It's my, the most expensive whiskey that I have. And, yeah, and I actually, I want to try that. I want to try the Yamazaki eighteen. How much is the glass? Yeah, when you come though? here, sure. Hey, look at this. We got George joining us. George. Jimmy, what hey, George. You, Jimmy, Jimmy, what have you done, mate? Good morning. I have done. What have you done? What have you done? One thousand. That's amazing, bro. You it's should be amazing. very proud. On behalf of all the community, I think they would agree with me. You are the glue. You go through so much shit. Haters hate you. Other channels dog you down, but you are still here, man. We love you. Keep it up. You are a flipping legend. Well done. <laughs> so proud of you, bro. Tonight. You need to have a great night when you come off this stream, whatever time. Mm. You are a legend. 1,000, bro. 1,000. 1,000 is amazing. Salute, Learning. mate. Salute. You learn so much. And, and, but there's still so much to learn about watches, right? It, it almost feels like we're, we're here. We're at 1,000, but it's just the beginning, too. Uh, Bravo, mate. Bravo. Uh, okay. Uh, perfect. Like, this is better. So what, so so what, what time is it over there in, uh, in uh, UK? I'm actually still stuck on an island, to be honest, and I'm leaving oh. tomorrow. It's uh, coming up to, I think, uh, it's 12.30 nearly in the afternoon. Oh, 12.30. That's a good time. Hey, uh, Marcel, by the way, George, uh, Marcel is showing us his whiskey collection. He has built up this massive uh, bar. Yeah, that's amazing, uh, Marcel. You know, You've added like 12 bo new bottles or something. Oh yeah. Yeah, I have I have now a uh, sixty bottles. By the way, what is it's this? actually funny. Uh, this Glenn. is the uh, Glan uh, something. Of, uh, Alachi. I cannot pronounce. Uh, Gra Glan Moji. Glan, Glan Lachi. Glan Lachi. And now, what is funny is the fifteen and the ten. They are actually uh, same price because the, the fifteen usually hmm. is always more expensive than the ten. But this ten one is a special. Uh, uh, I cannot focus here so much. This is a special ledger. Uh, uh, oh, yeah, for Japan. especially bottled from Japan. For, yeah, for Japan. And this oh, is actually a, 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 a kind of a wine cask. Amazing. Uh -huh. Very, very special uh, one. This one is 100% uh, sherry cask. Have you already tried amazing. every single one, Marcella? I, I, besides the Yamazakis, yeah. I try everything. The Amazakis is just too expensive for me to try. George, you see, this uh, is this was just Marcelo's excuse yeah. to try all the whiskeys. Like, hey, mommy, yeah, let's fill the bar. I'm, yeah, I'm, yeah, look, look, listen, I'm, I'm uh, actually feeling is, quite drunk looking at these, Marcelo. Yeah, this, this, is this, crazy. Is, this is this is 120 bucks. This is only 50 bucks. The the Albec 10 is cheap. This one is uh, 120 bucks. 120 bucks. This one is 300 bucks. The this oh. special uh, kill home and uh, uh, that is also very smoky but also sherry cask and this is also aged uh, for ten years. Wow. Uh, this one is uh, oh you no you, you got statement. the full set. Yeah, th this is this is a little bit cheaper. This is about uh, ninety bucks, and mm -hmm. and this is uh, uh, fifty bucks. Uh, this this is uh, nice. uh, smoky almost almost like Albeck. 
uh, this is uh, also have a little bit you see here so it's also mm -hmm. dark is uh, smoky with cherry cask amazing this is actually hey. absolutely amazing this is phenomenal Quick um, shout out to Stephen L. Thank you so much for two pounds. Congratulations on 1,000 episodes. Was it hard? It, it was not hard. easy. That's for sure. It was definitely and, and by the way, not my, easy. And by the way, this is, this is the old Aaron uh, 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 collection here. This is the American uh, cask. Also, no age statement. Uh, 43 alcohol. Uh, beside that one, all Aaron's here. Uh, 46. In, in alcohol, this is the, uh, the and they are all the sherry cars. This is the 10, the 18, the 21, and the 25. Prices, Whoa. 50 bucks, 300 bucks, uh, five, uh, uh, one second. Um, this is 50 bucks, three, uh, actually almost 400, uh, 350 bucks. This is 500, and this is 1,000. So Marcella, how much in value do you think you have now in these, uh whiskeys uh approximately 20 k i would assume uh no so between 10 and 20k um, maybe maybe with the with the with the coins that i have yeah. there also because these things that i didn't show I, I even didn't mention the price this one is uh, is uh, 400 uh yeah. 350 uh, you need okay, to... this is cheap this is 50. this, Marcelo, is, this you, is you need a, to eventually add uh, like king george or is it King Louis the I, 14th? I'm going to. Uh, b uh, by the way, here behind, I, because I didn't have a space. I uh, mean, they're going to flip it. They're going to change it. They're going to put this cassette. So, this cassette is also very nice, but they're going to put it in the back. This one, this is Israeli brandy, and this one costs 600 bucks, actually. It's a lot of alcohol. Yeah, it's good stuff, too. Bucks. It's nice yeah, to and, look and, when you come into your restaurant to see that view. It, yeah. it shows yeah, and, that and you, behind, you got left. I, and, and by the way, I still didn't manage to fix all my bar because it's still uh, so much whiskeys. And, and I still have nice whiskey oh, here in yeah. the back that I didn't even have a space uh, to put them in the front. You don't have like, but, uh, yeah, you need to build up. Let's so, say, uh, you, so can you add another up. layer at the top of the shelf? Uh, here I have uh, Yeah, see, nice that's what you need to do. The, you need to remove that junk. There's going to be a problem. The only, the only thing I can do is yeah. actually um that's why i'm taking you out here in the restaurant yeah. okay so in that's the, cool that you can see, see this, yeah. is, this is the bar and then you yeah. can see the bar from a distance you see and the only thing yeah. i can do is maybe putting here something because here i actually put uh, what used to be there uh, i put mm -hmm. here the 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 hot wine thing so this is the uh, red oh, hot no. wine white hot wine and this is the uh, arak that I did with uh, this drop. This is Arad that I did uh, uh, with uh, some dry fruit. Uh, and and here I did some alcohol uh, also stuff. So this is pear wow. with brandy. This is the uh, muscat grapes also with brandy. Um, I did the, uh, this is figs with brandy. And this people is, buy this uh, stuff? Uh, I don't know. I guess uh, it, it because this is going to take about one year just to 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 be ready because oh, you put okay. actually brandy with uh, sugar and you need to leave it for uh, over a year. Jeez. And then uh, and mind. then probably people going to like it when you serve this a little bit with the uh, soda or something. Um, how you call this? This is. Um, Hey, How just a quick, just Marcella, just really quickly, shout out to mm -hmm. Casey Jones Brooklyn. Thank you so much for two dollars super chat. Tim Wright taught us all not to vouch for scammers. Yeah. Thank you. So, yeah, so you can't plum. vouch for scammers, guys. It's uh, it's enough the is way, enough. The the is, watch watch enthusiasts yes, have been fucked around with for too long. Oh, and you got wine up there. I yeah, see. on the top, this is, of course, this is all empty bottles because you don't put uh, yeah. bottles on display, uh, full bottles. But uh, this is actually uh, some of the wine, the, the rare wine mm -hmm. that uh, I still have some of these bottles. They are I, all I was, expensive bottles. Is this, uh, this, I, is this shelf just hanging from the wall? Yes, it does. Oh. Yeah, you don't want right. to put full bo uh, full bottles there because yeah. the thing can come yeah, down. Yeah. Th th that's why that's why I was thinking about putting some yeah. whiskey here, and then my wife said, "No, no, don't, don't do it." <laughs> it's uh, scary. 
<laughs> yeah, so this is all, all empty. Yeah. You see a little bit the Johnny Walker boxes. And by yeah. the way, this is the box that the Aaron 25 come. It's nice. a ridiculous, uh, beautiful box. Aaron 21 box. On yeah. the top, you see all the Israeli wines. I put all Israeli wines on the top. Uh, Mar Marcelo's this, this uh, shop one, is coming together really nicely. Yeah, that box one represents a wine that is about uh, $2,000 for selling. Mm. This is the most expensive Israeli wine that I have. It's the Katrin. I think I have one bottle only that is reserved for Team Redmitten, by the way. He oh, actually brought already yeah. some. Oh, did, did some he bottle. buy like a, a bottle and he's is like saving it at your place? Yeah, he he, he buying he, he drink with uh, with uh, his uh, his uh, um, uh, partner and or mm. also with me. So yeah, he, he's a very nice guy. So uh, yeah, shout out to we, Tim Remington. He is uh is a very cool vintage vintage collector. He's got incredible yeah. vintage watches. Uh, yeah. He's got yeah. the six two six three, I think. The, he's got the Seamaster. This is there. This is the Alexander wines. This wines is also. Uh, very expensive you know in in the state you can buy these bottles usually yeah. the alexander the great the grand Rhin, i think is maybe uh a three hundred dollars a bottle maybe four hundred or something like that but then it's a very new bottle uh, the bottle that i have is a uh, 2009. hey so, we got air king ben akb happy 1000 episodes timmy 1000 I got my mug. I ordered my mug. My you store. did? Oh. Yeah, yeah. No, not, you one, got not it just the, in time. Yeah, not one of the fancy. Not one of the fancy numbers, but uh, it's all good. I'm, I, thank you for my placement, Timmy. Hey, I'm in a good spot. I'm right between oh, yeah. the one and the zero. I was like, Jesus! I, had a, I ordered. A, I ordered a couple of hours ago. I was so excited. <laughs> Uh, congratulations, mate. Congratulations. Yeah. Sorry to interrupt. And Marcelo, what are you talking about 150 stream? You were on the first stream of the departure of, you know, the, the breakup with me, you ding dong. Remember? Yeah, but what number was that, uh, Tim? It wasn't number one stream in Tim. It was number one stream. Well, t t t Tim was talking. It was number ass, one stream of me going it alone, right? Correct. Correct. By yourself. You're, you're yeah, yeah. It, no, it was brought it's back. Not, no, you're, you're right. But the number of the stream, it was, mm -hmm. I think... A hundred and something stream, I think. No, or, uh, or maybe I was wrong. Marcelo uh, doesn't understand humor, so you guys gotta bear with us. Uh, uh, James, hey, Marcelo. James, can you hear us? Yeah, I can hear you. You're me. Hey, uh, good morning. Well, it's over there. It's probably noon. <laughs> no, no, yeah, it's, it's about noon. Yeah, uh, I'm Marcelo. I just want to say hi, real quick. Hey, I also got these glasses. I brought these uh, whiskey glasses. That actually very nice. <laughs> Yeah, that's the, that's the the glass that I was told to drink uh, whiskeys out of. Actually, Conrad. Yeah, this, this, uh, actually, uh, you have you have several glasses. I'm going to show you. Um, James. Oh, there you go. AKB. Hey, man. Okay. Okay. So I got everyone. To show you everyone's got the glasses. Got their whiskeys. I even like. I've tried so many whiskeys because of okay. uh, doing so, this show. So uh, a lot of Japanese usually drink something called highball. Mm -hmm. Highball is usually a glass like this that you fill up with ice, uh, put a shot of whiskey and soda. Oh, interesting. <laughs> yeah. Like this, a sparkling, whiskey, sparkling but... so what, is, what do you mean by soda? Uh, sparkling water. Okay, sparkling water. Yeah, yeah. So this is, uh, you know, we can laugh, but this is a kind. Usually they do this uh, with the cheap whiskey, but hey. If you want to do with expensive whiskey, I don't say no. I'm just going to charge you. So it's okay. So this is the high board. Uh, uh, Malthred the, uh, says, can you imagine the damage that Oshin would do to Marcelo's stock in the weekend? <laughs> it would be nothing so, left. But by the way, this this is the underwalk. <laughs> so, so, Rene de la Pons, let's watch and discuss empty wine bottles. So, so, so this is this is underwalk. This is the whiskey that you put on the rock. Um, yeah, also a Japanese thing. Now, this what is a Japanese the, thing. Everybody, everybody drinks whiskeys on the rock. No, they, they, yeah, all the time. I getting almost there. I, I got maybe one or two shots on that one. Now I have also this glass. So the thing is, what this glass is also, that? also is designed to, um, uh, usually for sweet, uh, for dessert wines, but, um, very, very, uh, okay for whiskey, for expensive whiskey. So you can serve expensive whiskey in this shot glass 
or in this higher glass. So depends, you know. Hey, so you can, check uh, this out, Marcelo. Look at the, look at look at this AKB. He's got his nice. McAllen twelve. Yeah, this, is, this is the this is a viewer. This is a this true is all, viewer of the show. Is all from the show. All from the show. I didn't even have these. Actually, the box is right here for the glass. <laughs> I, le I, le I learned all this on the show. He's got Glenn Karen glasses <laughs> there. He's got his <laughs> books. He's got the cigars. The oh, hey, the uh, I have the McAllen. I have the McAllen 18 sherry cast. Come on. <laughs> I got two of them. I got, I got two of them actually, Timmy. I got two. That's oh. I, got, I, got, I got a set of the uh, that movie, the first movie. I'm All glad right. the new. I'm, I'm glad the new one is green. Something different, you know. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's collectible. I'm trying to match them with uh, with different, uh, you know, the, yeah. the themes. Cheers, a little Timmy. bit of variety. Cheers, yeah. cheers, AKB yeah, guys. Yeah. If if you have a glass, actually, I ran out of whiskey. I don't think I have anything. Hey, That's anybody? Nice. By the way, anybody treat me on a glass of whiskey? I'm going to drink with him. Oh, yeah, I, I I'll join you, Marcelo. Get get oh, a glass. Okay. I might I might I might during the day. I'm gonna go out and get a, like a bottle of white wine to celebrate. Uh, Tim. I'm we'll waiting to... for somebody to to, to yeah. send super chat. For, hey guys, send to, super chat from to... for for Marcelo's whiskey. I'll drop yeah. my laptop, Timmy. I, I got your wine, mate. I got your wine. No problems. Marcelo, I can't because I'm, I'm I'm in Switzerland and my account's in Germany and it doesn't let me send anything from Switzerland. Uh, only when ah, I'm in don't... Germany. Hey, yeah, don't, don't worry. Don't don't worry. We have fifty five people. One of them can send something. I'll I'll write you a check, man. I'll write you a check. <laughs> hey, shout out to David Lee for five pounds. You have a fine collection of alcohol there, Marcelo. I am in awe. Wow. Well, thank and you, thank you. Um, thank you. Uh, the, the collection is going to expand even more. It depends uh, how much money I'm going to make uh, uh, selling the whiskeys. You know, I actually yeah. have big plans. I want to buy uh, the uh, Macallan 25, the Macallan 30. I don't yeah, I would recommend mention... don't don't spend yeah. too much money on those mega ultra expensive whiskeys, Marcel, because I, I I don't think that many people buy them. It's best yeah, to yeah, focus on 12 and 15. Actually. I, I think you're absolutely right. That's yeah. why I, um, I say, uh, that's why I said the uh, look. I'm very uh, intrigued by uh, Macallan 25. I know it's very expensive, but it's mm. it's kind of you know. Ex how am I going to put it this way? It's expensive. It's just it's nice to have it on expensive. the shelf, but I don't think anybody's yeah. going to be buying it. Yeah. It's, it's good advertisement, but but, uh, but yeah, you know you, you got to uh, take for, it easy. But you know, for example, uh, Macallan 25 is about three grand, I think, today, t uh, given or take. The Yamazaki 20. Too much. Yeah, the, the, Yamazaki, the Yamazaki 25 is, uh, is 20 grand. Oh, no. <laughs> Look, those are just invented prices. They can charge whatever they want. Doesn't mean yeah, people yeah, are going to yeah. buy it so, for 20 grand. So, uh, <laughs> so you know. So, some people actually came to me and said, oh, do you have Yamazaki 25? I told mommy to check. She looked at me and said, are you fucking mentally sick? Yeah, wake up. <laughs> they were just asking to uh, whether it's worth uh, looting your place. Marcel, uh, are you talking dollars or yens? I'm dollars. Sure dollars. No, no, dollars. Dollar. Uh, you, want, you want yen? It's uh, 2.5 million yen. Million. <laughs> 2.5 million. <laughs> Ridiculous. Really? <laughs> hey, safety fast. Thank you so much for five dollars super chat. Good evening, <laughs> Chef Marcelo. Do you ever serve lamb with malt whiskey sauce? In fact, do you include whiskey in any of your cooking? That's a really good question. Oh, actually, there is a very good answer for this, and this has yeah. to do with how much uh, uh, you know. Actually, actually, that was the idea of uh, of a good uh, uh, of a friend of mine. Um, Roommate. Roommate is going to work, by the way, just really quickly. She's. Uh, Have a good oh, shift. Wait, wait, wait. Sure you don't, don't I, I'm going to show you. Uh, good shift. Hey. <laughs> it's going to work. Yeah. Sorry. You know, my wife was driving me crazy now trying to make short movies. Mm. And. Uh, making and shorts. Still... Marcelo is making shorts. <laughs> okay. Yeah, no, for, for the restaurant, it's like just oh, for okay. the shop. Okay, um, what do you want to do? How do you want to cut? 
Okay, show, show me the shot. What do you want to do? What is she okay, doing? Let, okay, okay, okay. Did... First of all, first of all, you have to have a YouTube channel. You have a YouTube channel? No. You, you want to put this? Okay, where you want to put uh -oh. this show? In Sorry. Instagram. Oh, Sorry. yeah, yeah. I'm going to mute Marcel for a second. Jesus. Well, he's fighting yeah. with uh, with his wife. So, yeah, Sorry, AKB. I was going to say, sorry to interrupt Marcelo time, um, but yeah. how much is this? How much for you, a nice bottle of wine, Timmy? Talk to me, mate. How much? A nice bottle of wine? Uh, $22. <laughs> That's the bottle okay. of decoy. It's Give the best. 50. I'll drop you a 50. I'll drop on the laptop, and uh, that's what I'll buy yourself two bottles. Ah, uh, thank you. No, I'm no. going gonna, gonna to pick it up uh, like at noon and yeah, right. uh, open it yeah. for 5 o'clock for for the second half of the of the show it'll pick me up yeah you don't want to get too yeah too much if, you know, early, early <laughs> i don't want to drink right now <clears throat> because i'm going to pass out <laughs> you know in uh, in 12 hours i will run out of steam if i start drinking right yep. now i'll pay pay your tip so save you 30%. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah cut out the middleman forget about the middleman guys I'll come back Tim, I'm out of here. I'm going to go to yeah. the meeting. Enjoy your day, and I'll catch yeah. you later. Well done. Very George, well done. George, feel free yeah. to, to hop on uh, like, you know, during the day. Uh, I, will, I, will. I will, brother. Yeah. Enjoy your day. Very well done. You should be very proud. Bye-bye. Cool. Cheers, cheers. Thank you. Yeah, I'm just letting Marcelo uh, have a little bit of uh, free reign right now <laughs> because oh God, I got 24 hours to film. So. Yeah, and it's cool early. to catch up with Marcelo. I, I, I actually I didn't know what was the status of his uh whiskey bar by the way did you answer this one do you include whiskey in any of your cooking well so here is the thing i mean uh, you you know i i'm going to i'm going to mention his name because you know he, he actually helped me i know you might have the an issue i'm talking about mental jack you know i mean he actually uh, i i had the chance to talk to him so uh -huh. he actually gave he actually gave me a very nice idea but but i actually fixed his idea because his idea was in general so i decided to uh -huh upgrade his idea so okay so so the idea that he actually said was that uh, you should include let's say in every whiskey a, a shot that somebody order a small treat that come with the whiskey like mm, like a treat okay. the present. and this is actually nice but then i said you know what i'm going to actually fix even better because for cheaper whiskey they're going to get more simple treat let's say nuts or maybe pickles and things like that Okay. When you buy more expensive shots, let's say 30 bucks, 50 bucks, 100 bucks shots, you know, yeah. like more expensive shots, they come with a more expensive treat. Let's say maybe lax or maybe kind of nice ham or more expensive, uh, more expensive. Uh, 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 I get it. I get it. Yeah. And things like that. So things that actually complement the whiskey, wow. but they don't tell you that. That it come with the whiskey. It, it's supposed to come as a surprise. When you ah, order the whiskey, suddenly you're getting your treat. Like, boom! Oh, wow, nice. I didn't you know, know this was coming. Yeah, that's a good idea. Wow. So Ma Marcelo so, is like a businessman, a professional businessman. Alec, uh, Alec Lem Lemus, thank you so much for two pounds. It says to the next one thousand episodes. Your success is so well deserved. Wishing you well from Sussex, England. Thank you, Alec. I appreciate that, guys. It's uh, it's quite a journey. And Shamba Basher, two pounds. And Shamba Basher watches every episode. Love you, buddy. I can't, I can't wait to go to UK again. Uh, we need to go back. We need to revisit BQ Watch. Say hello. Yeah, yeah. UK, UK, UK is great. But before you yeah. even you think about the UK that you've been already like three times there, come at least oh. once to Japan. So first come to Japan. After that, talk about UK or Vegas that you go every week. Come to Japan, friend, <laughs> and then we talk. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, don't, don't go in the middle of the summer because it's so hot there. Yeah, yeah, it hey. is. It is. <laughs> I mean, really. Yeah, now, now, now we started to be a little bit chill out, but still hot as fuck. Yeah, um, I saw I almost died when I was at your place. Well, not your place, but at, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, you came summer. without I mean, me. God, oh, God. <laughs> Just everywhere we went, from sweat places. Uh, mommy, sweat James in the, in the stream. Say hello to James. James that came here, ma. Kitty, look. Say hello to James. This is James. You remember he came to the show. Yeah, hello, mommy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure, man. <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, okay. <laughs> we love mommy. We love mommy. We know. We know yeah. how how it is dealing with. Yeah. Shy. Shy. <laughs> My but wife and child speak character. fondly of her. They they really enjoyed our visit that night. It was mm. really a great time. Yeah. But but Good. by the way, Tim and all the uh, fifty seven people that are watching right now, mm. uh, James can confirm that all my watches are fake because he saw them <laughs> and he touched right. them. So. <laughs> yeah, I, I was really it's surprised confirmed. how light your Platona was. Yeah. I, mean, I, I thought, Did you know, geez, like, this feels like, you know, tin or something now. It's like get, Titania, right? The thing, right. Was, <laughs> the thing was like a ton, you know, yeah. and nothing, nothing he had is fake. No. Did you know <laughs> that Plato, Plato, Platinum uh, Daytona weighs more than the platinum day day. Yeah, I believe it. We more we hair. didn't know until yesterday when America unboxed the platinum day day. Marcelo pointed out. Yeah, uh, well, so like really? you guys grand. didn't know that. You guys yeah, didn't I didn't know, know that. that. I'm off, I, I'm off, guys. that already for a long time. Because AKB, uh, AKB, thank you so much, that. dude. Uh, oh, shout out to oh, AKB. Fifty fifty dollar PayPal. US, I'm gonna buy. Uh, I'm gonna buy a better <laughs> bottle of decoy. Okay, we'll, uh, we'll like, actually. Do something we'll step no, it out. A little. All right, brother. Take care. Congratulations. You, I'll talk to you. What later. time is it over there in Australia? Oh, it's eight p.m. So dinner time oh, here. So. Yeah, 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 yeah one hour. Go have I dinner with seven, fam. Seven o'clock. Come back you, seven o'clock uh, when you're ready. I'm gonna be here. I'm gonna be here. I'm not going anywhere. Okay. Yeah, good, good work, Timmy. Proud of you, man. Take care. Thank you. I can't <laughs> wait for for yeah. Vegas meetup. Yeah. It's coming up in two months. We have to do yeah. more. You have to come to Napa next year. It's hard for me to know this. Yeah. I know, but Tim, Tim can't you only it. get one uh, one chance, right? At this, um, yeah. Tim, are you really doing an all nighter? I mean, you're doing twenty four hours. Now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, but it's going to be an assisted twenty four hours because I think at uh, at ten o'clock, Mark uh, likes to do his show. So we're, I'll I'll just have him uh, run uh, run this yeah. show for a couple hours. In that time, I'll go have lunch. I'll have a little nap. Uh, I'll buy the bottle of wine that uh, Ben uh, has paid for, and I'll I'll be back for you know to to retake control. Yeah, Mark also <laughs> got fifty shows today, right? So it's also it. an yeah. anniversary for him. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. I just wanted to clink in. I'm between calls right now. My mm. arm is in a sling since I broke it. And, oh uh, no! Yeah. Oh shit! What? How did you break your arm? What the? Yeah. Stupid, uh, yeah, bike bike ride uh, last oh. Monday, and I I went for days and days and days, and and just tried to blow it off, but it didn't work. And I went to the <laughs> the doctor yesterday, and now now I'm in a sling. Yeah, it's, uh. it's cool, man. It's so good. Every but that thing is my right hand, so I, I'm yeah. starting to learn to be more ambidextrous with my left hand. Oh, that's <laughs> nice. Because you can hardly do anything. Okay. Good. You can, um, yeah, you can keep rejoining. Actually, I'm going to pin the link so that uh, people cool. who want to uh, join in and chime in on different things, they'll be able to do it a little bit easier, well, okay? I definitely wanted to uh, congratulate Mark today also, and that's why I actually even checked my phone if any activity was going on there. And there's Tim Wright. I was just like, what? <laughs> <laughs> this this can't be right. It's too early in the morning. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Anyway, I, I also yeah. I also saw that and I was like, nah, it cannot happen. But uh, yeah, so yeah. It was he's not alive. crazy enough like, to okay. do it. Yeah, but it's great, Tim. Thousand shows. I mean, that's really a a, a milestone. And yeah. Marcelo, I mean, I love your place. And uh, yeah, I know your whiskey collection. Unfortunately, uh, I wasn't yeah, able. Yeah, you, I, I, I wasn't able to came. indulge. Yeah, but, when you came, uh, now I actually expand more. By the way, I, I I expand even more now. I actually got even more crazy. Oh, even more stuff. Yeah. Okay, good. Well, I did have one, but it, it, but it, yeah. Anyways, <laughs> yeah, I knew I was, you know, I was with my family there, or whatever. It was uh, no big party, but I, it was still such a great evening. Doesn't matter. The alcohol doesn't always have to be, you know, the uh, like the uh, the determining by, factor. By, by the way. By, evening, by the way uh, um, I have, uh, I, I don't want to mention names because I want to keep it as surprise. Tim already know some of the, that surprises that already, uh, we know me and Tim, we already know about three, four, uh, famous, uh, the people in our community that come mm -hmm. in around next year already oh, cool. here in oh. Japan. 
uh, I'm co- I'm going to Japan next year as well. Yeah, no, no, but Tim, you know the other uh, three, uh, three, four guys that coming. I, 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 you know them. Oh yeah, of course, of course. Yeah, yeah, so. you know, you know. So, so there is uh, some uh, very interesting things coming next year. 2024 going to be a very interesting year. By the way, uh, James, you should come again. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, whatever. I don't know about next year. For kind of, it, it all depends on what we want to do for mm-hmm. another big trip next year. And next year is also a major milestone for me because I retire in May. So, whoa, I'm, yeah, and I'm trying to decide what to do with you know my billions. <laughs> no, just joke. Anyways, <laughs> no. Um, Look in my in my I, retirement. I, listen in my retirement, I'm going to start selling. Uh, all these amazing watches that people say amazing watch because this is all my money, by the way. The watches. Uh, so I'm going to start selling that watches and basically buying booze. <laughs> you know, I like all and drinking the money because you know, I mean, you, you need to enjoy it somehow. So uh, yeah, that's true. That's true. I mean, yeah, I mean, you already got your your foot firmly into that industry. I was thinking about doing something like stupid, like, you know, I don't know, bungee jumping for people over 65. I don't know. Anyways, no, it's just joke. I, I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I, I have a lot of things right now that are being planned. Um, and we'll see what happens, but I don't care. Uh, actually, yeah, I really don't care because I'll be good to go. I can sit back and relax for a James. while. Yeah, I mean, uh, I, I, one day I'm going to tell you, you look amazing. You, by the way, you're an amazing person as, as a person, uh, uh, you know, everything. Oh. But even, even in your look and your age, I wish I'm going to look like you when I get in your age. Well, no, thank you. <laughs> thank you, sir. I Appreciate wish, that. You know, I mean, my liver looks a lot worse, so you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> That's just the way it is. Hey, please okay, don't guys. mention liver. <laughs> oh. I'm going to clink off. I'm still working today, and uh, I need to get to the next. Um, in the hey, next before you leave, before big. you leave, let me let me know what you think about my mug shot. Oh, yeah, t- Tim, I saw oh, it on nice. the coffee mug too, <laughs> and I've now I've tried to order the, the coffee mug four times, and oh. every time, it, no, everything works up until the last second. I are you using PayPal? PayPal? Are you using PayPal everything? or your credit card? Yeah, no, I do with PayPal. PayPal does, doesn't work. Gonna, yeah, I know. I'm going to try with my credit card now. No problem. I'll just do it with my credit card. Yeah, I, I, I realized there's a problem. But that I was doing that at the exact same yeah. time Marcelo came into the chat. And I thought, hey, I'm going to catch this guy before he you know gets on his bike again and starts you know wandering or you know whatever through through Tokyo. <laughs> He's gone. I wanted to say hi. I mean, hey, not very, not very, this you know, time. I opened the, the shop this together. time. Yeah, whatever. You know, the the, okay. the lucky is team actually do the 1,000 on a day that actually is for me Tuesday. Mm-hmm kind of very empty day you know the end of the month tuesday yeah. you know it, it's not like a surprise to be basically <laughs> empty and uh, i have a table that come in 10 o'clock in the night so i had a little bit of time i don't know maybe five minutes from now somebody going to come suddenly now and then i'm going to say oh sorry team i have to close a suddenly a customer pump out sure but, uh, yeah. You know, we yeah. Hey, you you came here. You said that I'm not that busy in general, so you know, yeah. <laughs> and, you know how I work. <laughs> and Tim, your 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 picture is very similar to, uh, yeah, the the ex president. I look exactly like it. It's so funny. No, not yeah, not exactly, but you know, your nose Maybe needs in to the be future. more dominant. You know. <laughs> I, I should. Uh, I, I really need to learn how to do a Trump voice. That would be perfect. <laughs> That would be perfect, yes. man. Yeah, yeah. I need to yeah, just yeah. like sit down and just practice it and perfect the the voice in secret, <laughs> and then just one day, yeah. come on the stream with the with the Trump voice. Yeah, you know, the only the only thing that I did everything now, right, and they indicted me. <laughs> no, the, the only <laughs> no, thing that can turn me now. That was good. That was pretty good. <laughs> that was pretty good, man. Yeah. You know, the, the only thing that the only thing that concerns me now, I hope it's not going to come an air crate. I actually need to put a, st- a kind of a wire stick. Oh, so like they this, don't fall down. Suppo- yeah, yeah, that's supposed to hold the bottles, not to to flip. So okay, maybe hey, Marcelo, you have, we have to, to let James uh, James go. He's trying, yeah, he's trying go. to leave for yeah, five minutes. Cool, His man. hand is falling off. James. Yeah, yeah. Don't worry, guys. <laughs> 
Yeah, yeah, thank you very much, Tim. Okay, have a good one. I'll be back in probably at different intervals today. And yeah. I, yeah, I appreciate, um, you know, I really appreciate the channel and everything you guys do here. So have a good one. Talk to you later. Bye. Talk to you later, James. By the way, guys, if you want to hop on and say hello to me or Marcelo, the link is now pinned in the chat. I'm going to remove James, help him out a little bit. Marcelo, Marcelo, Marcelo. Good times. Good times. You need to start working on your Instagram images soon. I'm going to. I'm going to. Mommy actually trying to do for the restaurant now the... Um, I did very... Oh, the shorts. Kind of, uh, yeah, we'll yeah, talk, I, we'll I talk about the shorts and uh, uh, and that, that stuff later. So it's a really boring subject. Mm -hmm. People hate it. Dr. Bob's Nightmare wants to talk about Rolex. <laughs> Because he's trying hey, to. I'm wearing my Platona now. Yeah. Um, oh, you're so wearing a Platona? By the way, today you know I what bring I'm the wearing? Platona, and I also bring the Mitterdal today. Just oh, okay. To, to Never keep mind. it like knife, you know? Oh. I decide the, this one uh, to put this play for me in the front. And this. I got a basic model. So today, so today I did like this, you see? It's in, oh, in, in the front of me. <laughs> see, I have the, ba the base. The steel. Marcel yeah. got the professional mm. stuff. Someday. What do you think? What do you think, Marcel, about mm. this idea that I had yesterday? Mm. Uh, I want to consolidate everything except my steel Daytona into a rainbow. Into a rainbow Daytona. Well, I don't. Yeah. Uh, obviously, I don't have enough money right now to to be even <laughs> be able to consolidate it like that. Hey, but, do, you know, you know that uh, mm. I actually put myself on the list for for the the lamon now now what is funny is i don't have money for the lamon i actually i barely have money to buy a steel daytona you know to buy a steel that, daytona i actually need listen listen to buy yeah. a steel daytona i need to sell the omega the two mm -hmm. there maybe even the panorai the camera mm -hmm. <laughs> that i have that, and still get a little bit money for mommy now you know and, what? and if i do you don't listen, need. listen listen and if i do that I get the steel Daytona, and then I can ask another piece, you know, as always we do, and and they look for the best. But if you give me the Lamont, my mm -hmm. the relationship with the, with with my my relationship with Rolex is burned forever because I'm going to need to sell it immediately. Oh, so so I'm going to need to sell it for maybe two hundred and fifty k, three hundred k, or whatever k it goes now. Yeah, <laughs> and then and then basically I'm going to be like. Everybody that is jealous of me that don't have a relationship with Rolex, I'm going to be jealous of everybody that does because I'm going to burn myself. <laughs> yeah, that's the only kind of a bit of a negative of the Le Mans mm. is that it's yeah. white gold. Uh, because of that, it costs 50000 If it wasn't steel and they made it mm. like under 20000 it would have been a lot more maybe like uh, collectible. Yeah, it would yeah. be actually a lot yeah. more collectible. Man, you, you understand the watch sold for three hundred k. You 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 understand that? Three hundred k. You 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 normal brain understand something ridiculous like that? Yeah, three hundred for three hundred k. And so you would do that. You would you would. Uh, you would actually flip it and uh, trade it for a rainbow Daytona? No, I. Nah, first of all, I don't know uh, how uh, does a rainbow Daytona is under three hundred k now. Well, look, <laughs> there's one no box, no papers. I don't know how real this one is. I hope it is. Let's just say, let's just say that this is the cheapest rainbow Daytona Tony. on the market. You don't know. Oh shit! Ah, I'm going to set. Yeah, yeah, always is like this. You okay? Yeah, yeah, of course. So, how much is the rainbow? I'm going to do uh, the dishes. 380. Ah, so it's more money. It's actually. it's more, yeah. Even the cheapest one. So, like, even if you got the Le Mans, you would have to flip it and, eight, and add another 80,000. No, the, the reason that they're going to, to sell, sell two is watches. They don't have money. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the Rainbow Daytonas are not cheap. And that's the cheapest one. It's probably like one of the older editions. 
the the new let's see it the newer models uh they all kind of look the same they got the same i guess it's 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 rose gold that becomes a lot more expensive it starts to go into 500,000 category wow that, that then, guy that you saw that he bought the lamont he actually bought the the rainbow he actually brought the rose and i think he brought the white one. Oh, yeah it's too much i mm. I mean, one uh, one rainbow Daytona is is too much. The question is, which one is better, the white gold or the yellow gold? I think uh, it would have to be yellow gold. The white gold just could be mistaken for steel. And and by the way, what happened with John Mayer? John Mayer actually dropped, huh? John Mayer can have come down uh, significantly. Really? Because, uh, Even John so Mayer was continue now. Uh, yes, wow. yes, it is discontinued, but no, no, they're still, they're still out there. They're still making them because the new no. Daytonas haven't been released. I think uh, Rolex, they're they're trying to first sell out all the previous generation Daytonas. Oh, yeah, that's why. and also oh. they've been rolling rolling these out like over time, right? First, the Guinnesses came out. Like we still haven't seen the the yacht masters, oh. the titanium yacht masters. You, you know I what? I have much. a feeling. I have a feeling that yeah. because of the uh, look, it, it was. Uh, I, I actually do agree with Toshin in that that mm -hmm. uh, it was it was a spike, maybe because of Bitcoin, maybe because of a lot of things that happened last year. That it was a spike that went up, and then when it went down, it still. Um, the, the watches in general continue to go up you know if you t if you yeah. um, if you ignore the spike so you do see that the watches actually did they went up until now they never really went down they just continue to go up uh, uh, slowly slowly mm -hmm. now the thing is that uh, because uh, of a lot of youtubers including you that said that the market is dead, the market collapsed. So I think mm -hmm. Rolex did listen. And I also think, especially you, because you did a lot of noise, yes. that because of you, Rolex brought a uh, uh, burkers is because of you. <laughs> the, they did what? The, when, when they purchased the uh, burkers? Oh, uh, Booker. Yeah. yeah. It's Burkish. because of you. Yeah, I thought yeah, you were yeah, talking like a like a Birkin bag. They, they, they. I think they bought that is because of you. Well, uh, I don't know about it's... about that, but did and, you know that they almost bought luxury bazaar and BQ watches? But those guys. Well, well they. It seems they're going. They didn't want to be. And... Uh, they didn't want to be acquired by such unsavory brand as Rolex. Look, there is there isn't that they they bought is because they want to have a full control in what's going to happen with the with the cpo program everybody even said that the cpo program is dead wow it didn't even it's just the beginning is uh, it's going to be stronger than ever and rolex is going to make sure that everybody will know that is going to be very successful and and that, that's why they 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 bought the that one by the way in japan very very big department like uh, 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 Takashimaya, and mm -hmm. they, they might they might even buy that one as well. And then they're going to have full control. I mean, this, this is going to to be a revolution. They're going to change uh, everything. I mean, are there any booker uh, in Japan? Uh, no, they have the in Japan. They have their own uh, uh, department stores. They are uh, let's call it uh, Japanese bookers. <laughs> Kind oh, of, okay. you know, like very, very big ones. Big Whoa, ones. Marcelo, look at this. Timepiece Esquire, $20 super chat. To what do we owe this pleasure? I'm late to the party, but I came bearing gifts. How are you, Timmy? Uh, Timepiece Esquire, thank you. No, they're just celebrating 1,000 episodes of the Tim yeah. Wright live stream. Yeah, it's been it's been quite a journey. So, th uh, by the way, Timepiece Esquire, he's he's the guy who sponsored the Miami trip. Remember when oh, I went to Miami chasing the cartel? Yeah. 
cheers to the Time Piece cheers, Esquire. Uh, the Time Piece Esquire, I hope to see you in Japan and, and bring in Tim to Japan as well. That would be nice. <laughs> Uh, Time Piece mm. Esquire is a madman. Mm. Unfortunately, I mi- I keep missing him in in LA. We 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 were gonna meet up so many times, but just always he's always busy. He's always lawyering mm. someone away. So hey, Time Piece Esquire, thank you so much for the twenty bucks. LA, this is what is it? It's two o'clock over there. Get some sleep, man. <laughs> Dude, you got I, uh, 3 million MP? What, what, what is that? It's like uh, kind of a uh, Korean dollar or something? I mean, what is that? What? <laughs> this look like uh, this one. I, I see on the on the on the super chat is is uh, it's oh. not it's not American dollar. It's like 3 million man if you if you yeah. would get 3 million American Yeah, dollar, I don't know what that is. I don't know right what now. 3 million MP. <laughs> Uh, if somebody translate, uh, I think it's the uh, uh, I forgot what the currency. It's like a hundred wanna... bucks, probably or two hundred. Yeah, bucks, it's, but, yeah, uh, it's a yeah, it's a big amount. It's probably I think it's like one hundred bucks. Imagine, Gotta imagine be. you would get uh, three million bucks now. But, you, hey, you, you, clo- you you close the channel for you. <laughs> uh, Timepiece Esquire ten dollars super chat again. I'm driving home after a very wonderful night. I stank of pass away right now. <laughs> Tim, Tim, serious, Tim. What yeah. you do if somebody really super chat you three million? What you do? <laughs> no, nah, that's that's too much. It, it it would be it would actually be a bad thing because I think I would quit streaming every single day and just focus on on just bringing. You would make a movie. You you will stop it and you will have time to do the movie. <laughs> I oh, I would do multiple movies. I would do movies. Uh, I would I would have someone actually working full time with me. Would have a full time editor, full time assist, a camera guy. You know how Timepiece Gentleman yeah. has a camera guy. I would I would also have a camera guy. We would be making content. Hey, if you if you get non-stop. three million, if you get three million. Give me two hundred k. I can work for you. <laughs> yeah, you quit. quit you you shut down the restaurant. We're just gonna focus on the content, yeah. Marcel. You're gonna be my. You're gonna be holding my camera for me. <laughs> Tim and Marcel. Mm. Uh, oh, and by the way, James Hess. Thank you so much for the twenty dollar PayPal. He sent the PayPal. Yeah. Well, also, he, yeah. You mentioned something about the mug. Uh, uh, was uh, here? You saw that? Yeah. Oh, need a mug link. Okay, sorry. Mm. Sorry about that. Let's see, the mug link is mm. here. I'm going to drop the link. Mm. Uh, how many are there left? I think probably. Okay, there's st- still two left. So you still got time. Uh, click the link. And if you can't get, if you guys can't get the 1000 uh, limited edition mug, mm. then. Uh, just know that you can get this one. This is going to be available for seven days. This is a really, really cool limited edition mug as well. It just has it has a picture of me from every twenty fifth episode. <laughs> nice. Yeah, it's a pretty cool art, actually. Uh, let me see if I can show you. Oh, here we go. I got I got the art right here. Look at this, Marcella. Oh, yeah. Good, nice. That's me every 25th episode of The Journey. You can see how I've changed over time. <laughs> so funny. Oh, wow. <laughs> you like that? Oh, yeah. This is nice. It's really nice, right? <laughs> you know, Whoa, I, don't, I don't want to mention... I... Esquire. <laughs> $20 Super Chat again. Congratulations on 10,000 subscribers. Yeah, we're going to have 10,000 subscribers. We're only 60, 60 subs away. Mm. We're going to get like by the end of the week, I think. If, if I do one promo, it, I, I, could, I could just probably buy a promo. I can get an advertisement uh, on, on YouTube to promote my channel. And that could probably get us 50 subscribers. If you want, I can do one more show. Uh, to congratulations. Uh, I remember back when you had less than 1,000. Wow. Mm. You're going like my schlong at a wet t-shirt contest. <laughs> hey, I hey. still have uh, 1,858. <laughs> What's 1,858? 
No, my, my number is like uh, uh, 1,858 subscribers. Oh. I just got two subscribers extra. Probably they're going to leave soon. It's going to be again uh, uh, 56. Yeah, <laughs> Marcel. You know, the, actually, look, Marcel, the, the best way mm. to get subscribers is by mm. making viral content, like viral content uh -huh. after viral yeah. content. But it's very, it's very tough to mm. do viral stuff because those ideas so real those ideas really tough to come up with uh you really ah, need... by the way yesterday yesterday another yeah. channel was actually uh talking about the uh... hi i feel worried uh... uh oh <laughs> it's okay it just put me on mute <laughs> okay okay Marcelo got clients. Marcelo has clients. Uh, hey, by the way, uh, James, thank you so much. I, I really appreciate the, the tw uh, $20 uh, PayPal donation. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use this, guys, to make more content. I, I, this is what it's all about. Continuing the journey, learning together, and uh, making amazing entertainment. Wristwatch entertainment is very tough to do. <laughs> uh so is the watch market dead let's see i actually i have a a whole bunch of uh, uh moda images that i wanted to share and look at this uh this paddock 5212 on moda it's now as you can see here below retail uh oh when uh 5212 is going below retail you know it's the beginning of the new era uh oh yeah by the way <laughs> cat stink uh oh yeah taiwanese and nt is taiwanese dollars and it's slightly more than 100 bucks boom thank you thank you jc i appreciate that man it's uh uh so there you go that's the 5212 below weekly calendar a, an amazing watch i actually had a chance to buy this at retail couple of well i think now more than a year ago a year ago this watch was going above retail it was going like 10 or fifteen thousand above retail and i remember getting a phone call from uh, a friend and uh he said hey tim do you want to pick this up at retail he was being offered and i said ah, no thank you i have no money this is insane even thirty six thousand retail is big big money hey eddie hello tim Hey, finally joining us on the during normal hours for you. Yeah, joining in for a little bit. I'm working home, working from home for the first half of the day today because my fucking sleep schedule's fucked. But yeah, wow, look at that. So this is now pretty. It's like ten percent below retail now. Yeah, can you believe it? It's the new era. I know, I know. So is this is this watch even worth asking for at retail, or is it just better to buy it used? These are display only in the window. It's it's only worth if you want to build history to to buy the really really high end, but, super super mega expensive stuff. But even that super mega I expensive don't stuff anymore. Yeah, it's really like the, the purchase history. It it almost seems like it, it was just a phase in the watch world. Yeah. The, the this might end very soon, and you'll be able to get like any watch. Or may, maybe they'll still do because you know there is um, there is those bragging rights for for having your name on the papers, right? It's it's different when you bought it gray market for at a discount, or if you bought it brand new. And some people, you know, some real high high end ballers, they don't really care. Uh, about the price they just wanted to make sure that they were the first recipients of that watch and it's very tough to do to, so you know, to actually be able to get those watches so basically when you look at like what determines the gray market price obviously there's gonna be like some market inefficiencies but it comes down to the purchase history required to get that watch the losses yeah. that you're going to take essentially to get that loss counter but then on the other side you also have to value the purchase history of future watches you might be able to get. Mm -hmm. And then you also have to factor in the people that don't give a fuck that buy whatever watch they want. 
It's all about those future releases. Is this is what you're investing in? See, a lot th those people who were with Paddock for quite some time, you know what they got as a re reward for sticking around for long for for long enough. They got those. No, no, no. They got the fifty-seven eleven with green dials. Those are those are the pieces that were worth building. Like these very tough. In, because think about it, before, like, the green dial, it was just enough mass produced. I think we think there was, there's about 700 of those out there, right? And if you were one of the 700 people to be, like, and it's, that's a lot, actually, it's a, that's a lot of watches, right? For a company that makes 50,000 pieces, right? If you had some type of a, maybe $1 million spend, those people were able to get uh, the green, the green dial fifty seven elevens, and those are worth a lot. But but right now, there's nothing like that in the catalog. So, uh, so if you want a history, it's probably going to be towards something that doesn't exist yet. Because in the current catalog, there's really nothing, nothing that goes for you know in, that's insanely desirable. Yeah, uh, uh, Rad uh, Randolph. Hadcock, uh, hand dock, sorry, hand dock, not Hancock. Uh, five bucks. Thank you so much for the super chat. Congrats, Tim. Really appreciate it. A thousand episodes, Eddie. A thousand episodes. Uh, Timepiece Esquire, five dollar super chat. Display only. Purchase history below retail. Are we talking watches or pussy? Well, actually, what's going on with uh, with the price of pussy? Is it is pussy going above or below retail right now? Uh, I don't know. There's too many simps out there, so the pricing is kind of being interesting right now. Uh, Dr. Bob's Nightmare, $5 super chat. I have a feeling those Tim Wright mugs will trade above retail. Thank you. I, <laughs> this is funny. I actually, this mug shot cracks me up. Uh, and Timepiece Esquire, $5 again. I bought the pussy tonight on the gray market used, and there is no purchase history requirement. I get it. I know what's up. I understand. I understand what he's insinuating on, but the kids who are watching have no clue. Well, actually, the <laughs> probably... fucking kids watching? Yeah, no, no, there's no kids watching. This My show is not advertised to kids. Actually, I switched off that, that feature. I mean, unless they they get access to their parents' phones, that's probably why uh, my grow you know my channel doesn't grow as fast as it could have been. To all that young audience, you got to get them. Maybe maybe when I start this four uh, K channel, I have to do it without swearing. I think wow. that's probably what we're gonna have to do. Soyness is gonna go up. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, YouTube actually, believe it or not, YouTube checks for that, and you can only make I think one or two. And if if the video has uh, goes over uh, some type of a swear limit, it it gets kind of um, uh, like it doesn't get promoted as much. Mm -hmm. I can actually see those differences too. It uh, it's noticeable, but yeah, uh, Eddie, below retail for Paddock. So, so if you're if you're going to be building history right now, I think you you just you should just be doing it towards something you don't even know yet. Fuck that! <laughs> That's yeah. always building history. I know. Hey, look at this! James ordered the mug. Only function with credit cards, as you indicated. There you go. There's, there's probably there's one more left, right? Let's see. Let's go here. Oh yeah, there you go. One left. That's it. Who's gonna get the last one, Eddie? I don't know. Is the last one gonna be special? No, no, it's not special. Oh. I mean, they're all special in a way. By the way, I I snuck in some uh, like um, I snuck in some uh, Easter eggs in there. So when you get your mug, guys, make sure to go through the image and try to find all the little Tim, secret. Why why is the price $8? That's just price of the production cost. 
Oh, oh so it's because it's on my end. You know, it, I'm locked in, and it just shows. I know. So you split that twenty dollar. What is that? Like a sixty percent? That's how much it cost me to order a sample, basically. Oh. So yeah. that's so then you make twenty bucks on each one. No, because then they also take out taxes and and there there's other there's other fees. But yeah, it's like I think at the end of the day, I think like make fifteen bucks on the bad. mug. Pretty cool. That's and, uh, the yeah, it supports <laughs> the channel. It also you know cuts out. It makes sure that like because if I if I made it really cheap then it's like somebody could snipe it or buy multiples. And I don't want people buying multiples of these. I want them to. True like, enthusiasts, work. not collectors. Yeah, yeah exactly. What one, one, you? one per person. Uh, Time Peace Esquire, $5 Super Chat. If you start offering messages with Super Chats, your channel will grow messages. exponentially. Oh. Maybe I should do that. What do you think? Eddie. What should I start doing that? Hmm. Massages. Oh, massages. Oh, the massages. Oh, yeah. Listen, I don't have the body for it though. Like nobody would want a massage. I, I'm offering. I offered massages. No, there was no buyers, unfortunately. <laughs> hey, look who, who we got. We got Alex uh, in the chat. It's a Ponzi scheme. <laughs> Rohi, those are gray market dealer profit margins. <laughs> Disgusting. These margins are insane. They're insane. But you notice that I didn't order any for myself at this price. I only ordered one. But I could, I technically speaking, I could probably order these at eight dollars and then like resell them in person, but that'd be dumb. You technically you're not supposed to do that, uh, according to their terms of service. It you should be uh, it's it's only for ordering to make sure the quality is okay. And then uh, you know for making it full production. But yeah, Eddie. Yeah. What's up? Are you going to are you going to start building your paddock purchase history? I don't know. I might it might just be worth it to buy buy it straight from the gray market just like Jeff. Mm. Oh, hey, look at this. We're going to have Sam Sam. Uh hello Sam. Hey, what's happening to me? It's Sammy D. You might have seen me in the chat from London. Oh, Sammy D. Yep, yep, yep. What's happening? I just wanted to say congrats in person. So, congratulations, Tim. You got to a thousand, thousand episodes. Uh, One thousand. Yeah, just thought I'd show up and show my face and say, you know, well done. Congrats. Hello, Marcelo. This is so cool. This is so cool, <laughs> Sam. Yeah, so... Yeah, just want to say, you know, in London, you are like, uh, you start really late at night. So yeah, I know you're like, you're like an adult bedtime stories. You know, you're like bedtime stories for adults you know, <laughs> who, are in, who are into watches anyway. I'm so the bed, Timmy, that's what he's saying. You close. You're the closer. I close it. Yeah. I'm the closer. Yeah. It's the late night show with Tim Wright. Uh, yeah, in UK. that's that's what it's like. It's like, uh, yeah. You're a closer. That's how you you're end the, the day. The like, uh, that's how, that's yeah. how we end it. Yeah. So sometimes it depended on how, how the stream goes. Mm. You know, you can either go to bed happy or a bit, yeah. you know. Pissed what, off. What's the word? Pissed off. Yeah, that's the word. Yeah, Triggered. Sometimes. Triggered. But it's nice. Yeah. Okay, it's, it's, it's fun. I just wanted to show up, say hello. And, uh, but you're yeah. a really avid viewer. Can you Can you tell us how you found the show? Um. When I, I when, when I wanted to, um, I think now nah, to be honest, I think I found you through Archie. You know. Yeah, yeah. I wasn't a diehard Archie fan or anything, but um, I found you through him. Wow. And uh, yeah. From yeah, there, I mean, listen, I I used to be an avid Archie fan until the the whole big blow up in Australia. 
yeah as time as time goes by you you get to kind of see uh you know people's you know you figure yeah. them out and uh i didn't like what i saw with archie's channel really? so I just, yeah they didn't help me sleep at night put it that way yeah yeah, yeah. so anyway i just want to say well done um i won't stay for long because i'm not really a camera person i mean i like it for all hey. this um yeah but uh, most of the time i'll be in the chat just trying to keep things light you know make yeah. some make make some make some jokes here and there um i'm not a troll i'm not uh i'm not a troll i just like to make jokes so you might see me pop up with a few jokes now and again and i love it i love it yeah and a few super chats man and you but, want yeah, and, and you watch a sheen as well Oh, Sheen, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, he, I've, I've watched a few of him. And I, I tried to throw a few jokes at him as well. You know, he's mm. a bit less less receptive, his crowd, to the jokes, but it's all good. He's very serious, yeah. Or yeah, yeah. Trying no, to keep I've, 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 I've got a few, I've got a few yeah. laughs out of him. I've got a few laughs out of him still. You know, he's, he, you know, I've got a few laughs out of him. You got to yeah. get him when he's like one bottle in. Yeah. Uh, then yeah, I mean, he's correct, a lot more correct. receptive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, uh, I don't know if I'll be coming on regularly. I'm, I'm not really a camera person, Tim. I just came to. Hey, you know, listen. If, if uh, well. you, you start out, listen. When you can, you can try jumping in. When there's especially, uh, you know, uh, like a like a UK based subject, feel free to hop yeah, on. Nah, Voice your opinion in, if you want to yeah. get involved. But yeah, remember, yeah, there's no. repercussions. Look at Red Shovel. He's like being reprimanded all over. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. He's been he's been a uh, black blacklisted. Yeah. Like. yeah, we're trying to unban him right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but no, I'm not. I'm not that serious. Uh, I'm not that. Yeah, serious. It's I, all, like, it's I like watches. I like watches. I like watches. I, I like the streams. By the way, uh, what watch are you wearing? Let's do a quick wristwatch uh, check. Quick wristwatch check. Hello. See. Ooh. Oh, very so, nice. What is it? It's a di is that a is that an air? No, that's an OP. Yeah, it's an OP it's from. So it's the three six nine. Uh, three six nine down. Three six nine. Oh, so it's a, is it 34, 34 mil? That looks really good on your wrist too. Yeah, that smaller I, I, wrist. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a smaller guy, so the yeah. thirty four. It, it, there's no point for me trying to get bigger ones. So this is this was the most comfortable. It was perfect for me. So. Yeah, I'm not it, a big guy. So. That's a that's a really similar uh, looking watch to to the one that what's the what's the actor in from Barbie, who plays Ken? Oh yeah, I think I know who you mean. Uh, uh, yeah, I know who you mean. Ryan. Uh, Ryan. I don't know. No, not Ryan. Hold on, hold on. What's his name? I I, I'm blanking. Right? I just I, woke up too. So uh, yeah, no, it's, 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 it's all right. It's a nice little nice little everyday. Like Ryan Gosling. Ryan Gosling. That's right. Ryan Gosling. Yeah. Ryan Gosling. At 34. Yeah. I mean, that, that looks so fantastic. You're a slim guy. You're not fat ass yeah. like me. <laughs> yeah. No, you know, I, I feel there's um there's a bit of a, a, a snootiness when it comes to, you know, sizes, you know, people yeah. are like, you know, 40 only, 40, uh, everything else is women's. You know, it all depends on size. I was making you're, this argument about the if, 36. If I'm, I'm thinking like, even though a, I'm I'm a bigger guy, perfect. the dated 36 is perfect. This is what I'm saying. Like, it's not, it's, it's, it, doesn't, it doesn't make sense. There's a, there's a bit of snootiness in the watch world that I don't quite understand. Uh, yeah. You know, if, you, if you've got a skinny guy wearing a 40, 40 day day or you know 40 op 40 whatever date just mm. just look ridiculous on him it'll look like a in, clock clock on his wrist in fact uh, uh sam when i had my uh uh explorer 36 right i remember like looking down at it and realizing that hold on a second it's got the same dial size as the submariner so it's like yeah. the display to to be able to tell the time was identical it was yeah. just the package was was more compact and it wasn't weighing uh, as much on the wrist so it, it was like a breakthrough that i realized yeah. unfortunately i got rid of it but now i'm thinking I, I have to i have to get back uh my explorer either either go 36 again or maybe 40 mm -hmm. but i'm lucky that it kind of both sizes work on my wrist uh, i have like a perfect middle wrist size whereas like yeah. diego i think he has just slightly smaller wrists so he needs a little bit smaller watches and uh, we saw america yesterday right 
he put on a day date 40. It looked like yeah. a 36 of his. Yeah, America, is, I, I said in the comments, he, is he a giant? He, he seems massive. He's a he's really he he's, he's like massive. a football player. He's built he's built or at least he's built like one. Yeah. Oh, Huge well, guy. I've stayed a bit longer than I thought I would. But, uh, well, uh, I'm trying I, I try I try to keep you you see I, I, I got you to show the watch, not to let it watch. You're a trying to make you feel comfortable on the stream, but I'm gonna let you go because I see you're yeah, holding thanks, the phone man. in your hand and you're gonna get yeah, tired. I'm not I haven't got uh, no professional setup. Yeah. I'm just using using my iPhone. So That's I'm all that's all you need. You can actually, if you just get yourself uh, like a small tripod, like a. Uh, let me show you one of these. One second, I'll be right back. Just two seconds. Uh oh. Uh -oh. That's how Tim gets you to stay. Uh, he draws, he draws, he draws you in. I got, I, I got, I don't want to. I, I got to go. One of these selfie sticks. Oh yeah. So you just open that up like this, and it's got a. A, a tripod okay, so it adapts into a tripod yeah. as well and you can you can set that up like this look at this yeah boom ne next thing you know next thing you know i'll, I'll be walking around the street like i've seen in london <laughs> hey you, you don't know? have to walk you can just set set it up at the pub turn yeah. it on put it next to you like this boom and and you're ready you're ready to rock and roll Oh, very simple oh, oh, oh. thanks for the tip thanks for the tip tim but again congratulations i'm gonna salute and you know is that is that eddie's watches hello eddie hello. eddie hey how are you doing um yeah just want to say hello and congrats and goodbye thank you and we'll see you we'll see you maybe on the community chat by the way we're looking for someone to run daily community i don't have, I don't have that kind of time tim i don't <laughs> I have know. that kind of time i don't have that oh. kind of time man all right <laughs> Bye, man. Lots of see, love, I'll man. see Bye. you soon. Okay, I Bye. try to Bye. check Bye. in from time to time. Uh, Eddie, now, now, when, I, whenever I see Sam D in the chat, I'm gonna try to get him on. Yeah, you know, for at least five minutes. Yeah, an extra hey, shout out. Yeah, hey, he's a good guy. So you know, we we, we need to get um, more Brits uh, on the panel. That's what you need. I think uh, I had a, I, I received a complaint for having too many Brits lately. I don't know. Did you get get a strike from YouTube for having too many Brits misrepresenting yeah. the location? Oh yeah, too too much of one of one thing. Doug Half. Uh, by the way, Doug Haffer can thank you so much for six months. Congrats, Tim. Your channel is awesome. Really appreciate you guys sticking with me. Trooper Sam seems like a good value. Congrats on one thousand show. Thank you. Yeah, Sam seems like a nice, rational guy, well-adjusted. Uh, Timepiece Esquire, $2 Super Chat tripod. My tripod was God-given, not bought. Wow. And that was penis. He's got a big dick, man. It's a guy with a big dick. Hey, uh, oh, Eddie, Eddie, I've been trying to address Arnout. For... Oh, I posted this yesterday many times. Right. I just never was able to get to it. So let's let's finally get to it, huh? GMT2 Pepsi. Is that a ceramic or non-ceramic GMT2 Pepsi? I think it's possible. Well, let's see. Which, which Daytona he's got? 116520. That's the white dial one, right? Puzzle. Yeah. No, unclear. unclear. Oh, it's unclear. Okay. So it's uh oh. it's the pre-ceramic one, but it's it could be either could be a black dial or uh white dial so uh, then he's got cartier pasha that's that's my father's first watch wow wow cartier so, so essentially you know the... what, what he's saying is he has two sports watches mm -hmm. um two watches on i don't know what a brightling colt is oh it's yeah those are huge i think brightling it's a cult is i think it's not it's not yeah it's just the like the cheapest uh, like their version oyster perpetual it's okay like the cheapest so like, is that a diver supposed to be a diver it's a it's like a field watch it's okay. it's got yeah it's got water resistance but i think they market it as their 200 field meters. watch because they got the the heritage um the super oceans those are usually okay, so yeah. Esports watches, Pasha, Reverso. 
And then he wants the paddock 6119, and that's the hobnail. Mm -hmm. Two rows of the hobnail, and 5226 is the date. Or is that the manual wind? Let me see. 5226 paddock. And that's he wants it in G. Oh, that's the new oh, one. Yeah. Asphalt. Wow. The wow. asphalt. I, this thing is stunning, actually. Uh, I've, I've actually handled one of these at the European watch company when I went to visit them. Mm -hmm. Looks much better in real life. It's got hobnail around the the case side. So if oh, you're a fan of the mid case. Yeah, the mid case. This oh. picture is hard to see. Let me see if I get get a better. Oh, here we go. We just take it on on paddock website. Yeah. See that? Okay, and the six one oh nine in white gold. He's looking for a white metal dress watch. And then he also says Alangi and Zan AL 1815. 1815 is better. Alangi, that's the chrono, right? 18. Yeah. So what he's looking for is a oh, white no, gold no. dark dial dress watch, essentially. That's what I'm getting from the 5 2 6 and the 6119G. Oh, you stay away from the 1815, actually. That's not, it's too simple. Yeah. So he's looking for a perfect dress watch. Laurent Ferrier or Laurent Ferrier. You know what's the best option? What? He should, buy, he should buy my Moritz Grossman. That's the answer. How much? How much? No, I'm just joking. I'm not I'm not selling. But the oh. this one, if I had to sell it, what's the fair price? 22. I can't go 22. 23. Uh, the cheapest I could go is like, 28 but i wouldn't sell it like i say i wouldn't i wouldn't even sell it for 28 because that's a steel watch right your gross it's a steel watch but with a really high-end finished dial like so, the dial I'm... the dial on uh you know Lange makes <laughs> some black dials right no i did not yeah they do uh let me show you Right here. So they have uh so this is the Zeit work with the tremblage dial. So they save they save this dial for some ultra ultra limited editions. You see it's so uh, the entire dial is done in the same style as the Grossman. You see it? Uh, they hammer down or like they, they chip away the material, leaving uh you know the logo. And the power reserve kind of floating above. And then everything else is just hammered hammered to hell. So Wait, these so, are Arno, super rare. Or no, are you thinking about just a white metal black dial dress watch? Because that's what it looks like for the, your next four watches. It's also a pulse check to make sure that he's still watching the stream. Yeah, I think that Paddock 6119, it's a great choice. Uh, on mode, but he has to go mode. Oh, by the way, is another another option would be like one of these the the paddock uh, auto zones. And <laughs> I think, yeah, they're still they're they're holding value pretty well at the moment. But I don't know how long they're gonna do it. I think all the paddock is gonna slowly collapse as the as 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 the mid tier, lower tier watches start collapsing and resale. It's going to mm -hmm. cause the upper tier watches to collapse and resell because less people are going to be incentivized to sort of play that game and make that but, money. But, but when uh, when things get tough, people go to blue chip investments, blue chip watches. I think, and, and Rolex and Pad Paddock are like the two brands that over time have shown to be the most resilient, the most the most able to. With yeah, I mean, the market would, shifts. When, yeah, when things do get tough, that happens, but it's still we're recovering off of this very large bubble. Yeah, and the, the only problem is the paddock is having they increased production actually from fifty to seventy thousand. Or oh no, actually no, they they didn't, did they? That's AP. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Double D, good morning. It says congratulations on one thousand. I want to point out how amazing the camera angle is at Marcelo's. 
the the screen is perfectly divided between the the color orange and blue. It's so cinematic. So it looks like he's coming from uh, a Blade Runner. Like he's <laughs> he's cooking uh, uh, ramen noodles right now for Harrison Ford. <laughs> you know that scene? Hey, Mike. Uh, Rupinus, welcome to the show. Look at those watches. Do you think he actually has those? I don't know. Let me see. I actually I have some motor pictures here. Let me see if he if if I have any of these watches that he's looking for listed on motor. Uh, what do I got here? No, actually, I got the Daytona. 23.5? Yo, that's scary. Sorry about this. Uh, 23.5 plus label. I can't believe it. Card dated 2019. Yeah, it's pretty old. Black uh, TIE Fighter. It's a TIE Fighter. Sure, it's old, but... It's a Daytona. They're almost back to... Their normal over retail pricing. Sony Man 2112. Thank you so much. 1,000 shows. Congrat congratulations, Tim. Love the show. Here's to 2,000. Let's get there. Let's really get there. And let's up the quality too. As we're, as we're slowly uh, getting our numbers back up. And DL, Farm, DL Farms. Thank you so much. Never missed one. Wow. Any customers today at Marcelo? Yeah, he's got one customer. One uh, one small customer. But sorry, getting back here to our now. Let's do let's do a poll, right? I'm gonna I'm gonna do a quick poll here for now. What dress watch do you think now should add? The uh, Six one one nine. The uh, fifty two twenty six. What was that? What was the fifty two twenty six? Oh yeah, fifty two twenty six. This is really nice. It's the asphalt dial, color trava. Asphalt trava. Okay. Lange eighteen fifteen. Ah, this is the weakest one. Lange eighteen fifteen. It's just too boring. The Lange is boring. Forget about that. Or Laurent Ferrier classic. Yeah, let's pull up a Laurent Ferrier. Laurent Ferrier classic. What does that even look like? Images. Uh, yeah. I mean, yeah, these are nice, but Laurent Ferrier really fell fell in price lately. Could be could be a good pickup. All things considered, it's nice. Uh, it's pretty cool. Okay, classic. All right, I think I got I got all four models that he has been asking about. I put them in the poll, guys. Let's vote. Uh, let's uh, let's help out our fellow collector. Let's see what you guys like the most. I, I I'm I'm all for that. Asphalt color trava. If he had, if he actually has um, the ability to get this one at retail, probably that's the best choice. It's uh, it's it's oh, it's a little bit like um, like AP Code Eleven Fifty Nine, where it's a blend of modern and traditional, like, but it's a little bit more traditional than the Code Eleven Fifty Nine is traditional. Right, like there's a, there's something about this one. It's a it's a modern, makes it modern dress watch. Really like the applied hour indices. The the hubnail bezel is the only like super traditional thing about this watch, and I kind of like how you can see the hobnail keeps going around the bezel, and these lugs they actually float above the hobnailing. They're attached on the undercase. To, to the watch. So you see here, the hobnail actually goes around the full perimeter. And this section... That's really uh, cool. 
Yeah, right. This is a really cool detail. Like you can't see this uh, unle unless you you're seeing it in person, but it's just so fantastically done. Yeah, definitely, dude. If you if you if you have a choice, you gotta go for this one. Um, Alex Belcanto, <laughs> Tim Tim's one thousand shows as Blade Runner quote goes. The light that burns twice as bright burns half as long, and you have burned so very, very bright. Wow, I get it. It's a, it's actually a warning. It's a warning, not to, uh, shine too bright because you can burn out. So don't burn your, don't burn yourself out. So yeah, the burnout is the most dangerous thing with these streams. But luckily. I feel like I have uh, I have I have st restarted my channel with the uh, with this name right the Tim Wright the Tim Wright I kept it vague on purpose because I didn't want the channel to be about watches but instead it's it's about me and I like watches for now but I might I might change my interest and the journey will continue and we kind of we all go through different phases so i think the reason i was able to do it to get to a thousand episodes because i started it yeah you know, or restarted because up until up until i restarted the channel as tim wright it's always been about something and not about someone and i always became became disinterested in whatever i was doing and just like lost interest in every hobby but i was able to do this for a thousand episodes there's no reason why i can't do this for for basically forever or in, as or uh until i'm no longer capable i do like how the hobnail is sort of recessed into the case so it's easy so it's mm -hmm. more difficult to scratch it's protected right like if you ding if you ding uh the watch <laughs> chances are it's going to be on the by the way you know, uh, Mel Leaves actually has this watch, right? Yeah. And on, on like a week one, he he dinged it, dinged <laughs> it really bad. Yeah. <coughs> oh, he dinged it on the bezel. If he sends me a picture, I'll I'll share it. But I'm not sure if he's watching right now. He was uh, he was uh, it was on he was watching the show in the beginning. He actually sent me a massive. PayPal donation to support the show. What a guy! But yeah, he dinged it, and uh, we we actually, uh, I think because of it, he's going to keep it because this is a nice, it's a nice watch. <laughs> Unsellable. I I don't know. Yeah, they're gonna have to take it out, right? Like if if they're gonna try to sell that watch they're gonna have to do something they're gonna have laser to either weld laser it. weld it or polish it out it's it's gonna be noticeable so you're gonna have to you gotta <laughs> have to be a super enthusiast to be able to accept it with you know with a little bit of a ding a love a touch bit love, a little bit of love a bit of love it, the, it shows that the watch was worn it wasn't babied around yeah Oh, hey, check this out. Second. Uh, hey, Rohit says it's uh, uh, Tim is Rutger Hoyer in Blade Runner. It was meant to just be another replicant, but he became special. <laughs> Let's get to 10,000. Now that's a goal. Think about that. Eddie, ten thousand live streams. Well, this took three. That's thirty years of sh of streaming, basically, right? Thirty three years. Three years. No, thirty, because it's it's like three years to do a thousand. So it'll be thirty years to do. Oh, I thought I thought he meant ten thousand subscribers. Oh my bad. Oh, I thought he meant ten thousand uh, uh, live streams. Hey, just quick shout out to Dingo Dave. The legend. <laughs> He's watching watching on the big screen too. Yeah, Eddie, look at this. 235 for for TIE Fighter. Yeah. 
Oh, it's fuck. It's now slightly above retail. Card 2019 says for a used used Tie Fighter. Yeah. Well, not even that. You know, I I got mine in uh, 2000, right? So mine is only well, my Daytona is only one year older than this one. Oh, sorry, uh, but, one year newer. So this is down one link. So it's so the presumably the guy lost the links is wearing it. Uh, who cares about the lake? Probably the box because it doesn't come with the box either, right? No, it's just paper. It's just service papers, service international, just service papers. One link short. Uh, so the box, the box, uh, probably floated away in some kind of a natural disaster. Uh, but hey, if you just want the watch to wear, it's a good deal. It's a really good good deal. Uh, oh, by the way, so I'm gonna close the poll. It's it's basically decisive. Fifty uh, percent uh, said the asphalt is the way to go, and actually, Lange was closely followed. The six one one nine was the least voted for. Surprise, surprise! People don't like six one one nine for some reason. It's too. It's probably. It's because so. It's too uh, traditional. I think that hobnail is so polarizing. But Eddie, have you actually handled a six one one nine in person? Yeah, I handled. I handled it in Switzerland. The hobnail reminds me a lot of like that Dunhill roller gas slider. That's what. Whenever I see a hobnail pattern, that's what it reminds me of. Oh yeah. But it wasn't so obnoxious. In real life, it seemed it's like half it's very a flash. Subtle. Yeah. It's like a Jubilee bezel. Exactly. It's it's lot uh, it's a lot less uh, uh f- like in your face. But in pictures you look at it, they they make it so flashy. They, they make it look like uh um uh, like a disco ball, but in reality, it's it's actually very thin and fine. By the way, look at this. I, I'm not even sure how the this case back is attached because you can see here that oh maybe it's it's a three part. Um, the case back probably screws in on top. So you got like a sandwich block. You got the lugs. That attach to the under under case, and then the way the lugs are held is the the case back is screwed in on top of the lugs, and that's what keeps the lugs attached to the case. You see that? Look at this attachment oh, system, yeah. so crazy. Uh, we got Roly Mania. Look at this. Congrats on one thousand, Timmy. Uh, hashtag FRS free red shovel. We will not rest. We will not stop voicing our opinion until red shovel is free. Uh, Dr. Bob's nightmare. Philip K. Dick wrote all his books on speed. It's what killed him. The speed and his self fulfilling prophecy. You know what he left uh, in in his uh, in his passing. He has left some of the most Im- important fictional works uh, of our generation. L- literally, all of the like most of our sci-fi comes from uh, Philip K. Dick's uh, writing. Because it spawned Blade Runner, and then Blade Runner spawned other f- uh, fiction, and they're all kind of blended in, uh, and that's what a lot of fantasy nowadays is based on. So Philip K. Dick's freaking legend. Uh, Do Electric Sheep Dream? Wait, wait, wait. What, what's the what's the name of the the novel? Um, Do androids dream of electric sheep? Right. That's that's what the Blade Runner was based on. I actually had a collection of Philip K. Dick uh, Dick's writing, but I I had to sell it. I couldn't keep it, guys. It was a hundred and fifty dollar 
set of uh, of 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 books, but I just I just couldn't keep it. Couldn't justify it. It's too much. I had too much crap. Logging Gaze back is a one piece on that paddock. How can it be? Lugs and case. So, but how is it attached? I don't even understand. Uh, it looks to me, actually, it looks like uh, the lugs go underneath the case back. Or maybe they are attached, actually. See the way, look at this. I mean, it could they could be attached. Shit. If they're attached, so, wow. so then how the hell does this work? Huh. I don't see any screws. It better not be press fit. You know, other paddocks. Oh, maybe it's this. coming from the. No, it's. No, not, I mean it could no. be loaded from the top, because. What? It's screw down. Well, look, I I think it's not the same part. I mean, it could be, but it's just because of the way their other models are. So, for example, if if I open like this, even like this color travel, right? Oh, oh, sorry, sorry. So this one has the design, yeah. right? It's got the screw design, so you can yeah. fit like a like an opener. Okay, but they have other models. Uh, they have I think even not. yeah, like see this one. Is this six one one nine? This is not a. How is this closed? Let's see. Is it screwed down? I think it's screwed down. Click on the back. Uh. It looks screwed down uh, because it doesn't have uh, like you. It would no. have like a catch where you can put your put like a watchmaker's knife somewhere. It would have like a little flap over here, I think. But this looks screwed down. Actually, okay, let's not even look at this one because if we just open, oh, here we go. This is a perfect example. One of these, yeah. See this case back. Okay, look at this. I think. Okay, I think it's a screw down because even here you can see a very similar trend uh, where the lugs, like they kind of look like they're going underneath, right? There's a little bit of that optical illusion, but it's a screw down case. It just doesn't use any kind of a tool. Instead, it's screwed down with like one of those. Ball you know, paddock has these very special friction screws that you, you know you, you you put it on top and it uses it squeezes the watch and it turns the case back open it's like the bergeon number eight ball thing right that thing yeah like a ball thing exactly and that way you, you can design uh, kind of case backs uh uh you can design case backs without any kind of knurling or uh uh requirements for any type of specific specific tools so th that's why it's kind of surprising that uh these new releases right the what are they called those auto zones that they have this design on the case back to to open them what the hell why did they do this they screwed this up look at that unnecessary they should have kept it like smooth the way they done on on their other models. Hey, we got Aaron in the chat. Look at this! Congratulations on your one thousandth episode, Tim. That's so sweet. I don't think they use a, a rubber ball. It's a tool that they have. It kind of. No, no, look it up. Look it up. Look up the Bergeon number eight ball. It's actually pretty common. Bergeon number eight. Okay. Bergeon eight Ber ball. Okay. This scary Google search, so I'm just going to cover <laughs> it up. Okay. Okay. Berge genuine Bergeon. Here we go. Yeah. Okay. So it's, so it's actually a number eight. Yeah. Ball. Look at that third photo. There you go. Look at that. Boom. But I think uh, 
in in Paddock's case, it's an actual tool that sandwiches mm -hmm. the watch from both sides, yeah. and it, as it comes down, it also rotates. So it's like as you're pressing it, you're also rotating it. So then how do you take it out? You pry it open? No, it, it's just it's only the first like it just nudges it. Because remember, once you unscrew, it's it's only like if you're able to unscrew that first 10, 10 millimeters or something like that, you know, that, that really tight spot, the rest you can just unscrew using your hand. All right. So you, you just you need you need a little bit of friction to pop it loose. Once it's loose, you just finish it off yourself. Mm. That's why these things are quite uh, quite useful. Have you tried opening a case back using a ball? No, I don't want to vo void my warranty. Yeah, I actually uh, I helped a guy. I thought I, I thought I could replace something, uh, so I actually screwed up one of these mechanical watches. Back in the day, like a very long time ago, it was like a garbage watch. I opened them, I was like, oh shit, it's automatic. Never mind. <laughs> Pacific Turtle, have you guys uh, never seen a Paddock Philippe service on YouTube? Yeah, you can just Google those. There's a lot, there's a lot of videos. But yeah, let's keep going here. Sea Master, uh, that's uh, a Seaweed Master. Buckley got rid of his. It's hard. Oh shit! Look at this. Fifty thousand retail, solid gold, IWC perpetual calendar, going for twenty five thousand plus label. I mean, it's limited to thirty six pieces. You tell me that the watch market is not dead. You look at look at look at me in the face, and you tell me. Well, this is always a shitter. Yeah, you you need massive wrists for this thing. But you, if I mean, you have massive wrists, what a bargain, right? This is the watch that you buy to get a Pepsi the next day for fifty thousand. That's I a mean, mistake. 50, I mean, right? I, you could you could buy the Pepsi just for the loss. Buy two Pepsis for the oh, almost two. two. <laughs> yeah, remember Pepsi have fell fell in price as well. I'm, Tim, you should trade your Pepsi for a day date. You could trade your Pepsi for a birthier day date. I could do that, couldn't I? By the way, I, I actually know where to get a birthday day date if I wanted one. You don't want one? Well, when I I don't believe in birthier watches. But it's just a reason to get an old watch. Yeah, it's just an excuse. Think about it's it. It's just Tim. an excuse. It, it, it's a it's a it's a marketing strategy that that gray market has come up with in order to sell less than desirable condition watches okay because people will overlook certain in the in insufficiencies just because it's a birth year you know when you have two choices uh a day date that's your birth year but it ha doesn't have papers it, it just comes with service papers you know it's Pain in the ass, Eddie. No, no papers, just service papers, and it comes with like a shitty box. Or you can get 1991. That's perfect. Like which one? Like Eddie, what year were you born? 95. 95. Okay, let's say uh, you had a choice: 95 day date, but service papers and not not a very good box, or 96. That's in perfect condition. Which one would you go with? I just wait till the 95 pops up. Yeah, it doesn't work that way. Because new stuff always comes on sale. Things get sold. You could try and wait, but yeah. But it's a, it's a marketing strategy. See, I would have just gotten the, th the 36. Because trying to find that perfect day date, man, the, the gray market dealers will annihilate you yeah tim you should do a collection reveal on your thousands a thousandth stream Go, let's walk through all your watches oh yeah <laughs> oh, fuck my God. bless you bless you oh shit what is this 
the hell? Rumi just looks like she just left something here. Why did she do this? Sorry. Oh, you wanna you wanna go through my collection? Yeah. I have uh, I have my my big pieces here. Um, I'm gonna have to the smaller pieces. I'm gonna have to gather. But well, I don't care about your zodiac or your fucking Panerai, all that bullshit. That's fine. We don't need to see those. You don't care about my crap watches. Okay, yeah. fair enough. Fair enough. But hey, okay. So here we go. I'll show you what I've got. Whoops. Look at big, this. Screen, Tim. big screen. Tim. Big screen. Big screen. Make me big. Make me big. Okay, so I get my watch case here. Watch box. Wolf. 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 Watch box. Wolf. Oh. 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 Here we go. So my latest watch is the IWC. Does this count as a regular watch or is this garbage? Garbage. It's pretty garbage, but not even a display back, Tim. No, but uh, that's not necessarily a bad thing. By the way, decorated. By the way, before we go, before we go any further, I just want to go back really quick here to this IWC. Look at this banger. If this wasn't some bullshit black aces, I don't know what black aces is. Probably some kind of um, a what? Probably like a military pilot thing. Yeah, it's some kind of best pilots or. But if it was just regular with a regular six, no date, and this is in ceratanium, it's their ceramic titanium blend. This watch looks so nice. What do you mean ceramic titanium blend? I don't know. I don't even know how that even works, right? I wonder if it if you can like crack it or or it if it doesn't scratch. Because what's the the technical definition of ceramic is like something to do with the periodic table, like valence electrons. Really? No. Wait. I thought ceramic, ceramic was like. Like clay, some kind of uh, uh, like, uh, so like it, cement type of material. It's Did an you... inorganic, non-metallic solid made up of either. What the fuck does that mean? It's non-metallic. Non-metallic. Solid, non-metallic made, of either, it's made of either metal or non-metal compounds. What the <laughs> hell does that mean? All right, let's just ignore that for now. Yeah. Well, uh, the most important thing in that uh, in that phrase is that it's non-metallic. But titanium is metallic. Is titanium metallic? But you can powder. You can turn it into powder, can you? And then like blend it. So yeah, I'm not. Like, a, yeah. All right, we both of us don't know what the fuck we're talking about. Let's move on. <laughs> yeah, it's weird. We're not going to understand it. We're going to need a scientist on the show. But hey, look! Look how amazing this this thing looks. Just and, right, Tim, we gotta focus on your shitters. We gotta focus on your shitters. Oh, look at the loom shot! Look at the loom! Holy shit! That's pretty cool. You see that? IWC has the potential to make a perfect wash. They're just freaking refusing to do it, just out of spite. I think. They, they I think they don't like us. They don't like watch collectors. Hmm? Go back to the previous image. I want to see what color the hands are. Yeah. They should have, I think they missed an opportunity. They should have had the hands just blacked out. That that could have looked really nice because actually these hands don't have loom, right? So they filled it, filled them up with white material, but they didn't they made sure that that material is not loomed so then when it when it does when the dial is loomed up right it creates this outline the hands the way you tell the time is that there is a you know like a dead Inverted. space yeah it's backwards Marcel oh Marcel is about to light his restaurant on fire holy fool look at this Marcel is making a is that a steak no, it's not. Yes, it is. <laughs> Look at the fire. It's open flame. Lamb chop. Oh, it's a lamb chop. Ooh. Jeez. Sella is charring it up, baby. You know why he's doing that, right? Because he wants to get Let's the most. 
Yeah, he wants to sear it on the outside, and on the inside, it's going to be a nice and pink. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Sell a freaking legend, guys. Maybe that's what I'm gonna go for when I when I go to Japan for a nice lamb chop that would hit the spot. But back on this watch, I feel like they should have had non-white hands because then it also makes it more. Hands. You have the contrast of the daylight, and you also have the contrast with the loom. It would have it, it would have looked really nice, I think, if they did that. A missed opportunity. All right, Tim, what are your next watches? I'm only here for 27, 17 more minutes. 17 more minutes. Okay. My next watch? I don't know what's going to be my next watch. No, no, your next watch in your collection. Oh, okay. Here we go. Here we go. Next watch in my collection. Uh, Tudor. Black Bay 54. I haven't fully paid this this one out yet. Boom. I'm going to have to make the next next payment sometime this month. Uh, first, I'm going to take care of rent. Then I'm going to pay make the payment for the tutor then i'm gonna buy the tickets for la and does it have the t-fit clasp on that it's got the new yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Nice. it's really nice Look at nicer that. than the glove so, uh no it's not because uh they made it a little bit less technically advanced so you'll notice so it's got the same kind of flap it's a safety flap but the flap ha has no friction you see it just flops yeah it, it, rolex there's a little bit more friction and it it opens with a little bit more uh i don't know it 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 feels higher tighter, quality tighter okay yeah and then there is no so you see this little the, this little thing this knob yeah it's directly attached to the buckle so unlike in rolex yeah the rolex has a mechanical fit and then Tudor uses ceramic ball bearings, ceramic, ceramic things. No, it's not even that. You see, in the Rolex, this part here lifts up. Lift up. Yeah. See, it's mechanical. So you, yeah. when you open it, it's got a little hook, and when you close it, it close. And then yeah. look, look at the the clasp. See, it doesn't. See, it's got friction. I can actually. Yeah, it's held tighter. It feels a lot more, more like a, a lot higher quality. Yeah, because the the two to one just has those spring loaded ceramic balls on there that hold it in place. So if you just tug on the clasp, it will open. Oh, you you. It's actually very tough to open it from here. Like if you if you try yeah. to pull it here, leverage. it's very tough. So people say flip pull, that pull open the and then just pull here. Yeah, it opens up. But as you can see. This part is attached. I wish that they made this part mechanical so it kind of goes up or and down, just like uh, on the Rolex. But oh well, it's still it's still better than any 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 other buckle on the market. Surprisingly, uh, you know, uh, then the the only better one is Rolex. So this like Rolex is number one, and this is like my number two most favorite mm. buckle, and it's got glide lock obviously on the underside. Teeth, so you can teeth. pull this. Look how much. Got a Ten lot of room meter. there. One centimeter. You see that? It's like five, uh, five, uh, five, five points of adjustment. So yeah, ten centi Probably one ten centimeter, centi ten millimeters. So half of half of the submariners. Ha uh, a little bit more than half. I would say like sixty percent. Okay. Okay. Next yeah. watch, Tim. Next watch. Here we go. As the tutor, love the tutor. If I had to keep only one tutor, I think this is the best one for me. The speedy, obviously, on the rubber strap. I need okay, to I get the bracelet, <laughs> actually, the replacement. Remember, I sold the bracelet from this watch. Why? I needed money. And do you want to get the new bracelet with the micro adjustment? Mm-hmm. Okay. It's more expensive. $250 more expensive, but I think it's going to be worth it. Fair enough. It's nice. I like the rubber, too. I haven't... I, I'm not... I don't think if... I. The problem with uh, with that metal brace, and I don't think even if I buy it, I don't think I'm gonna wear it. 
even with the micro adjustment. It's the most bullshit micro adjustment I've ever seen. It's like an easy. It's like an easy link. No, it's less. It's half an easy link. Well, wow. it's really small. An easy link, I think, is like three three millimeters or four. Five. I think is like two. Oh wow! All right, next All right, watch. So, tip. so that was the speedy. Love the speedy. Hashtag speedy Tuesday. Today is actually speedy Tuesday. But put it on, Tim. I'll put it on. Oh, by the way, what am I wearing? Panda Daytona. Flex. Flex. Unfortunately, yeah. Unfortunately, yeah. The biggest flex is that I got this retail for my 30th birthday. That's the biggest flex. That's why I think I can't, I could never get rid of that. Then I got the Grossman, obviously. Showed this one already, but let's do a close-up. That's a nice watch. Wow. Yeah, and this dial. I, I wish I wish I had it in the rose gold. If I had it in rose gold, I don't think I would ever sell it. How much does the rose gold go for retail? Ten, uh, 46000 Oh, damn. Okay, so like 50% more than you pay. It's too expensive. The Pepsi. Uh, man, the roommate loves this one. Pepsi is nice. Pepsi. Actually, sometimes I usually look at it as a really dull light. I don't know what's going on right now. Some kind of a really nice sudden, uh, sudden good lighting in the in the house. Looks good. Yeah, looks good. My first one, my first Rolex sub forty, with fat, fat chunky lugs. Got to keep that watch. The bezel, ah, uh, how nice is that sound? All right, Rolex knows how to make a nice bezel sound. Explore two second, second Rolex I've ever gotten. This like, is sweet. Look how long that minute hand is. Right? It's and it's blacked out. I, I like it that it's blacked out. The new ones are not the same. You know, the the new the new Explorer 2s, I would go for, for the black dial. They just don't seem as full of life. This one, you know, the glossy hands. You know, I know you can't see it like this, but side by side, you, you will notice how much more like how much how lifeless uh, the new ex polar explorer feels but you know it's got improvements right it's got the new movement a little bit of better maybe finish on the on the case but i still like this one if you guys if you guys have a choice uh save a couple of thousand get this one smaller uh, smaller bl uh, bracelet and a clasp on this one as well nice nice then I've got the Panerai. Oof. You don't like it? It's It wears so nice. I need to put it back on the rubber. It's summer. So I have I have really I haven't been wearing the, the Panerai because I I switched it to to this uh black tie leather strap. And I haven't been wearing it. See that? That's a, this is a really nice Miami kind of going uh, swimming in the middle of the ocean piece. With the leather strap? No, not the leather strap. When it's not on a leather strap. But it is nice, right? Oh, shoot. Look at this. We got some legends joining us. <laughs> Moldred. How are we doing? Congrats on Alan, it's been a minute. How are you? Just... Hey, I'm just going uh, through my watch collection with uh, with Eddie. He has to leave soon, so you'll take his spot. You got time? Oh, no. What, what is this? You got an unboxing? Unboxing? Can do an unboxing for you. Oh. oh. All right. So, look, just really quickly, I, Eddie, I got two more here. There's the Air King and oh, the Thurman. Yeah, you've seen this garbage before. 
What's this new? What's this new one? What size box is it? Is it a medium box? It's the Guinness. It's the Guinness. It's the Guinness. Oh, Ooh. did the Explorer too? That's the new one. Literally just mentioned you'd get the Explorer two black dial. Boom. Oh, there you go. Take it out of the case. Take it out of the case. Show something because uh, uh, the box is blocking the sunlight. Let's see this thing. When did you get this? So I got it on Thursday. Well, is it for your birthday? No, no. I literally, I just popped into the AD just to see if my Daytona is still cooking. And Daytona. do you Damn. want to explore it while you're here? Why not? Daytona, it's you, nice. you ask uh, the new one, the new Panda. Ooh. What, what, what do you think about that black dial? So when I, I was uh, in uh, in Miami, actually, let me bring this up. I was in Miami when I went to meet Mathis, right? So I had a chance to play with his, and there's this is the new the new version, new one. slightly adjusted. I love the polish on the uh, on the hands and uh, and the glossy dial, like it, it makes makes it look so crazy modern. Whereas uh, the the version that Mathis has actually has a matte dial. Let's see, I, I wasn't able to really capture. I think in this picture you can kind of see it, but the dial is matte. Look at those ghost the, hands. Yeah, and he has ghost hands. So there's quite a, quite a significant difference there between between the old and the new one. So it's even in, what's yeah. quite interesting though is um, yeah. I needed another link for it. Obviously, massive wrists, and the James Cameron Deep Sea is the same link. Really, same link, yeah. Damn. So luckily, I have one here. Stick it straight on. How yeah. you feel? How you? How do you feel about that watch? No, it's a really underrated model. Really underrated. I mean, I, I mentioned that I was thinking about getting rid of my Planet Ocean mm -hmm. and my Breitling, and I was looking at a tritium dial Explorer Two. Um, and yeah. Oh, like a forty. Well, yeah, they might be a little too small for you. Yeah, but then she said, "Why have the the used one when?" If you want a new one, and just pull it out of the case, it's literally out the back for existing clients only. Do you want Damn. this one? So, because how, how do you say no to that? You can't say no. Yeah, you? yeah. just like you gotta buy it. It's, it's an enthusiast it. watch. I really, man, I I like the Explorer it? too so much. It's I'm it's never selling mine, by the way. It's, it's nicknamed the Caveman, which is quite cool. It's quite the cool Caveman. It's for oh, is that is that the nickname? So, yeah, the nickname is the caveman. Yeah, I like that. I want the Explorer two and forty two whites, and put it on a green NATO strap. Ooh. On a NATO strap. I saw a date just Wimbledon on a green rubber B strap. That looked amazing. The green Ooh. picked up in the dial with the green strap. Yeah. So cool. Oh, well. Yeah, it was it just the line or the but full green strap? Full, full green, the same color as the indices. And then, you know, with that Wimbledon dial, it just it looked really cool. Thank you, yeah. Dave. It's not a day date. Sorry. Yeah, Moffat, <laughs> when are you getting a day date? You need to get a day date. Oh, well, I'm not a rapper. No, no, no. That's okay. Neither, neither is everyone else. I don't need a rapper's watch from I, I think, uh, Moffat, you need to get the Aston Martin before you get the day date. <laughs> No, you get the Aston, you have to have the Bond watch, right? Oh, the start. Well, Bond watch is, shit, or two is a perfect Bond watch. <laughs> well, I mean, if you get a vintage sub, then uh, like a 1680. Yeah. That'd be a yeah maybe. 1680 would be nice. One of my so, friends has a DB4 Super Legera. Nice. Did you see that video Paul Thorpe did the other day with um, the guy from the car place? And he had three Astons. Uh, no, one no, of them was really, one of them was really nice. Yeah, yeah, one one would take my fancy, but it's wrong color. It needs to be gray. Which Aston was it? Uh, it was a DB nine. I mean, those are pretty. Those are pretty good prices now. Right now, in the UK, you get them for like forty thousand pounds. Yeah. Hey, let really me just use the restroom real quick. I'll be right back before before you Eddie before you leave. Okay. Then you have all the Aston Aston issues. But you can get those in in the UK. In the UK, there's a lot of manual Aston DB nines. I wouldn't want a manual one. I wouldn't want what? it. No. You don't want the driving experience? Uh, auto. I'm getting old now. I don't want fucking years. But, uh, yeah. 
No, fuck that. Put it in drive and go. No. What about like why did why the DB nine? Why not like um actually I want a vanquish. That's that's what yeah I'm the new van well, yeah the new vantage looks really good too. Not the new like the original the original vanquish with the square of your headlights. Yeah. So my father in law worked for Aston Martin um right up until they moved production to Gaydon. So he worked okay. in Newport Pagnell. Um and he built all the engine blocks for the Astons. So it'd be really nice to get one of the last kind of 06 regs. Yeah. And fingers crossed. Have his name on it. That's the that's the plan to hunt for the right one. If I can find it, you never know. It's not the end of the world if it's not got his name on it. But it would, <laughs> it would be pretty cool. You can ask them who's the guy that built the block. I don't know you said. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like. This. So you have to at that point you test the quality of his workmanship if it keeps yeah, breaking. Just like, bring it back to him. Like we got some problems. Yeah, here, that's it. <laughs> Fuck the warranty! I'm bring it straight to you. No, I mean, luckily I can fix it. That's not the end of the world. Do you think he could fix it? I mean, he probably no, no. He was just a machiner. He so he machined the blocks. Uh, um, but well, he's not, he's probably know the thing of thing or two about it. Mm, nah. <laughs> nah. Who cares? Oh, so the new, so the new pandas on your list. What else is on your list? New panda uh, OP celebration dial for the other half. Okay, because she, you, she has the Tiffany already, so she yeah, wants. Let me have the Tiffany one. Yeah, so she wants is it a 31, 31, right? Or 36. Okay. 36. So, yeah, she kind of wants the, the pair to yeah. finish that, close that part of the collection off. So, yeah, I think she she tried on a Pave dial day date the other day. I was just like, oh my God, that's amazing. Yeah. So, oh, I, don't I, don't <laughs> I don't think I have a picture. It's expensive. She tried it, she tried it on, it was 50,000. Like, Holy shit. Yeah. Holy shit. No, I'm didn't. back. What was 50,000? Pave Dial Diamond Indices Day Day. Oh, you know, one of the viewers has that. It's, it's, the it's nice. White gold? No, with this the, was the uh, yellow gold. Oh, yellow gold. It was a Pave with the Pave. rainbow indices? Not with, with the normal indices, with the diamond indices, Pave Dial and Fluted Bezel, non Diamond E. Oh, this works of art, man. <laughs> what money? By the what? way, uh, uh, AP, right? AP released a whole bunch of those type of uh, row oaks last night. We didn't even actually go through them all, right? Because there were these. Look at this. This is the 37 mil pave. Look how these were done. This is so impressive because. They're not following any like particular pattern. Instead, this is this looks like the diamonds are set at random, but they're really not. Let me see if I can zoom in. Look at this. Right? Like there's big diamonds every once uh, once in a while, and then there's small diamonds. Let me see. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make this image even bigger. A very interesting way that uh, AP has done this. 37 mil case. Yeah. But 20, 20 meters water resistance. Look at that. It's pretty crazy, right? So they're almost... expensive as fuck to repair as it is. How, how much more expensive is that to repair when it fucking breaks? Oh. Because <laughs> all I hear is stories of APs just keep breaking. Like Red Shovels yeah. has been backwards, forwards, backwards, forwards. Well, actually, we, we did have some good news from uh, from AP. Cars and Chrono was on two days ago. He said that it's been two weeks and his AP is still working after service. That's fantastic. <laughs> Till he gives it to you, of course, and then it fucking won't work for long after that, will it? Oh yeah, that's... <laughs> for some reason, it just uh, it just breaks. It's just as soon. <laughs> Uh, Dr. Bob's Nightmare wanted me to pull up a picture of him for Dingo. There you go. Thank you. Good night, Dingo <laughs> Dave. Thank you. But yeah, this was it's a lot of pave right now. They're trying to steal the business from the from the diamond district. They're like, guys, we don't want you making pa uh, we don't want you making pavés. 
We'll do it. We'll do it for you. And we'll charge you full price, yeah. fuckers. They know how to charge. Yeah. Where are you now? Are you back in the UK? Are you still in the States? Not back in the UK now. Oh, okay. I'm traveling around for a little bit. I did wonder, is only Tim's crazy enough to be up at this time in the, in the US? Yeah, Tim's doing his 24 hour stream. 24 hour stream. Well. 24 hours. We're gonna that have some brave, help. That's brave, isn't it? <laughs> Starting at 5 a.m. New York times, brave. Yeah. I think maybe fun. maybe by midnight you're, you're passing out. It's fun times, you know. I like <laughs> I like doing this stuff. I like talking to people and it this is a good opportunity to kind of catch up and, and talk to people like you saw Sam D. Yeah. Joined the uh, earlier today. It's cool to say hello to Sam D. You're back. Like I haven't talked to you in the freaking forever. I, you caught me Where off. Where the hell have you been? I'm off work. I'm off work. Uh, to be fair, man, I've just been working. Working hard. Yeah. 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 Working really hard. How, how's Little your back? Changes. Yes, it's You're... getting better. So huh. where are we now? Maybe September, July. Um, I got an infection and caught sepsis. Mm -hmm. And was very close to dying. Very, very close. I got rushed in with like hours to go, um, delirious. And yeah, had a big abscess cut out the inside of my leg and took about six weeks to recover. Jeez. Um, which gave my back a really good time to heal. So it's just, I'm kind of getting there. Yeah, I'm like 90%. It's really good. It's like, uh, oh, one disease might have sent uh, saved you from another one. It, it kind of forced me to stop, you know. Um, yeah, it forced you to actually stop. Well, this is uh, it. I slipped. I slipped the disc, carried yeah. on. Slipped another three discs, still oh. carried on, just taking morphine and painkillers. But morphine, yeah. morphine. So now you got to go back to AD and just let her know that you know life's short and you really need this Panda Daytona sooner rather than later. I got an explorer to shut the fuck up and stop pestering. That's, that's <laughs> just, just, just shut the fuck up. Take this. Shut up. <laughs> I'm going to give you a shout. <laughs> Dude, like on you, you have fucking massive wrists. Yeah, yeah that looks like a 40 on, on your wrist. It's hard with the camera straight. It fits well. Such a nice it's watch. Nice. It it's really nice. thin. Uh, what else have I got here? Johnny O, $5 super check. Congratulations on 1000 Thank you, Johnny. <laughs> When you have time, Johnny, feel free to hop on the stream. The link, guys, is pinned in the chat. And we got Diego M saying congrats on 1,000 and on making over 70,000 Thai bot last night. I don't know what how much that is, but that's freaking impressive. Thank you, Diego. Ooh, that's a, oh, that's a mistake right there. That's what this you're holding. Up. I have to sell this one. I like yeah. it, but it has to go. He has to go now. Because once once you compare something like that to a Rolex, you start to understand why Rolex makes watches that are a lot more wearable. Like that it's, thing, twice the thickness, right? Yeah, but it's not comparable to a Rolex, though, is it? It's it is what it is. It's it's a big Amiga. Yeah, it's a big chunk. It shows how fat it is. It actually looks really. Oh, ew. See, all, the way you showed it like this, kind of head on, it looked, it looked, it looked good, but the it's thickness. That, that's just, the view, yeah. yeah that. <laughs> that's just, it's a big watch. It's but way too thick, yeah. Doesn't look massive. Frick, it's actually, the, the orange bezel is nice. You know, I was one it's time at an Amiga a service center, and uh, there was a guy who was trying to get a, I think, a white dial or a black dial put in into this that, that watch. Yeah. But he didn't have it as a chrono. Why did you get it as a chrono? They only do the gray dial as a chrono. Oh, I think that's I why he was that, trying. I wanted that gray dial. The camera yeah. doesn't want to focus. It's shocking. Yeah, you paid full retail for this? No. <laughs> no. Discount? Yeah. But from AD, right? <laughs> Whoa. Sergio, nine 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 twenty thousand NGNs for some coffee. After all, will be a long cele and celebratory stream. Happy one thousand! Thank you, Sergio. Actually, at ten o'clock in like two hours, 
uh, I hope Mark is going to hop on the stream. He'll, uh, he'll, I'll let him run the show. I'm gonna go take you guys for coffee. We'll get coffee together. Take you guys on a little road trip. We'll get coffee together. Thank you, Sergio. I'm actually drinking uh, Diet Coke. It's got caffeine in it. Helps me wake up. Mm. Wait, and that was a speedy. Speedy, now, it's true, so, isn't it? Now you verified for us that you can actually put the rubber strap on the speedy. The moonshine strap. On yeah. The speedy. The moonshine. To be fair, I've I haven't put this back on the bracelet since I put it on the moonshine. It's just that's what I'm saying. You know, I sold my so bracelet, good. and I'm thinking, I'm thinking I should buy it back because it's a metal bracelet. It's I'm gonna have the extension, but like it's so nice on the rubber. It's the best rubber. On the market. Amiga straps. <gasps> <laughs> I don't have an Amiga. Bar that Planet Ocean. There's the bracelet. There you go. There you go. Is it for Back sale? No. <laughs> no. Uh, Sammy D, 10 pounds. Thanks for having me on earlier. Sammy D, you're always welcome on the show. Whenever you, you, have some, you feel like you have something to say, a story to share, a new watch to unbox. Feel free to hop on and uh, do it together with us. And have a beer on me. Thank you. I will, actually. I'm going to try to buy a bottle on the way home. Do you want to, do you want to see some other cool bits and pieces, too? Yeah, let's see some more cool Ooh, stuff. What? This is, this was, this, look at this. Oh. You got a Rolex umbrella? What the fucking umbrella? Did you get that oh. when you bought the Explorer? With the Explorer. Oh, my with God. Still, what? Still. Fucking umbrella. Wow. I, you know you've made it when you got the umbrella, right? Actually, the, umbrella. the roommate has been telling me to buy an umbrella because my umbrella got stolen. Not a, I didn't have a Rolex umbrella. I had regular umbrella. Oh, and what is this? I've never seen a box like that. Is your pen? Oh! Wow. The boutique or one of the chains? <laughs> Eddie, I can't tell you that you're too close to me. You're too close. <laughs> that looks freaking nice. The you want this box? Wow. You know, I have a Rolex pen, but it's uh, it's like a plastic one. I really want that steel one. Well, you want to sell? You want to sell that one? Nope. Damn it! Not have Is that a pen case? How much stuff did they give you? I have. I have to... no, this is not all the same time. This is. Oh, okay. It's over time. That's a that's a pen case, or is that a cigar hole? It's a pen case. It's a pen case. Pen case. Yeah. Nice. So, Man, I know, that... like a lot of the family ads have more like advertisement spending that they must do. Like for example, the ad in up north, they like brought all of, they brought a lot of guests out to like Wimbledon, Silverstone, Scottish Open. This, this is the only thing I'm getting, even from a platoon. Only this. <laughs> Bloody camera. Marcelo got. What, what did you get? You got the that clock. <laughs> got the rag. <laughs> Is that Mo's rag? Well, I have already be happy. six of them. You should be happy. You got you got a platona, man. Yeah. Yeah. See, I I have the this plastic one. Let me show you. This this is heavy. It's really nice. Yeah, really nice. So okay, let me show you. Let me show you one second. One second. All right, so check this out. See, so, yeah, so I got this one a really long time ago. I forgot with with, with what, but you see, I, I have this, this Rolex pen. Yeah, I have that. It, it's bullshit because plastic. It's plastic. plastic. Yeah, it's plastic. So I don't even feel like using it. Uh, I'm have gonna it. gonna give it to someone or or sell it. Two, or... two of these two. Yeah, <laughs> I know, right? Because because I really want actually the one the one that you got. Because look, see, my normal pen. This is my my go to pen that I carry with me everywhere. Right. This is a Parker. It looks like it looks kind of like yours, right, Malthred? Yep. yep. But you got the Rolex, so I need to uh, I need to replace this one. 
with the with the with the likes of yours. So yeah, so I'm willing to trade this plus cash for wh whoever wants to do it <laughs> for a sky dweller pen. Yeah. For a sky dweller, it's, like, it's a sky. It is a sky dweller one because the, the, those are like the, the sky. The the bezel, sky no, no, no. The bezel has like the three clicks. It turns oh, all it's very hard to see. Really, it actually that, clicks. Um, Shut yeah. the hell yeah. up! No way. Yeah. It serves no purpose. Doesn't it do just, anything. But it just clicks. It just, it just turns because obviously what? the whole the whole pen turns to bring. Damn. To but yeah, you have the sky dweller. Fuck, that's nice. Yeah, it's got cool. If you want to go into pens, I'll go grab Mrs. Malthrow's pen collection. Oh, we'll do that later. <laughs> when, we're, when we're desperate, we can we can be we can be here a while with pens, Jesus. Yeah, no. But usually, pe pens are a stream killer. But hey, we got look at this. We got Boston Collector in the chat. Cheers, gentlemen. Good morning. Good morning, sir. Uh, we got uh, Sergio saying Marcelo has a platona. He can never complain about the cloth. Wait, Marcelo has a platona. He when does. Did he get that? You know that? No, no, no. When did he get that? It it, we try to keep it a secret. We don't. Oh. We, yeah, he doesn't. He's trying to be on the DL with that information. He doesn't like to, you know, the man doesn't like to brag. I'm, what are you going to do? Man. He's a subtle man. Yeah. Classy guy. Classy as they come. <laughs> Boston Collector says Rolex Ben writes in the same green ink as the US. It should, shouldn't it? It really should. Yeah. Uh, Rolex. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Uh, a waterman's pen, yeah, those are nice, but um, is Matt? yeah, Matt, it, it's really cool. You got that, so you got that one. Uh, when did you get the, the Rolex pen that was ages with ages ago. the Explorer? No, ago. no, 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 I got the umbrella with the Explorer, which was pretty cool. Ah, so that was <laughs> but yeah, no, a long time ago. Okay, well, yeah, that's a really before. nice pen. I did have the aftershave. Oh, yeah, I got the aftershave. Uh, looks like you have a bottle of Dolce and Gabbana. Oh, no, what is... Oh, you got the Rolex fragrance, too? Yeah, I got the his and hers, but I don't know where the, the other one is. I think she's Sorry. using it. She's used it. How does it smell? Is it any good? It's okay. Yeah. All right, guys, I got to go. Hey, Eddie, thank you so much. Be careful out there, okay? Yes, yeah, we'll nice. see. We'll see you in twelve hours. I don't know when you before before you go to sleep. Yeah, he's crazy. He is a crazy guy. Eddie, 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 what a guy! Hello? But yeah. Oh, wait. Well, let's see. What is this? Oh, the Omega. You know the, the Omega. Omega. Really bad. The Omega fragrance at the shop. It felt too synthetic. It, yeah, I'm not Very a fan of this one. I haven't, I haven't like used it? this one. No, no, I haven't used it. No, me neither. Me neither. The Aqua mm. Terra. The I've Aqua got her. Um, oh no! Got, yeah. When I got married, I bought her a Speedy for the wedding. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it's free. They give you. They give it to you as a gift. Yep. Oh, that's good. And I bought, I did, well, <laughs> I did buy a wedding ring from Amiga. Oh. And there was a cock up, and the ring didn't arrive. It should have been delivered, and it didn't get delivered. So, in the end, they had another ring ordered. They urgently sent it to the wedding venue, yeah. along with a bottle of champagne and some luggage tags, just as a way of, you know, really sorry. Oh. It was close to call, but in the meantime. It still I arrived on time, ring. right? It just, yeah. But in the meantime, I bought another ring, which was done. And, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, That's Boston Collector says, guys, upvote, let's get this stream to 500. That would be insane. I don't think it's possible, though. But keep upvoting, guys. Mm, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. So what else have you been up to? Working. Just work. Just working? Just work. Just work. Work, work. Working sucks, man. Yeah, <laughs> you gotta work. I've had two weeks off now. This is my second week off. Oh, okay. um, I, we were going to go away, but Jaden started a new school, mm -hmm. and their term dates were fucked. 
So he started last Thursday, mm -hmm. which kind of stopped me going away. So oh, I see. I see. Didn't plan that very well. You know? Yeah, but you know, you, you had a good trip to Venice. It's yeah, fun. it was nice. It was nice. Yeah, it was good. Yeah. Was did good. you see it? Did you see Diego? List, so. I didn't see Diego there, no. He was, no, no, but there. you see. Oh, uh, when Diego he, went. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's kind of in your footsteps. He was following yeah. in your footsteps. Some people are sheep and others are shepherds, eh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, careful, careful. Thing is, yeah, the thing is how much it cost Diego to go to Venice compared to how much it cost me to go to Venice. Oh, yeah, it's for you. It's just it's a, a flight once in a lifetime on. trip, isn't it? It's like me going to Miami. Yeah. Yeah, it's once in a lifetime trip for Diego where I could fly today to Venice for like 200 pounds. It's not the end of the world. By the way. Uh, now, now that I visited the Mathis in Miami, I, I really, I really didn't want to go it, because I was so tired after oh, after Miami's DC. Cool, Miami is so cool. But now, now I'm addicted. Like I, I want to go more often. I hope Mathis will will let me stay with him <laughs> more often. I want to go for a couple of days. Stay on the boat. Stay yeah. on the boat. Uh, actually, he has a nice place. Yeah. I, I slept at his place. Uh, it's perfect. I could I could do a couple of streams from from his location. Yeah. I'm down. See, I didn't realize Mathis is in Fort Lauderdale, and we stayed in Miami. Yeah, and it's still quite a drive. It's an hour or so for Mathis to get to Miami. Yeah, yeah. I think next and time I go, I'll stay more local to Fort Lauderdale. I'm aiming for yeah. next summer. Next summer, hopefully. Fort Lauderdale. It's less less people. It's, nice. it's might be even actually cheaper. It's just as good. Miami. It's it's just got the prestige and the, like the high end. But you know that the art district, it's like in between the Fort Lauderdale. Yeah. yeah. So well, you still... I think there's there's still a gap between Fort yeah, Lauderdale and then the, yeah. the art district's on the top of Miami and then you come down. I mean, You're right. honest, there's, there's nowhere like South Beach. Is there. It's amazing. Yeah, that, South that Beach is. Going. Fucking awesome. I'm pining for Miami. Yeah, I miss it. I miss it so nice. I think it's, I mean, we, we did Orlando and I wasn't a fan of Orlando. Orlando was not. I, would, I don't think I'd go back to Orlando. Obviously, NASA was really good. Canaveral was really good. But yeah, Miami was just, yeah, it was amazing. Yeah. I get it. Two you know what I, want? Miami was, I should have had two weeks in Miami. But you, you know what I want to do before it's too late is take the roommate to a water park, like a Six Flags kind of a water park. <laughs> adventure I, I i just want to go by myself i haven't been there for a long time and after spending a day in miami you know jumping from a boat into into the ocean i'm like man i have yeah. you been to disney uh, no i've never been to yeah. disney but i've been to like six flags see i didn't want to do disney that was the one thing i didn't want in just now did you do it or no? No, 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 no. The closest we got was um, the guy, one of the guys I was with. We we took a I wrong turn good, and ended though. up at Animal Kingdom entrance, and fucking, I was freaking out. I didn't want to be anywhere near it. Just oh, I see. Place. Yeah, it's expensive. Just yeah. you, you pay, and then you just keep paying the whole time you're in there. Just they find every way to milk every penny out of you. It's, it's, oh, yeah. at Disney? Yes. Fucking. We took we took Jaden to Euro Disney when he was five four or five and if i i could imagine disney world would be the same but it, every corner is something to extract fucking money out of your pocket it's amazing it's a yeah. business <laughs> it's a, yeah, it's, well it's a very dude, lucrative business it's it, uh it's yeah. not but it's not just it's not just disney you know it's it's even like 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 games i i, I downloaded mm. some kind of a sim video game like games are over you know there's no yeah. more there's no more video games out there. Every video, like I freaking love video games. I've been watching some 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 games from from the past, and actually, you know, I I, ha I have a few games kind of for PlayStation, but like for a mobile, there's no more yeah. normal games out there. It's all just cash extraction machines. I downloaded like a Sim City thing, and I thought, oh, building a city that's gonna be fun, like the yeah. good old days. Nope. It's just all pay to, hey, pay to you have, have to this. buy these things to speed up time. It's just like oh yeah. fuck this, <laughs> deleted it. I don't have games anymore. <laughs> it's it's fine, I shouldn't be. You know what? But I shouldn't even be playing games. I should be, uh, you know, 
do, doing work, stuff for my streams. Yeah. Do the videos. Make the yeah, videos. videos or, or work towards, you know, I, I spent some time making mm. uh, these these mugs for for you guys. Pretty funny stuff. I, I, I want to do more, like, art. Yeah, this is, uh, you know, commercial, but I... This, this I, was I, the best one, though. Oh, this was the best one, dude. That was actually I didn't realize he was gonna get like I was just trying to help. <laughs> I said like, listen, all the pro. I'm gonna make sure to yeah, all the proceeds will go to you. No, he got really furious at me for doing that. <laughs> he was trying to undermine. Was like, Everyone was trying to undermine him, weren't they? Fucking hell, Jeez. he couldn't see help at the end of his fucking nose. Jeez, man. And people. Oh, it's what, I can, what I can do. It's not, you, you're, you're only human. You can only do so much, Alan. Yeah, I helped and had two dicks in both ears. Fuck it. I got one dick. You got two yeah, dicks. I got double dicked. I got off double easy. Dick. I got off easy, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> double dicked. Double dicked. <laughs> The adventures. I love this show. <laughs> one one last mug left, guys. So if anybody wants to pick it up, it's your last. You need to edit that price though, because it's fucking twenty eight. Yeah, I know. It's the markup. Fucking Jesus. It's the streamyard markup. This is a sample Good. size, eight bucks. I don't want. I, it's, if I made it eight bucks, you know that there would be people who would bought like two or three. Yeah. That's why I listed it. I made it like, hey, let's just make it super expensive so that if people get it, they're going to be like, yeah, I'm just getting one. Because I, I was but like, if you how made it slightly cheaper, if you made it, if you made it 17 bucks and people still bought two, you still yeah. make more money. No, but I, I don't like, I don't want these. This is, these are not really for making money. Like maybe this one is kind of because actually. If you guys buy this one, I'm gonna send a portion to the guy who created the art for me. Uh, because this gent, look, look, look at the work that was done. <laughs> All right, this is a lot of effort. I mean, this probably took him a day. Good time. That shaved, that shaved head one too. <laughs> yeah, you can see here. Much, I go from nice. Th this was probably the best hair I had. It's right here. Yeah. See, look, look at that. Look, it's, I had a perfect hair, and then once I cut it, it it never grew back <laughs> correctly. It was just always messed up since then. And now it looks like fucking straw. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> the pink. Oh my days. Disaster. Oh my days. Oh man, I remember those shoes. They're the ones you could peel the peel the pieces off, weren't they? Yeah. Yeah. The yeah, good time. They're expensive now, hard to get. Oh, no, no impossible. Impo they don't make them anymore. I, I, think, I think you can still get them on stock X. Oh, stock X, really? Yeah. Yeah. Size, uh, size 10 and a half? Probably every size. Check them, check stock X. You go up, stock X uh, have everything. Go up the price, right? If I, yeah, if I bought X. like two pair, save one, and then. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what their names are. I, I'll check. I'll, I might check like later in the future. Yeah. Boston Collector Tim, have you uh, have you been to Six Flags New England? Uh I'm not sure. See Google. I don't think it's no maybe. Maybe. Let's see. Six Flags. No, I think I've been to this one. I think the one in New Jersey. Because that's the closer one. Wild Safari. Runaway train, Six Flags Great Adventure. Yeah, I think I've been to this one. Hard to see. I, it's like there's no way. Oh that, yeah, that's, definitely that's this one. Fucking day of hell for me, guys. <laughs> Yo, I took. By the way, I took the roommate on this thing. The this is like the tall. I think it was like the tallest roller coaster. Uh, in in the world for like a short time. See, maybe I have a better picture. She literally started crying on on the way up. Yeah, don't blame her. I might have a picture, picture or a video. Hey, hey Kimbo! 
Morning. Kimbo. Oh, nice t-shirt there. Tim Wright merch. <laughs> <laughs> the worst quality. I'll get, you know, if I had time to spend designing, like I could come up with some amazing design because like that t-shirt, th that's the, the concept, right? Like th it's a good concept because this is what I had in my head. Uh, an Everest kind of going through the Explorer 1 dial uh, with like a sunrise. But I just had like... I mean, it was good. Just the t-shirt's bad. <laughs> the t-shirt quality is bad, yeah. I'll improve on it. We'll we'll improve on it. Probably like in the next in the next uh, one thousand episodes, we're gonna we're gonna fix it, make it perfect. But yeah, how are you doing? How are you doing there? Just eating breakfast. So thought I'd join eating you guys. breakfast. Yeah. Very cool. Very cool. By the way, uh, what what are you having for breakfast? Mark is is big breakfast guy. Oh. Overnight oats. <sighs> Overnight oats. Yep. Got some granola in here. I usually have fruit in here, but we ran out of fruit. So I want to be fruit. This is the healthy stuff. That's the new trend, right? The overnight oats. So, do you actually just take a packet of oats, soak it in in water, or is did you soak it in milk? Uh, I'm using soy milk. Soy milk. And soy milk. So I'm up in my soyness. Um, we get like a big tub of we get like a big tub of overnight oats. Of oats. Are they just regular oats, or they have to be a special no oats? For uh, we got steel cut. Steel cut. That's it. Yep, it's you delicious. Add sugar delicious. in there, or or just mm, the soy milk kind of has sugar in it, so oh, I oh, like soy sausage, milk. eggs, mushrooms, toast. Yeah, I, I do English. miss that. I do miss full English. <laughs> I do miss the sausage, eggs. Yeah, that's but a this, pure. Brew. I tell you what, I miss what I really, Tim. You could post this to me. Mm -hmm. McDonald's breakfast burrito. Oh my days! That might survive oh, the the, so the shipping. I have They're some today. So, but if you sh if you shipped it, like next day, yeah, I could just warm it up. They don't sell it here in the UK. They don't sell it. Yeah, they're good. I they, they're so good. McDonald's breakfast sausage burrito is so good. Spicy yeah. eggs, the sausage, the cheese. And the best part, part, the price. Yeah, they're cheap. Well, they're like dollar twenty or like something. Three. Yeah. I, I might get myself uh, two sausage burritos and a coffee at McDonald's. Dick. Yeah. Dick. Yeah. You're as gonna live as... stream eating a sausage burrito now just to make me jealous. Oh, yeah. it's not fair. It's not fair. Let's just hope uh, Mark make. I, I I should be able to make it in time because if Mark starts uh, comes on in the next two hours. It'll take me like 20 minutes to get to my McDonald's and I'll get before 11 o'clock because they, they cut it off at 11. Yeah. Can't get it later than that. So what's what's happening? Is he going to still stream at 10? Or are you guys just going to do a full 24-hour stream on here? No, I think... Uh, I, I I hope that he'll be able to hop on here and then uh, I'll, I'll go and take a short break. We'll take a little walk, get the breakfast, the sausage burrito, and then I'll come back home and uh, I'll take over... Uh, from there so i think uh, actually so because he has a show scheduled for later today because i think he didn't realize i'm doing 24 hour but i hope he can he can do the 50th on this stream or i don't know how well, anyways when when he's up we'll we'll talk about it yeah matt h it's open season on all tourism everywhere ever since covid yeah, but it's expensive now. Super expensive. The airlines are trying to make that money back that they lost. Yeah. So hard. You know, they're just... killing. They're yeah. killing us. I mean, I looked before COVID. I did. We did went to Greece. And I think it was about four and a half thousand for two mm -hmm. weeks. Mm -hmm. They want six and a half thousand now for the same place, same two weeks. Yeah. You know, nothing changed. Well, more. no, it's more crowded now. It's worse. Oh, yeah. Everyone's going away. <laughs> Everyone's taking, you know, hand the money over. But I was just like, I'm not paying it. I'm just not. And then yeah. I'm lucky he did because with the school dates completely messed up. You know, I fucked them up a treat. So, oh. So, Jane didn't get a holiday. So, 
we got to explore it. There you go. Damn, <laughs> baby. Yeah, I'll take this instead of a holiday. Yeah. Hell that's, yeah. That's my holiday. It looks so Fuck good. It. Fuck it. What do you think? Explore it too, baby. They're Very available. Nice. They're available now. Very nice. Explore 2 is a great watch that should be like available at retail to everyone. Maybe Submar like if Rolex wants to withhold Submariners a little bit, make them make make customers wait for like a month or two. That's okay, but Explore 2. Look at look, look at the reflections by the way. How how dark that watch is. So, right? It's the reflections yeah. are really rich. Let me move that. Let me move that up. And your hands and wrists are so big that that I yeah, thought that was a forty for a second. <laughs> nice. Oh damn! Did my chat die? Shit. Yeah. Is chat broken again? I think so. Yes, yeah, so there's like, nothing to see here. We popped out. Fuck! How did that yeah. happen? Hold on a second. Let me just rejoin. Sound? How have you been? I haven't seen you on streams in a while. Yeah, working, working, you know, busy as shit. Working. Problem is, like, by the time I'm, you know, sat, Tim doesn't start streaming until ten o'clock at night here, and I know. it's too late. Unfortunately. And you know, I, we we were actually even debating uh, what would be the kind of the best time to kind of uh, we were thinking uh, repositioning the show and. Uh, you know, and eight, I mean, an eight o'clock. OC and the, the rest the of the decks, guys, they're telling me to start later. I'm yeah. like, then what about the UK people? They're going to be completely neglected. I got to do five o'clock. If anything, I should start at four and even an hour earlier. Three, three your time is better. It's eight our time, isn't it? Eight which, o'clock UK is nicer. Would you go back to a two day show? Like, you, I mean, two show per day kind of thing? You do like a. Um, Four o'clock, like seven o'clock, and break, and then do a later show. I actually, I might. Uh, <coughs> just really quickly, Carolyn Martin, welcome to the show, and Johnny O, thank you so much for joining us this fine morning, Carolyn. Good morning, Tim. Thank you. Good morning. How are you? Well, I'm just very excited for you. This is a big day, and I just wanted to jump on to say congratulations and. Wish you all the best, and hopefully we'll liven up your super chats a little bit this evening for you. Ah, uh, thank you, thank you. I I hope to to use the money for to pay you off as soon as possible. Tim, I didn't bring that to the party. I know. I I only know. celebration joking. and good things. I'm just joking. You know, I just, just trying to remind people that I didn't forget. Because no, I, sometimes we stuff. joke about the uh, slow rolling people on the show and stuff, so. Want to no, make sure. I, I understand your sense of humor, and I think you should take a break. I hmm. think. Yeah, actually, uh, uh, I think uh, Kevin just may mentioned something that that would be really cool. You know, the the two shows per day. It's actually, uh, I think it would be best to do like uh, an early show where, and th this is eventually, I want to have like a guest maybe every day, and the first show. I could do a guest focused show and then second show in the day would be a, a kind of a conversation with uh, with the audience so this there could be a a way to do two shows per day right a podcast could, it could one could be the first one could be like the podcast and the other one could be just like a regular us interact you know everybody hanging out together but Carolyn uh, are you uh, are you going to work today? What what are you doing? Of course, I'm going to work, and I'm just going to lament over the fact I don't have a day date. Um, <laughs> it's very difficult. It's, They're stalling uh, you. They they they, they want to make sure that uh, uh, you, you can shame uh, shame. <laughs> Carolyn, by the way, is waiting for the white gold. Oh, no, platinum. You're, platinum. you're getting the platinum turquoise. Yes. They tried, to give, they tried to give me or to get me to buy the white gold uh, yesterday. In between. In between just because they know I've been waiting and they know I'm anxious. But mm. I, I didn't think that was a good stepping stone 
to spend fifty thousand dollars on an interim watch that's going to go down in value but mm. it was a nice thought <laughs> do those come fluted uh non-fluted it was fluted it was white dial roman roman um markings white dial fluted oh uh, no no i meant the, um, I meant the, oh, um, the platinum one yeah. yes you want, it, uh, you want it's fluted, fluted. It's fluted. I mean, the the white gold, it was a beautiful piece. It, there's no doubt. But if it's not the day date you want, then what's the point? And now that I've seen Diego's, I think I really want an all gold one. So Might as well get oh. two. Yeah, because let's see. They also, they also have that turquoise dial in the rose gold. This is a this is a picture of the one of one with with the diamond, but uh, this could be a, a really cool way to go about it. But you want the platinum, right? You got to go with the platinum. Tiffany with the platinum <clears throat> work. No, I this think work. Di wow. Diego spoke to it. How how nice that black veining looks, mm -hmm. but yet those are technically imperfections. But um, I think that's stunning. They they asked if I would do rose gold, and mm -hmm. I just always have set my thoughts on platinum. So, yeah, I think I'm just going to stay with my original request. Stay and, with uh, the platinum. Platinum would be uh, would definitely be better because it's like a it's the highest. So once you have platinum, you don't need uh, like you, you mean you could. Look but, at that. I mean, yeah. And the way oh. I like, I I don't I I personally don't think of them as imperfections. I just think it's like, hey, it's it's about finding that perfect pattern. And Rolex is very good at identifying a very good uh, pattern on the dial. Like like look at even this one. The way they set it all up, it looks so organic, and they make sure that part of it kind of is going through like like here look you can see that this is, this was so selected to make sure that the veining is kind of going to go through the crown here and then Funny. also at the same time that it won't hit the the font at the at the bottom over here just a perfect positioning it's stunning and let me see what if carolyn got off i'm reading the thing oh so yeah today, by the way tim what are you wearing today I'm wearing. I was wearing a Panda Daytona. Oh, Tim, you you say that they they really go to town and select that that dial. So mm -hmm. if they do that, why don't they do that with the meteorite Pepsis? Because some of those suck. Yeah, they they can only do so much, right? Uh, eventually, there's variety. There's variety. Some of them are really nice. Some, some of them are, them are really not good. so nice, but it's all about right. Like, if if there were no crappy ones. <laughs> that you could then you couldn't appreciate the really good one okay it's about yeah, but then the you need to let the crappy ones go to crappy watches no yeah boston boston's one's stunning that is that's one of the best yeah, yeah it's really good uh america unfortunately yeah. the chat the chat broke so i'm i'm just gonna read it america thank you so much for ten dollars super chat he says what if carolyn got all four turquoise Turquoise dials in rose gold, yellow gold, yeah. white gold, and platinum. Greatest collection of all time. Uh, too much turquoise, and I, I actually I don't think they they put turquoise in the in the yellow gold. And, yes, they uh, do. They do. Yes, and can I just say to America that would be a phenomenal collection. The only problem would be I'd have to come live with him because my husband would divorce me. <laughs> <laughs> so, just it's too much of a good thing. It's just uh, actually today, guys. I'm actually wearing my Explorer Two Panda. Yeah. I'm in um, Polar Dial, nice. so I think the that's math a is great pro. Watch. Yes. All right, Tim. I'm gonna go to work. I just wanted to jump on. Be well, and mm -hmm. thank you for all you do. And I'll join the chat later on, guys. Have a good one. Thank Congrats, you. Congrats, Tim. Take care. Bye bye. Safe. Say get get to work safely. Okay. I will take care. Bye bye. And uh, shout out to the old watch lady. She says, congratulations on the 24-hour chit-chat. Thank you. Hopefully, we'll have Oshin joining us a little bit later to say hello. Uh, it's always fun. Uh, I haven't talked. I, I want to know uh, what he's been up to, you know, in uh, for there. Uh, wh where did he go? Wasn't 
wasn't Vienna, li- li- Vienna and Vienna. Oh, Vienna, Vienna yeah. Vienna. Uh, Lisbon. Could you, Tim, could you imagine if he went to Marcelo's? How much damage he'd do to that whiskey stock? Oh my god! Oh, I, well, oh my god! I'm gonna try to see if that would be possible. You know, depending on how. Uh, oh, oh, hold on a second. Okay, I have to reboot my my stream yet because I gotta show some appreciation for for these folks. This is unbelievable. Your mic's messed up. Is it? Yep. Yeah. Well, yeah. Mm. Oh. Nope. Sounds like you're in the bottom of a tin can. What do you think Marcel is making? Money. <laughs> Definitely. With those bottles of whiskey, how much he's going to charge for a glass, he's making money. Is it working now? That's better. Okay, perfect. Old watch lady, thank you so much for 50 pounds wait, wait, wait. super old, chat. Old watch lady. Uh, old watch lady is so freaking cool. I, like I one of the most amazing collections, isn't she? It's the best, it's the best IG account out there. Yeah. I, I like the sheer variety. Because uh, you know, hey, we, we've seen a lot, we, we see a lot of Rolexes, we see a lot of paddocks, but guys, if you haven't if you haven't followed Old Watch Lady on uh, uh, on Instagram, you have to follow her now. I'm gonna drop the link, guys. Follow Old Watch Lady on Instagram. She has been helping me out a lot, and she's always sharing incredible vintage pieces. And we were talking a little bit about vintage pieces uh, uh, past couple of days. I know how. It, 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 like our watch is going to be collectible i i'll tell you what the vintage ones are definitely going to be the ones that are a little bit more desirable in collecting circles look at this it's a or rolex date with solid gold. I mean, she has stuff that that you've never seen that's impossible to find today <laughs> look at this Man, she's a true enthusiast. What? Oh my God, these are day just in gold with stone dials. A blue and this green. Oh my God. So <laughs> I'd like it with the gold hands as well. Yeah, that green with the gold hands pops to me. Malachite, and uh, well, I'm not sure what the blue one, blue or the blue one's probably going to be. Uh, uh, let's see what they say. Uh, it's lapis, no? Lapis. I mean, it could be a lapis. It could be a sodalite. There is uh, there's a few different. Uh, uh, but look at this. This is a, a late, like a lady size. And it's a day chest. Uh, one on the bracelet, the other one on the blue. Tim, do you think the guys at Burlington Arcade go to a watch lady for advice? I think so. She has more, she has more vintage than they do. You know, she has better stuff than them. Yeah. So really and, and like she also has other things like like this long jeans look at the interesting art deco designs and i think sometimes we get uh all like too carried away about uh, the brand name and we don't look for watches that have interesting designs she, and she also she she gets she has a lot of like overlooked stuff like this silver this was the silver tutor remember that Silver Tudors is so cool. Uh, look at this Cam uh, Camaro, Whoa, Hoyer Stack. Camaro, uh, OC almost uh, almost got one of those. That's nice. But anyways, it's so funny. He says, "Stop embarrassing her." <laughs> Sorry, guys. But you guys, make sure you subscribe if you like looking at amazing watches. Show that Pepsi, Tim. Hmm? Pepsi. Show that vintage Pepsi. Yeah, look at that vintage Pepsi. GMT Master. Did you see this? What the heck? Is that an Amiga? It is an Amiga, yeah. Wow. So on my wedding day, that's my scarf from my pocket. Oh. 
my other half got me that. That's Which really pocket good. watch time helped her pick out? Oh, pocket watch time. Yeah, pocket watch time, and her kind of. She knew I'd like an Amiga. Shout yeah. out to Patrick. Patrick helped her pick it out. Uh, Patrick is a game. really sweet guy, guys. If you if you need help with pocket watches, pocket watch time on YouTube, Patrick, he'll help you out. Give me a minute to try and get into it. By the way, Johnny, how you how are you doing? I am fantastic. Uh, I was going. <laughs> you were talking about timing. Mm -hmm. It was wonderful for me. I start my day six o'clock central. You know, it's wonderful. I love Mark. I watch Mark. And I, too, am lamenting not having my platinum. Yeah. For other reasons than Ms. Carol and Martin, but we'll keep working towards it. You got to add it. It's a, uh, it's, but yeah, it's a dangerous piece. Uh, platinum date is a dangerous piece because it could be, it could be, it's a worthy of an end piece. Oh by God. like seeing America, America has been very, very excited about pick, picking up that watch. What was uh, like, what was interesting to me is you know over the last six, eight months, ten months, you know he's talking about triple split langas and this and that and this and, and now he's over the moon with a platinum day date, you know, <laughs> because it's wearable, right? Yeah. We, we, what you don't understand, what a lot of people don't understand, and maybe America, America has discovered it. Maybe he rediscovered Rolex and how wearable they actually are, because yep. the, those langes they're nice, but they're on the leather strap. If you ding it, you know how much it costs to laser weld a lange, mm -hmm. eleven thousand dollars. <laughs> All right, so. It's really expensive. A triple split, it's great, but when are you? You know how actually how difficult it actually is to triple split uh, a, a a chronograph. You have no. to run it, time something for. I mean, you could you could time something for a couple of seconds, but that's going to be weird. And then you have to split it, and then it, you're going to have to watch it for an hour at least to see that triple split hand flip so you're not going to be able to enjoy seeing it unless you really spend a lot of time i owned chronographs for years i don't think i ever turned it on once other than right. just to see that it worked and it's really <laughs> dangerous think about it i i tried to run cars and chronos chronograph mm -hmm. one time but i <laughs> ran it twice i ran it the first time it was okay. I read it the second time, and it broke in my hands. So I told it's it's chronographs are really dangerous. Oh, speaking of dangerous, Mark, dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. you're early, Mark. Do you want me to uh, cancel the community and just uh, help you yeah. out here? At, you know some what? Point Let's today? just put it for tomorrow. Let's reschedule it for yeah. tomorrow, and today you can help yeah. me on here. Yeah, exactly. That's what yeah, I, I that saw you were on. I was like, oh, well, if he's doing 24, I won't do a community. I won't I won't rebel stream you. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been too much. Kevin! Mark! Do you? Look oh, at that. That's amazing. Look at Dude, that. Look at that ball. Oh, that's so Omega cool. Omega pocket watch oh, for a wedding. How much How much did you guys pay for, for one of those? That's beautiful. What? No Didn't idea. Ask Didn't ask that's Patrick. Patrick will know. Yeah. Yeah, Patrick will know. But yeah. Patrick yes. is a cool guy. Just a second. Here. Well, it's quite nice to just have it just in the bell glass. You just, just sits there. And then if I put a suit on, I can use it. I have a chain for it. So, yeah. Something different, yeah? Keep rejoining. By the way, you know that 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 lid, the thing you have? Mm -hmm. That's kind of like Cars and Chrono. Cars and Chrono has a Vacheron. In a similar nice. case, display case uh, of a pocket watch. Pretty yeah. cool stuff. Shout out to Cheeky, Cheeky Winders for five pounds. Get a burrito on me, Tim. Yeah, I actually, I'm going to hit McDonald's. Uh, Mark, did you already have your breakfast today? I did not. No, I was, uh, I had, uh, was just playing on oatmeal today because I had, uh, I made a big dinner last night. Uh, uh overnight oats 
I had overnight yeah, oats yeah, earlier. There, there you go. Good man. Good man. <laughs> I, I was telling I was telling everyone that I'm gonna go uh, get a breakfast uh, while while oh. you run the show for me for a burrito. Yeah. Cool. So, hey, and also we get OC. Good morning, OC. all. Just ordered last 1,000th episode commemorative mug. Congratulations Ooh. on this incredible milestone, Tim. Did he really? See, so, yeah. are they Smile. gone? Shit, are they really gone? <gasps> Fuck, they're gone. Do you know who got the all, all, all of them? Does it tell well, you? I don't know. I don't know who got the last one, but I mean, OC says that he's the he's got the last one. So there you go. Those are gone. Congratulations, Damn. OC. Uh, there's f- few more of uh, numbered editions that are left, guys. If you if you want a numbered edition, make sure to reach out to me. I still have a few numbers available from uh, they're between one and six. Oh, sorry, between two and six. If you guys want an, uh, a mug between two and six, uh, just reach out to me. Those are, those are going to require a little bit more special attention. But if you missed out on the 1000 mug, you guys can get one of these the many acts of Tim Wright <laughs> <laughs> or the Tim Wright mugshot mug. What do you think about the face I, I, I made for this one? It's Pretty good face, right? It's good. It's good. I think it's reminiscent of something in the news recently. I think it's yeah. yeah. I was trying to get it as close. <laughs> it's a scene on Crime Watch, isn't it? <laughs> I need to do a, also an Anthony Farrer pose. Uh, MJ, thank you so much for ten dollars super chat. Happy one thousandth live stream tim thanks to all and all the characters for all the mm. left serious watch talk amazing unboxings and most important for making everyone feel welcome congratulations thank you mj it's what it's all about it's about making friends talking watches having some fun together uh so yeah johnny johnny what what you have been what, are you, have you have you considered getting a day date sure <laughs> what would be your choice? Uh, uh, probably a white dial. A white dial one? Oh, actually, let's see. Uh, uh, I was going to bring up because Carolyn Martin, right? She was yellow, offered. No gold yeah. white dial, I think. Yeah, let's see. Isn't it. that what Carolyn was offered? When Romans? Uh, she was offered, yep, yeah, a white dial. I'm going to bring it up. I think. Uh, it was well, yes, 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 the, in the what community. is the day day hype? Because this this died off early two thousands. Mm-hmm. You know, I think it it's the of... return. You know, in in uh, right now, there's a trend for what's it called, like old money aesthetic. Mm. And there's something. The day date is that classy kind of watch for if you know, you know kind of people if you you made it in life and white gold makes it really stealth let's see let's pull pull this one full screen i would go yellow gold i think you would go yellow gold okay. Yeah. okay let me pull up this one first let's check this out this was what she was offering what do you guys think about this one it's very clean yeah, we, it's almost nice. date just nice wait i would it's, wait for it's the really uh, nice. platinum it's just the yellow gold black dial presidential bracelet. That's two packages, yeah. isn't it? It's the, it's the 1990s rapper watch. Mm-hmm. You know, everyone had the, every rapper had that 36 gold, and they had it bust on. down. They had it. A... Yes, yeah, some of them did. Yeah, but yeah, that's that's more modern, fresher. Mm-hmm. It's very classic. That's the new one. Clean. Yeah. It's classic, like Johnny O. Oh yeah. <laughs> I think for me, I'd go. I'd go Skydweller. I'm turning into a classic every day. <laughs> yeah, Mothred, I think you're gonna need a, a Skydweller. Skydweller. <laughs> even even a day date is gonna be too small on you. If you're adding an extra link, jeez. Did they give you that link by the way for free? I had it from my James Cameron. Oh, did you did you tell them by the way? I have a James Cameron link. Uh, yeah, I had. Well, when I got my James Cameron, I had. Did, they didn't offer to give you one for free to add. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I had when I come home, I was like, they ordered one. But when uh-huh. I come home, I was like, 
the field, the clasp feels the same size as James Cameron. The mm -hmm. links feel the same size. So I, I sent a message. Is the James Cameron link the same? She said, yeah. Okay, I have two here because I had two in my James Cameron. Yeah. And then I lost some weight and then I took those out and I put two half links in and it's a perfect fit. So I had two spare links. So it just shows you. This is, I mean, it's really loose now. I have it on That's the. so fun. I had the extra link and then on the, the most inside setting now just to be a, a nice fit. This is how this is how links get misplaced and you know you know uh, Diego is probably freaking out like that's still it should have been a, C, uh, a James Cameron link should have been kept with James Cameron. It's exactly the same link. It's the same problem. Heresy. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, let's say let's say I say any any of my Rolexes I sell, you know, like Carlos yeah. counts the links. Oh, there's one short. Oh, there's one short. He's got well, every one of my watches one extra. I <laughs> like that the extra link on everything. You know, my James Cameron has two half links extra. So yeah, oh. my Batman, my Batman has an extra link in it. Yeah, Date just has an extra link. You asked the question of the yellow gold with the white dial, the deconstructed Romans, is the one I would go for. Forty. Oh, okay. Now that would be uh, the forty. Yeah. Let's see, maybe forty. Yeah. The de those deconstructed Romans. Everyone is digging the deconstructed deconstructed Romans right now. This one, right? Boom. Yeah. These yeah. are so hot. Yeah. That would be it. And I never liked gold. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah. Last year or so, it's been growing on me. But I have a buddy that, uh, I was that has one of these, and it. Not in that uh, particular configuration, but a gold day date. And he's had it for 35 years or so. He wears it every day. It's dinged and danged, but it still looks so cool. And it's his watch. You know. And the thing with uh, with Rolex Gold is over time, it gets, it gets this uh, honey patina. Mm. Actually, the color gets better over time. When you get it brand new... It, it's good. It's a little bit too kind of yellowish. Mm -hmm. uh, but when you own it for a while, it gets so much better. And the more you use it, too, because like there's the, the patina develops better when you use the watch because you're going to be like rubbing the certain parts like these corners over here. They're hard to reach places. They're going to be kind of patina a little bit more, whereas parts where you're touching the watch and rubbing it, yeah. they they're gonna have a little bit more polish. Yeah, so it it develops so nicely. Well, and the hard part is, you know, what is it 30, 38, 39,000 now? Mm. <laughs> and you go, oh, yeah. Well, by the time I get one, what will it be sixty five thousand? You know, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's like, I've got to hurry up. I've got yeah, to sell it. No you know. So. Yeah, maybe sell a one or two. Put mm -hmm. a put the the other half on the credit on the zero percent credit card. There you go. There you go. There I are ways to do this. Next, we're gonna have to get uh, Kevin to sell some of some of his garbage <laughs> watches and get a day date as well. Yeah. Um. Yeah, Kevin, you got too many watches too. Like you're like me. You're a hoarder, man. I only have. I don't, I don't. I don't. I don't have enough pieces to get to a day date. I don't think. You got to like to get halfway there, you know? Uh, probably. Yeah. But I'm happy with my collection. I, I don't need to consolidate anymore. I consolidate enough. You just need a push. You, he need, he's got half half the price there and a little push. A reason. Do you like the day date, Kevin? Mm, I mean, I've been looking at them recently because of the, the craziness that's been going on, but probably, probably not now. Probably not now. Very happy with my current setup right now. All right, with that note, I got to go make, right. make more money to buy that day date. All there right, go, go, go. go. See you, Kevin. Have a good day, man. Uh, by the way, let's, uh, let's, let's talk a little bit about these new releases, right? Uh, we've been looking at this IWC maybe for too long. Uh, let, me, <laughs> let me just get to the specs. Let me tell you guys the specs of this piece. 41 mil. Ah, it's the only unfortunate kind of thing about this one. 
It's 41. Mine is 40. The the Mark 20. Mm. The Suratanian yeah. one, it, it's a little bit beefed up. So, so this one's like the old technology, Tim. Mm -hmm. If you look at if you look at the specs on this, it, this is like the old 60 meter water resistance. It's only a 72 hour power reserve. Oh yeah. Instead of the five day, it's like the old movement and stuff. I think the the reason they put the old movement is because this is a no date movement. Yeah. Maybe and it's also maybe it's a w way for them to save a little bit of money. They didn't have to put the the latest movement in there. They could have maybe removed the date and put the the new one. But and then look at the price. They they're charging full full whack. Uh, Eight thousand almost. Wow. Yeah, it's like uh, sixteen hundred more. Yeah, I don't. It's seventy two hour power reserve movement. I don't mind, but mm -hmm. the the problem is the price. Yeah, it is. Whoa, check this out. The Mad Watch Collector Tim Wright stream. It's 1 30 p.m. in England. Really? It's already that late? Yeah. Yep. Jeez. You guys need to fix your time. Uh, <laughs> you need to fix your time. <laughs> yo. Russell, keep up. Dude, keep up great work, man. Love How does he do it? How does he keep, have that much energy? <laughs> It's got to be you know some I mean? very strong edibles. Like the, maybe the, that, that he, maybe he, like, he does the 500 mil before. <laughs> His videos are great. Nice and he's gambling. just like all bouncing all over the place. I'm like, dang. Got to hit the hard one, right? Yeah. Right, Russ? No, I'm just, I'm joking. I'm joking. No, nah, he's good. He's uh, very good editing and, yeah. and videography. No, he yeah, does I a nice get... job with his stuff. It's just, wow. Hmm. And I like I like his video on uh, on, on the Black Bay Fifty Eight. Mm -hmm. Was a really good. It was really like he made really good points. It's such a great watch. You really don't need to go anywhere higher. That's why, you know, Chris Robottom, right? He bought my uh, Tudor Black Bay. Actually, now yeah. I kind of regretted it. Like yeah. the the problem with uh, I sold my Black Bay, and then I saw the Russell's video. And right. then I, I was like, ah, fuck. I made a mistake. I made a mistake selling the watch. But uh, look, it went to a good guy. So that, that's a good thing. And now, I mean, I have the, the Black B54. Black B54 is good. Coffee. I just it wish. It's coffee. <laughs> oh. There you go. Good stuff. I'm going to. I'm gonna have to get get my coffee soon, Mark. Yeah. And by the way, look at this. The chat is working again. Yeah, I I, re, I rebooted mine just to, to make it work. So. Is yours still glitching or is it working now? No, now it's working. Okay, perfect. Uh, Bruce G, thank you so much for the two dollars super check. Congratulations, Tim. Thank you, Mark. It has it's working. Oh, it was rescheduled. Yeah. Thank you, I Ryan. Yeah, yeah, Ryan this Solomon, is a good dude. Ryan. Ryan's a good dude. Yeah, he comes in the community. Oh, he joins the streams? Yeah. Not not oh, the cool. panel, but in the chat. Oh. I mean, yeah. look, in the in the thumbnail, he's got a nice microphone. Maybe he, he yeah. can join us on the on the panel too. Absolutely. Uh, it says congrats on 1000. I'm pretty new to the YouTube watch world, but have really enjoyed this community. Thank you, Ryan. There's a lot to discover. By the way, Russell, if you I need to have Russell on the show. For like yeah. a for like a, a drop a link to us. Drop yeah. a link to him. Drop a link. Well, I don't know if he wants to join right now. Uh, but uh, I can I can schedule something with him, you know, for like a five o'clock show. But if he wants to ho hop on to say hello, that'd be cool as well. But I I talked uh, with him about this for uh, like even back at the London Watch Show. Remember uh -huh. that? Remember those, mm -hmm. Alan? Yeah. Are there going to be any more London Watch Shows, or that's? It's dead, An era, it? it's a dead. bygone era. It's dead. When when people's watches start getting stolen, I think that's the last one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They tried to have uh, another one, but then it was cancelled. I saw, like a small. BQ's, BQ's got one this weekend, haven't they? Really? I think so. Oh yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I know. I, I, I can't go unfortunately. No, I can't. I've got a rugby thing on at Saracens. Yeah, it's and it's sense. it's not uh, it's not a normal show. I think it's it's like a brand sponsored event, and it's not it's just not a brand that I know. 
So unfortunately, like, there's really no excitement for me to go there. Uh, but uh, if if there were if they had a different brand, I would I might I might have actually flown. Depending on yeah. But would they like in the in? future? I'm definitely gonna go for for some kind of a PQ event. Uh, James has hey Tim. Uh, I'd really appreciate if you wouldn't refer to not extravagant watches that someone has in their collection as garbage, garbage. just because they may not be <coughs> platinum high end pieces. That's hey, my favorite. Uh, I call I called America's uh, uh, Batman garbage. Batman <laughs> a beater. A beater. Well, it's in comparison. In comparison to that platinum day date, it's, it's just a beater at this point. But it's I you know I do it in a sarcastic way. I don't I don't mean. It. Those are my favorite moments. You know when it's just so funny to say. So but Tim. Like, that's my beater. Let's see that. That's my there beater. There you go. <laughs> if you look, I think it's that top corner. See the top corner of the lug? Dink yeah. out of it. Oh, yeah. oh you can yeah, see it can see there. There's a weird reflection <clears throat> there. Yeah. You dinged it? Yeah, that's the beater watch. Good. Good. It's mine now, right? When you beat good. it up. It's mine now. You gotta beat. You gotta beat it up because I I value watches for for their sentimentality. It's the best. It's the best part of watches that you can wear them and you can you can look at the the dings and remember. Oh yeah, I remember when I dinged it there. Yeah. I don't even want to show you what my Seamaster. If you think that the Batman is a beater. You tell me just chuck my Seamaster in the ocean. Throw it in the lake, Mark. Throw it in the I river. Took, took, no, the, <laughs> the white Seamaster and black one. one. Yeah. yeah. The white and black Seamaster is fantastic. Yeah, my white and black Seamaster. That went to all around Florida with me, swimming in the nice. ocean. Yeah. Nice. That's where it should go. Did it. I just yeah. wanted to hop on and say thanks for uh, the entertainment. Um, uh, I got to go to work for a little bit, but I'll be Watching the background, maybe pop on a little later. Yeah, hop Hello. back on. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna fully give controls to Mark in like an hour, and then I'm gonna go take a little break. You guys feel free. The link is gonna be pinned. I'm glad that the the streamyard is working once again, so I can pull yes. up comments normally. So yeah, Johnny. All right, cheers, Jarman. A little bit Thank later. Yep. Yeah. Needs a day date. The man needs a day date. And Are you making commission off these day date sales? <laughs> I don't. You Believe should. it or not, I don't. You're pushing I hard think, enough. You should. I think. I think Diego is. It's a fun Diego's watch. Diego's got a contract. <laughs> it's a fun watch. Day date. I, I I I remember when I tried it on. Actually, I met. So you know David H in the chat, right, guys? Yeah. But I met him in the city, and he had a, a yellow gold day date, and I got a chance to like play with it for, for almost an hour. And there, like, it's such a, it feels so refined. Like every yeah. pivot point on the bracelet, on uh, on the buckle, everything is just so smooth. Like the steel, it's smooth. It's silky smooth. But it, because it, but it's really light, and it, it, even though uh, the new showing, look at that, yeah, if, big slab of beef. Yeah. Even though the the new ceramic ones are you know kind of they're higher quality, they they feel sturdier compared to like a pre ceramic ones, mm -hmm. but like you feel a day date, and it feel like the comparison is like. Holding a, a modern modern Rolex compared to uh, a pre ceramic one, it's like it's another step. It's so good. Yeah, you gotta you gotta try a day date. If you have you got, if you guys haven't tried a day date, you should just try it at like a deer uh, to see how how it's gonna feel on your wrist. Uh, David Lee, uh, dear artifact Tim, Christian from Theo and Harris just released a video on the time. Peace, gentlemen. No, no way. No. Let's do this. Dun, dun, Watch dun, it together. Dun. 
Theo and Harris. We'll watch it, and Marcelo will cook in the background. Whoa. <laughs> well, look at, first of all, I just want to point out, that's a interesting thumbnail. Yeah. They, uh, they blurred him out, kind of 5 yeah. million fraud. Dollar fraud. Wow, 42 minutes ago. I like these guys. Do you ever watch Michael's channel? Actually, I don't. In the Iron Snail? He does a lot of clothing stuff on his. Oh. So they blurred him out but called it the Timepiece Gentleman. That's fucking smart. Timepiece Gentleman, a $5 million fraud. That's uh, it's quite the title there. Mm -hmm. Let's see it. Uh, America, congrats on the new baby, Gorilla Time, and Martin Smith. I help one royal family he was having an affair, and his brother wants to evict him from from a palace. He managed oh. to settle through my advice. He went with me with an ram. I mean, come on, send me a picture. Yeah. Send me a picture, Martin. I want to see this. Uh, all right, here we go. Let's see. Watches is filled with just theft and deceit and fraud and, and counterfeit goods and, and deception and Braggadocious. horrible, braggadocious, Gang. horrible, horrible Massive behavior complex. that almost can ruin this industry. But there's such beauty in the watch industry. There's such beauty in a simple swatch or in a complicated zenith. Uh, there's such beauty behind these brilliant minds that have devoted their lives to, to expressing themselves through these micro-mechanical pieces of, you know, art, right? There is a world outside of the evil that is, it's the most, di I don't even know the correct word, but the split between the terrible side of watches and the great side of watches. Oh, oh man. That's good. It's true. It's evil. It is true. It is. There's some. I think that's one of the reasons that Rolex is going to be entering into retail. They don't want their name associated with the dark side of watches. Oh shoot! Uh, I got. I got a message from Mickey. He's saying, I'm contacted by a turn. You're worse than Anthony Farrah using people uh, image without their permission. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mickey, it's so funny. Uh, but, uh, you know, the, these guys are right. In, in the, the hobby, literally, like, if, uh, if people like Anthony... And I look. I don't think Anthony has been doing it out of uh, uh, out of like a mouse. I, like I, I don't actually think he did it out of mouse. I think he just wanted to make money. He, I, think he, he was, I don't think he started out of malice, but then it became malicious as he went on because he knew what he was doing as he as it as it snowballed. You know what I mean? I, like I, I think like like. We'll, we'll 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 know eventually, but I think he just wants to make money. Nothing mm -hmm. nothing wrong with that. But the way like his because of he just doesn't know how to do it like legally. That's I the think, problem. I, think, <clears throat> I don't know. Obviously, I've not had a take on this, but I think you missed the point. I mm -hmm. think he just wants to be liked. Yeah, I think he's he's lonely. He wants to be liked, and he found a way that he was. And it spiraled massively. Yeah. And he's just got himself into so much trouble through it. That how do you stop? How do you get yourself out of it? Exactly. I think it's a, ultimately, it's a guy that just, he wants to be liked and he wants the fame. Mm -hmm. And it's cost. And it's cost him. He, he, it's like he doesn't understand. That's why he attacks the hate streams. Like he just can't understand why people don't want to like him. Yeah. He just <coughs> wants to be liked. Which is quite sad, really. It is quite sad. George, how are you, sir? I'm doing well. I don't I don't know if he wants to be liked. I think he Tim, it's all extravagant showing off. Yeah. All of it's extravagant showing it's off. Showing off it's because all... he wants to be he wants to fit in with something. Obviously his backstory, he's he's he feels damaged and he wants to he wants to be liked. You know, it's yeah. Mm. Sadly, he's just fucked people off in the process, you know, which is it's not good. 
No, I, I, guys, come on! Like, he doesn't want to be liked. And not, not, not that I, I'm not, I'm not saying that he doesn't want to be disliked. I just, I just mm-hmm. don't think that's even part of his equation. He wants to be successful. He wants to be a baller. That he doesn't want to be liked. I mean, uh, it, because those people are neither liked or disliked. Maybe some people like those kind of people. Maybe some people don't. But like. He, that's not his focus. It's just, it's is ego. Not, it's ego. It's just ego. Yeah, he wants he to fed be his an, ego and over the biggest his ego swinging course. dick in the room. It's ego. Yeah. Um, t- uh, Time piece Esquire, five dollars super chat. The woman <laughs> I was with tonight started to know what she was doing as she was snowballing too. She got a lot of snow on my balls. All right. <laughs> Thank you. Wow. <laughs> thanks. Thanks for that. How's that, PG, how's that PG stream go for you, Tim? <laughs> oh, it's yeah. worth the five dollars just to see you read it out and go bright red. <laughs> oy, oy. Oy, oy, oy. James has. Ah. <clears throat> uh. Uh, Chris J says, "Stop defending. I'm not defending. I'm trying to understand." So I think he, he knew he was. If, he knew he was ripping people off. He knew. He knew he should have stopped. Yeah. But well, at a certain, at a certain point, he knew what he was doing. Yeah. Know? No, no. I, th- look, I, I think there's a difference between knowing that he was ripping people off versus think about the way he was teaching people uh, that. The, the strategy of taking a watch and consignment, selling it, and then keeping the money to earn more money. To him, it seems like this was just a, a strategy on how to make money. He doesn't you understand like he, he doesn't Tim, see Tim. it. No, he Tim, doesn't see no, it no. the way that normal we're normal people. Right. You guys right. are trying big, to big understand Tim, big it business. as if he big was a normal guy. That. They big huh? business. So like your phone company, they take <laughs> the money, they sit on it they make a profit on your money. What Anthony's doing is small business and he should have just fucking got the money, paid, and kept everything rolling. It's not, he did he's it not because... big business. He's not fucking multi-million pound company. It's a fucking yeah. small watch business. <laughs> but the that, guy but knew no, but he that's... was doing it. He fucking knew he was doing it, no, let's but... be honest. No, no, no. That, that goes to my, sense, to, to my point that... He didn't know. He doesn't know how to run a business. Alan, like, there was where enough do people, people learn, around him. Where do people learn how to run business? They go to like business school. They do a, they do an MBA, right? He learned how to run business in prison. He doesn't know how to run a traditional business. Well, when he was still with with uh, Marcus and them, somebody there knew how to run a business. So somebody. Yeah, you know, and they 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 told him you're not running this right. Right. Well, th- that's what I'm saying. Like, that's why I think they separated from him because they realized that there was more. Yeah. There was a mental illness there. Maybe <clears throat> not a maybe not illness. Maybe it's oh just, yeah, that's illness. He, he's just he learned everything he knows from wrong people, and his his entire worldview is so screwed up. That it's he needs to go into like a re-education camp, relearn re-education everything from the beginning. Camp, my God. <laughs> right? Yeah. Because I mean, when you look at someone talking so casually about taking people <coughs> people's money and then saying, now you have leverage against them. They can't get mm. it back. They will really want to get it back, but uh you can hold on to it for a couple of months. Like like right. just talking casually about it. It's it's just it's almost like he's explaining, but he's explaining it as like that this is a a, a way to run a business. Uh, Chris J, no, it was him living the high life. The, uh, yeah, he wanted the yeah. high life. He, he it, it it was it was. So I'm trying to understand whether it was all in pursuit of that high life, or whether high life was really the marketing did did he really convince himself that he needed the high life for to run the business to to bring in more uh viewers and more uh leads or or whether whether that that's the goal whether that was the goal in life or whether what you so so 
it's it's more complex. This is what I'm trying to explain to you guys. It's a little bit more complex than he just wanted the, that um, amazing life. Because I, I think if you ask him if he could if he could go back and uh, not not do any of it, whether he would go back and not do anything, uh, I think he would probably say he would go back because I don't. That high I life, don't think he would. I think you don't think he would. I think he would again. At the end, that that dude, that um, Wesley dude, mm -hmm. said he gave him those watches. Told me he could keep the proceeds, not the full amount. He keep the profit, right? But maybe there was a miscommunication. I don't think so. I think he just kept <laughs> going. I think he just kept going. He can't help himself. You know, I think yeah, when but... the, when watches were hot and he was selling them. And he was working it. You know, he may not know what a Ponzi scheme really is, but that's essentially what he was working. And he was keeping people's money and just flipping and flipping. And mm -hmm, you know, but mm -hmm. as soon as things got bad in the watch market, that's when he started to to really feel it because he wasn't making the you know the money that he was. People want, were wanting their money faster because the market's bad. And all of a sudden, then that's when it snowballed and he got caught. He got caught up in it. Uh, Chris J says, though it was him living the high life, it was uh, it was spend spend, uh, lots of business run by people with uh, Gret Twelve making lots of money, but not a lot of them pursue. So you see, it's the pursuit. Like if he didn't spend the money mm -hmm. the way he was spending, I think uh, he would still lose. I think he would still lose, even even if he didn't do. The baller life. I think he would still run up a crazy debt because the way, Tim, just the, the entire system. Tim, you don't need a fucking Lamborghini <laughs> to sell watches. Yes. You don't need you think, a penthouse apartment to sell fucking watches. Yeah. When you when you're trying to put yourself there as the biggest YouTube sensation watch dealer, the snowball starts. Yeah. You, you can you can sell watches out of a van. You don't need a Lamborghini poncing around fucking Miami or Beverly Hills or anywhere. You know, there's so many dealers out there that just don't do that and they do it right. You know, you don't see Spencer from BQ Watches driving up and down Radley in a I fucking just, Ferrari. Uh, but, Alan, what, what I'm trying to say is that I don't want to create an impression that – because I think even if he didn't spend the money on all of those luxurious things – I still he still would have run up uh, maybe a, think about it five million debt. That's such an insane amount. I don't think that entire five million was spent on meals and 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 cars and luxury living. I think a lot of it was just blown on uh, like his merch. He was try he did the the, the whole merch stuff that mm -hmm. was nonsense. I think he spent so much money. He he also he spent a whole bunch of money building some type of bullshit app. He, mm -hmm. he hired uh, someone to do – think about their website. They had a really big website, right? They spent a shit ton of money on that. He didn't need that fancy no, website. he didn't need any of it. Right? So, no. so what I'm saying is the, the, the luxury living is just a part of the insanity. Another like, – like if he didn't do the, the meals, he would have ran up $3.5 million debt. Uh, how, that, that's no different – Right, so no, but he was standing here is deeper. He was than being extravagant with the meals, and like he paid yeah. for you, you got your meal and stuff. So you like him. So Paul Thorpe likes him. He right. was extravagant, and he was very, very generous, and everybody liked yeah. him. He just wanted to be liked. You know, this is the the root cause. You you got the psychology degree. The root yeah. cause of it is he he just wanted to be liked, and this is the snowball effect. You know, and. You know, yeah, Marco was with him. Marco split from him. At that point, Marco should have went, look, mate, you need to calm down. You need to stop this bullshit. We're splitting, and you need to fucking handle no, your I business. I think they probably did tell him to to calm down and stop the bullshit, and that's why the split happened, because he didn't want to calm down and mm -hmm. stop the bullshit. I mean, the alarm bells were there then, Mark, when Marco split from him. That's when the alarm bells were ringing. Oh, why, is, he, why is two he, successful he guys... Down. Of course he doubled down. He, has he, no he actually push, he? tripled down. Because he's he getting the hate because after, Marco reads. He yeah. gets the hate and he doesn't even want it to be liked. No, he was getting hate. Uh, yeah. no, he's, getting, he's been getting hate since day. Watch Nicholas yeah. fucked him. You know, let's be honest. Watch he, Nicholas went hard. 
it wasn't no, it wasn't it wasn't just to watch Nicholas. The the the, the whole Ni- Nicholas stuff that was just on YouTube. That was just a small and very insignificant. It's part. enough in his head. Uh, he was the, living rent free. No, the but the biggest part was the the Reddit trolls because that's the guys who are supplying mm-hmm. all the 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 content. Without the Reddit stuff, uh, people people who were doing the actual digging, there would be no uh, no. No, no, watch Nicholas. But anyways, uh, time to yeah, Squire. Thank you so much for the five dollars super chat. Maybe he learn how to run a business from Nick and Roman Sheriff, uh, Nico and Roman Sheriff, and the Wizard. He definitely got a whole bunch of advice there from from those guys because they were you were all trying to get close with him to to get. Uh, you know, let's be honest. Roman Sheriff learned all the media stuff from uh, from Anthony. Uh, happy 1000 and Tim's consignment LLC 2023. <laughs> let's do it, baby. Now, I don't want to have nothing to do with consignment. You know why I don't want to even do anything with consignment? You know why, Alan? Well, yeah. I'll tell you why. Because I know how life can get in the way of uh of things let's say if i took a whole bunch of stuff on consignment you know what's going to happen i'm just going to have some type of an uh, an emergency where i need fifty thousand, and then i'm just going to look at these consigned watches and i'm thinking hey it's 50k right there i could i could sell these watches cheaper and pay them back pay the people on, you that's know, why I, you're not a watch dealer that's yeah. why i'm not a watch dealer See? that's why i wouldn't i i just know that stuff like this these these type of tem- and this probably this is what happened to Anthony. See the Wesley guy, uh, maybe he said, "Hey, you can have these watches, sell them, use the proceeds to pay off your debt." If he said it like that, Wesley in his mind could have been thinking, "Use the proceeds," and to Wesley, the proceeds means uh, the profits. Like, hey, you'll make money by selling some of these watches. In Anthony's mind. The proceeds means the entire amount, okay, uh, and and then pay me back later. See, there's a communication when, when you're talking to someone. You have to you have to talk like especially when you're talking about these big big sums of money. You have to be very fucking clear on exactly what you mean. Because uh, I, I would have thought that that Wesley guy was pretty fucking clear. If he's got that kind of money to throw around, he's not a stupid guy for earning that kind of money. Well, what yeah. did he? What was so, the exact word that he said? Oh, who the fuck knows? You went to dinner with the guy. Fuck no. <laughs> fucking. Yeah. What, did, what did you discuss at dinner? How how it works? Who the fuck knows? And, he's not going to tell you. Crazy. Well, I'll tell you this, Anthony. He, he, is he very... didn't follow a Ponzi scheme. He invented his own scheme, and it worked. It just so happens that it's a fucking Ponzi scheme. But he, in this his head, what... he worked out a plan. It's like a fucking master plan. But sadly, and, yeah, he already existed. He didn't invent anything. He just created his version of it. And, and well. And he's very pedantic. Yeah. So when, when Anthony, he, re- he really takes what other people say, like r- their, their words. Mm-hmm. He's, v- he's being very specific about words. And he's used a lot of people's words against them. Like when he says, nobody accused me of selling. A f- I've never sold a fake. But he's very specific. Mm-hmm. About how he explains that he has never uh, sold a fake. It, it has very specific, very political in the way knowledge, <coughs> where he uses very particular keywords. It's common tactic: uh, deny, deny, yeah. deny, reaccuse. Uh, Chris J. Tim, if you had the money, you would live the high life. Over spend. I don't think I would. And actually, that's why I, I'm glad I don't. Money is a uh, is a curse, and uh, it's a uh, it's a blessing and a curse. You you have to be very careful with money. People, I, I I know a lot of shows like people who win a lottery, right? A lot of them, like ninety percent of people who win lottery, are people who never had experience of how to spend money and how not to overspend. Um, I I think now I would be okay, Chris. But if you gave, uh me money two years ago i think i would have spent it all uh this new me i think i wouldn't spend much of it i would be very careful 
There was a guy right. in the UK a few Never years know. back. He, he won the lottery. He won big, big money, millions. Cool. And yeah, that oh. was, a, I forget his name. Michael, somebody his name was. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it's gone. Within a couple of years, he, he bought everything, bought a house, cars, bikes, stuck most of it up his nose, you know, and it's gone. You give someone so much money and it just it blows their brains out. Yeah, yeah it, mm -hmm. people who don't know how to spend money well and who are way too addicted to materialistic goods it's so easy to fucking blow through like the, the world is designed to literally blow through any amount of money like yeah. it doesn't matter the amount of money you have today you could just blow through it in a day and buy a yacht fucking or rolls royce boom there you go that's 10 million gone one car so you have to be very careful uh, about spending money. So that's why I don't, I, I don't, I don't, I don't want large sums of money. And that newbie says Michael Carroll. That's his name. Michael Carroll. That was the guy. Yeah. Michael Carroll. Yeah. Put yeah. most of it up his nose. The lottery winner. Yeah. yeah it's, There's so many stories like that. So yeah, it's many. It's, uh, it's a scary thing. Money mm -hmm. is a scary, scary thing. Speaking of scary. Michael scaring monster, monster hands. <laughs> yeah, no, or 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 he's like showing how to handle a woman. <laughs> no, <I'm> just... <laughs> uh, if you unpause the video and he goes honk honk, it's game over. Punches <laughs> is very strong. So let's talk about that today. But Mega themselves, one of the most prolific brands of all time, was taken for millions of dollars. And if it can happen oh. to Omega, it can happen to you. I'm also going to talk about some. Uh, okay, so they're going to talk a little bit about that Omega 300. What else is that? Oh, traceable. Oh, they have That's a nice ad. sponsor. Vitamins. Yeah. Anyways, I don't you think we can watch the whole thing. Bell you can need 24 though. hours. You need a vitamin sponsor. <laughs> That's nice. That dial is really cool. Look, it looks like tarmac. Yeah. That's cool. It's a, it's this is a Porsche design. Yeah, it's lovely. Tag Heuer Porsche collab. I'm not. This, these are too big. Yeah, but the dial like, looks cool as shit. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Carrera, if, that, if you get that at the angle and you look down the watch, and it mm -hmm. is tarmac. Yeah, that's like a racetrack. Nice. It it, it kind of looks like the um, paddock. That we looked at earlier today with the asphalt dial, the color Trava. Mm -hmm. And you know what? This is how uh, a Rolex should kind of make the perfect version of the Air King. The next update, they have to make loomed 05, 10, mm -hmm. all these numbers. They can literally take them from, from, uh, from the Carrera. Uh, Chris, J, Tim... You're a material guy, uh, a watch, expensive perfumes. I'm actually calming down on the perfumes. I I bought a whole bunch, but uh, Chris, it's been it's been a really kind of quite some time since since I get I got uh, a new fragrance. I'm actually uh, trying to uh, to give away my fragrances, uh, or to sell them back, or sell them to people who want uh, who want them. A uh, whole shelf, yeah, I get it. A uh, whole whole shelf of stuff you can't afford. I'm 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 selling uh, all the stuff back. Actually, look, I didn't even buy the the Leica, right? The Leica Q Q3, it came out, but I I held myself back. I didn't buy it. I talked to Negroni. I talked to Small G. You know, Small G bought a Leica Q2. So the new one, six thousand dollars it's so wow. insanely expensive luckily look i have i have I, I could have put it on the credit card but i didn't do it um and the q2 was going for two thousand he bought it for two thousand it's a five thousand dollar camera he bought it for two thousand it's insanely cheap i think that that's what helped me actually uh, not buy the q3 finding out like how much how much it drops in value over time. So I was like, okay, forget about it. It's just, I don't need it. I, I got my, my camera is so good, but I, it took I some lovely pictures of Mathis's watch. Yeah. They're really good yeah. shots. Thank you. See, I don't need, I don't need to like, yeah. Could I use it? Of course. 
Would it be amazing? Yes. Fucking amazing. It's the best camera on the market, I think, right now. That Q3. But I didn't buy it. Can't afford it. Uh, maybe I'll buy it later when, um, when people start selling their used ones. And by that time, I hope to sell a whole bunch of stuff from yeah. here from the back of my shelf. So, yeah. Uh, see, he said, uh, Chris J continues, I'm, I am never worried about paying my mortgage. Yeah, that's, I, I understand that. I understand. Uh, I still, I, look, I still have problems from rent from time to time, but I think Brooklyn yeah. is expensive. Let's move on to the positive people and off of the yeah. negative Nellies. Ah, I like Chris J. So I, I actually, he's, it's right. not, he's not saying anything he's that's okay. too bad. He's, it's, just, it's, he's just always negative, though. It's good. It's good to answer the criticism. I, I like. I personally like to answer criticism because it keeps me accountable. And like, look, this is something that I'm trying to. I'm trying to become less materialistic. There you go. And so I've, well, I give I, me I that fucking it. Daytona, then and we'll make a start. Yeah. From now. We'll okay, I'll order a link. Yeah. Sorry, you, you said That's sell the Daytona. Oh. Yeah. No, I'll so give, give me the Daytona. Oh. Be less materialistic. I'll order the link. Yeah, yeah. I, I wish I could do that. You can. You can. <laughs> Tim, you need to let go of these things. You need to just let go. Fuck it. Uh, <laughs> why, why do I have to let go of my things and give them to people who are so much better, more well off than me? No, I don't have a trust fund. Fucking hell. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Anthony says Leica makes beautiful camera, but I prefer... Phase one, oh, those are house. Those are like five times more expensive than Leicas, but they're they're too they're too big. I wouldn't go for Hasselblad just because they're they they're so huge. Yeah, yeah. it's unsellable when uh, when one day you need to get one. Yeah, Mark, it's about and, uh, the truth and why he doesn't understand. It doesn't anything. matter what the it doesn't matter what the subject is. No, I mean, uh, Chris, I I understand I, what you guys are saying. I'm just I, thinking. I think it, I'm just thinking it's a little bit more complex. Over understand, yeah. Anthony. I think you're trying to over understand. Yeah, you're trying to analyze him down to why why he did it as like a case study when you just need to just have the open eyes and see. No, I, I, that, that's obvious. Like to, to me, oh, okay. whatever your microphone. It's just like yeah, sure, but but like what, what like. I don't think people go out there and just just scam because no one is born a scammer, right? The scammer is created. No, well, I think there's a few people that are yeah. are, are scammers and born scammers. Look at your man Pierogi. You know, he's there every day. Scammer payback. He's he's yeah. trying to fight scammers. Mm -hmm. There is scammers in the world and, and there always will be. But you need to stop trying to overanalyze Anthony, and just see it for what it is. You know, don't worry about why he did it. Uh, worry about I, that I, he did do it, and this is the reasons why he did it. it you know, it's obvious. It's about. It's I think, about. You know, you you you're kind of out there on a little island, and everybody <laughs> else around you is going. Yeah. It's not that way, Tim. It really isn't. Well, I think we'll see it. The, the time will tell, right? That's the the beauty uh, of the fact that he's not he's not going away. He said that he realized that. Because he can't. It was go just away. people that wanted him to quit, and he's back. So he's, it's like a drug to him. YouTube yeah. and and yeah. Uh, Instagram. Well, and no, all it's that. it's, 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 like the, it's the it's the only source of uh, of money for him. It's not even that. It's just he can't he can't keep himself out of the spotlight. He's, he's <laughs> as, as a fucking watch dealer, it shouldn't be the only <laughs> source of money, though. Should it? <laughs> he should be fucking selling yeah. watches. Yeah. <laughs> He realized that. Yeah. Wait a second. Without did he, uh, did he realize that there's, there's more Instagram, profit in can't keeping? Can't make any money. Did he? Did he realize there's more profit in keeping all the money the watch sold for and not fucking giving yeah. the rest to the customers? That's the best way of making money. Fuck. It's the it's the easiest. Yeah. The fastest. Yeah. 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 Okay. I mean, but because getting that margin, that's it's it's tough. I mean, I know we're we're making fun of uh, gray market dealers about how much money they're making, but yeah, sometimes it's it's a bit of a gamble. 
You could lose. Like if you if you guys tried uh, buying and selling watches, you're gonna realize how how tough it is to uh, to actually make money on the margin. It's very annoying because the price is so it's, fluid. It's like Paul Thorpe keeps saying. You know, the customers go and and they expect they want to sell their watch for the retail price, and nobody takes into account that yeah they have to they have a building to pay for, they have electrics, they yeah. have staff. They have all these things to pay for, and then the offer comes in, and it's lower than what the retail is on Chrono. Well, mm. nothing sells on Chrono for that price anyway. Deals are done left, right, and center. I think this this bubbled scenario is because of all the the dealer to dealer trading, inflation yeah. prices. You know, that's oh, yeah, where we're, was... why we're at where we're at. And now the dealer to dealer trading slowed down and stopping. The prices are coming. You know, where they need to yeah, sell because... to the public. Because all those dealers, they they basically came in uh, as their second little business, right? Mm -hmm. There's a lot of dealers at the moment that are hurting still from this. When we were at the London Watch Show, I spoke to one of the guys from Nico's place. Mm -hmm. And we were talking about the Meteorite Pepsi. And he was so blasé. He said, 80 grand Meteorite Pepsi. I'll take as many as you've got at 80 grand because I can sell about 100. And I have a few people that were with me when we had that conversation that could verify it. And he said, I'll take as many as you've got for 80 grand. And he'll flip them out at 100. I, I hope for Nico's sake that he wasn't buying as many as he could get his hands on. I hope he didn't buy. Grand. Or maybe he did. If he did, they're sitting on a lot of dead stock. And Nico's not what doing can they that do? well. What can they do? They can put it in a cupboard and forget about it and hope that, you know, one day is back there and they can, you know, get out of it. But inflation will track it and they're still losing you know it's and there's it's that's one example but you know they were probably buying subs day dates everything at higher prices and you either just got to let it go or take the hit hmm. any mal whole milk whole milk now we're uh we're gonna do the uh, 50th lucha show tomorrow we're gonna because uh, Tim's doing the twenty four hours. We won't. We won't we'll, rebel stream. We'll we'll do a, we'll do Lucha fiftieth in forty five minutes. How about that? There you go. Well, we'll I'm gonna take right off. Here. I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna leave, <clears throat> and you can do a fiftieth here on the <laughs> one thousandth episode. It's the combo meal. Wrap deal. it right in exactly. Yeah, I can actually modify the thumbnail. I can include that it's also fiftieth no, Lucha this show. This is your day. This is your day. That was this my day. day. It's our day. It's the community <laughs> day. I didn't do 1,000 episodes. We did together. Yes. You understand? It's uh, it's not about me, guys. Today, it's not <laughs> about me. So it's it's really about it's really about you guys, the viewers. I'm just a small part. I'm just a guy who didn't I have a job that. and was <clears throat> was just doing these things for fun every day and turned it into a career. Good time. Here we are. So going forward with the Sunday thing, do you did are you serious about wanting to take Sundays off? Uh, eventually, yeah, I want to do okay. Sundays off. Because eventually, maybe we could do the Lucha show on Sunday nights. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm going back to since I'm going back to work, you can we maybe we could work that in that way, and yeah. that way you could have a night off. You, a oh, scheduled you want a night off? Yeah, you want to do like a, like a Lucha Sunday at 5 o'clock? Yeah, I could do that. Yeah? Yeah. We could do that, yeah. We can work on that. Yeah. That would be better. Yeah, that would be really good. If we if you want to start that starting next week, we can even start it next week. Yeah. Absolutely. Let's do that. I think that would, I think that would be good for you, too. Cause I give, yeah, cause give, I'm going to start moving. Give me one day where you know I can, I can go and do whatever it is I want to do or need to do and just relax and not have to. No, no, I don't want to relax. I want to I want to work on videos. But you won't have the pressure of also having to do, say, no, oh, I got to go exactly. run and do the show. Yes, because usually, like, I spend the day uh, preparing material for that lit, for, to do the show later in the day. Right, but if you're doing the show, then I could be doing, you know, I could be working on a video. Right, exactly. And then uh, throughout the week, I could be editing it and then mm -hmm. release it all on the following Sunday. Maybe every Sunday, yeah. I'll, maybe every Sunday, I'm gonna release a video. Whoa, you okay? So that that's how we do it. And then that yeah. video could could push the audience to uh, to start the Lucha show. I think that would be it. 
perfect way yeah, to do this. I think that would be a good time, a good way to do it. Yeah, Tim G, Tim G, welcome to the show. Tim G, legend. Hey, how are you guys? I'm, I'm on the Mayor Parkway coming to New York City to go to the U.S. Open. How are things? Oh, cool. Nice. Ooh. Okay. Hey, we can hear you. It's uh, the reception a little bit spotty. But hey, we're we're doing a thousand episodes, thousand episodes, <coughs> a thousandth episode. We actually have some uh, watch releases. <coughs> uh, you guys want to take a look at this Gerard Perigo? Mm. Ugly, I like PGs ugly. better. I like PGs better. <laughs> yeah, the PGs way, but this is carbon. Yeah. But let's see. Ah, it's, it looks good. I mean, I wouldn't freaking buy it, but I wouldn't buy just, that either. But it's it's nice. It's nice. Yeah, it's I nice. like the 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 texture. You the be, you know, like the you can beat on it. You can beat on it. Get it dry. Oh, you're you're breaking Ooh. up. You're breaking up, uh, Tim. Let me see. All right, I'll try. The floor is awful, right? Congratulations on the top. Okay, Tim, maybe when you arrive, uh, you're, you're on the drive right now, right? Yeah, I'll talk to you later. Congrats. Okay, Come sorry. Back later. Thank yeah, you. No problem. And hey, Sergio. Sergio. What's up, guys? Tim, first of all, congrats on your 1,000 episodes. Yes. Thank you, man. Thank you. Okay. I, I hope you reach 2,000. As soon as possible, we're gonna crush it. We're gonna, we're not just gonna reach 2000, we're gonna reach 2000 in some wild style. And three, and four, and five, and six, and we go for, for the stars, man. Yeah, the only pro, the only thing that you really mm -hmm. messed up was to let Mark go. <laughs> I know, you cannot, <laughs> this is gonna hurt. The value of Team Right FLC. <laughs> I don't know Just about kidding, that. Guys. <laughs> Just kidding. Guys. Just kidding. Okay. Um, yeah, I just came up I, I'm on my work. I just came up to say congrats to you guys. I'm going to stick around. I'm going to see Marcelo doing some kind of shit that I don't know what he's doing. Look yeah. like he's working. Okay. And uh, participated the panel for a while. So. Hit me up, guys. What are you talking about? Hey, we're just taking a look. Uh, we would talk a little bit about Anthony. People s still seem to think that, that I'm a defender, even though I said I'm not a defender. I'm just trying to understand the guy. But, hey, there's a new Tim, you, you were in Miami and you drank from the poison chalice at that table. What can I say? <laughs> mm, yes. Yes, I did. Yeah. I yeah. was there. You took the bribe. You but the bribe. I no, I actually did not. Remember that you, after the you had the steak. No, remember after Ve oh, I did have the steak. Right. Yeah, you surprised. You entered. Well, the I see it for what it is. <laughs> I, didn't I didn't. I didn't just take the bribe, and and I, I yeah. understood. I understood that I took the bribe. Yeah, if, and, if you allow me, my point of view on that. Okay, it's yeah. one out of ten million different point of views. Is that. Uh, uh, what I think you tried was to understand, you already said that, understand his point of view, okay, what made him do that, hmm. um, which <coughs> I think it's an easy one, after all, people do what they think their values allow them to do, right, and usually hmm. we have different values, so for him, on my point of view, he doesn't care about the well-being of other people, he cares about uh, being the news, being talking about Okay, and get some money just to live a lav lavish lifestyle. Mm -hmm. Okay, to have these Lambos, these precious watches, his <coughs> gift, whatever it is. So these are yeah. his values. Some people get addicted to stuff. But I understand that the, the, at least the way I understand is that the way you try to do is to understand the why, not what he did, because what he did is he's still popping up. You don't know it's 5 million, 10 million, 6 million, if he's mm -hmm. consignment, if he. He, he just uh, scammed some investors, but uh, yeah, but the why, and I think that's what there was some kind of misunderstanding from people yeah. too, because they did not go into oh, he tried to understand the why, the why he did that. 
you have to you have to you have to remember Sergio Tim studied psychology so he is I'm not I'm not trying to defend Tim in that because he's <laughs> fucking doing the worst job of trying to do it himself but mm-hmm. he Tim's trying to analyze and overanalyze he's, he really wants to get to the psyche of of why yeah, because Anthony did it I get that but just going about it the wrong way Tim well, I mean, it, maybe it sounds. I mean, it could be interpreted in the wrong way, okay? And I, I, I think that we we shouldn't, like, we shouldn't try to be just because we can interpret it as if I am defending him. It, it doesn't mean we have to interpret it that way. I think that's what I'm trying. What, what Tim, I'm trying you, to say. you want you want the answer. You want to be the guy that that gets the answer. This is why he did it. Um, because, I hate to break it to your budget, you're not going to get that answer. You're just not. Well, I think it's, he, he'll spin it in another way, and he'll spin it in another way, and he he is better at circular logic than you are. He's better. He's five million better. That's where that's how he's got there because he's well. No, he's but that's what I'm so thinking. Uh, that's what I'm thinking, uh, Alan. That I don't even think he's he is spinning uh, as much as. He actually, he actually believes that what he's saying because oh, if, if he you. was just trying to spin, like he is convi- he he, uh, he has conviction in uh, in what he has done, and he thinks he has done nothing wrong, and he's convinced himself that he has done <sighs> nothing wrong. That's mm-hmm. why it's so difficult to break through, and so that's that's what I'm trying to make people understand. Like people say, he's scammer. It's obvious. What it, it's obvious to you guys. But it's not obvious to him. He to to have some of those investors that he has, mm-hmm. he's he can fucking talk a good game. He can talk. He knows what to say and what to do. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You but know, that's because he was taught how to do it in the prison. Like, like he's he, uh, when he was doing no, university they, advice, they, 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 he's like, oh yeah, you could really leverage this against people. But he's not even thinking about like yeah, when you leverage. When you take watches and consignment, and you leverage all all the stuff, the the shit is gonna happen in real life that will set you back. Like for example, getting robbed, right? Like uh, he, he could have. I mean, he did it with the watch market. He could have done that in any market. Let's say if he did it in cars, you yeah. know, high end cars, oh, yeah. he could have done exactly the same and got there. You would have so quick. You don't learn that. You don't learn that in prison. No, he's that's just something. That's a. That's a. Uh, oh, an odd evil gift that's yeah. like that Elizabeth, Elizabeth Holmes with Theranos. Yeah. She, she, he's like she I said, Mark, never in prison. Mark, he, he invented a Ponzi scheme, yes, it was just his way of doing it. And it, it, I think it was gradual over time. And it's just like, mm-hmm. oh, shit, oh, shit, we can do this, we can do this. Mm-hmm. And the money's there, and it just it snowballs. I it think, snowballs. I think, Alan, yeah. you're, you're right about that. He invented it. I, I think, I think what, what happened was he was taught. Some of so. some of the leverage skills, but then he applied it to social media. He took it yeah. out of the physical realm and applied it to social media realm. He made I it on a just, grander scale. I think it's just that he he got those big backers and off he goes. You know, the sky's the limit. And let's let's be honest. If he talk the way he talks a good talk, all he needs to talk to is one pretty well off billionaire. He's very convinced. What's, what's, he, but what's he knows five million? How, how much is five million to a? How much is five million to a billionaire? It's fuck all. Mm-hmm. No, yeah. it's a lot of money. It's fuck all. No, it's not. It's fuck no, all. it's five a lot of money. To no, a billionaire, no, 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 no. five million is a lot of money to everyone. Even ten thousand. So listen, a billionaire will come after you for ten thousand. I agree, yeah. but if he's if he can talk to a billionaire the way he's spoken to these millionaires, he's he's trouble free. He's back mm-hmm. on back on the horse. It's just. Because once he gets you have billionaire had... backer and it's game over, he's back again. But, but those people didn't just give him the money; they gave him under this pretense that it was an investment, or they and they also uh, they? they've done business with him. I mean, it's all set yeah. up. And but but, but uh, other things that he did is kind of a collage of all the scams that you see in the history, right? From the Ponzi yeah. scheme to uh, to even evangelization. So you you create a cult. Okay, give a set of values that people should aim to it. And there is something that he was very good, which is to say, oh, stay with me and they are going to earn. So they went into this 
watches as investment, watches that you can you can. But that's a confidence trickster, isn't it? Yes, that's nothing and, new. That's and, a confidence trickster. And, and, and when you hear that, and you hear in a good way from a person who is a good looking, he has a good, a, a very safe way, a very firm way to say, oh, I can do this, I can do that, and he been given some crazy examples on that. People get used to that, and Remember they as fall well, for it, and they the, fall for it. Most how, of them how it how it ticked for him and how it worked was he was the first with the YouTube and broadcasting it all, you know. So it's it's kind of like he was that pioneer in it which gives people confidence and he, he portrayed it in such a way that you can't, why wouldn't you trust me with your watch why wouldn't you i have a lambo i have all this if there was yeah. a problem i'll just chuck you the money no that's problem. how all those guys do yeah, it of course uh, confidence trickster you know the the, the scams yeah. have been around for a long time he just he just made it his you know fucking piece of shit i wonder i wonder if if i could get like one of these kind of straight up uh, pyramid scammers on the sh in the stream to just just to talk like just like without like we're not gonna warn him that this is what we're doing but for like comparison because there's, there's a lot just of just by saying it right <laughs> yeah and, and and then you can sell the stream at five dollars per viewer per, <laughs> say, uh, ways of getting ahead. Sergio's now but, making his own scheme great obviously between Tim, you and me listen. guys we're gonna. We're all gonna know that hey, this is an this is an obvious pyramid scheme, listen, and I'm bringing him on just for comparison, so we can listen, see. Listen, how listen, listen, listen. We've give Anthony yeah. Farah more fucking airtime than he needs again. He's feeding yeah. his fucking ego. Have you yeah. seen the Tyson Fury documentary on? I think it's on Netflix, or Amazon. Mm -hmm. The box, you I know, the boxer know. Tyson Fury. Yeah. Okay, so Tyson Fury put a documentary out. Uh -huh. Shit, you want to see some of the watches he's wearing? It's worth watching really? for obviously the documentary, but yeah, he's got some yeah. rainbow Daytonas. Hey, if you have a link, dates, put it, you... OPs. I'm sure someone would have a link for it. But yeah, uh, he's he done like six episodes. Is, I think. It, is it on YouTube? Uh, I don't know. Mrs. Malfred put it on, and I'm kind of I was watching, and I'm like, holy shit, he's got a rainbow! Holy shit, he's got fucking this! Is it? The... And then he was uh, there was a phone call he made to his jeweler. Which uh -huh. was those guys in Newcastle, because he's up, um, he's in Morecambe, so he's not far away. But yeah, mate, some of the watches, he'd be a nice guy to get on the stream and chat watches. He's, hey, it, he loves eventually Rolex. Eventually, that's what I want to develop this into. He loves Rolex. Link for Tyson uh, Fury, <laughs> if you're watching. Up on the stream, link some watches. Tyson Fury. Show us that rainbow. Unbox that on the stream, no? I'm gonna drop the link. But like uh, what do, what do you guys think? By the way, am I insane to uh, to to think about like this, uh, to end my collection on two piece, a rainbow Daytona, and my steel Daytona? Is that insane? Yeah. Well, you need yeah. Two, no, problems right? for. two pieces, not. But the two watch, you can see the time is insanity. I don't. You know, I don't set the time on my days. Fat, Fat Wimba Ben says Fury never paid for any of them. They were gifted. Holy oh, shit! Oh, there you go. Boom. Oh, shit. Yeah, Nick Da Vinci, thank you so much for uh good morning. Good morning, super chat. And Anthony Gianni, he freaking loves his phase one. He's Damn. a nice camera, huh? Maybe someday. But maybe but I'm gonna that, no, no, but like, no, only for those who work with the camera. I I would never buy a phase one or hustle blood. Mm -hmm. uh, Leica has impressive uh glasses, mm -hmm. but it's too, it's too expensive to hype. You have an R5, right? Yes. Yeah, the only problem with the R5 is all, all, all of the canons is that you don't have third party lenses, but they are very good. And uh, if you have one uh, one of those very good RF, RF lenses, you are okay with that. So you don't have to use it as a primary for your work. So R5 is good enough. I have a Sony A3 and it blows my mind because I'm yeah. amateur. I don't need a Laker. I don't need to buy six thousand just for the camera. Yeah, it, each each lens is like you you can build a whole kit on the R5. Yeah, the the only one that I like on Laker is the the is the M is the monochrome because they don't have the buyer filter, so it adds more. Let's say it has like an additional stop of light. 
Yes, and so you can go even with a, a dimmer lights, okay? And because they don't have the biofilter, which is for the color, so we have a, let's say, pure black and white with all the greatest going on. So it's really, really beautiful. And I like black and white pictures. But uh, it's a lake, it's, it's too much. I prefer to take a photo and make it black and white. It's not the same, but it depends on the glass and the processor. And uh, the current lens cameras that we have, Canon, even Nikon or Nikon, which the new ones have a good uh, auto autofocus, and uh, Sony, they are for amateur, for, for people who, who are not professionals, they are more than good. More than yeah, good. it's more than more than you would ever need. Yeah, sure. You know? Yeah, that Leica Q3, it's kind of a camera for beginners, right? It's a fixed lens, it's 28 mil. And uh, it's just, it, it's, a, it's actually like a, but all the internals, I think, are like Panasonic. Because mm -hmm. uh, they, uh, Leica works very closely with, with Lumix, Panasonic. I think it's brand, brand yeah, Panasonic. but uh, Lumix, Panasonic is, if I recall, is Michael Forford. So it's not a mm. good one. I had a lot of lenses because I come from DSLR. I came from Canon. Now mm -hmm. I use Sony, but I used to have Canon. I used to have a 60. Uh, I just uh, two months, two months. Remember that I told you I went to Malta for a vacation. Oh yeah. And when I went to Malta, I stopped at, at in UK. Okay, and um, they have some 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 companies like Amazon or so like uh, Adorama, B and H. Mm -hmm. the, the name was MPB, and they buy your user gear. So I sold my my lenses and some old cameras that I had. Mm -hmm. Man, I got four thousand pounds selling used stuff. Oh, okay. it's pretty good. Yeah, but uh, no, it's not pretty good. If you think how much, uh, but you probably you, spent you, you twenty thousand. Yeah, yeah. But uh, man, and I am amateur, so th that's the rabbit hole that we see, even watches, but also in cameras. Why, why would I buy a lens? Very, yeah, now? it's very easy to overspend. We have to, you have to be really careful. Even, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I, it will be so dumb. It will be so dumb. Uh, if I uh, if I went in and bought Q3, it's really no, no. I don't even have time to to be taking. Like I don't have. What what, what would I have done? Spent six thousand, and then when when would I be even taking pictures with that camera? And I, in addition to this one, I understand if I was full time for, uh, photographer and just you know taking pictures daily using two cameras, no big deal. But in addition to live streaming, uh, I can just only have one camera. So when when I realized that, I was like, okay, just calm down. Yeah, yeah, that's so. good. Enough. And the one that you have is gonna is gonna is gonna last almost forever with you, man. Yeah, the R five. I don't think I I would need. Maybe when they release the upgrade, if if let's say uh, the new version doesn't overheat, it could be worth upgrading because I my, my glass. If, uh, it's perfect. The the, no, the the current does not overheat anymore because they are adjusted by firmware. Yeah, I think it, it only it overheats if you shoot at sixty frames per second, four K. Take, take a look if you are using if you have the latest firmware from Canon, because if I recall, I can be wrong, but yeah. if I recall, uh, it was already uh, corrected by firmware. You don't even need to 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 buy any accessory to that. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to make sure that I I double check everything. Uh look at this. Giovanni says that he spent 20,000 in total for Sony and Canon and spent 40,000 on Hasselblad. Yeah, I believe he makes a 500 a day from his <laughs> photography. That's very if, good. If he's a photographer, professional photographer, it makes yeah. all the sense. You have to invest on the things that are going to bring you money. That makes sense totally. Yeah. Yeah. But like I'm not I'm not making money from from photography. Not yet, at least. But I'm gonna, you know, hey, I I use uh, my Instagram photographs to promote the show. The stuff that uh, I need, hey, I Tim. need good camera as well yeah, to make videos. Tim. Yeah, Tim, are you gonna want to break around ten? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna take okay. uh, take. A I'm break gonna cut 10. off for twenty minutes. Just run to the bathroom and stuff before. before okay, that. so you go right, and then at ten o'clock sharp. You gotta take yep. over. Okay. Gotcha. I'm gonna Perfect. go get breakfast. I'll I'm see you a little bit, Sergio. Yeah. See ya, Lucha. Okay. Okay, Lucha. Uh, when you come yeah. back, you're gonna take over. All right. Boom. Gotcha. So go take Perfect. take as much time as you need. Come back. Okay. I'm gonna hand you.
the control. Cool. Yeah, Lucha has to say, I have the bridge when he takes <laughs> over. Yeah. And you have to say, you are relieved. I'm good. Oh. <laughs> you are really we need we need like uh just like star trek and the day you know, when you take over the ship no oh, i have the bridge i have the comp i have the bridge yeah thank you uh ensign luchabetic mark the nice guy yeah very nice yeah. guy all, all, all this all the stuff that he put up in on the community stream he just he he, he made uh in my point of view, of course, people can disagree, but he made a, a, a very good spike, not a spike monster, but a spike in, in, in content, in quality, in getting people together. He is, mm -hmm. is, is very is very good. Yeah, it's true. It's true. Let's talk a little bit about watches. Yeah, go go for the Jarapara go. It's Jarapara go. It's, it's cool. It's kind of cool. Let's see how much they're charging before we start shredding this watch too much. Watch this. Uh, side. Oh shit! Never mind. They want twenty eight thousand dollars. <laughs> shit. Never mind. Twenty seven thousand. That's too much. I'm sorry, Jared Perigo. I love you guys, but that's way too much. It's beautiful right. carbon though. Look at the like the yeah. pattern, right? It looks so sick. It's like the urban. Cameo. Yeah. There's the watch case for it, right? Uh huh. It's a good fit, man. There's the case back. Case back looks nice too. Oh, oh you can good. see here. I think it's just the so the carbon is just on the outside, so it has like an inner, uh, probably titanium core. Uh, uh, kind of the way the way those uh, yeah, the finish is beautiful too. Huh? Yeah, the the movement fin and it looks like the sapphire is a little bit smoked on the back here. Pretty cool. Yeah, it's a it's a good looking watch, but way too expensive. What are the specs of the watch? You have it? Uh, yeah. So forty four. It's a little bit. It's kind of chunky. And 15 millimeters thick, so it's a little bit too thick, but it's carbon fiber and titanium composite. Oh, so it's not just so I thought it was pure carbon case, but it's a carbon with titanium blended together. So I, I, I think this is you can see titanium and carbon. Oh, shit. no, it's a titanium case with a carbon body kit. That's, all it That's is. what it's I thought. Builder, isn't it? it's a body Oh, are you sure? Okay, so it says anti so the, the, the skeleton of it's the titanium, and then the carbon fit it around. Because that—that's what I was thinking, right? Because you can see the case back. Yeah. That's clearly a titanium deal, and with the DLC, and then there's a core. But I actually think this might be because when they say composite, it's bonded right? to it. It's bonded. Oh, so carbon fiber and titanium. Oh, okay, okay. So. It's hard to understand. I mean, is it carbon fiber outside shell and titanium composite on the inside, or is it, or is this blended? Because it does kind of look like, right? Because it does a little bit looks like it w as if it was blended, but I don't think it's possible to even blend these two materials in such a way. Looks good though. Yeah, it's too Not thick, it's too big, but the the dye of the colors are mm. great i'm not a huge fan of these like uh, i i think that the f the full circle should have been uh somehow separated the the chronograph uh sub dials they look kind of a little bit too small because of this contrast that's uh, kind of a little bit weird that looks kind of like weird but yeah the i, I like the gp logo one of my guilty pleasures. I kind of like the GP. The way the way they did it just looks so nice. So much better than uh, what their older models had. Yeah, the only it's thing really I don't modern. Like too much is the calendar at the four thirty position. It yeah, is... that's waste. And by the way, the, the current I am using is at four thirty, mm -hmm. but uh, but it was a gifted watch, so I cannot complain. Yeah, uh, but I don't like it. It should be at three, six, or twelve, 
or out. And it's also really poorly done. The, the 30 is really small. The window is tiny. It doesn't look great. Well, that's really legible. I own a fucking James Cameron Mark too. <laughs> fucking yeah, it's a cool case. Though. No quick change strap system, though. Yeah. For, for this much good. money, you would think they would have a quick change. Strap. I heard Amiga are doing quick change traps. You can get the. Yeah. Um, I've heard they come in with the like the Seamaster, where you can. Mm -hmm. Pull the buckles across and take strap out quick. That's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think the, the the Seamaster, the new Seamasters might have that. Oh, the seventy fifth mm. anniversary. Yeah, but they that's, but that's going to be standard now. Let's hope so because yeah. they did have those straps on some kind of a yachting Seamaster mm. a couple of years ago, and it's only now they're bringing these back into full production. So. I did. Um, I had a hands on that seaweed one a couple of days ago i'm so glad i didn't buy that so glad just the dial is so dark it's kind of neither green nor black it's it they just needed more pop in it mm. it needed to be greener more vibrant i was quite disappointed with it oh the the sea master yeah, yeah. Uh, it's kind of it's cool that it's it's reserved. You know, if they made it any lighter, they would have been accused of copying Hulk and and just being just a little copycat. bit lighter would have been better than just a little bit. Yeah, they were it's, it's they quite... were they were accused of of doing it nonetheless. Yeah, but there would be bigger case against them. By the way, the chat once again broke, so I have to read the just read it. Uh, Bright Blue Comet, thank you so much for happy 1,000. 1,000 episodes! Ah, it's good times. All right, let's let's uh, let's go to next. Because believe it or not, there is a very similar release from Bulgari. I mean, you can't script oh, this shit. No, but I think... What is this? Is this a week on the wrist? No, the Bulgari Octophenissimum Carbon golden edition never mind it's not a week on the wrist this is a new edition so it's not not just uh uh jared pergo releasing a carbon but bulgari as well and that's a per whoa a retrograde perpetual i actually really like this design holy shit look at this retrograde at the top here with the beautiful actually let me get a close closer look oh that's a wrong one Sorry, right, there's two versions. All right, look at this. It's this sexy slender hand with a golden golden tip. And that points at a retrograde date. And it kind of goes around the Bulgari logo. So cool. And then you got months with a... Every single month is written out, okay? There's no dot every other month. So this is really nice, especially for me. Then you got a day... Uh, day of the week, sorry. Well, same thing. And then a leap year at 6 o'clock. Freaking sexy. I like this. Damn, is it a perpetual? Jesus. It's a perpetual, yeah. Full perpetual calendar. But you in know, carbon, what the hell? Yeah. You know, I'll never forgive Buckley because he sold his octophenism, right? Yeah, yes. he couldn't yeah. keep it. This watch is amazing, man. Amazing. Yeah. This is this is actually so cool. I just wish it wasn't carbon because this complication is good in the in like a daily watch. I mean, can you really wear the carbon watch? You know, as a perpetual count, like every day. Could could this be someone's one and done watch? Mm, no, a perpetual for for me a perpetual yeah. calls for precious metal. Right, that's what I'm. That's what I'm. I'm thinking as well. Yes, gold, rose gold, platinum. If you want to be stealth for white gold, but it has to be precious metal, at least for me. And I'm not into precious metal, eh? just for saying. Yeah. But uh, this is a a piece of engineering. Yeah. It's the price on that? Uh, very busy, you know, dial, but uh, yeah, it's a perpetual. Uh, it's, it's very clean, though. 
the way they separated everything, it's it's very easy to get used to. Like the date is chunky, the the day of the week, the month is legible. And retro like so many retrogrades. Uh, oh no! What? They're in. They're following the footsteps of F. B. Jour and making the entire movement out of rose gold. Get the heck out of here! Hell yeah! They're flexing, man. They're flexing. That looks so good. You know, because. That, that was one of the complaints that I kind of had with the, the Bulgari movement. It looked good, but in steel, there was just too much plates. But now having it in rose gold just really makes it pop. And the color, right? The carbon, the black carbon mm -hmm. with the rose gold, it, it gives a, a, a pretty, a very beautiful contrast. Oh, lovely. But expensive is the only problem. These are yeah, these are works of art. Uh, let's see. You guys ready for the price? Alan, you want to take a take a guess? No. Three one start of the dark. Let's hope it's not ridiculous. Come on, please, guys, don't be ridiculous. So, oh, 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 actually, hold on. Okay, so it looks like the perpetual. This carbon bracelet with a DLC still folding, a hundred thousand euros. So, so the, for the perpetual. Now that makes sense. I mean, perpetual calendar of movements are very expensive. I just wish, like, I, I would, if I had to be getting this one, I would obviously like it in steel over carbon. But this is made for people who don't care. And by the way, the three hander. Is twenty nine thousand. Also yeah. very expensive, but there's a three hander. <sighs> Man, for a three hander, for me it's too expensive. But for a perpetual, looks like cheap. Yeah, 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 exactly. Because yeah, the three hander. This almost feels like it should be. Uh, I don't know. Uh, Twelve thousand. How how much was yeah? Uh, so. Uh, uh, Buckley paid like twelve. Was it ten no. or twelve for his? I think it. I think it. The octo is about twelve thousand dollars. <laughs> okay, so twelve thousand. If this yeah. was, it, if this was twelve thousand, it could have been like a really kind of uh, decent way to get into a car full carbon watch at a price, but but expensive. I tell you the way the texture of the carbon mm -hmm. looks like uh, black marble you know the way that the, the the contrast the different colors mm. they mm. mix it up uh, you see yeah it's, it's so look and the dial too is beautiful really beautiful yeah. and each one is going to be different by the way are they limited pieces I think so. Usually these hey, are Sergio, super Sergio, como vai, cara? Tudo bem? Fala, Marcelo. What's up, man? Marcelo, time. Tô cansado. Eu ainda tô trabalhando aqui. Eu ainda tenho mm. clientes aqui. No worries. I'm working. I'm working too, mm. but I'm not in the oven. I'm on the, in the office. No worries, man. Hey, by the way, they got 100 meters of water resistance. What the hell? That's... Impressive! I can't, I can't believe it. Honestly, I didn't realize you could do this kind of water resistance on uh, carbon. Yeah, on carbon, and is carbon that water re resistant? Is it like plastic that it doesn't, it doesn't absorb water? What's the, how does it no. react? I wonder. Carbon fiber can be very resistant. You remember they use it for planes and the Formula One cars, so. Mm -hmm. I don't know if they are resilient in terms of timing, because if you remember fiberglass, which is more or less the same family, over time the fiberglass gets a little bit um, warped. Yes, um, but I, I, if I believe I'm not a specialist in material, but the carbon fiber mm -hmm. is, is more resistant to resilient. Hmm. 
by the way, so this is the the perpetual calendar movement, and it has perpetual calendar on the rotor. And the and the rotor you can see is like thinner. It's thinner than the rotor on the three hand. Actually, can I show two? Books? Oh yeah, it is slightly thinner. It's the yeah, one yeah, movement, yeah. that's the other. So slightly oh, different. It's very tough to tell any difference uh, from the back. These guys are. Well, but the thing yeah. you uh, trace cars, filhos da puta, chegavam bem tarde agora. Estão fumando, estão me afogando com cigarro. E agora já é quase 11, 11 horas da noite. Filhos da puta. E agora ele, ele, ele encomendou. Uh, uh, ok, ok, ok. Ok, let me translate. Uh, Tim, he asked, Tim, he asked for me to translate what he just said. Ok. They are total, uh, how can I say in perfect English, SOBs, okay? He, he's drowning or, or cigarette smoking. It's about 11 o'clock in the night. <coughs> he, he doesn't see when he's going to get out, okay? So he's kind of crazy. I think he's going to poison the guys. No, he didn't yes. say that. He didn't say that. I am saying that. So he asked to, to translate that for you. All right. <laughs> Marcelo, you're a, you're a psycho. <laughs> With a big knife on the head. Don't say that again, man. Oy. I love this guy. What do you think, Alan? Nothing Does me, these uh, scratch your fancy or they do nothing, nothing to you? If it's nothing. not a Rolex. It's not big enough. It's not big. Actually, it's big enough, isn't big. it? No, they are big. Man. No, I tried, I tried them on. They, they look tiny. Oh. They're just too thin. They just, yeah, they are thin. Yeah, just too thin for me. You you know that I uh, I, I like this watch a lot, but I think it's too squarish. And mm -hmm. in fact, there is another another model from Bugatti that I like most. It is less expensive. It's the Octoroma. Yeah, so, it, yeah. I was looking at them in Venice. There's mm -hmm. that one and the chronograph. Yes, using that one. Oh, and the silver one. Yeah, yeah. So those, those are Chrono GMTs. I did look at them when I was in Venice. I was tempted, but yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah. They're so yeah. thin. They're Very thin. they're like a perfectly thin potato and flat potato chip. Yeah. And if you have a wrist that has curved to it, it, it it's gonna look weird. You have to I be mean, very engineering wise. They're amazing. Yeah. Fantastic. You know, feat of engineering. But yeah, they're just. I put it on and lug to lug's nice, but it's just the thinness of it. It looks too small. It's just a little bit too small. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, it's 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 not for me either. Unfortunately, it I, I don't I actually believe it or not I don't have wrist for these things. I'll show you. What's your wrist size? Huh? What's oh, uh, six seven five. Yeah, yeah, you know. Yeah, you you need like at least seven, seven and a half maybe. Yeah. For good measure. By the way, and so this is so funny. There's two carbon watches were released on the same day, but let's let's, let's take a look at this one. This is Armstrong. Their new watch, the the fully new design. If you remember. Uh, let me bring this up because one of our very dedicated viewers. Well, what the hell is this? Uh, PG. He has an Armstrong uh, titanium. PG has an impressive collection. Quirky and impressive collection. Mm -hmm. And Check he's out, out of the beaten path. He has a very good collection really diverse i like i like his collection because he has so many different watches it's uh he he goes out there and he pioneers you know like getting that jared perigo in black ceramic what a what a piece to get an ap like that you have to spend almost a hundred thousand if not more so and it's really besides the movement and the name and the movement is not necessarily better. It's less reliable, if you ask me. <laughs> <laughs> but 
here's the new Armstrong. You guys can see how the, the new is the bluish, right? Yeah, the new one is bluish. Okay, what do you yeah. think? And it looks like it's got uh, it's like an air king. It's the improvement is like going from old air yeah. king to new air <laughs> king. Guard, the crown guard, yeah. Yeah. come on. It's yeah. more sporty, right? Because the, the now the dial is the whole is the whole time. Right? It's a, so it's a skeletonized, right? And also, so oh, the old one was automatic. The top uh, thing that's the micro rotor, and the bottom it's the barrel. I think it looks like oh, it has a one week. So so the new the new movement has two barrels. One week power reserve, and now the minutes are central. You see the the hands are coming from the center, yeah, and they're like a beefed up version of the of the hands they had in the small one, and the running seconds is at nine o'clock. Yes, as it was the, the minutes before. Mm -hmm. uh, I and, and the signature, uh, the way they hold the barrels, which is a signature for Armstrong, right? Yeah, so, those parallel marks. It's not just that. I think that they, they have a very spe specific... Uh, design language. It's a design language, but there's also... They have a very special technology in their barrels, uh, which, which helps uh, uh, release the power at, uh, at an even rate. So it's almost like they have a like a their own patented version of remontoir slash uh, fusée chain. It's mm -hmm. like a it's a mix. You know, to see both of two, they are impressive. Okay, there's the I case kind, back. But I kind of like more the the old one. You like and, the old one? Yeah, and the dial where you see the hours and minutes dial reminds me one of your loves which is the code the level 59 the way the green uh changes to the black oh yeah the fume the fume looks yeah, nice yeah. Yeah. yeah hey mark you're back Tim, i'm back uh all right one minute one minute break. guys i'm gonna bounce uh and you guys can have <clears throat> some fun without me i'm gonna take a short break gonna go get myself uh burritos and take a small nap because okay. Yesterday I did a stream, then I slept like three hours, and now and I stream for another stream. five hours. Yeah, put your alarm, man. Do not oversleep. Yeah, no, no, no. Just uh, I'll take like a f one hour, one hour nap. Just relax. Come back yep. with a fresh head. Yeah, get breakfast. And, I'm so I'm I'm yes. getting really hungry. We got 99 hungry. people watching, guys. Hit that upvote button. We're gonna go today for 24 hours, hopefully. Uh, we'll we'll get someone else uh, on the, like later uh, to to do an, another like two hour shift for me. There you go. So because I, look, I I want to do twenty four hours today, but I'm really not ready for it. I did not <laughs> prepare. You did not prepare. <laughs> yeah, there was no because I was busy making mugs and making. Yeah. Come out here, not prepared is you, man. Is you is your yeah. signature. <laughs> all right guys your, it's 10 o'clock number it's, one move <laughs> I, i'm best when i don't prepare sometimes i come up with the best shows when uh, there you go when i don't do well, anything I, that's this will be good. funny because we are ill prepared for mark so here we go we're gonna get going we'll uh see you when you come back here we go i'll be back what do you think what do you think like three hours sure three hours guys that works i'll I'll see you. I'll see you soon. I'll try to check in. I'll go, go get the burritos. I'll join. I'll join you guys from McDonald's. Okay. All right. In a couple okay, minutes. Guys. Just to say hello. Peace. All right. I'll All see right, you guys. Tim. See you back. Okay, Mark. You have the calm. You have the bridge. Now I have the calm. There you go. So what's happening, guys? What's going on in the world? What were we talking about? Anything exciting? Well, one thing exciting is that that. Tim, today celebrate one thousand episodes. Thousand. That's, a That's lot. why he's doing this marathon. Mm -hmm. Okay, which is a beautiful one. The other, he just showed to us the new, the new launches, the Regina Paraguay. Yeah. And um, yeah, and I was also, there when he left for that. 
yeah, and also the Bulgari Octofinismo, mm -hmm. both in carbon, in carbon fiber. Yeah. Uh, and we are looking at the, the latest Army Strong, which is a beautiful watch, by the way. Ah, so all that left when when he when he left the thing. So all those yeah. things left. And Marcel but... was pissed off in his restaurant because he wanted to close shop. Okay. <laughs> And uh, he told me in Portuguese, he could not say in English, otherwise the clients would hear. But uh, some clients came almost when he was closing the doors and he was trying and he was uh, thinking of stabbing the guy. No, stabbing is me. I, I'm being colorful. It's not him. He yeah. didn't say that. But he was pissed off because he did, came late. He did not get out. And they are smoking like bitches. Oh, sorry. Like, ah. uh, like uh, chimneys. And uh, he's getting drowned with all that smoke. So the smoke from the oven, smoke from the cigarette. Okay. It's a terrible smog. Is it not illegal to smoke in the restaurants in Japan then? No, it is yeah. not. Like everywhere else. Yeah. No, it is not. Japan not. is not. Huh. Japan is one of the one of the last bastions of you smoke wherever you want. Okay. Mm. Um, Interesting. I, I think the last one to to knock this down it was I think it was Spain the last one in Europe that allow people to smoke elsewhere but now they are from some time they are rather uh, circulating that they, they are curtailing that sorry but the Japan is still open you can you can smoke whatever you want I mean it's, I understand, I understand what I was... the restaurants but it's not good if you are not uh, if you do not like to smoke uh, sometimes it's bad. Man. Yeah, I understand it with smoking in pubs, in restaurants in the UK, but not pubs. It, it killed the pubs. Yeah, yeah. yeah it really did. Cheeky Winer says, at last, Mark, I thought that guy would never go away. Congrats <laughs> on your 50th. <laughs> That's funny. So people are talking in the stream. I've seen a little bit about this one. Let me see. Let me present this. This looks like a monstrosity to me. I'll, I'll get your take on it. Um Normally, I think the PRX is a good value watch, but what do you guys make of this thing? Oh, shit. I know. What? Yeah. I, yeah. Yeah. What are they doing? Why are they ruining it? Oh, man. And, 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 I can't understand this, man. $375 for a digital watch? What, what, are, they, what are they thinking? They had such a good formula going with that. I think Casio sold the market up on that, didn't they? Yeah. It's, uh, <laughs> they didn't need to go there. I cannot understand yeah. this, man. Look at the gold one, though. Oh, my days. Oh, I, I, yeah. I think they made their own gold. It's their own goal. I'll go, I'll go against yourself, right? Yeah. I, I cannot understand this. It's, whoa, it's that's turning crazy. your wrist green, isn't it? Oh, my God. That's terrible. Your wrist's it's going terrible green if every you're wearing level, that. Every level of terrible this watch is. What did, what were they thinking? Damn it. So bad. For Johnson's me, they just killed the mojo that they had on the PRX because I like the PRX. They proposed exactly. The exactly. They they brought that Tiffany color dial one out with the blue strap. That looked quite cool. Yeah. But that was cool. The only thing I didn't like about it was if they'd have just kept the dial flat, but they had to make that waffle dial and it yeah, just so faded the color a bit too much. But it looked good on the strap. Yeah, all of the automatic versions, the Powermatic 80s, whether it be the 35 or the uh, 40, are uh, waffle dialed for some reason. The, the quartz have the smooth dials. Yeah. I'm not sure. Just says it's retro. People buy things yeah. that remind me of their youth, but surely their youth was a Casio. Yeah. Why wouldn't you just buy the Casio again for like 20 right. bucks? And that don't remind in my youth uh, digital watches made of metal. Usually they were made of uh, plastic, right? If you go to the castle, mm, yeah. the FW91, the kind of G-Shock. Yeah, yeah but metal. you can get the FW91 in metal and in gold. Yeah. Yeah, now they can. But now like, is... I'm sure it's on Amazon for like £20. Why would you spend 450 when you can get yeah. the same thing? Have the Casio. Fuck it. This is This is bad. This is just ugly. It's cash grab. Cash grab. Cash grab. Give the money. Cash, cash, cash. Give me your I money. Can. Now, now. Send me your money. Now. See, I thought this, you know, I, yeah. you can go back and forth on the waffle dial, but coming out with this in a 35 millimeter automatic, I thought was a brilliant move. 
you know? I mean, what? Are you, let's be honest. What are you buying? Are you buying that or the Casio homage for 50 yeah. times the Casio price? Oh. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm so confused. I'm so confused. Why would they do that? They want to mess up with us, man. Yeah, Jonathan, right. Just get the Casio again. Exactly. <laughs> <clears throat> You know, I've, I have my G-Shocks, but I've got a um, couple of those Casios that are, you know, I picked up for like 20, 30 bucks. I got a um, an Iron Man, a Timex Iron Man. That's a better watch than, than that. Oh, I had $35. Yeah. Also, Cas Casio do that Tiffany color dial as, as well. The same. Yeah. Yep. And I'm sure it's like 40 quid. It's not expensive. Mm -hmm. Not at all. Okay. It's not automatic, but, you know. No, but. but the it looks the same. What's the same, and you're not so, getting your pants pulled down on the price. And Sandy just said rightly, they, they want to stop milking the PRX. The problem is that they would start diluting. Sorry about that. We had a little power, uh, we had a little power surge go through or something. I think the thing oh, is with that PRX, about. when that Tiffany colored dial launched and it was high, you couldn't mm -hmm. get one. They were right. sold out everywhere and they shot themselves in the foot, really. They should have, you know, over flooded it and sold a shitload of them. And now right. we've just been getting every guys that you can think of i mean and they're everywhere it's too much it's, killing it. it's, it's bad it's bad i don't know i don't know what they're thinking there but um that was not a good thought <laughs> um it is all it's almost like the uh the omega swatch yeah right when they try to dilute the brands. Mark, have you seen the new one that's releasing tomorrow? Is it the 20, 30th that released tomorrow? tomorrow? They're doing a yeah. Neptune with a gold hand, with a gold second hand. You know yeah, the name of the color? Licking blue. blue. Licking blue. <laughs> blue. <laughs> <laughs> that's another watch that will turn your wrist blue. Fuck. Yeah, yeah, I hope it's not. I hope it doesn't leak this time. Yeah, mm. yeah exactly. There it is. I have to say, the, the guys that cased in time absolutely mm -hmm. nailed the straps for these so i have yeah. the my other half and, and jaden he's collecting these moon swatches and we got the case in the guys said the case in times ones out they're so nice yeah and they're really yeah. good they turn it from an unwearable watch on that crap strap because the straps are fucking awful it's um, but you put the rubbers terrible. on they're so easy to change so easy to put the, the straps on and yeah mm -hmm. they're, they're banger of a watch now i'll um i think there's somebody floating about downstairs i'll get to chuck a couple up do that? I'll show you. Yeah, because the straps right. effect yeah, anything is better than those straps, man. The yeah, those straps are terrible, terrible. Mm -hmm. and, and they're small and they're yeah. uncomfortable, and there's the nothing good about is, that strap. They, they kind of when they when they sit and you tie it up here, you have a bump mm -hmm. sticking out. Right. It just wasn't. I mean, if they'd have put it on a NATO, that might have been better. But yeah, I get the whole moon strap thing, and I have the moon strap for my speedy, the proper one. Right. They just don't work very well. They're just they're yeah. uh, they're not good. Not comfortable. So, not comfortable. Watch some watches. Oh, hold on. Make you big. Oh, there you go. Boxes watches. Boxes watches. I don't have everything on the strap, but yeah. Uh, let me grab. Let me grab satin because I think satin's really nice on the strap. Saturn's my favorite. So. Oh yeah, that looks a little. How nice is that? that better. It's beautiful. Actually, the, the, the strap is beautiful. Show, show the strap again. Show the back, the, the, the oh. buckle. So let me let me unbuckle it. Yeah. Who's the, who's the company again? So it's a company called Cased in Time. Cased in Time, yes. Yeah, the same that makes the cases. Yeah. So yeah, the guys that make these these pods, these watch yeah. pods, they do the straps for these now. And mm -hmm. they're 30 pound. They come with their own buckle. And on the inside there, let the camera catch up. Just a set. Just yeah. a set. There you go. So, I'm trying to get the light. It's yeah, stamped have. inside, cased in time. Mm. It's really hard okay. to get the light to it. There it is. Cased in time. See it? I have the same cased in time as you. Yeah. There you go. Oh. Try and light it up. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, I can yeah. see. What a it, difference. It, yeah, and, and the front side it looks like a little bit like the Omega Seaweed in. Yeah, the design. So, yeah, it makes it so you can actually wear it. 
Yeah, it's where they're wearable now. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah. And those case and time, and those are what, like 20, 30 bucks, something like that? Yeah, 30 pounds. So what? 30 so pounds? 25 bucks. I'm yeah. pretty sure there was a promo code. Yeah, I think where you could get promo code. 30 pound off. So you could get two for 30 pounds, which is nice. Quite good. Very cool. So 15 pound a strap. You know, it makes a watch that wasn't very wearable. Now we're here. Oh, but not only on. wearable. Let's, let's get Jane. Awesome. He'll, he'll model it because they, they <laughs> well, don't have a model. Let's get the wrist model in. Let's yes. get the wrist model in because big fat wrists can't wear these things. I'm devastated because I got the sun for myself mm -hmm. and it doesn't fit. Uh, um, that was the one I wanted. I wanted sun and Mars. I wanted Mars just because of the Alaska project. Yeah. Um, but that's how they fit on me. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Oh, there you go. Yeah. So, what, what's the, the size of a Jaden, on the other hand, yeah, he's got. All oh, the look at that! Room. Yeah, I bring the space. He's got some nice tuck room there. Nice. Great. Yeah. Oh, it's perfect. Fair Very cool. What's your size wrist? Uh, Mine is. I'm eight and eight and two quarters. Eight and oh wow! Yeah, Jesus, big wrist. Yeah. I yeah, thought I had wrist. big wrists. Yeah. No, Oshin, Oshin thought he had big wrists until he went to try yeah. my watch on and was like, fuck. Yeah. And I, I went to try, I went to put his AP on and I'm like, Oshin doesn't fit over my hand. Over stop, uh, you need to stop with the whole, I've got barely wrists. My wrists are so big. <laughs> no, 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 small. You, you know the advantage, Alex, you, you never get arrested because there are no cuffs. <laughs> cuffs don't fit you. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, um, this is how you make a moon, though, better. You put it on the proper... Oh, oh, yeah. oh you have a deployer. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. That's the, yeah. So that's the proper Amiga yeah. the moon wrap, which I had... When I went to Venice, they had the larger size, so I mm -hmm. took my speedy off. The moonshine. Nice. I put it on a new, the larger moonshine. Yeah. And yeah. And then as soon as I got back. Yeah. That's the strap I have on my Seamaster. This, yeah. No, this is the speedy one, the moonshine. Okay. Similar to the, the speedy one, the Seamaster one has the ocean waves in it. This has the moon rocks. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. I get you. Yeah. Wait. Uh, yeah. It's yeah. kind of dark. It's, it's hard dark. to see. Yeah. Yeah. It's hard to see. Um, but I have I'm sitting on too many watches today, but yeah, we have. Hello? Boom. Yeah. Obviously, one bit of a difference it's when amazing. you turn them around. Yeah, it, it's yeah. amazing how, how close but, they look like, right? You know, for a, for a 13 year old, he comes in. Yeah, he's a 13 year, year old. Not bad when he has his watch like his dad, right? Yeah, exactly. And that, yeah. for me, that is exactly what these swatches are for, you know? Mm -hmm. So what do you want eventually? One of these? There you go. <laughs> so £240 given yeah. to swatch, and at some point he'll give five grand to Amiga, the, uh, and you've yeah, got a new but, customer. But then he has to step up. He has to step yeah, up. you have to step up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he actually he wanted a Tudor um, and he was kind of hoping for his birthday he'd, he'd grab funds from everywhere sending in cards and he'd get a Tudor and he, he amassed enough that he was close mm -hmm. and then went actually dad I start my new school I'm getting a laptop instead uh... so, yeah. he did the sensible thing and bought a laptop instead of a watch which yeah, but, but at least before. he likes he likes watch. That's good because yeah. I yeah. talk about so that. he got my daughter. My daughter has has nothing to do with watches. So he got that one. Yeah, just instead. a little. Yeah. yeah. So he got the Mercury instead. Yeah. yeah, the Mercury. Mercury's a good one. Yeah. So he bought the laptop and he got the Mercury with the change. So nice. fair play. All right. Fair play. Use the sensible head for a a kid. It's pretty yeah. good. Good for him. Didn't blow it on money on the watches. Good job, young man. Yeah, Mark says, good job, young man. You can't hear out the airpods. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good so, one. Yes, absolutely. And Marcel so, is too rowdy on this walk. Yeah, Marcel is still cooking away. Yes. Hard life, a hard life. <laughs> Yeah, so um, a 
I'm curious what next year is going to be. If this year is all about the the different hands, what are they going to do to keep this going after after all the moonshine and strawberry hands and everything they've done? I don't know. You know, the, the, this blue looks like a little bit darker than the original yeah. one. I don't know if it's the photo well, of the lighting, well, lighting, but it, it, it looks it could, light. Sergio, it could be the new and improved non-wear off on your the wrist. Non, yeah, non-leaky blue. <laughs> Supposedly. <laughs> Supposedly. Yeah, yeah. Allegedly. Yeah, let's hope. Allegedly. Let's hope. Jesus Christ. Yeah, that that's crazy. Cool. The blue one is pretty cool, though. I like that. Yeah, blue's good. I mean, fair, play to, fair play to Gavin from um, BQ. He got he got them all. That's, that's really oh, cool. Good. That's pretty cool. Very and cool. Andy has all of the secondhand ones as well. He has, he has the full set. Yeah, full set. That's, that's an good morning, Sean. Welcome to the thousandth, thousandth episode of the Tim Ray Show. Just kind of manning the uh, the stream here for a couple hours while he gets breakfast and rests up a little bit. Yeah, uh, exciting. Uh, thousand episodes is a lot. It's a lot, man. It is a lot. I only got fifty. I only got fifty coming up tomorrow. So on the community. <clears throat> yeah, but, but that all... nowhere near as drama filled as Tim's one thousand. <laughs> Not nearly. That Kim yeah, is you, he's, he's he's brought some entertainment for a thousand. Yes, episodes. he has. Yes, he has. Yeah, I'm telling you, day and out, every single day, man. It's yeah, it's crazy. That day in, day out, all that drama, all the uh, the chaos, and he finds yeah, a way some, to make it funny. Some of those funny streams that the London, the first time he went to the London Watch Show. And he walked up to that guy, Charlie, who'd organized the show and says, Oh, who are you? It's the fucking organizer of the show, Tim. You should know who this guy is. It's fucking exactly. brilliant. He starts telling him about the London Watch Show, and it's like, Tim, this mm -hmm. guy fucking organized it. Yeah. Uh, he's it's, a comedian. It's his show. It's his show. You know. Johnson says, I just went back and watched America's Unboxing Incredible Peace. Yes, yes, yes. I, I did not see it. Uh, it was it was getting too late. Okay. So I did just not see it. Just, yeah. just another five minutes. Another five minutes. Yeah, another five. Yeah. Another five. It, it was almost. It was more than one o'clock in the morning, man. When I said, you know "Okay, what, I'm going to sleep. Otherwise, I cannot be here today. I'll take. Uh, I'll take a look later." But uh, it's a beautiful watch. It is worth gorgeous. a lot. Yeah. Just gorgeous. Don't say it was the moon swatch, Neptune, please. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, was that, no. that, it was that new Tissot. It was the new one. Yeah, the new Tissot. Yeah, uh, yeah break, break, as breaking news, it's the, the novelty. Yeah, it's that's terrible. Uh, don't buy that. <laughs> that's my advice. <laughs> get the swatch instead. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Get a swatch, get a Casio, get, get a Timex. <laughs> There's a thousand watches I would recommend before that. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty brutal. Pretty brutal. What else and, is going on in the world? Exactly. The way they try to integrate the digital with the the, the, the dial, it, it, I did mm -hmm. not like it. No, I did not like it at all. Looks like we got a new Oris Aquas Pro, four thousand meters. Wow. Two, four thousand. 4,000 meters, yeah. Do we really? Here's my question, and I'm an Oris fan. I like Oris. But do we need a 4,000-meter Oris Aquas? It's just for the sake of as a FU watch, right? Yeah. yeah. Know what we can do. But uh, I really doubt they even going to manufacture 100 of those in the year. Yeah. They're saying it's very large. 49.5 Jesus. Jeez. 23.4 thick and 55 lug to lug. That is huge. Mm, with a wetsuit on. Yeah. It's too much. With a wetsuit, you'd pull it off. Yeah. How many people Probably actually dive with these watches anymore and don't use the actual you know dive computers now? 
you know, usually is so I have some some friends who are who were divers, uh, commercial mm -hmm. drive, divers, not drivers, divers, and they used to have the computer on one hand and uh, the diving watch <clears throat> on the other as a backup. Yeah. Okay. I mean, but... Mark, when when you say yes. if we need. When you say if we need the Oris, that is a diver for 4,000 meters, no, we don't. But uh, they want to flex muscle. Yeah. Because they want to show, they basically want to show, hey, if Omega and Rolex, you know, you guys think that they are the best company because they can make that deep watch, uh, that they can go that deep. Hey, yeah. we can do it also. We can yeah, do it too. You know? yeah. It does kind of look yeah. like that ultra deep, doesn't it? With that blue yeah. gradient. I, I yeah. dropped a link in the private chat. Did you look at this one yet? The, the other Oris that's one? come out with the um, oh, uh, the collab. Oh wow! No, I didn't see that. Hold on, let's share that. They call the it the Candy, candy man. man. It's kind of funky. Yeah. Okay, I can say it's gonna be banned in Malaysia. <laughs> yeah, but uh, yeah, wow. it's a colorful. It's very and, colorful. Again, and, what the hell is no, and, and to be honest, <laughs> and to be honest, and to be honest, what it hell? appeases this one appeases more to me than the jigsaw pro Rolex. Yeah. Mm. Wow. Because that you can see wild. the picture, you can see the drawing. It, it, yeah. That jig is always a mess. I cannot understand. It's definitely it. colorful. It's definitely yes. colorful. And, and uh, by the way, Tim was very excited of the, the APs that was all uh, fully ice and Ooh. basically said that the uh, AP actually uh, doing, you know, the job that the green market used to do full ice was. <laughs> no, a, actually, AP is actually very famous in icing they watch it by the way they stopped doing something that they used to be very famous in the past that actually they used to ice the hands mm. even the hands they actually used even to the hands the, yeah even on the hands so you can check it out a little bit some ice all the ap's and you're yeah. going to see even the hands are <clears throat> even the hands yeah <clears throat> god bless them <laughs> This is the order 65, way, the right? Company, the yeah, it's the Diver 65. So By the way, the but, only company in the world until now that could ice the hand. Nobody actually could do it. No one else now. could do it? Yeah. Or no one else would do it? I, yeah, I, that's I probably think, more, more yeah. to the point, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah I, think, I think you did it a better point. Nobody <laughs> would point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is nice, nice. The, guy, the guys at Rolex are just sat back in the corner, you know, in the corner going... Yeah. We'll just let them do that. Yeah, just. Thirty-four ninety-five. I like the case of the sixty-five. It. Um, it the sixty-five is a nice bit, watch. Yeah, it reminds a little bit the old Submariners. Yeah, I like the metallic bezel. Mm -hmm. Is it three and a half thousand pounds worth of? Yeah. So a normal. Yeah. So this is Yeah. Um, let's see if we can't pull up a normal Diver 65 here. Ba -ba -ba. You know, I like to be to be honest that though the IFLW guys, I like what they're doing. I liked when they did the Tissos with the Starburst mm -hmm. Isles. They were really cool, but just a lot of money for for that. You know, little yeah. bit extra. Well, money money is a, is a perspective of seeing things because you know I'm I'm seeing that. It's not like I became a crazy philosophic guy, but uh, suddenly I actually bought a bottle of whiskey for mm -hmm. two grand. You know, yeah. two grand for juice. Yeah, yeah but also they're, that, they're, you know? they're charging a thousand pound for a Casio G Shock mm -hmm. just because yeah. they hate the indices. Doesn't make any sense. Right. It's a lot of me. Look, they, they, they use the uh, uh, whiskeys for 10, 20 grand. You know, I mean, the uh, 25 is like 25 grand. For yeah. Fucking juice. Yeah, but Marcelo, we're, we're not, talking, we're not talking about fine whiskeys. We're talking about an Oris. There's, there's right. a hell of a difference, or a Casio. That's that's yeah, like saying fucking Coca Cola's two thousand pound a can. 
Yeah, but you don't drink your olive, you know? Think yeah. about it. I mean, <coughs> you also wouldn't pay a thousand pound more for the same watch <laughs> just because the, yeah. the bottle got painted a different color. Mm. Yeah. So I got to say, for 2100 US, I like this one better. Yeah. In the Diver 65. I think that's kind of a classic look. I think Deer Artifact uh, had a, had this so watch. What, so we're talking about what another seventeen hundred bucks to have that candy. Yeah, uh, for the candy. Yeah, you, you guys in the watch community. Uh, interesting question. My wife asked me why uh, citizen stocks uh, it went very much up now. Huh? Can you repeat? Citizen, yeah. citizen stocks going up. Well, they're yeah. they're kind of so replacing. It? They it's priced the themselves where Seiko used to be priced. Like they, they kind of filled that that backwash where ah. Seiko raised their prices, and Citizens kind of jumping into that uh, that little void there. Yeah, so it's not like be... they did that ridiculous, amazing watches that now is uh, wow. No, no, <laughs> no, Marcelo. They're just they're just selling them in Bukhara now, and everyone's buying them to get their spends on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, <that's> exactly. <laughs> yeah, get their they, spend they, they, the thing that Citizen has a following for divers, yes, okay, mm -hmm. uh, diver watches, and uh, they also have that technology that they call the Echo, whatever, uh, Echo Drive, Echo Drive, yeah, yeah. Drive. yeah. yeah Echo Drive. Mark, Which can you pull up? Can you pull up James Hess' comment? Yeah, but yeah. Uh, but yeah, Seiko increased the price, and, and who in who is getting more of it is Orient. It's also now, yeah. Seiko, so they kind of them start. That's a garbage watch, right there. That's a garbage watch. <laughs> That's a garbage. There, that, there That's a go. garbage watch. I mean, the fucking weight of this thing. I mean, if it if it stops I'm telling the time, you know, it's like a good Russian watch. You could always hit them with it, but yeah, yeah that's. Uh, I think Tim would agree that that's yeah. That's for long garbage. That's from, but why have I got it? Because in in the back, this is different. Became more. Available. Let me just unscrew. See, everyone knows that I like all kind of space stuff and all that, but yeah. in the back, this is energy a rocket. Yeah. So, oh, part, yeah. I think, so I think the rotor. I think the rotor from that is from the energy a rocket, the Russian okay. rocket. So yeah. very cool. Cool, That's but cool. fucking ugly. Don't buy citizen stock. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to drop down. <laughs> But yeah. So James says, uh, uh, Oris watches are great, but that wouldn't fit into Tim's definition of a garbage watch. And Tim yeah. wants to know, he says, uh, when did you get that piece out? <laughs> Tim, Tim, I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll answer that question if you pony up some money and get me out of the fucking thing. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, guys, uh, with, with all the respect of the watches that I have, in 10 years from now, I'm going to sell all my Rolex. Probably Tim going to going to kick me out of the channel that time because yeah. i'm probably going to have only customers you know yes see i, I what sam d said I, I was also thinking about this yeah who who warranties that casio or that tissot or oris now right once that they they've opened, they've opened it, it they've taken it apart did they now give you that warranty right i think it, i think it would have to be from them mm. is that why a Four hundred and fifty pound Casio is now nine hundred and ninety pound on their website. Mm. You know they're they're factoring part of it. three years down the line. This thing's going to need yeah. to be replaced, so they cover their arts. But it's a lot of money. It is a lot of money. Yeah. Ah, uh, by, by the way, you 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 have a young uh, son. What 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 is taking about, for example, Apple Watch? Let's say this. What do you think about Apple Watches? Horrible. Horrible. He has one. Horrible. He does. I do buy him an really? Apple Watch. Um, but wow. yeah, he, I don't think it's. I think Robert it's got a charge. Wear... You rather have your moon watch? He did. He did Very buy cool. a new watch. He had a, he yeah. a new watch recently. It's Very because his father is a is a watch geek. No, that's why. No. <laughs> no. His father the apple, the apple doesn't fall far. Probably would be different. Yeah, the Apple Watch is not a watch. I mean, yeah, it's much more than that. It's, it's like a. And in fact. People were saying that Apple was about to launch a ring. Oh so wow! Instead of oh, that, what watch would be the ring. Oh jeez! So 
Absolutely. It's an, a, but we call it an Apple Watch. Is it a watch? Okay. So if I um, so, so if I if I get a strap and I strap this to my wrist, it's the same thing, right? Yeah. It's not That's a watch. That's what we say. But it's a device. It's, it's a, device. a device, but you know what is actually funny? I do see a lot of the uh, businessmen that even coming in my restaurant, you know, mm -hmm. uh, that maybe 10, 20, 30 years ago, they would probably wear a day tour now. They probably would wear some yeah. fancy watch. Now they're wearing uh, uh, Apple watches. Sometimes Apple watches with the Elmer's brand, you know, like yeah. the strap. Or the new uh, Ultra, the gets, Ultra one. The orange yeah, bracelet. It, it became yeah. it became like uh, hey, if I want to be a businessman mm -hmm. or let's say associate in business, it's cheaper for me to take an Apple Watch than just spending 10, 20 grand on, on a fancy watch. It's in, I guess as well, Marcelo, you have to you have to look at the function of it as well. If you if you are in business and that you need you know it, sometimes it's rude to have your phone, whereas you can just discreetly just tap yeah. that message on and move on so I, I get it i mean i got my friend a sub no date and he was over the moon with it and his yeah. very next purchase was the apple watch ultra the one with the orange strap and now yeah. he has two he's got the apple on one wrist yeah. and the subby on the other so he's best of both worlds but it's not a watch it's a device yeah but but i met a lot of people that bought the apple watches of course they got excited with all the pictures their heart meetings and other things and yeah. after Two months, they they basically block all the all the futures and they <laughs> just kept it as a watch. You know, yeah. <laughs> it became like hey, I, I don't want to be notified about nothing no more. And but they, they also kept they, it as a they have watch. to they can't they can't go oh I bought the wrong watch fuck, you know they they still have to have that Apple yeah. Watch on their wrist to be to fit with so, the trend and you know it's this. So when it's, I was having. <clears throat> when I was having my heart surgery and afterwards, and then when the AFib first started, I was wearing my Apple Watch on my on my right wrist. And uh, Looking Glass makes a good point. I had a uh, GMT watch face on the front of it, <laughs> so it actually at least it looked like a watch because <laughs> I, I couldn't stand all the digital readouts and stuff. That's a good one. Guys, I'll have to jump off for a while. Uh, I'll try to. All right. Okay, Sergio, but, uh, thanks for coming on. Yeah, I, I hope to be back mm. later on. Well, guys, okay. good to see you. Got, yeah, Alex, Sergio. Yeah, Sergio. Sergio. Marcelo, go ahead with the with all the stuff that you're doing. Don't kill anyone, man. See ya. This is Jaden. Uh, Jaden's new one. Ah, wait, hold on. So, yeah, Seiko snap on. Oh, wow, that's cool. Yeah, it's a good so, watch. Very, very different. Yeah. Um, there's one one watch per Snap-on dealer worldwide. So every Snap-on dealer got one watch to do with okay. what they did, whether they give it away or you know run competitions. Okay. And yeah, Snap-on brown brown dial and Snap-on yeah. there. So yeah, kind Very of cool. it yeah. does flip. Try and get that. It does flip in the light quite nice. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Which I think he paid like three forty for it. Okay, it's not too bad, but you know, yeah. not bad at so, all. Yeah. Open case back. Open case back. Yeah. yeah. Manual wind. Not bad for thirteen. Not bad. No, yeah, absolutely not. You know, he cool. likes it. Yeah, he likes it. Excellent. One of those unique pieces that doesn't pop up often. Yeah. I bet that you won't see another one on the stream. <laughs> yeah. uh, James Hess says, I haven't used my Apple Watch when doing sports. None of the high-speed watches will tell me what my heartbeat is when riding my mm. mountain bike. Thank God I didn't have a nice watch when I flipped mine. Yeah. Does the Tissot T-Touch? Yeah, does that do? I think that does. Because yeah. all the rugby referees, they're all running around wearing it. Yeah. Mm. Sam D says it's wearable tech because it's That's just it. an extension exactly. of your Apple Watch. Yep. Yeah. yeah. It's Even a device. Cool. Yeah. That's the other thing. People say, well, I didn't spend as much, but you have to buy a new, a new Apple Watch every two years to keep up with the tech. Yeah. You know? Every year, every six months. Or yeah, year. You're spending, yeah. You're spending the money anyway. 
Yeah. Uh, there's a new watch brand called Sequent. They make mechanical smartwatches that show heart rate and some useful info. All right. Yeah, there's all kinds of stuff. I, I just prefer a watch. Even my G-Shocks, I need to have analog hands. Yeah. You know? I have analog hands on my G-Shock, although I bought the red dial with the fucking red hands, and you can't tell. Ah. <laughs> it's so hard. Mm. Yeah, my favorite is the monster. I have. Hold on. I don't mean the snap. The snap-on thing kind of fits. I don't know what, whether you know my background. Um, yeah. But I'm four times master technician now. I think. Four, oh, yeah, sweet. Four. Okay. So I've been in the automotive industry for the best part of twenty-three years. Worked my way up the chain. Um, I've been in the automotive industry for 30 some years. <laughs> I mean, I want out of it, but yeah, you know, I help. That is what it so is. yeah, you kind of, my snap on dealer had one. Yeah. He gave it, he did it in a giveaway, uh, which mm -hmm. I didn't win. So he said, Oh, I'll, I'll find you one. And yeah, you managed to get hold of one for me. And yeah. He so, wants to follow his, in his dad's footsteps and fix cars. Mm -hmm. Why well, he would, it's, there's no money in it, but. Uh, can you use your Apple Watch on its own without having it connected to an iPhone? No. I'm not sure you I think can. You have to pair it originally. Yeah, you have, I yeah. think after you pair it, you can. I, I mean, I don't know. It's separate. I, yeah, I but it's still, it's still oddly. It's taking, if you are away from your phone, it's still using the information from your phone to, you know, for the background. So, so. so this is my favorite. Uh, Digital watch, and it's not even digital. There's no digital readout on it at all. <laughs> it's the big old G-Shock. Uh, mommy, mommy, give me. Uh, I think this is uh, your cup. I'll let him grab mine. You'll see. This is my my work watch, my okay. everyday work watch. He's, he's going to grab it. You'll see. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it shows the scars of being a work watch as well. Yeah. It's, uh, yeah. yeah. And he goes with thing is with Casio, uh, they are bulletproof. They just oh, keep yeah. going. They just keep growing. You know, as nice as you know, expensive watches are. They're they you can't wear them every day like that. Not yeah. not with what I do anyway. Now. Yeah, it's only for uh, for that. The customers just left. Okay. Yeah. Marcella, what wow. was that? What was that lump of beef you were showing earlier? Was that wagyu? Uh, no, I think before what I show you guys was, uh, I think it was a lamb chop actually. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Like a big lamb I, I actually, uh, I actually cut the lamb chop extremely thick, just to keep it super juicy. So. Yeah. I mean, it was the biggest lamb chop ever at that size. I mean, that's. Are you sure it was yeah, like? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah, yeah, but because you, you know, usually as the call it as a chef, right? They they always uh, you know in in the in the lamb you have the the bones mm. and usually they follow the bone to to cut the pieces. Now yeah. if you do that you're going to have slices of one centimeter. What what I do, I ignore everything like like completely like a can you know I I decide okay I want to cut it this thick, so I cut it I I take the hammer boom 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 and I cut yeah. through the bone I don't give a shit like I, I mm -hmm. cut through the bone. And I'm getting this uh, kind of uh, three, four centimeter thick uh, meat. Um, gotcha. You know, l l lamb chop, if you cut through the bone, it's probably going to weigh like 60 grams, 60, 70 grams. My lamb chop is 300 grams a piece. <laughs> okay. Wow. It's like really 300 oh, grams. It's a lot for a lamb chop. Boom. So, there it is. Mm. Yeah, it's beauty. That's beat to shit, but it's so hard to tell the time on it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's so dark. Hey, by the way, uh, uh, Casio yeah, so. invented the first uh, Apple watches. If if we think about it, you know that that you Band know stretch. back in the eighties, back in mm -hmm. the eighties, what you're seeing now, this is the watches with the apps. You know, yeah, you 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 have the apps in the watch. You know, you have the <coughs> software. Yeah. You have the. It's hard the, to see. The time just counting, right in the corner. Right in the corner of the dial, I don't know whether uh, the the yeah. crystal. I don't know whether you can see. There's a slight crack in it, so he's no longer waterproof. 
it's hard to see there in the corner. It's, it's very hard to catch with the light, but yeah, just in the corner, I managed to crack the glass. You, you know, when, when, when I was, uh, you know, when I was between, I think, uh, 10 to, yeah, I think 10 to 15, I used to look in the windows and to see what is the new castle's release, you know, what is the new, <laughs> the new apps, what they come out, you know? There, there was, uh, we wanted the, the watch with the most, the, with, with the biggest complication on, on the watch. I mean, this this Casio does so much. There's, there's like Bluetooth mm. connectivity, and I haven't got a clue how it works. I just put it on, and it's the right time. You know, look at my wrist and tell the time. You're muted, Mark. Yeah, but by the way, my G Shock uh, with the Bluetooth, it connects it looks like to the iPhone. Right, same you, thing you with have mine. An app. Yeah, you have yeah. an app that's connected, yeah. but but the app, you know, the app is stupid. You know that, right? Mm. It doesn't do much. Basically, yeah. it's very stupid app, shit. you know. Yeah. It's confusing. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, it's it's solar. It's 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 bulletproof. It's yeah. uh, it, you know, it's connected. So anytime it's near your phone, it resets the time. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty. Yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll give it the one the one thing that is really cool with this. If I put it in the drawer and it just runs down because it's solar powered, so it just runs down. You take it out the drawer, he sees light, and you just watch the hands set themselves. Brilliant. Yeah. Oh, it's just, nice. that's, that's cool. Yeah. Chuck it on your wrist and time's right. It's really good. James says, besides that, I just wear my garbage collection outside of the house. Oh, he's, oh, he's, he's hounding him. him with that garbage and he's hounding he's hammering him. him on the garbage. Hey guys, today today I bring I, today I brought I, I bring with me the Meteor Dial GMT. Ah, and, shit. Uh, and, Marcelo is and, Marcelo and the, is and the shit Platona, watch. You know, shit watch. Everybody's really... fucking got one. Everybody's got yeah, a fucking Meteor. I know. Watch. <laughs> That's the most common <laughs> watch yeah, Everyone's got one now. <laughs> hey, I, I I told my wife wait five years. This was going to be half million. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Yeah, I don't <laughs> know. Everybody's <laughs> got one. <laughs> Maybe Yours you might be. Told Yours will be famous. No, you yeah, shouldn't have told everybody. No, here, here is the problem. It's not like everybody got one. Everybody that we know in this watch community is That's basically it. seven guys in the watch community have one, and we think like, oh yeah, this is a very problem. easy, simple watch to yeah, get. Problem. The problem is that these seven people that got the watch, Karen Kronos is a multi-billionaire. A, 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 no, Boston watch collector is yeah. basically connected to 25 uh, a read, a, a watch dealers, you know, and he's a multi billionaire. He buys a watch every two days. You know, it, it, this is not normal people, you know? Right. The sad, not normal the sad people. thing is, Marcelo, that, that meteorite <laughs> dial is on my list from the AD, and she said, a couple of years. The ne but I've been told the next one that comes in is mine. She also yeah, said yeah, we yeah, haven't. This, this she said we it. haven't had a Pepsi in three months, so she she <laughs> speculates the Pepsi just because of the fucking bezel bleeding into it, that's going to discontinue the Pepsi. So it, I was worried that they're going to run out of meteorite dial, and that would stop gotcha. that watch and it would be discontinued. No, no, it's the fucking bezel is going to stop the watch being made. So I don't think I'm going to get one. And again, I was telling Tim earlier that Nico's guys were were saying eighty thousand pounds will buy as many as you got. Well, I looked on Chrono a little while back. They were down at 45,000. That's not that much over list for such a watch to get. You know, I think, you, you know what? If I had extra money, I definitely would buy more too. You mm. know, just to, to sell them in the future. I really, I really believe yeah. that uh, this was going to at least vest the prices that is now in the market yeah. is going yeah. to double the price after yeah. it's going to be discontinued. I mean, I everybody sure sure that knows that. me knows that that's my Grail watch. That's the one that I want. And yeah, you know, the, the meteorite what screams to me. You know, he came from space, so I'd love to right. have that in a watch. But it, it's devastating it's if they discontinue it because of a fucking bezel. That's ridiculous. It, it, Carolyn, Carolyn Martin says she right. has one, Marcelo. No, oh, so everybody's got one. Common watch. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Common do, do you know? Do you know? Do you know? <laughs> Marcelo G, G Shock. Do you know? G -shock do <laughs> you you know you know that she own uh, half of the, the United States, like she have a huge well, farm. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, Carolyn just, Ca Carolyn just said shark. the list on that is forty four k. Like shark. 
Yeah. I'm like, Carolyn, I'm having people. Carolyn, I'm talking I am to the you. only cunt that got, by the way, I am the only cunt that got this watch and I still wonder why. Yes. <laughs> and that was like it, uh, almost <laughs> and you were to work. Uh, three years ago, three or four years right. ago, something like that. It's, um, yeah. I think that's the, it's the small circles that we're in that you see these fantastic watches. You're never seeing that in the wild. You know, as yeah. common as we say it is, you can't walk, even even in London, I could walk around London for a day, I would never see a meteorite Pepsi. I may see a Pepsi, but not mm -hmm. a meteorite. You know, they're, they're you certain... know what? I, I tell you something. Beside everybody in, in, in Team Gross, that get the the, the meteor, uh, Pepsi and everybody think this is a common watch. It till now in Japan, and it passed away the, since 2019 when it was released. Till now, mm. I never saw one, no. one of somebody wearing one. The Platona, I saw the Platona already like a, uh, like 20 times. I have to say, my Platona, my said she's, many she's Platona I saw here, many many mm. many. Uh, by the way, always the Platona that I have. That simple, uh, I call this the simple Platona, right? It's, uh, it's the cheap one, Marcelo. Bit. Marcelo, that's the cheap one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I, the cheap one, I saw like at least 20 times, if not more than 20 times. I, I, I had already like 10 customers that came in the yeah. shop with that Platona. I saw in the street, uh, uh, like uh, in many occasions in the last... Uh, uh, six, seven years that I started to pay attention to that watch. I okay. saw many, many of that that watch all the time. The same one, the same one. When, when, uh, the truth is that when I got it, I was excited that I got that because of you guys. I wasn't really like, wow, because you know when, when I mean, I'm wearing is like, <coughs> hey, there is another twenty people wearing behind me. You know, like, yeah. I mean, it's, it's a nice thing to hear though, Marcelo, <laughs> that you, you, you see Platona's. People just walking around wearing so how safe Japan is. You know, I, there's people here in the I UK think, that wouldn't wear a fucking Apple Watch because they might get yeah. robbed. You know it. Well, I, I heard about. Look, I mean, the ability uh, to wear that watch and just walk down the street. It's amazing. Jip, Japan is uh, hey, it till it till uh, some gypsies and and the uh, guys going to start coming to Japan to to do shopping, but. Uh, uh, before before that, I mean, uh, Japan is pretty kind of uh, safe. You you almost feel, you know what? When when I'm wearing again, I I think I had an argument with Mark uh, also about that because I you know Mark, you need to understand me. I have this feeling that mm -hmm. when I'm wearing the uh, <coughs> let's say the metal dial or the platona or the smurf or whatever, or some guys that I don't have, let's say some guys have. Uh, Richard Mills and APs and, and Pateks, I feel that the general people don't give a shit. Yeah. I, I feel they don't. like, uh, they don't. yeah, it's it like, you know, people, I, I see, by the way, I saw people wearing uh, uh, like million dollar Patek. You know what? When, when it was, I'm going to tell you something that is going to sound funny. When, when it was the Patek event, you know, uh, the, the, the big uh, Patek Museum that actually they did uh, here in, in Tokyo. I went there mm -hmm. with my most expensive watch. You know, like you guys say, the super difficult, limited edition, uh, Platona, how it important, how amazing that watch. Man, I was ashamed wearing the mm. Platona there. I was yeah. hiding my hand. I actually wanted to go to the washroom and flash the platona. I'm telling you. I mean, you go to an event that, you know, is it, the only place that you actually can go with a platona and feel ashamed that you're actually wearing that watch. I mean, they, you have no idea what watch people was wearing there. Wearing that, you have no idea. You know, you, you see watches in this place that cost Two, three, four million dollars, and the guy is like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It basically, he's wearing the watch. <laughs> he's wearing the watch that is in this place. I mean, man, I, I, I saw things that that I didn't even believe is even possible to to see. I mean, uh, uh, 
You know, I, I went with my friend Debug. He actually was actually do, doing shooting. He said, "Do you do, no, do do you enjoy the event?" I said, "No, I feel like shit. I feel like garbage. I want to go home. <laughs> I don't want to be here." That Kai Sanders first world problems exactly. Yeah. There's a yes. lot of people with too much money. <laughs> James I, Hess, I actually, if you can jump on, I, I dropped the link. Really you know, in that, in, that partic- in that particular event, it was uh, you could buy the the kind of the Patek Museum uh, catalog. I think it was, uh, I actually bought two. One for, for Jamie, when Jamie going to come to Japan. Yes. I'm going to give him that guy, because they have the whole time he like Patek. Let them enjoy Pateks. I actually suffer being in that event. I never want to go to a Patek event ever again. <laughs> <laughs> you know, let, let, let me go to a Rolex event. At least I'm going to yeah. feel a little bit respectable. <laughs> there you go. First world problems. So this is Looking Glasses uh, connected uh, Oceanus Casio. James has, he says he, he has 50K euros in garbage watches he found out today. Did Tim say that watches? Did I, I must have missed that. He doesn't have a Vostok though, does he? Come on, James, get a Vostok. Yes. Get a Vostok. Uh, by the way, James they came to Japan last month. He actually came visit yes. me. George, how are you doing? I'm well, sir. I'm well. Good, good, good. Good to see you on the thousandth episode. Yeah, I, I went. I came on earlier, but I had to go. Mm-hmm. Had to move my ass to a meeting. I was late. Ah. I just finished now. Long old day. Long old day. Marcel has been on all day. Yeah, George, why you didn't come to Japan when it was the Patek event? I would, I would actually lend you Patek, put it in my hand to feel more comfortable. You know. Fuck. <laughs> I'd only, I, I would only come to Japan with some people from the community just to rock up at your restaurant and drink and eat like a king. We drink it fucking well, dry. That would be drink amazing. it dry. Yeah. Drink it you know, we, we, we would make sure that there were no caps on any of those bottles. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe some wow. of the cheaper ones, you know. Really yeah, yeah we'd leave the cheaper say, ones. I did say to Tim earlier, I wonder what damage Asheen would do there. Asheen would drink his way through that lot. Hey, Asheen wouldn't come back, bro. Asheen would have to live there forever. (laughs) You need to be be careful with the thing you say. I have bottles here that is uh, over a thousand dollars. You know, a glass is basically like a hundred, a hundred and fifty, two hundred bucks. A, 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 listen, listen, Marcelo. So you, you blew (laughs) shit loads on that, that whiskey. (laughs) <laughs> between the nobody's watching so between you and me marks he's busy what's the profit you, you set to make on that so that thousand bucks a bottle when it's sold and everyone's bought their glasses worth out of it how much do you make ah, i'm going to tell you i'm going to tell you the how how we actually do that you you take uh, let's say a thousand dollar a bottle right this is this is by the way regulation in in, uh, in business for you to make sure that mm-hmm. that you always save uh, how we say making profit. So basically, what you do here, one thousand dollar. Uh, the bottle is uh, seven hundred cc. Okay, so you take uh, one thousand divided in seven hundred times thirty. This is give you the cost of the of of the drink because you put thirty cc. So you can do it now. Very simple. One thousand divided seven hundred times thirty. You you have your your. Uh, your cost that one you you do divided three you have the price of the yeah sorry divided 0.3 you have the price the recommended price of your glass yeah so whole milk so, has an interesting comment he, so he so says, uh, uh, just i have by the way i have no idea how much is the glass now let me just calculate for you quite fast um so it's going to be the, 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 the let me see where is the calculator. Ah, here we go. Okay, so one thousand divided seven hundred times thirty 
uh, divided 0 0.3. Okay, it's going to be 142 bucks for a shot. Damn. And how and many shots in a bottle? Yeah. Uh, you're going to have, ah, yeah, this is actually a good question. You're going to have only uh, a 20, 22 shots. Mm. Double 20 your money. Sh 22 shots is, is a bottle. So you double so your money. We, yeah. So you double the money, kind of, yeah. Fair play. Uh, actually, Most, more. You actually three. Yeah. Well, yeah, but you, uh, you still have taxes today, yeah. don't forget. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Profit, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, profit you've doubled your money. Yeah. yeah. Profit, you double the money, yeah. But, but so the, problem is, the problem is what? that this bottle is going to stay here in the shop for, for at least five years. <laughs> So Marcelo, what, kind, what, Marcelo, what kind of clients are coming into your store, into your restaurant? Mm -hmm. What what kind of people are visiting average kind of people? Or what's your average type of customer that comes into your restaurant? Are they business people mostly? Yes, it's family. business people. It, it, no, no, it's business. It, look, it's, it's business family, but basically it's, uh, it's people that... Um, how are we going to put it this way in a gentle way? 99% of my clientele is, uh, is how we say, uh, official uh, receipt. And this means that uh, they, they are executives or maybe owners of, of companies. And, and, and how I like to say, um, you, you don't mind to spend, I mean, you need to spend money when it's not your money. Mm. You know when when uh, and when, when a fucking money, testament to that, right? Yeah, when, when there is money that you need to spend, let's say because your company, if not, you're going to spend that money on 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 taxes. So that's Things, why you need to fly b a business class. That's why you need to come to my shop, spend some money. But also, and so on. So the Japanese so are is, big whiskey drinkers, though, aren't they? They they do like whiskey. So you potentially have the market there to sell that expensive whiskey. Yes, yes. Uh, yeah, they uh, do like whiskey, whiskey, wine. Yeah, yeah. And uh, and and what? And because I target myself on that kind of clientele, it, it put me more stable, even in very bad situations, even in very weak times. Because uh, I know a lot of restaurants that basically try to work on how we say uh, workers, people that actually uh, get salaries and spending their own money. And this actually become much more difficult to survive, much more difficult to to organize the, the menu, the prices, the the cost. It becomes like a hassle, and a lot of that business uh, closed. Yeah. And uh, we are we are here basically now twelve years. You know, I'm. Uh, there you go. So uh, it, it keep me more steady to mm -hmm. to to work with the. With, with this kind of people, it, you know, it's, uh, it's business to business. I would yes. say when 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 somebody comes and spend their own money, that I know they're spending <clears throat> their own money. So I, for me, it's like wow. I I actually appreciate a lot. Sometimes I even want to try to treat them so much that my wife wants to kill me. <laughs> but basically, <laughs> you know, it, 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 you you really feel it in your heart, but. Uh, but other guys, yeah, look, I, I had, you know, I had the guys, uh, something that I also told my friend, you know, it's like I had guys that they came here, three guys, they took wine, they took uh, whiskey, they took stuff, they spent, they spent like five, like five grand. Yeah. But this is, again, this is not their money. And then they go next door to a falafel shop that costs like 10 bucks, they argue with them, could you make mm. it cheaper? Could you make it eight yeah. bucks? Because this is now day money. <laughs> no, right. This yeah. is the, the difference. Mm. All right, whole milk. Uh, I had the steel cut oats for breakfast this morning, so I didn't take a picture. But I did take a picture of last mm. night's dinner, mm. which was the chicken francese. Mm. So it was a lemon wine butter sauce uh, with some pasta and asparagus for dinner last night. So no breakfast today, sorry. We'll do a breakfast picture tomorrow on the uh, 50th community show. We can make that happen. Um, hey, speaking of James Hess, 
What's happening, hey. James? <laughs> <laughs> Put that Apple Watch to work. <laughs> Just the only person that works for me. That's it. I gave, him, I gave him an Apple Watch. Uh, mommy, you know, he, not today, man. He, he was Apple really watch. happy but. He's real yeah. happy about it, you know. He, 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 he just does oh, he's gonna crash. Oh. Just does his work all day. Yeah. Never complains. Yeah, he measures his heart rate. You have this thing. Yeah, that's he right. He's, he's res he takes care of his heartbeat. Takes care of everything, man. The only, the only problem, James. Now you've given him a watch. He's gonna know what time tea break is. Yeah, yeah, yeah it, it already knows, and it, it already knows. And I, like, for example, it's not programmed to to work on Sundays. Uh, you know, I get, I give it a day off. <laughs> it only works Monday to Saturday. That's it. You know. Have you been? Does has he been? Here? He's been having a. He's been having a conversation with Tim because Tim wants to knock Sundays <laughs> on the head as well. So. Yeah. <laughs> James, James, does he does he have right? Could he sue you? I mean, what's going on? Yeah, well, <laughs> you know, it's always a problem because you know he complains also about having a garbage watch. And you know, uh, I, just, uh, I sit there and just go, you know, hey man, you know, I'm sorry about that, you know. I mean, you know, th th I, I'm afraid if I put plutonium on that one side, like the thing will be somehow, you know, you know, it'll be out of, it'll be out of weight, you know. Hey, look, uh, look, yeah. look for, for 450 bucks, you can upgrade into a Tissot. <laughs> yeah. Well, I theoretically, I didn't even pay anything for this thing because it was with my last mobile, my my last contract here in Switzerland. They just said. Yeah, we're going to send you this for free because we extended your contract. And I was like, okay, See, that's, yeah, that's, that's how that's you pay a little bit more money for the thing or whatever. Mm. And I was just like, yeah, okay, do it. And that, See, that's, that's how Apple Watch entered my life. That's how the Swiss yeah. think, you see. The Swiss are like, ah, oh, fuck, give this piece of shit away. It's yeah. not a Swiss watch. Give it away. <laughs> oh, fuck it. Exactly. They're ahead of, they're exactly. Ahead of the curve. What are we going to do know. with all these watches? Mm. These Apple Watches? We, we need to, do we need to, you know, just distribute them to the normal people you know so, mm -hmm. and yeah whatever um yeah you, you know what the genius that's going to take apple watches and empty them and actually put kind of a mechanical watch on that body i've I seen people do that be a genius. i've seen people do it it's, it's been done they've, they've gutted it and put the an automatic watch in there yeah wow well since Still today's speedy one. tuesday I, I brought out my 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 other garbage speedies. Your other garbage speedies. There, there's there, there's mm. one. There's there's my um, yeah. Garbage. The, the Olympics. Omega oh, garbage. Wow. Yeah, exactly. The 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 that, that I got in Tokyo, um, Marcelo. Uh, that that you also looked at prior to me buying it. And this is my normal one, you know. Yeah. And it's just like, oh, there's gloves there and stuff, and it's got you know thousands of bands and. You know, wow. stuff like that. I mean, who cares? It's garbage. all garbage, right? It's Absolute all garbage. garbage. It's not right. platinum. It's is not the, platinum. James, is that the one? James, that's the 1863, right? Yes. Yeah. So I have the same 1863, one. and it came with the box. The watch is, um, uh, that watch, the 1863, the normal one, is, um, yeah, just happy birthday to you is uh, 24 years old. Oh, wow. You have yeah. to try it on the moon swap on the moon strap, the moonshine strap. Yeah, no, it's on it's it's on the normal um yeah, it's it's on steel bracelet. strap, but I have had it on the NATO strap. I've had it there's a Velcro strap that I've never even opened. All these years, never opened it. If I ever wow. if I ever get a spacesuit, though, I will use it, I promise. You know, it's it's uh, prior to entering the the uh, command module and in my moon shoot. I will put the um, <laughs> the, the one on, you know, and, and you know whatever. I, I can pretend I'm uh, Buzz all or whatever. Huh? You can't really be a speedy. They're awesome pieces. Really love speedy. Yeah. There you go, James. Yeah. Look on the moon strap. Well, have on you guys ever strap. seen? Have you yeah, guys ever nice. seen this watch? This Mosier? He's nice. I got it's all nice. sorts of shit here. Mine? My, my? I don't. Uh, maybe. Let me. That's that's the Velcro strap uh, that I've never used. Um, or no, that's the black one I never used. Ah. This one, this one here is the, this one yeah. I've used quite quite often because the white stripe the nice kind of like yeah. the white yeah. stripe. It's very nice. It's <laughs> it's in. Uh, 
<laughs> Biohazard. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> yes, wow. exactly. Very nice. Yes, this is remnants of those COVID days uh, when I rewrapped everything. And this one here is the Velcro strap. And the Velcro strap, it's got some kind of, yeah, serial number on it. Yeah. And whatever the case may be. And like I said, that's only for, you know, when I enter, um, yeah, uh, I think any kind everybody, of. Everybody that got the big box speedy, I think they all have those straps mm. still in the wrappers. I don't think anybody's used them. Yeah. And I think oh, my, my loop's still in the box. My paperweight's still in the box and all the straps. Yeah. All they give you the this box. thing too, you know, it's just like really yeah. cool. You can like put it on the watch and you can like look at all the dust crystals on your on your <laughs> on your lens and everything yeah. else you know? i really never figured out why uh because it, it's actually got the same chronograph um uh markings as another oh, yeah. one but i mean who would who I would ever use right. this thing i mean yeah it's like yeah whatever yeah. it's kind of funny to actually to buy a novelty book, isn't it actually. A loop is huh? actually nice. I wanted, I wanted to buy a loop. I, I didn't buy a loop yet because my wife was driving me crazy that you need to buy a good quality loop. I guess you already have a good quality loop. <laughs> For me, it was mm. like I happened to find one. A, a loop? I think the, the loops with the lights on are really oh, good. That's a, oh, yeah. oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and, and I also want one of these things, Marcelo. Look at this. I hope it doesn't. this doesn't blind people. Yeah, I bought uh, one of these. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I have because that. Marcelo had one when I was at his place, and he was using it to, yeah, to yeah, light yeah. up his looms, you know. Yeah. And I was just like, I gotta get one of those, and I yeah. ordered it, Marcelo. I ordered over Amazon the very next day, and it was waiting. <laughs> it was waiting for me in Germany when I came back. I was just like, Yeah, <laughs> one, right? you want the what a piece one. of the shit! What a... <laughs> no, actually. Yeah, it's kind of it's kind of cool. yeah, look, you're not, you're if, not. Mark, if you put it back to the normal screen so you can see, put it so every so yeah, everyone's on the screen. Yeah, yeah you know what's you, exactly nice about that's how you learn to watch it. Oh wow! Ah, uh, uh, let me fix the camera. Like, the watch. Let me see if I can light up your watches from ah, okay. here. <laughs> look, look. You, you see the Pepsi? Uh, look careful. You, you, you see? Th this is a Pepsi, right? Look careful. Ooh, yeah. Now everything become red. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, I, 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 you well. know, I, I, I call that a kind of uh, defect of Rolex. Not exactly a defect, but basically, uh, the maybe the reason they want to uh, stop making this kind of basil because this basil is very fragile because of the mix of mm. of, of the colors that actually mm. they do. That, mm. That's why when you put the the UV light and everything turn red. Is because the basil is started as red, and then they put another they thin infill layer with the blue. Of, of blue. Yeah, yeah. it's right. red, and, and then they infill blue. Yeah, well. yeah. And this basil is very, very thin, so that's yeah. why they always have a problem with this uh, Pepsi basil that actually cracks. Yeah. They actually, well, exactly hate this Pepsi. You know, I mean, this, for them it's like a nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> Marcella. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Let me, All right. Let me go, let me go sideways. So, anyway, do you guys remember this watch? This Mosier? It was an odd. Uh, uh, yeah, it actually, more than yeah. something even worse. It was a company that did an Apple watch that was a mini repeat here that didn't even yeah. have no hand, no nothing. No, you, you still loading. You know the time only on the mini repeater. That's it. Yeah, time, time is still loading, isn't it? Yeah. Well, that was kind of a cool take on the uh, Apple Watch experience. Well, yeah. I mean, you know, whatever. It's yeah. just. Let's have a look. You know. James, let's have a look at that um, Japanese Speedy. Let's have a look. Come on. Because that's got sure? the nice that's got the nice clasp, hasn't it? The adjustable clasp. Yes, it does. Yes, it yeah. does, sir. Wait a minute. So I, I originally I bought my Speedy. Yes. But it, it doesn't. It, funny enough, it doesn't have. I don't think the bracelet that everybody was screaming about. That's very uncomfortable because it's a no, very Jay, comfortable. This is not Jay, the one. You, that, you, you, so, you, you, you need to understand. I, you, you have you have a watch from a, a twenty twenty Olympics. Listen carefully. From a twenty twenty Olympics, that never happened. Yeah. yeah, the Olympics was in 2021. So <laughs> the, the the watch is basically a camellia. You know, it's like 
man, it is a watch yeah. of Olympic that never happened. You yeah. know, this, this yeah. Like, yeah, that's that's one of the reasons why we <laughs> man, this is this is so cool. I mean, you know, I mean, it's really a kind of a, I mean, very unique kind of thing. And you know, like I said yesterday, um, it or, or during our uh, the last time I was on the show, I said, you know, it was, you know, I wanted a souvenir from from Tokyo, and it was, you know, I thought it was this or a T-shirt, yeah, but- you know. And anyways, I ended up with this. It was a little more pricey than a T-shirt. Anyways. Um, yeah, and <laughs> I'm a t- t- shirts on garbage, though, are they? It, it, yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's it's got wait a minute, let me see if I can if I can possibly show this to you. It's got this this thing here where you can ah, sorry, guys, never so, it. I have to mark, mark, wow, swap back, I, I, swap back to the normal be, screen. It's got a it's got a push. Button yeah, here. yeah, 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 yeah. So, and you can hey. you can move back forward just like you know you can uh, like on my where, um, yeah. uh, on, on my um, dinks, you know my yeah, same um, thing on my speed speedmaster yeah. or uh, yeah. uh, seamaster. My seamaster so, is the yeah, same exactly. What, exactly. what it does yeah. is it gives you half a link, so it's half a link adjustment. Mm. Yep. Yeah. So this is this is the one eight six three bracelet. And okay. obviously I've got big wrists, and I wanted that breathing room. So yeah, I did the study that that speedy racing from Japan. The 2022 mm. one has this, mm-hmm. this clasp, and yeah, you can change the original one. You swap this link in here mm. and this one here, and you fit this clasp. And it fits but, but, by the way, did, did you have the, did you have the yeah. chance to see that uh, new uh, Omega releases that new kind of deep uh, deep uh, the five yeah. pieces the deep uh, blue ones that they did? I actually mm. saw the. Uh, the 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 three hundred uh, professional one on on with that color and how are they going to put it this? They way? have the uh, it, do they have the quick change strap on that now as well? I think I mean, they did, cool. but 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 the thing is that that color that kind of deep kind of almost like purple blue shiny blue everything kind mm. of blue. You know, I would buy that watch if it would be a five hundred bucks watch, maybe a thousand, not not ten grand. You know, uh, that 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 watch looked too much. Uh, it, it looked like like what Seiko would do. You know, like uh, like what a cheap watch would do. No, not that fancy. I don't know. That, that you, new, you know that new I mean? Seamaster is nice. The new Seamaster is nice. The blue, the gray. Yeah, yeah it is. It is nice. Yeah. Yeah, it is. The, the, especially the world one. The world one, the titanium one, I had on mm. at the store, and I and I played with it. But you know, the thing is, I thought, you know, I can buy that thing anywhere. Mm-hmm. I can buy it anywhere. But this mm. one, I can't buy it anywhere, and that's that. That was the determining factor for me. And the the, the thing is, it was also had a lot to do with the people. The guy that was there before me. And he was checking it out. No oh, man, he was just like, he was, he's so excited with it and stuff. Yeah. And he laid it down. He was like, you know, well, I'll be back in a couple hours and I'll I'll, I'll think about mm-hmm. it and whatever. And his, wife is, his wife is complaining the whole time. And, you know, and, it, and I put it on. And I said, I'll take it. <laughs> that's it. Sold. You know, and they hit it. So yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So this watch, this one. Yeah, yeah, this one. I don't yeah. know. That doll is that gorgeous. Yeah. I, I know yeah, it's yeah. gorgeous, but. I don't know. I had this kind of, uh, this kind of feeling that is not right for the price. You, you know what I mean? I, I mean, it's gorgeous, mm. it's beautiful. Yeah, but it's not. But that's right. that's the price. That's the price of these Seamasters now. You know, it. What's yeah. that? Six thousand bucks. Five yeah. and a half thousand UK. That new seaweed. I had that on. I tried it on on Friday. It's five and a half thousand UK. Mm. You know, I paid. Three thousand nine hundred for my white one, so yeah, you know, I'm eager I paid for I paid forty eight hundred for this one in March. It's like well, it's like yeah, you know, I have, two I have UK the... pounds. You know, that's realistic. I mean, you're never getting a discount on this. That's the price right. you're paying, and that's yep. it. There's, there's no discount. By, by, by the way, I have the uh, the gray one, the gray with the with, with the blue basil. Uh, I actually bought that in uh, two thousand eighteen. Yeah, uh, actually, I brought it in the on the bracelet, and after that, I changed it to the rubber strap. So basically, I have both. I have the bracelet and the rubber strap. 
Yeah. And <laughs> I don't wear the watch. I, yeah. uh, I I wear the watch a little bit in the beginning, up to uh, I think uh, 2020. Also in the Olympics, I went in that watch in 2021. But then I stopped wearing it. Uh, the Breitling, I I completely did wear it. That's why I sold it. I'm. Uh, the, the Omega is, is uh, very much uh, hard for me to sell it. I'm going to sell the Omega. I'm also going to sell the Tudor. Tudor, almost like new condition. I, I barely wear it. Mm. I, yeah. I almost don't wear it at all. Uh, the which, sacred that I have also, I don't wear it. Marcelo, which, the one, same boat, Marcelo. which one are you going to sell? The, the, the Seamaster. Yeah. The Seamaster. Yeah, yeah, I have the Seamaster with the silver dial and, and the blue bezel. Uh, and I'll, and I'll, I have I'll, the Tudor uh, blue one, the 58 blue. I'll chat with you privately. I'm, I, you know, yeah, I probably get this guy for sale if I bought, bought one. But, anyways, I just bought, I, today I just bought a 10,000 euro mountain bike, another one. After, after I broke my arm, <laughs> I, I decided it was time to get another, um, yeah. Uh, I'll I'll yeah for sale. But we don't for talk sale, about mountain bikes. For sale needs to go. Needs to go. Needs to go. Yeah. Oh, wow, that's this is nice. actually nice. This is yeah. even better than my Omega. Oh, this yeah. is way better. Needs to go. Nice. I actually I have two. I have the this orange nice. and white NATO strap for it, and I have a solid gray NATO strap for it. Wow, Never been on the nice. watch. Yeah. To go with it. I had the I had like the five hundred pounds one. on the straps. Um, I had the orange one uh, with the alu dial. I mean, you're talking uh, about it's it's kind of old. But it was a yeah. planet ocean orange chronograph. Mm -hmm. Oh man, that was my everyday watch for years. I love that thing. I love that. I, mean, I, I love this look, look, Explorer too. So I need to flip one. Yeah, yeah. One yeah. needs to go, and this guy. Look, has I to... have a friend. I I, I have yeah, a friend day -day. that. Uh, listen, uh, not exactly a friend, but uh, you know, um, in, uh, ne next day next to my common. shop. Listen, next to my shop used to be an English pub. That, that pub used to be like uh, over 20 years. So the chef of that pub is a Japanese guy that also, uh, he, he actually used to live in France for a couple of years, came back. And after they closed the pub like uh, three years ago, he went back to France to do some sushi there. So, and, and he used to, always when I used to go to that pub, because my shop now is 12 years, always when I used to go there, I used to see him with the with the uh, what do you call it super ocean uh, yeah. planet used ocean. to have a uh, planet yeah. or used to have that watch, planet always. Ocean. yeah and and always i remember seeing him with that watch and um i think uh, uh, last month he came back from france to 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 visit his parents so he came here and i didn't see him with the watch no more and i didn't ask nothing but my wife actually found out she, she came the next day, she told me, ah, you know, in, in Paris, it was a bunch of kids, like 12 years old kids. They jump on him in the middle of the day and they took his watch away. <laughs> yeah. Wow. So I was like, oh, shit. In the middle, of it, and now I understand also why you asked me about wearing watches. This doesn't happen in Japan. In the, it doesn't happen. <laughs> not midnight and not middle of the day. Middle of the day, fast. You know, yeah. for me, it's, it's very much shock to, to, to see something like that. For you guys, maybe it's common sense. I don't know. I mean, in the middle of the day, they like three, four kids jump on him, put a kind of a leather jacket and snap the watch out. To be fair, though, if you follow, I think, is it Watch Crime London on Instagram? This mm. every day, something. Everybody. Wow. It's true, Sam D. It's true. I'm going back to work. But on the positive side, we're going to do a Sunday show. So we'll, you'll at least have one day away. I don't know if it's going to be in the morning or in the evening. Well, the Apple wow. Watch is getting a good workout here. You can see. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, if I if I go to Vegas one day, I'm going to wear, uh, you know, I, I have a plastic watch. Uh, it's the uh, Hello Kitty, red color. I'm going to wear that watch, you know. I think, are you not safe in Vegas? Is Vegas not safe? I mean, there's fucking cameras everywhere, surely. You have to be careful in parts of Vegas. Yeah, the thing with the cameras in Vegas is that 
the casinos don't share any of that information unless it has to do with them. Oh, but they would share it to the police, surely, if there was a problem. Only a force. They really don't. That's, oh, okay. Brian will tell you. Brian, Brian lived there for a while and is pretty familiar with them. But uh, yeah, they're not uh, they're not very forthcoming with that stuff. And the police. Oh, okay. But the, the thing in Vegas is you don't want to get caught committing a crime in Vegas because they are harsh. Mm -hmm. Harsh on people because it's a, they don't want people to feel unsafe. So it's a pretty safe place generally. There's a couple yeah. spots you want to be careful in. But in general, I, yeah, I have I to was, say, I, t I took a Speedy and a Seamaster to Florida. No problems yeah. at all. No yeah. problems. I didn't most feel unsafe places, at all. Most, place, most places are fine in, in the States. It's. Yeah, I mean, it, obviously, we wear watches and we we know what we've got on our wrist, and we, you're in yeah. that bubble where you think everyone's looking at my wrist. Everyone knows what watch right. I'm wearing. Mm -hmm. Hundred percent of the people don't give a fuck what watch you're wearing. Yeah. The the thing was, I was wearing a pair of Travis Scott Nikes. Mm -hmm. um, I should have them down here. These guys. Oh. No, these I mean, by, yeah. by, by the way, everybody commented on these trainers, and we were in yeah. one store, and the guy said. Boy, those are nice shoes. I wouldn't walk down that street wearing those. You'll come back barefoot. I'm like, oh shit. Wow. The no, amount of people no, no, I... that commented on my fucking trainers, <laughs> you know, a, a 180 pound <laughs> pair of trainers, and yeah, the guys in America are losing their shit over these shoes. It's like, fuck. Look, look I, I, I'm going to say like this. I think normal people like what we are, and maybe even in London, in Paris, in, in the States, normal people, they they very similar to even in Japan, they don't care what you wear, they don't even know what you wear. The problem is in that places the 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 thief uh, they are trained like us. They are trained to recognize the patek, to recognize the, what, what is a valuable bag, what is a valuable watch. Yeah. Uh, recognize you ah this person uh, this, this, the, the kind of clothes you wear, the kind of it is somebody that uh, you should uh, grab his bag. You know, mm. the, 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 this is the problem. It, it's not like the normal people. It's like the 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 fish. They, they are actually trained for that. Oh, they know. They know. Yeah, of course they do. Of course they know. Yeah, it's the world we live in nowadays. I guess. Yeah. Tim's taking his nap. You just got to be aware of your surroundings and be careful as, as careful as you can. Have insurance. Have some insurance. And hey, James Hess, you don't have to worry because evidently, like you and me, all our watches are garbage. Garbage. <laughs> that's right. That's right. I mean, as soon as somebody, it's just somebody points a gun at me, I'll just say, hey, man, it's garbage. Mark, don't worry about it. Garbage. Don't Mark, waste your time. You, you cannot, Mark, you cannot say take insurance. You know, because basically insurance, they always care. Uh, you know, they don't say, ah, Alababa, go. It's okay, you have insurance. No, they want to, they don't want to pay. They want to make sure that it was a good reason. You know, you cannot go, yeah. let's say, you still, with need, car. you still need to have insurance. If, you, if, if yeah. not, you have no protection. So yeah, don't, no, no, don't, don't no, argue, because, don't argue against insurance, Marcelo. Let's, let's move on hey, to another subject. Hey, <laughs> if, if, hey, hey, listen, listen. No, if no, I make, no, no, hey, no, 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 listen, no, listen, no, listen. No, 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 Mark, no, I bet no, those no, bottles no, of whiskey no, are insured, no, aren't they? No, no, this is the point. You insured. cannot no. say, hey, no, 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 you cannot no, say, no, Marcelo. No, no, listen, listen. No, 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 <laughs> oh man! Oh man! <laughs> Sh Shamba, yeah, I did stop wearing those trainers. <laughs> fucking! <laughs> I had another pair I, of shoes. I do fucking have, wear them I, instead. I have insurance. I have insurance. He's he's about four hundred and fifty pounds, big yeah. guy, and follows me around every time <laughs> I go. Follows you around when you go out <laughs> somewhere. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but I, right. Yeah. Yeah, listen, but seriously, listen, you I, have it. You have your insurance. Go go to a fucking ghetto. With your fucking the Patek Philippe goes like this. Hey guys, look what I have! And then they're yeah. going to grab your arm out. They're going to take yeah. the watch, and then you come to your insurance. Don't even ask what happened to me. I went to this ghetto place, and they took yeah. my watch. <laughs> I, do have, they, they, I do have insurance, you think, and I, and I did I did the company that I do have insurance uh, on a couple of watches. Um, I did actually, uh, I vetted them 
uh, I made sure before I did any kind of contract um, uh, that it was okay. But what I was surprised about is I did the insurance policies that I had gotten prior to COVID and whatever the case may be, um, and, and which also happened to be the same time that the incredible price um, uh, uh, stuff happened where everything went double the price, three times the price overnight. I actually wrote them and said, you know, my watches are now worth much more money. And then they were like, yeah, well, that doesn't interest us. You know, <laughs> we insured them for this price. And, right. and you know, thank you very much. Uh, have a good nice day. You know, they You're told me that, them for the appraised value. New. Exactly. I had to take them and get them appraised again. Yeah. You know, and, and you know, so where am I going to go? You know, I walk into a AD and say, how much is my watch worth now? They'll tell me the retail price. Okay. Yeah, that's what I put when I first bought the thing. So, um, you know, what else? You know, it, it, you just go, you know, what are you going to do? Go to the, the, to the, the um, yeah, uh, uh, some some YouTube site and say, <laughs> uh, yeah, this yeah. is. This is what I've got. Tim Wright, as, Tim Wright says it's worth this. <laughs> Tim Wright. <exactly. laughs> no, no. Yeah, let's is, say, uh, Tim Wright sort of right, uh, yeah. price. Market price. <laughs> but you can't, yeah, you got to get a, uh, uh, they wanted an actual appraisal from a jeweler. Exactly. To up those yeah, prices. They take the receipt from when you, um, that, that's what I had to send them when I first got the thing. I'd send them all mm. this, you know, the paperwork and whatever the case may be, which is no problem. You know, to, to, I had to prove that, first of all, the watch is authentic. Right. And number two, that, you know, that this is the price I bought it for and in an ad. So yeah. I was, it, it was no problem at all to do that. And, but that's it. You know, that's mm -hmm. that's all I get for it. I, it's better than nothing. And, and the thing is, what I love about the people that I insure through, that if I walk this thing into a door handle and I break the crystal, According to them, they will also replace the crystal. Fortunately, it never happened, yeah. but I can actually do it. And 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 all I have to do is a deductible is two hundred and fifty bucks in my own pocket. Right. Yeah, I never put any of this stuff to to, to the test, but I read a thousand things about this this company. You, you, you know, you know what? I I am I'm actually jealous of you guys because I don't have insurance because. In Japan, they don't have insurance policies for watches, actually. Hmm. So no jewelry, no jewelry policies. No, no because they, 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 no, they have, they have, but it's very low. It's, yeah. it's very low. It's very restricted in in different kind of rules. It's not like uh, you know. I, I remember we were talking to Boston uh, watch collector, and he told me about the way that the watches are insured. I actually double checked that. Uh, my, my, my my wife told me no, no way. <laughs> for for the platona, I mean, you're going to say thank you if they give you like fifty uh, k. Oh know? God! Yeah, is the, this is the the roof? This is the the maximum roof. <laughs> so and and what you have to pay a, a ten thousand a year or something? <laughs> uh, no, it, it wasn't ten thousand. Okay, it was it was something like. Uh, <clears throat> Ah, uh, uh, yeah, maybe maybe you're right. Yeah, maybe it was close to it. I think uh, maybe five thousand, something like that. But, five but, grand uh, a year. Yeah, I can believe it. Five grand, and uh, if your platoon gets stolen or completely fall apart, uh, even if I pay, I actually pay seventy-five for for mine. Um, and the, the market is let's say a hundred or two hundred or seven hundred doesn't matter. They give you fifty k. Fifty k. This is the, this is the maximum price. So uh, yeah, still the, safe, the safest way still is bank vault and insure the bank vault. Mm. You know, it's the, it's the cheapest. I way. have I have a bank vault. I I, I do. Or a two hundred fifty five pound guy with a big gun well, you just want to hope that a 260 pound guy with a bigger gun doesn't come to watch yeah, exactly, exactly you know there's always somebody exactly. bigger <laughs> yeah, that's true bigger guns bigger 
Viking. Shama Bossir, thank you for the two pound super chat. Thank you all for your time. Ah, have a good time here. No worries, bud. No worries. Yeah. I'm going to have to go and walk the dog soon. Cool. Yeah, yeah. I'm also going to go home now. Yes. So I actually finish. Ah, kind of. I don't think, did you guys, did you guys see my dog? Did you go? No, I got a, I got a dog when I nearly died. Nearly died yeah. to my dog. Yes, you do. Oh, shit. He's, um, How old did I'll show you, but he's, um, he's not here at the moment. He's downstairs. He can't get up here. This is no, the dog how old free. Is he? The dog free. He's seven months now. Uh, oh, he he's young. Oh, he is. Yeah, nice What's dog. his name? His name's yeah, Murphy. He's, he's, uh, Murphy. Fox Red Labrador. Yeah. So, yeah. Very hey, um, listen, I have, I have a cat that she's fun. like 15 years old. It seems like she she's uh, have asthma and all kinds of shit. I have a bird that's actually going to die soon also because she's pumping eggs all the time <laughs> because she's uh, lonely. You're not you cooking know, them in the restaurant, a... are you? <laughs> no, no. No, but when, when, when they're making a lot of eggs, it means they, uh, they're losing a lot of energy and then they might die uh, soon. Soon can be maybe more, I don't know, three years, two years from now, I don't know. <laughs> But anyway, here's my, little, uh, yeah. here's my little guy Sherman. He hmm. he was born blind. He's oh. a, a hmm. double dapple piebald dachshund. He he was born with small eye syndrome, so he can't see. But he's adorable. Hmm. I love him. Wow. I think I'll put that one. I'm gonna share this. I'll, yeah, I'll you know, actually, actually, here. actually, it was funny because my wife, uh, you know, my wife uh, was complaining to me that because we have the bird and the cat, we cannot uh, go travel so much because they need to take care of the bird mm. and the cat and we need to wait for them to die now mm. today <laughs> I, now now listen today i saw my bird there uh, was was lining eggs and then my wife come to me ah you give her too much love she's making eggs she's going she, you know you're making her die and she's going to die soon and i look at my wife like but this what you want no I mean, <laughs> oh god! <laughs> this is what you want, right? I mean, if she dies, well, it's okay, right? Uh, so uh, mm. well, you know, it's like what? I, I don't understand, woman. What the fuck you want? You know? Yes. You you want you want the bird to live for another twenty five years, or you want her to die uh, in in five three uh, in three five years? I mean, you fucking decide. <laughs> there you go. That's my little girl. That's my there little you girl. Go. <laughs> That's cute. She's That's a great picture. She was checking out two seconds before that. She was trying to bite it, but yeah. Yes, yes. So I don't often. I don't cool. put the animals on instant very much. So. Uh, very I cool. Have, she got close. I I two, she was checking it dogs. out. Yeah, I have two dogs. I get Sherman, the blind one. Rebels, another dog, and he's seventeen. He'd wow. Slow down. Seventeen. I have, wow. Amazing. Well, I have. Wow. I have a night. I have a nineteen-year-old cat. <laughs> No Jeez. way. Oh, shit. So yeah. it means my cat going to live another four years? <laughs> Could be. Could be. <laughs> Could be. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, man. Uh, he's cute. Very cute cat. <laughs> yeah, she's chan for a Bengal. Him. She's so small as well. Normally, yeah. my other Bengal, he's huge. He's like, he fills a door frame. He sits on doors. Yeah. But she's so small. She's really tiny for a Bengal. That's quite cool. It's good to have the big one and then the little one. Yeah. But she doesn't get on with the dog. She's um, a firm enemy of the dog. Whereas the other guy, he he loves the dog. They're best mates. Mm -hmm. So she'll come around one day or another. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Hey guys, make sure you're upvoting the stream. We need to get a uh, record number of upvotes for the 24 hour stream. So I think we're at I well, voted like hours and hours ago hours and hours ago yeah, hours yeah, and let, hours let, ago. hey you, you guys are say we are all this around the same age so i need to share with you guys this something um, What's that? well here is the thing we're getting old so we need the glasses all the time right so <laughs> um, so the problem Welcome is to blindness okay okay so the thing is i decide you know, on my fucking 50, actually, the end of this month is going to be 51. I decide okay. that I want to do contact lens, right? Ah. Mm -hmm. So um, so last week, we went, uh, actually, it was like two weeks ago, we went to, to try some contact lens. They actually measured, they did. 
And then she, she, they try to teach me how to put the fucking contact lens. Ah. And it doesn't, it doesn't go in. You know, and I try and I open it. She said, don't blink, don't blink. I said, yeah, but I don't want to fucking blink. What do you want from me? I know I, 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 I'm fucking 50 years old. First time I put lens in my life. So my wife wanted to die. It took me like a one hour and a half to put one lens. And the other one actually took another hour. Oh, geez. And then they, she said, and, <clears throat> and now they need, they, they, she said, they, you need to take them out. I couldn't take them out. <laughs> <laughs> so, so they, you still have could, them on. So, so no, Marcella, no, that's, no, that's, no, Marcella, no, that's, no, they, they, that's not an, no, no, an they, older people's problem. That seems like it's a you problem, to be fair. No, she, she <laughs> took it out, <laughs> but she said, I cannot, I cannot give you the prescription to buy contact lens if you don't know how to take them out. So tomorrow morning, I'm going to pass this training again to put the lens and to try to take them out. If I don't take them out, my wife going to die. Like, I mean, well, so uh, you can just go on. You can go on Amazon and buy the prescriptions. For <laughs> yeah, maybe because she drive me crazy. She said you need to touch, go. Uh, it's like touch, hold it, go down and push, pee, uh, pee them out. And I okay. try. I, I put my finger in the, and I blink. It's like man, how I can touch my eye? It doesn't fucking work. <laughs> and, I think and every time, complain. every time I've tried contacts, you look down or look up, yeah. put it on, and then look, and it self centers. You don't have ah, to direct yeah, because, it because she to told me eye. look straight, look straight. No, don't and look then straight. Do it. No, you see it coming. Yeah, she, look down and put it in the top, or yeah. look up and put no, it in the bottom. She, she told me like this. She said, the, "Okay, the the contact was with this finger. This one put mm -hmm. down, put up." And put it in, okay. Yeah, but look up at the same uh, time. Uh, uh, ah, look up! No, she actually yeah, told me to look straight. No, <laughs> look up. Yeah, if you see it coming, uh, you're gonna want to close your eyes. Look up. Yeah, I know. And this what I told her. She said, "No, but look straight." And the problem is, she told me also look straight to pull them out, <laughs> and that's why I couldn't pull them out. And actually, it doesn't make sense. Down. She said, "Don't look up." Because I, I said, man, I cannot, uh, I cannot pull it out. I mean, it was right driving me nuts, <laughs> nuts. nuts. <laughs> ah, tomorrow I have the training again, ten o'clock in the morning. So I'm going to try. Uh, my my wife said, you go fucking alone. I don't want to come with you. <laughs> yeah, I believe it. <laughs> there you say, Marcelo. WTF? The first time you use contact lenses is hard, but once you get the way, it's a breeze. Oh wow! Uh, I, I, uh, Practice makes I perfect. To... Uh, but it was amazing because when I put the contact lens, suddenly, they, mm -hmm. I, I, I felt like I was ten years younger. There you go. <laughs> suddenly everything looked a little bit uh, better. I was like, man, and um, you know, I actually look. I'm watching with you guys uh, with glasses now because I, I, I look in the chat and I see you guys more clear. Like this, I don't need, I don't see shit. But I can see kind of a little bit from a distance. And this is the way I play tennis. And I still manage to play tennis okay, you know. So I just was wondering, man, if I wear lenses, ah, man, I'm going to be like a Superman in tennis. Yeah. I mean, I, I was so excited. Uh, but I, I, yeah, I, I, I need to try. Um, <laughs> I need to try that shit. Yeah. Yeah, it's just a question of getting used to it, Marcelo. I, yeah. I realized I, I can imagine that, that that'd be difficult. Man, I wish I could wear contacts. I, I, tell me how it works. Are 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 you? Uh, do you need bifocals? Yeah. Do you do you need something to read and also see far distances? Uh, Is, no, uh, actually, actually, the contact that she put for me, um, I I actually could read. It actually reminds me a little bit of these glasses because these glasses is not super sharp, even in reading. I, I can read uh -huh. a little bit. I can see a little bit from, from this kind of distance. And this is the way I felt with the contact lenses. But, but, re, but regarding the glasses, I can see reading from this distance kind of okay. But when I look there, everything is a blur, right? So the contact lenses uh, uh, actually make that very clear. And this clear, you know, he actually, he, he, he's like he returned my eyes kind of 10 years back in a way that right. you can see 
clear and clear in in both ways. It, it didn't yeah. really uh, uh, had a play. I, I actually enjoyed it very much. I, I could uh, read the uh, you know let's say tickets. I could uh, see a lot of things. That I said that saw my wife. My wife had chatting me. about Anthony Farrow instead of listening to Martello chanter on about contact lenses. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell, uh, you, you, you know what? Actually, one thing I remember when, when I put the lens, I, I look at myself in the mirror and Sunday I said, fuck you, old man. You know, I, actually <laughs> felt, I felt so shit because the girls look so nice, you know, and I'm looking at the yeah. girls and they're all laughing and, and smiling. Then, then I look at myself and I look at the girls and I said, Marcelo, fucking forget it. You, 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 are, you are old cunt. Don't, don't, <laughs> I mean, they had pity of you. No fucking way. I look so old. I look like my father old. I mean, I was like a man. Yeah. Wow. Oof, there you go. And there's the world according to Marcelo's eyes. <laughs> <laughs> that was interesting analysis. Yes. <laughs> yes. Thank you, Marcelo, for your... Yeah, no, I needed to talk yeah, to no, you. No, I mean I it. I mean to, it. Listen, I needed to open myself to you guys because we are all the same age and I try to fucking put contact lens that it doesn't fucking work. Yes. And uh, and I, I needed, to, you know, I, I, I needed advice. <laughs> I needed I, to open my... I'm talking what? to my wife. You know what my wife told me? Marcelo, you look like a fucking old, five-years-old kid. <laughs> oh, what the fucking concept? You know what I mean? My wife already gave up on me, so. <laughs> yeah, I got that. She's a trendsetter. My... She is a trendsetter. <laughs> one of my colleagues at work also, he tried to, um, yeah, change to con contacts and whatever the case may be. But yeah, after about, uh, to, see, he, he fought with it for about a month and he finally said, forget it. <laughs> <laughs> and, and anyways, I'm not, I'm not, I mean, I'm sure it works for some people and whatever the case may be. It probably also, also depends on how you adapt as a person to this change. Um, I, I don't know. I never tried. I, you know, look, I, I, I'm going to tell you something. When I put it on, it yeah. suddenly disappeared and you, and I didn't even tell it that I was wearing it. It, it, it sent, I didn't have no, no way uh, itchy, no nothing. It, it, it suddenly was uh, like very, uh, very okay. You know, I, I didn't have no scratches, no nothing. Um, yeah. the, the only problem was this uh, training that they drive me nuts, you know, like mm -hmm. to, to take them off, that I couldn't take them off. To put it in, it took me like two hours, but to take them off, I couldn't take them off. My, my wife actually was, was uh, wanted to kill me because she said, I put contact less in, in, in less than a minute. <laughs> it's like in a second yeah. you put it on and she take it out. It's like I, yeah. I told her, yeah. When, when was the first time you put contact lens? She said, ah, when I was on uh, around on my teens. I said, so I, so I told her, so fuck you. I mean, yeah. I am on my fifty-one. It take uh, uh, longer. Yeah. Well, I mean, if I put contacts on and I couldn't see very well, it'd probably be advantageous mm -hmm. because then I couldn't see my garbage watches. There you go. You wouldn't know how bad your watch collection is. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. I wouldn't have to look at the garbage. Just Come on, James, have you ordered that to so yet? Come on. You can redeem yourself today if you order the gold. Digital. You have to go with a bit of gold. Get your, yeah, get the fake gold digital PRX. Yeah, exactly. Fake gold. Yeah, it's got to be gold. fake gold. It really does. Yeah, I'm thinking about <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just one of those things, you know. That, like I said, I bought. Whoops, oops, sorry about that. I I bought I bought another mountain bike today, so you know, it's like eh, my priorities weren't exactly focused on the watch world. Um, I, I I set it on two wheels, and uh, don't ask me why. But I, a good deal, and yeah, I I watch that stuff also, like a hawk, and I also run a Facebook page. Um, with, yeah, we, we've got about 1,200 uh, members right now. And, mm. yeah, whatever. Uh, where I do stuff about bikes, e-bikes uh, primarily. And, yeah, anyway, so I practiced with what I preached. I found one, and uh, uh, I, I, I slammed. Um, so I have to go 
I, I, next week when I return to Germany, I pick it up on Monday, which is I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, just another. Yeah, I, by, by the way, I'm going to study how that uh, YouTuber actually got so successful in YouTube when basically his videos are completely crap comparing to how much work I put on my videos. Mm. And, and it's actually... Uh, yeah, but Marcelo, Marcelo mm. they can probably fucking understand him. <laughs> it goes a long way. Oh, no. <laughs> I, 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 what I do on Facebook anyways has very little to do with verbal contact. Yeah. It's c- communication. It's also, um, uh, you know, if somebody has a problem with their bike, um, I'm, I'm a bike mechanic, a seat of the pants. I learned how to do this stuff and have done it for, uh, God, 30 years now. I used to race okay. professionally, actually, back in the mm-hmm. 90s. Um, so, you know, whatever. I, I give my advice. I say how to fix it, things and whatever. And, yeah, I, I've gotten an okay following because of that. But, I, yeah, yeah, I have a lot of cool people from all over the world. I mean, we got people from everywhere, Japan, China, um, and Middle East, and uh, Europe, of course, and America, tons of folks. And it's, it's really cool. I really like uh, you know, exchanging info with Deloitte, the, uh, the people there, and uh, yeah, it, it's it's a lot of fun. Um, cool. It has nothing well, to do with watches. I've never w- mentioned a watch, <laughs> and there where we talk about Getting, bikes, but it's the same crap. Yeah, you know, we talk about absolutely. bikes, and we talk about you know what's their better improvement, what's a better motor, what's a better brake, and and whatever mm-hmm. the case may be. Yeah, yeah. Hey, speaking of. Uh, Stuff we don't talk about enough. The thousandth episode, OC just sent me a picture of the day that he met Tim Wright. The first oh, time they met. Oh, my God. Just look at these two. The dynamic Whoa. duo. Jesus. Look at, those both, look at that hair. If you zoom on in their noses, you'll see a little bit of white. In both oh, of Jesus. <laughs> it's, it's, it's like I'm sorry. a proud, I'm sorry. proud father <laughs> and his son. And now a thousand, you know, however many episodes later, you see, take the same picture, see how um, yes. pleased that she looks. <laughs> Tim standing there with his white, with yellow hair. Yes. Yeah. Well, yeah. wow. Amazing. A but OC was, episodes. OC was pissing me off last night with just five minutes. Just five, just five minutes. minutes. And we'll, do, five we'll minutes. do the unboxing. <laughs> just five minutes. And, you know, it, for somebody who's here trying to also understand how they're going to fit that into their daily schedule i work today yeah um you know it's it's kind of like well just five minutes just five minutes you know and after it, it's it's two o'clock in the morning and and it, uh, yeah america's not even in the chat yet whatever yeah. the case may be it's my fault i'm stupid i'm gullible you know i, think somebody, some somebody reason, right. other, I believe I think that somebody correct. did say that america was turning up in like four hours time <laughs> Talking about the devil, here we go. There he is, OC. Hey, OC. what's up, guys? Just five hey, minutes, I, OC. Just five minutes. I just sent uh, just five minutes for the unboxing. I just sent another picture. This one, this one chopped out the background, and the background is pretty is important context because okay. uh, most people know the story that Tim and I met at the Phillips auction. We were yes. both we were both looking at. We were there for the preview of the Tiffany Blue Nautilus, the 5711. Ah. And he was this big, giant guy with a camera taking all kinds of pictures in front of me. And I'm, and I'm standing behind him going, what the, f- like, Fuck. what is this guy doing? All I want is, <laughs> so the, the, watch is in a, the watch is in a glass case behind us there. Okay. And so this, guy, this big fucking guy with a 50-pound backpacks there. And he's, you can see the camera in his hand and he's taking pictures yeah. from all different angles. I'm like, can this guy get the fuck out of my way and be done so I can take a look at this watch? <laughs> and, and, and then, you, you know, the goofy Tim turns around and goes, oh, like, oh, oh sorry, excuse me, or whatever. And I'm like, oh, yeah. shit, Tim Wright. It's like, oh, you know who I am? I'm like, yeah, sure. And we met that day. <laughs> we met that day. That was episode, episode 248. 248. Oh. 248 was the first time I ever appeared on Tim Wright. And here we are at one thousand oh can i ask you a question H- had you reacted to tim um uh, with his with his current look like you did then <laughs> or or I, i'm just I'm, i mean i i like 
you know, Tim's crazy look kind of, but um, he was certainly he was certainly more normal back then. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> you can see it. If he, if he had pink hair or whatever back then, I mean, I still would have probably noticed. I mean, I would have noticed him even noticed more him quickly sure. because yeah. I was I was standing standing behind him waiting to waiting to see the watch. But uh, I mean, it's a testament to Tim's kind of like openness and platform that he at, at sure. that time he goes. You know, we were talking, and he's like, "Oh, you're a watch collector, blah, blah blah." He goes, "Listen, I need to do a live stream. You want to jump on the live stream with me?" Mm -hmm. That's literally what he said. And from that, I said, "Yeah, let's go to my office, and we'll find a place there, and we'll do the live stream from there." And you can actually look it up on the Tim Wright channel, episode two forty eight. Two forty eight. Uh, <laughs> that's that's the first time I appeared. And it I haven't like been. Early. Yeah, sounds like an been episode of Succession uh, somehow. Uh, That's a real picture, by the way. That's a absolute. There, there's no <laughs> no doctor. Yes, no, this is, no this is uh, also Tim uh, real side uh, face With Diego. Time, right? Yes. Yeah. I also oh, want to God. take this opportunity to say to say hi, James from from Stuttgart, and also Malthred. It's great to see you uh, as well, and Marcelo yeah. always. And Marcelo. Obviously. But all the great people in the audience, thanks for all your strong support of Tim over the years. years. It's been a fun. It's been a fun ride tonight. I announce. I announced my retirement from the <laughs> Tim Wright stream. <laughs> no, I don't know what's going to happen, but uh, thousand episodes is pretty amazing. He's a cool guy. Cool guy, and he the what what Tim does better than anybody else, I think, in the watch space is brings people together, brings amazing yes. people. Yeah, sure. uh, watch enthusiasts, collectors, but also just great people <laughs> together. Mm -hmm. There's an an hour, I mean, there's like a day that goes by that I don't get several phone calls from people in the community asking me about this, about that, um, advice or opinions or whatever. And it's just, it's a great resource, great friendships that everybody uh, has forged and it's all facilitated by Tim. So there you go. There's my, <laughs> there's my, uh, my emotional well, oh, see. I actually, I am actually, um, I have one foot off the door in my company. I'm retiring as of May next year. And mm -hmm. I'm, you know, I'm not counting the days, but it's like, you know, 248 hours. And uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <You're> counting <laughs> With, counting yeah, the days. Yeah. yeah. And anyways, cool. Yes. Yes, I am counting the days. I'm looking forward to it also. So, um, but mm -hmm. when you're referring to your retirement, are you talking from, the channel or from, yeah, I'm, reti I'm retiring from the live stream uh from live no, stream. Okay. <laughs> no i okay. think the audience would be happy uh that's for tire no. tread tire tread wants me to retire so i'm gonna retire for him tire mm. tread okay <laughs> uh, well yeah good i'm yeah. yeah i'm retiring because i'm uh, as of the age and uh it's it's yeah, and here in Europe, it's kind of like expected that you retire when you get to that age. So, yeah, yeah, whatever. And you. I'm looking forward to it. I'm not complaining about it whatsoever. I'm looking forward to. It. I also get uh, retirement from the U.S. because of my, uh, yeah, all my military, military. Years and stuff. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Very cool. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, um, I already get a little bit of money from them, and it's like you know, well, it's like you Very know, cool. well, the, now I realize it was beneficial. You know, put myself in front of the gun sights of somebody else. There you go. Yeah, exactly. So I'm I'm semi-retiring. I'll be doing one show a week, but uh, I will be opening a new hate stream. It's uh, nice. it's good. <laughs> it's good. it's uh, what, what I'm going to do. I learned I learned from Watch Nicholas. So I'm it, this is going to be an anti Evan Gassate pen show channel. It's going to be called Fountain Pen Markets. And I'm just going to take five second intervals of Evan showing his pens and just criticize everything he says. I think it's a good. I think it's a good uh, deal. People will like it. So look out for Fountain Pen Marcus. Fountain Pen Marcus. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, I also, I also wanted to do a channel like Watch Nicholas to be against Team and OC, but it become boring, you know. So I need to find new characters. So I thought I maybe going to be against Mark. <laughs> and uh, Diego, maybe, you know, to be a little bit different. Uh, or see, what do you think? Good idea. <laughs> it's hard. It's hard to find. It's hard to find people in the watch space to be to be mad at or to hate all the time because the reality is, everybody has endearing qualities. Yes. You know, like people people watch this show and 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 rag on Tim. Uh, mm. They watch and they still enjoy the entertainment. <clears throat> 
That's Tim's head. Correct. That's real Tim's real head. Yes. Yeah, he's, he's real head. Yeah, he definitely look exactly like this. <laughs> yeah. Or like like Alex says, when I saw that photo of OC and Tim, my first thought was DiCaprio and Spielberg have piled on a few pounds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't know. Maybe, maybe Tim's the DiCaprio and I'm the fat Spielberg. <laughs> hey, what, what about me? You're not in the you, picture. Yeah. I'm not was, in the picture. It's although true. he... Although we did take a picture from 1988. To put yeah, but on the there mug. is a tennis ball now in the in the screen. Why there is a tennis ball in the screen? It's uh, chalk, chalk flew up. Chalk flew up. Who you remember? I play tennis. Oh, remember? Nice. Yeah. I'm actually going to play tennis Thursday. Tomorrow I go to eye doctor to see what the fuck I do with the lens thing. Yeah. And uh, Thursday I'm going to play tennis. So Chuck Flew Up is making a So I Married an Axe Murderer reference. Uh, the uh, where he goes, he pants now. You're talking about the kid with the big head. Uh, Darth Vader, who's that? Yes, Darth Vader would be jealous of Tim's head. It would fit well in that helmet. Hmm. So many, so many accounts that have been created in the last two weeks. I love that. People are very yeah. creative. And inventive. Yeah, Tim, Tim looked normal there, right? Yeah, I think. Yeah. Uh, normal clothes, normal hair. Mm. You want to see the first? Do, do you guys want to see this, the first stream with me? Sure, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, all right, let me see if I can find it. <laughs> Episode two. 58, I believe. Okay, hold on a second. Wow, you remember the number? No, because I was. I, I, no, I know the date. I know the date. Ah, because it was right. It was right after. Hold on. Oh, I have it. I have it. Guys, I'm gonna jump off. I'm gonna go mock the dog. Okay. All, all right. Thanks for stopping by, man. Cheers, man. Mark so is, is is Tim standing on a phone book in this picture? <laughs> Are you ready? <laughs> Okay, we are live. Hello, everybody, guys. If you're wondering where I'm joining from, well, I got kind of carried away a little bit from the city. What happened was I went to see the Tiffany Blue Dial Category Model 7-Eleven. Uh, I met a viewer. A viewer. Hello, Oliver. Say hello. How's it going, everybody? That's my, uh, that's my we screen went there. We checked out the paddocks. I got all the lots available at the pull-up auction this weekend. Incredible selection. Cool. Okay. And, uh, yeah, and then we went to a little bit. That's it. Not that exciting. <laughs> so... Whoa. That's yep. it. Oh, okay. So, yeah, you, can go, you can go back and watch it if you want. There you go. That was 258, you said? 258, yeah. 258 for anybody who wants to go back and check that out. Carmen Coop says he remembers this episode. Wow. Wow. So, OC, when, when you decide the, to create the name OC, uh, uh, like That's a, a week, question. a month after that? I don't remember. I don't remember. Is that an Orange County reference? It's an Orange Orange. Uh, I grew up in Orange uh, County. Yeah. Yeah. The so OC have sense. like a meaning or something? Yeah. It's an, <laughs> it's a, it does have a meaning. Yes. <laughs> okay. Hey, uh, uh, you guys might think uh, silly questions. I uh, have no idea. You know. Don't forget, I speak uh, several languages and. English is definitely we, not my main. I have no idea what the theme means, you know? So yeah, but, just, yeah, but, and by the way, there's uh, Whole Milk has a great comment. He says, shortly after that, uh, after that stream, OC came on and said Paul Thorpe's audience was stupid. <laughs> not, <laughs> not quite. So OC, explain. Uh, entertain me. What does he mean? What does OC? Just, OC, just, Orange, uh, Orange County. Orange County. Yeah, we just said it. Okay. It's a geographic area in Los Angeles where I grew up. <laughs> yeah. 
Okay. Okay. So, yeah, and then shortly after, there's actually a stream because Tim just met me at this point. So, like, I jumped yeah. on the stream. I'd been on a couple of streams. I said, by the way, I watched the Paul Thorpe episode. I said, like, some of the comments, like, the people in there are, like, really, like, they make the, the dumbest comments. And so what he did was he called Paul Thorpe and said, listen, I got this new guy on my show who bashed you in your audience. Do you want to come on and fucking put him in his place and rip into him? And uh, that was the episode where yeah, Paul Thorpe did. came on. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. You know, it was it was a, it was a time I remember when I worked in Archer Show, and uh, and actually Paul Fort jump on, and and suddenly I jump on on the channel, and then Paul uh, say, Ah, so you are Marcelo, the hmm. one that actually complain about me and say so much shit about me, why? And I was like, e Excuse me, what? <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's like, what do you want from me, man? I mean, I so, never so said was, no, uh, nothing. Else. <laughs> was Paul Thorpe the first person to call you an elitist? I would say, no, he wasn't. He wasn't the first. But that was that was the the that was what I was going for from the very beginning. Is right up right after I jump onto Tim's, I jumped onto Archie's show, and we had this thing where uh, I was going to be called Four Three Two because I met Tim at Four Three Two Park mm. Avenue, which was where the Phillips mm. auction is. Right. And the the persona that I was going to have was that I was this rich guy that also lived at 432 Park Avenue, which is the big residential skyscraper there. Ah, uh, yeah, so, yeah. I remember Archie used to call you 432 or something. So he used to call me, oh, Mr. 432, right? <laughs> so, um, so like best? about oh, okay. a, like a, so a couple of a couple of months after that, I'll share, share the screen. Uh, <laughs> This is the this is the Paul Thorpe episode. Here, it's called Paul Thorpe Watch Dealer tears into OC for being an elitist jerk. <laughs> right, and uh, and I think I, I came on later. And then when I came on later, of course he sent the note to uh, Paul Thorpe, like, "Oh, he's on now. Come, you know, come attack him." Yeah. That was uh, the mm -hmm. first time that Tim ever set me up. See here I am here. Look how yeah. dorky I am. <laughs> and Paul came out. I was like, "Listen, I take I take umbrage, mate, with how you refer to my audience." Wow. Uh, Paul sometimes takes umbrage. this shit too serious, this guy. I have no idea what's going on. Right, yeah. So who are all these characters? I look at this panel. I mean, Tim. look at this panel. Insane, oh, that's huh? the, that's T and tickers that he's always talking about. Okay. T and tickers. There's actually uh, yeah. Mr. GMT in the bottom left. I don't know him. Wow. Um, I don't know Mike. This here. This is this is JJ, I think, right? Yeah. I don't know who uh, this is. Oh wow. Is that JJ? Who is no, that? Or is that no, Ali Reza? Ah, uh, no, no, no. This oh, is. Oh, that's the... Lone Star. Lone Star. Watch Lone Collection. Star. Yeah, this is Lone Star. No, no, Lone yeah. Star. Yeah. Like I, Who's on the bottom yeah. right? This is Jonathan Quayle Higgins. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Lost Star uh, <laughs> disappeared, actually. You know, he, he, he's one of the guys that actually disappeared. Another guy that disappeared that OC, you're not that much familiar with, is. Uh, uh, Lolex. Yeah, Lolex uh, disappeared. Not, no, I'm just Rolex also, also poured, uh, poured luxury. You remember poured luxury? I don't remember poured luxury. The funny thing is, if you go back to Tim's early episodes, from like mm. zero to 200 or zero to 300, mm. you'll find an incredible variety of people from all over. Because remember, he was aligned with Archie at the time. So you'd have, okay. not, you'd have all kinds of guests from the industry. You'd have a Sheen, Britt Pierce, um, Christian from Theo and Harry, all kinds of like a, yeah. a, a, lot, a wide variety of people. And he would be going to all these different shows, London Watch Show, Watch Time, um, mm all these different places meeting with people. I got to jump off for, for a call, but I uh, just wanted to share okay. my moment. With you. I'll be back I appreciate later. That. You guys. Okay. See you later. All right. See it. Yeah. All right. So someone was asking, I think it was whole milk, what we thought of. We'd started talking about this and then got off the subject. So this is the new Oris. What are they calling this thing? The Aquas pro fourth 
thousand meter, as deep as the Norris has ever gone. And this watch is huge. So it's 49.5, 49.5 wide, 23.4 millimeters thick. And it was Could we 50, see the picture of it? Could 55. See... Yeah, hold on. I'm reading the specs. 55 millimeter lug to lug on that sucker. Jeez, oh, Pete. That's a big one. Okay, lot. how bad? Okay, uh, Mark, how bad this look comparing to the Deep Sea Challenger? Looks pretty bad. Like you, you want to tell me this is worse than the Deep Sea Challenger? Uh, no. Yeah, because it kind of looks like they tried to borrow stuff from all the different deep <laughs> dive watches. <laughs> Yeah, you know, they did the wave pattern from an Omega, like the original Seamasters. They did the the Fume dial, like uh, the the James Cameron. They did the uh, the bezel. I think that looks like one of the one of the other. Like so Mark, the, Mark, the, what do you want? This is this is perfect. This is a watch collector, a uh, uh, kind of dream in one watch. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's everything in one. Yeah, it's like it's like you ask me how many watches I have, I tell you twenty. Mm -hmm. And could I see them? I say, yeah, sure, here. Yeah. You know, it's like twenty. Show one, one watch. watch yeah. You know, it's, it's like wow. Everything together in one. Wonder what this thing is going <laughs> for. <laughs> Sixty two hundred bucks. Damn, that's an expensive horse. Yeah, that is expensive for me. Damn, this is yeah, no, no, sorry, this is expensive. Uh, even yeah. though that I could laugh about the expensive horses, but oh uh, shit, about, I'm sorry. Uh, Hold on. About uh, for, about uh, uh, three years ago, they also released a ridiculous expensive horses. It was the titanium version that they did. Um, uh, that, that that watch had a skeleton face. I remember that watch was, I think, uh, twelve twelve thousand dollars or something like yeah. that. That that was just expensive as fuck. So they they it started to experiment expensive uh, watches. Thing. There you go. Sorry about that, guys. I forgot. Uh, <laughs> OC was sharing the screen. It took away my uh, screen share. But yeah, so that's that's the that's the watch. I mean, it is what uh, it is. Listen, it's, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. It's not the way horrible that you looking. Said, you know, I mean, it's just it's you, expensive you... and big. Okay, so how uh, is like a forty-five millimeter or fifty? No. Oh, here the the specs are forty-nine point five. By and it's point... yeah, forty-nine it's, millimeter watch. It's twenty-three it's and a half thick. Forty-nine, fifty-five lug to lug. Wow, that's a big because uh, you know from from the picture it looks pretty normal, you know. It so just looks like an aqua. Yeah. Yeah. So so the strap is probably sick as fuck. Yeah, it would have to be. But okay, so you, bucks. listen. Oof. Basically, what I see here, you know what they did? They actually took the watch. You you know what we do in the stream? Sometimes we pump the picture. <laughs> they mm -hmm. actually pump. They pump the watch. They just yeah. pump everything, you know? I mean, the, the Rolex the Challenger, for example, is not a watch that you pinch and pump. Yeah. The, the head is huge and the bracelet is tiny, you know? I mean, the watch it is, titanium. is kind of... Yeah, it is a titanium yeah. watch. So it's probably not quite as heavy as it looks. They don't give the weight here, but... Yeah. Uh, but but, I don't know if they but, but the, the Challenger Rolex, it look completely out of proportion. It's too thick, it's too... Yeah. Uh, wide. This one looks like a watch that you just took an image and you pinch up. Right. And you increase. You know, I mean, uh, you can take a day date, 36 millimeter, in the scream and punch up. <laughs> yeah. And make that watch become 50. So this is basically what they did. They just punch everything up and uh, everything is kind of proportion. On, on the on the pinching on, on the increasing size. <laughs> yeah, yeah if you Mark the Shark, yeah, twenty four twenty four thick. It's a big, big thick watch. Need to see how we thick it is. 
actually. 24 millimeters. They have a profile? No, they don't have a profile, but I mm. probably on purpose. They're probably never showing a profile. <laughs> they, they won't let anybody. <laughs> <laughs> Got to figure that's yeah, double, yeah, I, double I, I the size, it. double the size of my uh, Seamaster, basically. Yeah, this definitely the you don't want to show the profile, huh? I see. Let's see. Monochrome has a new doxa. Let's take a peek at that. Look, from the front, it looks a very kind of normal watch. Oh, We definitely boy. need to see one day from the side, you know? Yeah. Oh, this is not good looking. <laughs> this is the wow. doxa? This is a new doxa. Jeez. Uh, I don't know not... what they're trying to do. Yeah, I have no idea what they're trying I don't to think do. that's very attractive. It's a matte black ceramic. Yeah, you, you mm. know, I mean, is um... how do you read the date? <laughs> Look at the date; it's black on black. You know, if I would be a designer or doctor, I probably would yell on you and saying, "You have no idea how much effort and work and and yeah. uh, and design and time they take to do." But but here is a problem: when I explain to you how much effort and work and and energy and time we spend to create that watch, you yeah. actually say the truth. It looked like shit. So why the yeah. fuck you guys even bother? You know, like, I mean, it's you guys need bad. to do the homework before you guys do a work, right? Right. I mean, nobody won this. 72, seven grand US, 72.50 euros. Jeez, OP. Expensive. Well, the watch is made of titanium or carbon or it's it's kind matte. Of... It's it's a matte ceramic, so it's not even shiny, good-looking ceramic. <laughs> Jeez, oh, Pete, that's terrible! That's terrible. Garbage. That is expensive, terrible. Yeah, <laughs> there's a the difference between looks terrible. Looks like it was left behind in a fire. Yes, <laughs> that's that's bad. Damn. Man, your sound, your, your, your sound you, would, you wouldn't even take it for free. As a no, no. <laughs> no. Don't, do not give me this for free. I, you can't read. Look at it. You can't. Like, I have a hard enough time reading the date on some of these watches. It, it, that's crazy ugly. That is crazy ugly. That's uh, right up there with the new PRX. This is expensive, ugly. Yeah. Oof. What do you guys think of you, this? You know, Mark, you know what this reminds me? This reminds me like, uh, oh, man, this is also not good. This, this is also not uh, good. New Bulgari. I don't know. I think everybody in, the, in this watch industry making the Doxa and the Bulgari, I think they have some flashbacks of the uh, of the Rado or something. Yeah, I don't know. Cavemen. Yeah. I mean, uh, <laughs> no, Rado used to do things like this. Hey, if if you wouldn't Rado tell me used to do all those ceramic cases, yeah. Yeah, if you wouldn't tell me that. By the way, this is more like carbon fiber. But if you wouldn't yeah. tell me that this is a Bulgari, I would tell you from a distance, from twenty meters away, this is a Rado. Yeah. Yeah. This and even the doxa, I would say this is a rado. I, I don't I don't know. It seems everybody have a rado flashback or something. Yeah. I, mean, I don't know what's going on with that. It, by the way, even AP with the new AP design that you saw, they actually did the collaboration yeah. with the Japanese. This is one to one rado. I, I don't know yeah. what happened. Everybody tried to be rado now. Rado was a piece of shit then. It's still a piece of shit now. I don't know why you guys want to be Rado, but hey, I mean, <laughs> whatever happened in the industry. <laughs> yeah, that's a uh, hundred thousand euros for this watch. Gosh. For a Rado. For that Rado. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Oof. I guess you get that and say it's over.
Uh, yeah. Look, I, I, I get it. It's a nice carbon fiber yeah. patent into it, but uh, look, if, if I want a uh, bull, uh, yeah, I would go to more yeah. like a Bulgari that look like a Bulgari, you know? Not, right. Not this yep. crazy. Not a lot of version of it. Yeah. yeah. Some of this stuff is nuts. It's nuts. <laughs> Gorilla Time says he's online ordering one now. <laughs> <laughs> A black one, yeah, great. Yeah, and ceramic. Yeah. I think is it carbon? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that one is carbon, definitely. Yeah, it's not attractive. <laughs> and I think they had a carbon uh, bracelet. And and by the yeah. way, nobody actually give credit to Hublo because they. Uh, yeah, I don't know what is the shit. We, uh, who, yeah, Hublot look horrible. But anyway, whatever shit Hublot have, Hublot did the first uh, carbon fiber uh, bracelet. By the way, Hublot, even now, they are still the first one to create a full uh, sapphire uh, bracelet. They actually yeah. have a full sapphire bracelet that soon may be AP or... Maybe Bulgari will uh, will copy soon in the future, and then everybody will be focused on that ones. I mean, uh, you know, I started to have like kind of uh, mercy pity for Hublo. I, I mean, uh, if I would be a millionaire that had extra money, I would buy a Hublo just for pity. <laughs> like I started to have pity for Hublo. I mean, yeah. everybody hate Hublo. <laughs> you know, I want mm. to say, you know what? Hey, let me give you some love. How much is your you watch? Ten grand? Uh, okay, give me here. You know, like, <laughs> let me help you out. Kind of. Here's another new Oris. <laughs> this one. Environmentally conscious aquas with upcycled fishing nets. All right. By the way, you know that Hublo was the company that gave the most. A biggest number of watches present to to celebs, movie stars, and politicians. You know that, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. They try to promote the watch so much, and it still didn't Marketing work. Marketing machine. Still don't talk about Hublo. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody cares. <laughs> Nobody wow. cares. There's a lot of ski stars from Switzerland that are carrying the <laughs> Hublo brand. Yeah. And uh, yeah. Not Michaela Schiffer. No, not, not Michaela. No, she's long jeans all the way, long baby. Jeans. Yeah. <laughs> why, why, why? Let, let's talk about it, Mark, for a second. Why we hate Hublot is because they are too expensive. If a Hublot would say for would sell for five hundred bucks, would you buy a Hublot? Well, I think it's expensive for what it is. Is what people mm. mostly object to. You know, I'm not. It's I'm not crazy about those style of watches. So for me, it wouldn't be uh, something on my thing. Let's say a thousand bucks. You 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 <clears throat> would buy a Hublot for a thousand bucks. If it's a thousand bucks, I might take a look at one. Mm. You know, speaking of a thousand bucks and looking like a million, Boston collectors <laughs> in the house. Hey guys, what's hey, happening? Boston, would you buy a Hublot for a thousand bucks? Sure. <laughs> Two thousand. Tell sure. me when 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 you cut me off. Three thousand, five thousand. When when you five thousand? Okay. Forty-five thousand. Forty-five. Forty-five thousand. Jesus. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Has to be special. The, the, one of one. One of one. Hublot. One of one. Signed by Jean Claude Buver. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> So, Boston, welcome to the thousandth episode. Thank you, thank you. How are you guys doing? Yeah, I'm doing good. When did you first come on the streams? Ooh, uh, yeah, two, uh, three days ago. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to think. I can't remember the episode number. Okay. Uh, probably like the first time I found the streams were maybe like. Uh, I'm trying to think because the the Oshin stuff was a year mm. plus ago <laughs> probably like a year and a half ago okay um i i, I, found I, I was already on right i think you're already on, on. So. 
Yeah. <clears throat> Very cool. Yeah. Mommy, yeah. let's go home. <laughs> <laughs> How are things yeah. in Boston today? Good, good. <clears throat> A little foggy, but it's nice. Um, well, you guys... way, I'm coughing now all the time. I think maybe too much air condition or something. I'm coughing uh-huh. all the time. Yeah. You got a couple of orises. Are these new? These are the new fishnet <clears throat> orises. We were looking at, did you see the um, the monstrosity? Oh, you have to see this. This is amazing. Mm-hmm. This watch. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> 4,000 meter diver, Aquas Pro. Yeah. Look at these dimensions 49.5 wide. 4,000 meters. Yeah. 49.5 wide, 23.4 millimeters thick, and 55 lug to lug. Diego mm-hmm. could wear this around his neck. This would be a brooch. <laughs> mm. Look, I think, I, think, I think you guys actually nail it regarding prices because uh, if Rolex tomorrow going to retail a steel Daytona for 100K, nobody yeah. would care about Rolex. Mm-hmm. Even so, so I think uh, I, I think this is the problem with Hublo, and maybe this is now the problem that the uh, that Oris and maybe even Bulgari going into is like they they got some fame, and they starting to abuse it to ridiculous prices yeah. that uh, they will push the the, the people f- further away. Uh, by the way, this is what Hublu did also. Hublu actually used to be quite popular close to, <clears throat> let's say, uh, 20, 25 years ago because the prices wasn't that bad comparing mm-hmm. to now. So uh, it seems nobody studied from Hublu and, and uh, mm-hmm. this will happen. It's true. I agree, Whole Milk. The Ultra mm. Deep is uh, 2,000 more meters and much more wearable than this thing. Yeah, so the the um, 6,000 meters, right, versus 4,000. Yeah. The um, Deep Sea Challenge is 11,000 meters. Mm-hmm. So quite a bit more. Yeah. yeah what just is, in what case. The just in this case. Versus the other versus the... Uh, Deep sea challenge. Mm -hmm. Do you know what the size difference is between those two? I'm going to go, let's go. Oh, here I have um, like thickness and everything. I'm going to look up the uh, ultra deep first since I have the uh, Mm -hmm. thing pulled up. So take a look at this here tab. Let's get some specs. So this is only, this is a, a smaller case. So it's 45. It's only eight. It's only eighteen point one thick instead of twenty three point four. It's only fifty two lug to lug instead of fifty five. Mm. So this is a lot smaller watch That's in wild. the Omega that goes deep two thousand meters deeper. Now let's look up the deep sea challenge specs. Interesting. Yeah. I could cheat. Maybe not. Is there a helium release? I mean, you know, very important. Yeah. Yes. 4,000 meters. I mean, you know. <laughs> yeah, so the deep sea challenge is only 50 millimeters thick. So it's around the size of the ultra deep. Um, I mean, uh, case. What is the thickness? They have the thickness on here. Mm, I don't see it. You may have to go down to the. Uh... Hmm. Whole milk says it's twenty-three millimeters thick. So that's okay. Similar. 
but this is an 11,000 mil. I know. It's three watch. times. <laughs> <You know? laughs> okay. You so know? it's about the same. It's about the same size as the deep sea challenge, but deep sea challenge is in titanium too. So that, that makes the, it the is titanium. Yeah. The Oris is titanium. It is too. Okay. Yeah. But it's um, the Oris is bigger because the Oris is 55 yeah. by 15 Oof. or yeah, 55, I mean, so. or 50 by 55. Mm -hmm. It seems a lot bigger. Um, yeah, I mean, if you're going down that deep, are you really skimping on your watch? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah I, I, you know, I did this to say, what is the benefit of a 4,000 meter? I uh, watch. Know. I mean, who goes down? You know, whatever. I, it, I mean, if you're if your plane were to crash over the middle of the Atlantic Ocean or Pacific, and it lands in the Mediterranean Trench and whatever, they might be able to recover your watch and still working. But mm. <laughs> I mean, I can't understand the practical I, application for these. these if I have I'm said sorry. it once, I've Why said it a million that? times. If I am below 20 meters, just leave my body for the fish and still take my watch because it's still working. Because <laughs> if I'm down below 20 meters, I have passed away. <laughs> yeah, but if you get a watch, it has, you know, for example, like a sub with 300 meters or whatever the case may be. I mean, you've, you've basically covered everything that a, a normal um, person yeah. would, would need. <laughs> And to have, I mean, whatever. What what is the benefit? What, what you know? I mean, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I I just can't imagine sitting ar around a table and explaining to the colleagues that are yeah. you know, looking at my beautiful watch and you say, well, it's good to four thousand meters, and right. you know, yeah. You know, but why? Yeah, whatever. That's when somebody on the other side of the table goes, oh yeah, well, my deep sea challenge is good to eleven thousand. Then you've been outflexed. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh, oh uh, cool. The, Excuse George, me. George has given us the classic GMT view. Love that watch. I know the new ceramic bezels were all the hype, but mm, that's a good super one. comfortable. Yes. Yeah, that's, that's, a watch. that's a beautiful watch. Gorgeous. I was on the road, Mark, when I kept on getting signal block, and then uh, I had these police trying to chase another car. It was mayhem, so I thought I'd come off the stream. Well, as long as they're not chasing you. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm a slow mo. I, I don't need that hassle. You know, let yeah. them been there, done that. So just uh, crazy stuff, crazy stuff. Yeah. So it seems like Marcelo's been on all day. I left, he was on. Mm -hmm. I had a bit of a sandwich. I saw him. Finally He's going doing well. On. Yeah. So I can't believe Tim's 1,000 episode. It's quite oh, it's quite amazing to think all the ups. Uh, yeah. The London Omega release when he was there. Mm -hmm. All the Archie Luxury madness. You know, we've kind of lived it all with him. And it's uh, when you stop and look at it, at 1,000 episode, you think, wow. This guy's either mad or incredibly focused to do all these episodes. I mean, yes. he's not earning millions and millions. The guy is obviously infatuated with watches. And, you know, he, so deservedly he should earn his money and good money doing it. But Absolutely. a thousand episodes. If you think about it, a thousand yeah. episodes. <laughs> Dude, absolutely. I'm quitting after 50. <laughs> yeah, there you go, bro. <laughs> there you go. Uh, good luck on the job, right? by the way, uh, you, Mark. Sir. All the best. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. But, you know, I take my hat off to him because I've seen a lot of people come and go. I've always been in the background and I've seen a lot of people come and go. And uh, he's still here. He's yeah. still mm -hmm. here. And it, he's taken it to the level now where if you look at the panel, if you look at the chat, there's not really bad people. There's a lot of banter going on in the chat. And the mm -hmm. panelists are very, 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 very well educated. He's got, yeah. no, he's got no nutcases on the panel most of the time. Uh, ninety nine percent of the time, but you know, I'm I'm I quite. 90, I'm quite proud I would go fella. about eighty nine percent of the time. Okay, I'm, I'm being politically <laughs> correct. How would you define a nutcase? I would. I, <laughs> someone that does wanna... the same thing. 
someone that does over the same thing every here. day expecting yeah, to yeah, see a different result. That's true. Yes. Yeah. But you know, every I think every is yeah, I'm I'm privileged to be sometimes on the panel, but I think everybody on the panel, the people that retain to be on the panel, I have to say are gentlemen. There yeah. is no they are gentlemen and you don't get people on it that are crazy. And the crazies that come, they come and go. That's my opinion. Yeah. Well, OC put it best. You know, one of the things that Tim does well, aside from entertaining everyone, is he actually does bring people, good people together. So you see, you, you see a lot of good people that, that come to these stream, to his stream, you know, there's, there's always uh, a certain level of, uh, I mean, some of the watches we see, I mean, geez, oh, Pete, some of the collections uh, and the, and then it goes all the way down to beginners and, and new people. So it's good. It's a way to keep the, the hobby alive. I think he's got a very big heart. That's my take. Yeah. Maybe wrong. Yeah. He's got a very, very big heart. The first time I uh, joined the channel was uh, I was actually I was with, with Oshin, and he sent us over there. And uh, yeah, it's, it's been a while now. Also, I can't remember exactly how long, but anyways, <clears throat> it, it, it and I was at first. Uh, I'll be perfectly honest. I was just like, what at WTF? Yeah, what is going on here? And whatever the case may be, but I mean, we entered obviously. The stream had started uh, approximately an hour before we joined. So, right. you know, I was walking into the middle of that movie. And then all of a sudden it was just like, what is going on here? But it, it didn't take me long to get hooked. And, yeah, that's just the way it is. I, I really, you know, I respect the fact that he's done this, yeah, uh, a thousand streams. I mean, my God, that's, I mean, a thousand right. different, uh, it, it's, it's, it's amazing. Um, yeah. I mean, it's amazing <laughs> and uh, it's remarkable. Um, you know, it, it, some people might say, yeah. And, and how is that remarkable? I, I don't know. I, yeah, whatever. Um, it's, it's interesting. I mean, the content <clears throat> in this channel is, uh, is 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 very good for most of the time, right. but sometimes it's like also it's like what is going on here? Yeah. Anyways, all I can say is, big, you know, in five minutes. Yeah, you can go from <laughs> knowledge. You can go from knowledge to uh, chaos to humor. Yeah. And back, exactly. You know? exactly. And 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 Tim, of course, interrupting everybody that's trying to yeah. uh, give give any kind of input into it. Uh, but he he's always got something constructive to say. I, I, whatever the case, I, I, I'm interested in this whole thing. I don't know. I, I got caught up in this world also. That's why I'm on the channel right now. Yeah. And speaking of which, I gotta I gotta back off because it's time. My family's. Okay. On the way to me, and uh, they, I got to make something to eat for them when they get home. So, all right. Thanks for coming um, on, James. Yeah, it's been great. Thank you, Mark. Thank you all. And um, yeah, talk to you soon. Take care, James. Bye. Uh, MJ says, $5 super chat. Thank you so much. He says, Good afternoon, Boston, James, George, and Mark. So tough for, for you, RE, the new job. Oh, thank you very much. You're a diamond amongst all the steel, Godspiel. I don't know about that, but uh, mm. I appreciate the sentiment. Speaking of sentimental, Eddie, what's going hey. on? Oh, the most that sentimental man we have right now. <laughs> I know, doesn't it? <laughs> Tim's taking a nap. Eddie made it. Yeah, I made it. Heathrow apparently yesterday had this huge. Well, all of all of the UK had this huge air traffic control issue, oh, where like flights yeah. were canceled for like five hours. <clears throat> but thankfully, my flight's already late, so it's fine. Yeah, I heard Eddie. I heard BA were really backed up globally because of it. Yeah, yeah I mean, if you're running on like the hub and spoke model, that kind of fucks up everything, right? Yeah. Mm. Like the moment you have the moment you have delays coming out of Heathrow, you're impacting inbound traffic, subsequently the outbound traffic, and then the and then the return flights like two, a day out. Ah, uh, yeah. So essentially, they just like reset everybody. They just pushed everyone's itinerary like a day back because my roommate was flying back from Aruba. Okay, so I've been asking everybody when they come on. When was the when did you first come on to the stream? When did you first find Tim? 
Mine was 20, 20, June of 2021. Okay. Around that time. Wow. Because I believe that's when, like, Archie had his stream that was doing it, and Tim was sort of the supporting act, and then he Mm -hmm. had, like, uh, after segment, the segment after Archie stream. This is back when the stream was only an hour long. (laughs) Right. Had, Tim was running the after show on his channel. Yeah. Yep. I think yeah, I, I think came was... on. I think I came on occasionally, just before three months before Tim blew up with Nico when Tim was walking. Uh, it was three months before Tim was walking in the street, pissed off at Nico. Oh yeah. Is that the walk? That. The twenty mile walk? No, no, no. Before that, before that, he was. Um, walking around in in his uh city in his town and he was mm-hmm. walking to get the train and he was just pissed off why nico had a problem with him that episode nico's a short angry man don't pay him too much attention <laughs> no dude i don't i don't i've got nothing I've got, no opinion about that. I've got no opinion about that little guy yeah. <laughs> i think it, i think it's all i think it's all flexing C- hired car hired this Mm, and I don't know about those uh, views on YouTube if they're bought or not. That's I, I wouldn't like to say I'm on the fence. Yeah. Not my not my kind of content. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he, he was just going after the clickbait. You know, you talk about someone that's trying to aggravate people. You know, Nico Nico is there punching way above his weight class in the metaphorical sense at these celebrities, right? Yeah. And so he's just going after the clickbait, after the famous artists, famous famous people in general, using that to using that to get the traction, get the sort of whatever searches. Mm. That's where he blew up. It's clever though. Got to give him credit. I mean, for he's, that. I mean, he's the peak shitster, right? You talk about Tim. Tim's not shitstering nearly as much as Nico, but no. Nico's the people that Nico is targeting don't have the time to actually deal with him. Meanwhile, everyone that Tim is punching up at. It's just on YouTube the entire time. Right. Like, if, like if, Tim makes a, if Tim launches a video and tags the person in the thumbnail, they're going to come on. <laughs> I think ASAP Rocky is going to go on to Nico's live stream. Yeah. No, I doubt that that's going to happen. But yeah, anytime that Tim punches it, yeah, look at the Paul Thorpe thing yeah, a couple weeks ago. I, was, I wasn't uh, trying to name names. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We all knew. <laughs> or like with TPG, all of a sudden TPG pops oh, up. Yeah. All of a sudden there he is. Boom. It's magic on the Tim Wright show. Uh, Homebook says, don't know we can really attack Nico for clickbait on bigger celebrities after spent, uh, Tim spent seven days on that brick watch. Ooh. But the brick watch became an inside joke, right? Yeah. The brick watch is uh, horrible. It deserved it. It deserved the beating it received. Because also, like a brick is also known as like a product that doesn't move. Right. You no, know, it's it's interesting, interesting play on words. I wonder how that brand's doing. It might be one a very limited production watch. Yeah. So Eddie, how, how have you ended up in the UK, bro? Uh, I did my masters here, and then I'm just gonna stay here for a few years and then go back to the states. Right, right, right. Where, where you, I don't want to know, but you in London? Yeah, yeah. I'm in okay. East London. Yeah. East London. Road. You're at the end, as they yeah. call it. Still zone one. Still zone one. Still zone one. I'm not. I'm not all <laughs> that's way your, out. That's, that's your justification. Okay. Zone one. Yeah, zone one. Zone one. Zone one. Still London. It's not like I'm in Ilford or Stratford. That's the non-gentrified part of Stratford. That'd be rough. Yeah. DC in Las Vegas says, I've been following Timmy since the beginning. It was in the Three Amigo days. I picked Timmy because he actually had a personality versus the other two. Who were the other two? I, I wasn't around then. Who was it? Archie and JJ? Not talking. Mm-hmm. Yep. Not talking about Bear, is he? No, Bear, Bear is attached to Archie. Uh, yeah, I know. He, he had his own show, though, didn't he? Yeah. I guess uh, there was that brief stint where, like, Marco, not the TPG Marco, but Luxury Bazaar Marco, was also had, yeah, had was his own live stream, and he okay. got a job. 
Oh yeah, JJ and, and Marco, yeah. Insane. Yeah, Carolyn Martin says Tim does an amazing job of making lemonade out of lemons. He is entertaining. Whatever whatever happens to be going on, he he is uh, definitely entertaining. He gets all he gets the most legs out of what he gets all the legs out of it that he can. You could say. I do not know my stream history, Whole Milk. I, I apologize. I'm a uh, a newbie. A newbie. Mark, you need to know the canon. You have to know the canon. <laughs> I don't you know. know. The These are the you're missing out on the canon events that made Tim Wright who he is today. I miss. They'll, they'll tell when I first started doing the community stream. Um, Tim and OC were like, okay, so if you got to watch out for this person and this person, and this person. I didn't know any of the names that they said. I was like, who are these people? <laughs> what, what's a curly? You know? <laughs> like for, for the guys that's been on the stream for a while, what do you think are the major canon events in Tim Wright's live stream? In the hmm. It's hard to follow everything. <laughs> all, I mean, this is the thousandth episode, right? This is all about the yeah. history. We're talking it's all about, about the maybe, retrospect. Maybe green room in Archie's bedroom. Yeah, that was a canon event. The 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 absolute the final division. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's funny. You know what? Ed? I had a conversation with Tim over Instagram uh, while he was there, and I was saying, "Dude, do you really think this is appropriate?" behavior where you want to stick in this scene with this other fella. Yeah, you know, no, no, I'm taking care of it. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny kind of, shit. Like you have, I mean, the first, obviously, you go look back on the history. You can see when Tim, I don't, I don't, I, w- I don't know when Tim first joined Archie's stream, but in the early days of Tim hosting the after show, Archie getting upset that Tim is getting more of the super chats and then the official dissolving of the after show main show series. That's that was pretty big. And then I think another big event was when Marco for, that now works at Luxury Bazaar, when he had that huge super chat, super chat day. I think that's when that, that was a major event within Archie's mind, because that really showed the monetization potential of the live streams. Right. And then that's when Archie became more cash focused. Well, he's always yeah. money focused, but more money focused and aware of like prime real estate, prime hour on the live stream. I don't know. You look at you look at all of these things. And you look at how they sort of driven people's different in- internal incentives to be on stream. And I think that's really interesting. How about I think we'll Holmok says cats doing the pillow unboxing while Higgins quits. Oh, and also when we all saw Marcelo's dick, that was also a canon event. Oh yeah, that's good yeah. I think that's that one, thank, thank you again, God. Mathis. Thank you again, Mathis, for sending me that video. <laughs> I think it's still on YouTube. If you, <laughs> it's just like, it was Marcelo on the toilet. That's that's the whole Marcelo on the toilet thing was, yeah. and he just stood up and it was like what? <laughs> what? <laughs> I think yeah, also the was... Omega event that Tim covered for me, that was an endurance. That was a good good one. Hmm. Was that the uh, so somebody said uh, him doing the first Gonzo stream in New York City? CMD Lord says, versus Oshin. Yeah, that was. I don't think it's a canon event, but that was like a pretty big event because you had like these eras where certain panelists would come on, and then like, <laughs> they all had their own little impact. Yeah, like Lord was like an everyday panelist for a while. Marcelo was running the twenty-four hour stream. Mm-hmm. And you had all these other things that were happening. The wizard scam reveal, says oh, yeah, Sam Wizard. TPG Blackout 1. Mm. Head shaving. Tatiana. Tatiana was a real... Tatiana was like the OG Gonzo stream. Hey, hey, hey there, Mexican abetic Mark. Marco, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, Mar- Mexican abetic Marco. I thought this here's a 24 hour stream for the party for the Tim Wright feller, but uh, well, you know, I, you need I, a just, nap. Look, look, I, I just got, I, you know, I got done off the range. I had to go out in there and punch some doggies, and and I come right. on here to see where this 24 hour feller Tim Wright is, and 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 I see you, Mexican abetic Mark. There, what do you, you know? 
And I thought you done got, got I thought you done got yourself a job too, boy. I did, boy. I did. Start next yeah. Tuesday. So, so, so this here's a Mexican abetic Mark show, not the uh, not the Tim Wright show, twenty four hour stream, because that little Tim Wright, you know, I went, one time I had chased down a I had chased down a heifer for twenty four hours. She ran off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, she done gonna run off, and I chased her twenty four hours straight. I, I, you know, one of my heifers get out. I don't let nobody go because you know, in, in twenty four hours here in Texas, well, that take you that long just to ride to my neighbor's house, you know. But uh, yeah, twenty four hour, and and then that fella got to go take a nap. I don't know what yeah. I don't know, boy. That that ain't that ain't nothing no cowboy would ever do. I tell you that right. <laughs> but I'm a, I'm a, I'm a sad on that one for a while there. So, you know. But uh, you know, a Mexican abetic Mark, it's always good to see you. you always know, good um, to see you, cowboy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All you other fellers here. What else? Who else we got here? We got the we got the Boston collectors feller. Uh, yeah, he's probably out eating donuts or something. Mm. Yeah. And then uh, oh, all these <clears throat> other people. I don't know you all people, but you know. A anyway, I, I, I'm 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 gonna be watching here and uh, and see when that the little Tim Wright feller decides to come back on and do a twenty four hours. Come back. Probably yeah, another. But, uh, Hours, yeah, I gotta go out and I gotta go out and brand a couple brand a couple horses because we because we knocked a couple of engines off their horses and now we took them. So uh, all right, all right, audios there, uh, Mexican all right, adios, Mark. cowboy. <laughs> <clears throat> you never know who's gonna show up on the thousandth episode. So what about the Lily Cam Bar? On. We should let Cam on for the thousandth episode. There you go. Cam, he tried to come on the community a couple weeks ago. I told him, like, isn't it? It's not my call, dude. You know, you know. Yeah, I go plead with Mathis. Yeah, Mathis is the king of the community. So, what about the Lily Bar? DC says that no gurney, dude. The Lily Bar was crazy. We were forty-seven drinks in, and the cartel showed up. It was freaking awkward. DC, DC, hop on the stream. Yeah. <laughs> DC, hop on the stream and tell us about that story. Who's the idiot that said we should have Cam on here? I'm sorry. Uh, Excuse what? me. Hello. Dude, it's the thousandth episode. We need to look at our past. Look how far we've grown. Yeah, well, unfortunately, Tim gave me the right to remove people from the stream anytime <laughs> I want to. How about, how, about, how about Diego versus Oshin? Was there a Diego Oshin battle mm. that I missed? Mm. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That that was the time uh, Diego gave uh, gave Oshin a bit of a bitch slapping and spanked him and put him in his place. Because Oshin yeah. comes on and tries to he like he, he he like does a does a little feeler of everybody tries to get try to gauge him real quick. Yeah. Here, Mark, Mark, make me big, and then you can see the you can see the fight that was going to happen: the Diego versus Lolex boxing match in Vegas. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Unfortunately, <laughs> it, unfortunately, it never. It I don't think it's going to happen. So. No, you don't think that was going to work out. Yeah, it was. It was going to be a. It was going to be a good fight, but it was going to be a short fight. Short yeah. fight. <laughs> it lasts a long time, right? A short fight that lasts a while. Wah, 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 wah. Yeah. yeah. All right, I'll be back in a little bit to entertain you guys. All right. <laughs> oh man. Let's see. Cam confronting Paul Thorpe. Another I think that, that was a very about. short clip because I think Tim booted Cam. Okay. Uh, let's see. Brian versus Scam. What else? I'm trying to think. Talk about Archie Cannon. <laughs> Archie would probably have the most wild YouTube experience out there with fucking yeah. Mimi T and then Elite's Horology Elite Luxury. Oh my god. That's fucking traumatizing. Oh man. Roman paying five hundred dollars to get on the stream. That was with the o O'Sheen business, right? Yeah. I think I saw that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He needed to support Nico. He's a yeah. client. Right. God forbid. God forbid. Doesn't Nico owe Tim like $100 still? I think he owes him a little bit of money for advertising, but Tim like, said, fuck it. Better to get rid of him out of his hair. 
I think. Is this true? Whole Milk says when we found out Cam had a YouTube channel where he reviewed rap songs in a Jamaican accent. <laughs> if so, I need to know the name of that channel. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's gold if you can find that. Yeah. Yes, if that's true, I need the name of that channel immediately. <laughs> Double D Double. says, Tim Tim owes me two years of my life. I'll never get back. Double D, <laughs> hop on the stream. Uh, let's see. Philip Horbach says, that's when I started watching Tim kissed Z-Man for money. And that young guy puked in the bar. Ah. Oh, that's true. <laughs> that was the K Town experience. <laughs> Uncle Meridian says Cam asking O'Sheen if it was okay to slide into his daughter's DMs. Oh. Damn. That's awkward. It's t it's totally on brand for Cam though. Yeah, nice. almost says it's hundred percent real, but I think he made it private. Ah, I was so looking forward to spending an evening <laughs> watching those. <laughs> uh, Mark the Shark says funny past and present panelists: the Wizard, Perth, Cam, and many times drunk, woke Dennis Miller wannabe O'Sheen. Look out! Lots of memories through a thousand shows. I still, I was on the panel yeah, for a recent one. So O'Sheen had the uh, the O'Sheen Shopping Network show, and uh, I sold all the stuff. I bought the uh, this the uh, the Sega Design the uh, watch. I'm like, ah, eh, it's two hundred bucks. What's worse, I could lose two hundred dollars. You know, it's it's kind of different looking. So I bought that watch. And I went on to the stream and Diego, me and Tim were on and he uh, was taught. I was talking about the, they're like, uh, they're like, where's O'Sheen? I said, Oh, I was, I was emailing him because I sent him all the info, info and stuff. Cause I bought that, that watch off. And they're like, Oh really? You bought a watch. I'm like, yeah, blah, blah, blah. We're going on. And then O'Sheen came back on and within like two sentences, just that was the, uh, the blondie, uh, naming episode and we were all and we ended it real quick and we're all back in the uh in the after show and uh so nobody said anything everyone's just like dead silent right they're all just sitting there and i look and i i looked in the camera i said hey thanks for the watch <laughs> and then i clicked out <laughs> i think tim should do something like i think tim should do a tim shopping tim shopping network of it, of it live stream where essentially yeah. he just drops the link to his Amazon affiliate links because okay. this way it gets stored in your cookies and next time people buy something off of Amazon he gets some money off of it but if he does uh, it with like watch products because he does have a few watch products that mm -hmm. are on Amazon like for example like the Q watch rolls those are on Amazon yeah you know it's a pretty good product for what it is you know it's one of the more durable semi hard sided watch rolls and has individual cushions rather than linked cushions. Yeah. Very cool. Um, was the uh, was this true? O'Sheen calling Boston Collector insular and that he had to give sexual favors to get watches from the AD? I thought it was donuts. It's a different type of donut. It's just chocolate donuts. <laughs> chocolate donuts. That, DC. Think... Oh, good. Yeah, he was he was about seven bottles deep that night. Ah, uh, <laughs> yeah, it was five more than Buckley could do. <laughs> it was on my birthday. It was on my birthday, so that was on nice. your birthday, even nice. Yeah. Happy birthday! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, DC said five dollar super chat. Thank you. He says I still say the night of Las Vegas year one is up there. Cars, Jesus from Panerai, Timmy and myself went to Club XS. Timmy got the bunny ears that night. I think I've seen some clips of that night. Is that the year he lost his pony? 
that he used to carry around. Mm. He lost it in Vegas. I think he only he did carry it around for that. Was that the was that the pony he's supposed to give the Archie? I think so. Remember Archie had this weird fucking no cars bought Timmy like an Hermes pony in Vegas. Uh, and then I think Archie had this weird obsession with horses. Uh, I mean, horses are nice. Mm-hmm. I like horses. I tried to watch Archie Luxury once. Um, this is before I came on the Tim streams, and I was like, "Who are who are all these people? These weird voices. Why aren't they talking about watches?" <laughs> I just I was like, "Out." <laughs> yeah, the Archie the Archie stream always devolves into like something unrelated to watches and just like very niche and very dark at times I must say Hmm. Homo says then O'Sheen attacked Blondie and called her a C word and then Mickey came on the stream to defend Americans (laughs) get out of control (laughs) got out of control a little out of control that night hmm at that time, roommate was silently standing behind Tim. I remember that, holding the knife. <laughs> yes. I remember the first super slap. First super slap. I remember that. What happened there? Was that a roommate? or a roommate. Yeah. Actually, I don't remember what happened. I just remember that that's where the super slap term came from. Yeah. It was like unexpected, but fairly expected. What else happened in Tim Wright Cannon? <laughs> Tim saying he was going to buy a car and drive across the U.S. and do a U.S. tour. <laughs> Can Tim drive? You're optimistic about that? His Hyundai, his Hyundai fund. The Hyundai fund, nice. Cal D says, I feel blessed and privileged. I've seen 98% of all these things take place live. What a life I've lived. Yes, you're a lucky man. Dude, you must have wasted so much time on the stream. <laughs> <laughs> you know, what are you going to do? Uh, Tim trying to interview Carl Vutalainen or Kari Vutalainen and Kari being like, who the fuck is this guy? <laughs> Yeah. Kyle says, me and Double D, so much time wasted. Oh, man. Oh, man. I think the classic would have to be Lolex's jacket in uh, Vegas that Tim uh, brought up the saga. That was a little bit different. Hmm. Did Tim have a... Oh, somebody's got their YouTube on. Uh, did, Tim have a, okay. did Tim have a uh, altercation or something with a drunk lady with missing front teeth? Watch Zone Wood says. I had a really good joke, but I'm not going to say it. Hmm. Remember when the first and last Super Chatters were entered into a contest to win posters? Unboxings. Lots of quality unboxings. Pantsier Ribeye says, The Nub Gunner Espresso unboxing was great. It was like he was reunited with a lost love. Unboxings are the best. I remember stumbling halfway into fucking Marcella's Patona unboxing. We're just weighing <laughs> the weights. And I'm like, no one's going to think you bought a fake Platona. <laughs> How about like, look at that weight. Look at that weight. Look at the yeah. weight of the link, the Platinum Link versus my Submariner Link. I'm like, what the fuck? How about last night in the middle of uh, uh, America's unboxing, Marcella's in the chat going, yeah, well, you know, my, my Platona weighs more. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
no etiquette. <laughs> no. <laughs> I mean, he's not wrong. He's not wrong. <clears throat> yeah. Wrong timing. But we're 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 just about to unbox, and and uh, Daniel Cass is like, Tim, Tim, I need to talk to you about this hat. And we're like, no. Yeah, and I'm just like, <laughs> no. Talk about the tat after the uh, the hat after the unboxing. <laughs> it's hilarious. But putting jokes guys- aside, I think this channel has the best this unboxing of the whole YouTube platform when it comes to watches. It's so it's it's light years ahead of anybody else. That's my yeah, view. I mean- yeah, only a, f- a few people put the entire channel on their back, but that's all you need. Yeah, absolutely. True. 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 Absolutely. I mean, I mean, last night's unboxing when was uh, a shocking when when uh, Eddie pulled out the Mars. I know. Yeah, I mean, cars <laughs> pulled out the same watch too. Yeah, he brought the same one. <laughs> I mean, we did, we very- did get to see Alex's anus. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, there's been so many good unboxings. Like, yeah. Crazy. And you're a big part of that, brother. You're a big part of that, Boston. I think oh, you triggered no, a lot of it off. No, no, listen. The one thing I'm not is a bullshit. You triggered a lot of that off. So uh, well done to you for putting a little bit of fire up people's asses in a good way. I say that. Yeah. Yeah, Boston well, unboxed some weird ass gin. Mm. <laughs> that was good, Jen. Actually, yeah. it's good for the Negroni. I will say my favorite, <laughs> my favorite unboxing is, to this day. It's not that it was the most incredible watch, but it was the watch that had like a really good story and all kinds of different parts to it. Boston was your Coke unboxing, the one you bought from your friend. Mm. I thought that I love that unboxing. Yeah, I so thought that it, was it's an interesting story, you know. Um, it, yeah. The story, the parts, the the pocket watches. I mean, it just kept like it was like it kept like kept getting better as it was. You know what I mean? As as it was going on, I was like, yeah, this is pretty. Yeah, I um, I mean, there's been so many good ones. Um, I mean, talk about next level. Like Cars's unboxing of the FP Jorn. Yeah, it's just like, I mean, those early Jorns are so rare and. Um, just to see that watch is like crazy. Um, George Varghese has like, you know, unboxed like yeah, three no. <laughs> huge hitters in, in a row. <laughs> yeah. Time. Crazy. And, uh, yeah, George's, George's unboxings are good as well. George yeah. And, and, um, PG's, uh, Vanta Black Moser. Yeah. I thought that was a cool. Yeah. PG's had some great ones too. Yeah. And, uh, I don't know. There's so many good ones in the in the community. It's people hard to pick. Yeah. yeah. But uh, you know, I... people that that can't come on too that you know share a lot in the chat and they you know are actively engaged and mm-hmm. just by people's collections you know that they're like um their time is valuable. Let's just put it that yeah. way. And for them to share is is a is a big deal even if they can't actually come on the streams, um, it, it really adds to the community to have the knowledge and the uh, collector level um, in the chat, uh, whether yeah. it's, you know, just even from all levels, right? Like you have mm-hmm. serious collectors, like Mr. Tudor to you, serious Tudor yeah. collector. So, so is Carolyn, serious Tudor mm-hmm. collector. Um, you've got guys with, huge diverse collections you've got guys with heavy vintage you've got guys for everything really yeah like uh russell and sergio and no endless time that have allowed me on the community to show their uh instagram pages Mm -hmm. with those guys have amazing collections of watches Mm -hmm. you know it's just it's astounding you know like uh old old watch lady that was in the chat earlier she she has an incredible vintage collection um I remember, you know, there's been times too people come in and out, but um, there's been times I was talking to one guy in the chat one time and he's like, oh, which which RM should I get? And I was like, oh, which what do you have? And he's rattling off and he said he had like (laughs) seven or eight RMs and he was looking between like a 700,000 and another. I was just like, Jesus, like the level Mm -hmm. of 
not just money, but collector to, to be getting collector, that many. Yeah. It's not just buying one RM. It's like this guy has a whole collection of stuff. Right. And, uh, you know, Bri Brian's got amazing collection. Brian um, has amazing collection. Yeah. I mean, there's incredible collections. Yeah. Mr. Guys, uh, Russell does have one of the craziest collections. Uh, he's yeah. got some Russell, amazing Mr. Stuff. Ghost has an incredible collection. Yeah. <clears throat> um, yeah, it was cool last week. George came on and and you know he grabbed a bunch of his watches out of the uh, out of the bank to show us. Mm -hmm. Right. Oh, we did have the spaghetti scametti unboxing. That's true. I forgot about that. <laughs> Yikes! Yikes! <laughs> And that watch wouldn't even have won the hundred dollars summer watch challenge. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> terrible, yeah. terrible. To each their own, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's funny. Oh man, I'm looking forward to getting back to work though. So, so yeah. I'm gonna do a Sunday show. I'm not sure if it's gonna be a daytime show or Tim was talking about taking Sundays off. So I was like, if you want to do that, I'll just do an evening show in place of your show. That'd be just as easy, you know, work, you know, just as well if you want to schedule a day off. So we'll see what comes of that. But uh, so I won't disappear 100 percent unfortunately for you guys, but uh work uh so Dealership hours are crazy, so the 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 showrooms are open. You know, most days nine a.m. to eight p.m. So mm -hmm. it's a lot of time uh, involved. But looking forward to it. Looking forward to it. Mark, when do you officially start? Uh, the next Tuesday, the day after Labor Day. I was going to start Monday, wow. and he's. I I told him I'll come in Monday. He's like, "We're it's a short day. It's a holiday. Just come in on Tuesday." And I was like, "All right, cool." Tuesday it is. Well, the uh, the early stream is not going to be quite the same without you, buddy. I uh, appreciate that, but hopefully, someone will step up and take take some ownership of it. I think I think I set a good template that if you start at the at you know what I mean if it, if you have a definitive start time and you enter engage with the chat, you can you can make it work because. Honestly, when I first started doing it, I was lucky to see like 19 people in the room at a time, you know? And now mm -hmm. it's like 50, 60, 70. We're getting 50, 60, 70 upvotes every episode. So it's you can grow it if somebody's willing to put in a little bit of time or even maybe a couple of people. It doesn't have to be necessarily one person. I just happen to have yep. a bunch of time on my hand, you know? <clears throat> but I think, I think it can work and it can be a good thing for tim's network because it's a little bit different you can talk about some of the off-brand stuff that you doesn't get a lot of air play on tim's channel you know at times it's uh it's a cool uh mr ghost says boston when's your next unboxing today or tomorrow oh my gosh <laughs> no i think uh there might be a big unboxing tonight but oh I don't think it's for me. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Cool, cool. You know, yeah, the unboxing thing. People get bored. <laughs> you know? Yeah, it's sometimes. always... Yeah. 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 Uh, Matt H says, I want to see Timmy get the community tattoo. He said he wants a sleeve, but I think a sleeve for a first tattoo is a bit ambitious. Yes. Yeah. There, uh, speaking of tattoos, um, I came across this funny, I think it was in, it must have been like Facebook, you know? Uh -huh. uh, and, uh, you know, you have all the random like pop up things or ads in your feed. But um, yeah. there was one, it was like red flags with tattoos. And they're asking like tattoo uh, artists, like what, what tattoos are kind of like a red flag. Like, okay. Uh, because of the meeting or whatever. And the first one was if you have a clock on your on your forearm, like that's a red flag. That's a red flag. <laughs> that's a, I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> so funny. I just thought it was so funny. That's cool. Tim, we can't hear you. Whoa. You're me. 
There you go. I'm muted. I'm muted. You muted. Hey. Are you hey, telling me Boston back. shouldn't be getting a tattoo of a clock? No, it's a red <laughs> flag, apparently. The red Damn. flag. That it was sucks. so funny. It was just a random, it was just like a random video popped up and it was like, what's a red flag? And they're like, a clock on the forearm is a red flag. Did they say why? <laughs> or is it like, stay away, these people are nerds? <laughs> yeah, it was like, there was another one and, and there was a second, there was like a series of five and it was like that. And then there was another one that was like a clock with a lion head. It was another one. And there was one. I'm surprised like, the clock was higher than a swastika tier. on the tattoo. As yeah, they had time. like a tear, a tear under your eye was one, and like <laughs> a rose, you know, barbed wire. Nice. Good yeah. stuff. What about All the right, tribal, tribal tattoos? Oh. Are those red flags oh. or are those cool? Uh, no. Yeah, red flags. They're so 2002. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Way too late. Hey guys, make sure you upvote. Remind, reminder to upvote because oh, yeah. people are coming in and out, and we're trying to get to five hundred. Yeah, it's trying to get five hundred upvotes. Hey, it's going to be tough been... to get to what five hundred oh. upvotes because uh, we're splitting uh, this between two episodes. But yeah. guys, uh, we, we could really appreciate those upvotes. So keep keep hitting that upvote button. Yeah. Hey, I've been asking everybody when they come on yeah. what their first when they first got on and what their best what their favorite moment is. So we know you started yeah. the channel, but what what's your favorite moment in a thousand episodes? What what's the thing that you remember the most when you think about it? it could be good, mm. bad, chaotic, yeah. doesn't matter. What's your best think, memory? Yeah. What what do I remember from, from my time on these streams? What I remember yeah. the most? What's your mm. yeah. Yeah, you know the the times uh, I had in Vegas, those okay. were insane. Insane. Uh, I love I love the the time I spent in Vegas. Uh, the London Watch Show, the first London Watch Show. Uh, yeah, people that was that really up. impactful. <clears throat> but I think the the best the best time the 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 episode that I that I remember the most uh, mm -hmm. that that I hold. The most dear to my heart is uh, the first Gonzo stream with uh, with Rich. Oh, that was epic! Yeah, it was good times. Uh, searching for Tatiana, such good times. Now I do need to ask if yeah. you remember this uh, the first time you met yeah, OC. Baby. <laughs> that was amazing. <laughs> Dude, meeting OC. That's crazy, huh? And uh, if you, uh, I don't know if you want to believe it or not, but I was actually skeptical about going to uh, to see that watch. Really? Mm. Yeah, I was. I wasn't even sure if it was worth going. There. I was like, ah, I don't really want to go. <laughs> yeah. It was. It was really. It was Maldives who pushed me to do it. So okay. Mm. Shout out to Maldives for bringing me Shout and uh, OC together. OC together. Mister Milgaus. No. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Milgaus, thank you so much. Well 14 done, months. Buddy. 14 months. He's been around. What's your favorite moment, Mr. Milgaus? Let us know in the chat, guys. Yeah. Let us know your favorite moment. Wow. In the chat. Holy moly. Look at this. Jeez. Chalk flew up $100 super chat. Wow. To 1000 more. I was actually uh, when I was when I was taking a nap, taking a mm -hmm. kind of break. Mm -hmm. I was I was thinking about the show, and I was thinking about uh, that I I the next one thousand. Uh, I'm gonna try to make them a lot more concentrated. I'm gonna focus on qu quality over quantity, mm -hmm. okay. and I'm gonna I'm gonna try to look for other people to to help me do kind of additional content. But I'm, I'm, my focus is going to be on on the quality, bringing up the quality, bringing up the guests. That stuff is really time consuming, so mm -hmm. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to find some partners. Hmm. Chalk flew up, dude. That's I'm speechless. I don't. I I I, I, I really I really really appreciate it, man. One hundred bucks. Dude. He's a relatively new member, and he's he's really mm -hmm. uh, really generous. 
yeah. I I need to more about him. I need to know more yeah. about this guy. Seriously. Yeah. So I want to thank him properly. I hope he's coming to either New York watch time or or Vegas. Guys, everybody who joined me, I really, really appreciate you. Even the groaning, even the groaning even infinity groaning. symbols is a red flag on a girl. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> huge, huge red flag. Uh, <laughs> or a girl yeah. that has some other guy's name on her. Yeah. Oh <laughs> um, man, you don't want to put uh, like names on <laughs> hey, yeah. You know, Anthony, uh, what, what do you think about that? What, the the Anthony, the, the tattoo he has here. Never give up. Yeah. He didn't spell it right, though, right? I know. It's. I think it was tr- <laughs> it's cheaper when you skip a couple of letters. A couple you letters, can still yeah. decipher it. Is that, is that his license plate on the Lambo, too? <laughs> Never. Oh, was it? I'm not even I sure. I'd, I'd assume, right? It yeah, says. I would assume it is. Here, I'm going to show was a short- you. They're chasing him down. It'll say never give up. That's the mm. best. I don't know if we get a good there you shot go. of this or not, but Ooh. this is oh. the Lucha Medic. Whoa. 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 Damn. That's serious. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Wow. See, there's insulin needles cross yep. underneath him. Oh, my God. And I'm unabashedly Catholic, so I have a, a Cairo up there. <laughs> and my luchador and it says wow. uh it actually says sarah mieto zero fear oh yeah jonathan pitcher's a tattoo artist he's gonna do a clock and a lion on you he said oh yes he he's actually really really good we actually have two tattoo artists in the in the watch very cool community jonathan pitcher and uh, uh rob from seattle I think he his his it's actually his uh his wife who mm-hmm. wow. who's doing it. Yeah. She's very good. Hopefully someday he'll uh, he'll she's hop gonna, on the stream she's and show a tattoo us. of the Rainbow Daytona in 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 two thousand above it, because that's when you're getting the Rainbow Daytona by oh. right? <laughs> two thousand episode. <laughs> if you One tattoo it, you have to make it happen. It's in stone. It has, it has, yeah, you right? set you'd look stupid skin. otherwise. It gives you a, did, a, a heavy goal. That that I say it has to be real. <laughs> yes. Yes, Can I just get one it. of those mod kits uh, where they mo- where they just modify the the regular yellow gold? You said you're gonna sell your whole collection, right? What is your collection worth? One fifty? One thirty? No, not now. It it really dropped at at its peak. It was maybe. Uh, Maybe something like that. Now it's like, especially sale price. Buy price is one, but sale price is like. Let's say a hundred, okay? That's if we're super mega generous, yeah. How much is it? Was it four hundred for the, or three fifty if you get a good deal? Yeah. Okay, so you need two fifty, right? Thousand. Right. All right. It's not impossible. That's why I said like three years. I buy a thousand episodes. Yeah, it's only two hundred fifty dollars an episode. Oh, that's a lot of money, actually, dude. That's two hundred fifty plus. Uh, YouTube Perfect. takes away thirty percent. Look, it would have to be outside outside deals. Oh, by the way, speaking of outside deals, you guys wanna you guys wanna see something? Sure. Can I make an announcement? Mm-hmm. We got we got a new partner. <clears throat> Boom! There we go. I just put the. In the top oh, corner, new sponsor, there. new <clears throat> a new sponsor, a new collaborator. Very uh, cool. Yeah, Barossa.co, guys, go check it out. Sign up. It's uh, what is I it? vouch for them. What do they do? I've never heard of them. It's uh, it's a kind of a project <coughs> that I've been involved uh in the background. Okay. Um, it, there, there's going to be a lot more details after Vegas. I'm gonna have a lot of details. Hey, Brian. Wait, who's this? Oh no, it's Met. No, who who's Metra? Jesus. Uh-huh. It was Brian. Metra or oh, it's Artem. <laughs> who is it? It's a Metra. Artem. Uh... <laughs> Hello. Hello, Tim Wright. <laughs> oh. 
why is the opposite of me is evil? I thought I, I, everybody's trying to convince everyone that I'm the evil twin. If there's twins, shouldn't be the opposite of me be like a super nice yeah. guy. I come to <coughs> tell you congratulations <coughs> on one one thousand shows. Thank you. Thank you. Sounds like Brian. I did not think <laughs> <laughs> your soft <laughs> cock had it in you <laughs> to <Ooh>. last. <laughs> Petty. Who? Uh, How who dare you, you challenge Metro? That's my evil twin. So is he tall and skinny? I am the power behind. <laughs> <laughs> the fluffy Ukrainian kid. <laughs> Sounds like a pipe smoker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Oh, that's good. Uh, that's good. I like it. Good job, guys. Good job. Before, before I talk shit about Barossa, uh, who made it so I can... Make sure I'm not stepping on anyone's toes. Eh, look, it's it's a it's a collaboration. A lot of people are involved. Anyone that we know? Well, I'm involved, and actually, yeah, a few of our friends are involved. Because this website, you know, it's is, actually a really cool thing. This website's worse than the digital watch vault. I got, I can't. It, it's just the placeholder. It's this is just for friends. Just you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. But it's it's like. In the background, this this ha this stuff happening in the background, uh, Eddie. I highly recommend you you get in on it. Sign up. Dude, that's what that's what fucking Paul Thorpe said about Digital Watch Vault. Dude, it's happening. It's gonna it's gonna remove CPO. CPO is no longer gonna be necessary. Don't even, don't even fucking mention Digital Watch Vault <laughs> in the same <laughs> sentence as Barossa, man. That's a that's a freaking disgrace to the Barossa name. It's a crime. It's a crime Thank against humanity. Know. I'm not gonna lie, the, the logo looks much better than Digital Watch Vault's logo, so I know it's good. <laughs> Dear artifact. Dear artifact. Hey guys, how you doing? Hey, Sir, how just are you? Having a little bit of fun. I just wanted to jump on to say congrats, Tim. And uh, you know, you're the best. You you bring all these people together from all over the world around this great hobby that we all love, and uh, that's not an easy thing to do. And you do it with a lot of uh, tenacity because you have to put up with a lot so we really appreciate you thank you thank you dear artifact and thank you for and you know thank you so so much for supporting my show and in you know joining us on these streams and contributing it's not possible without without you guys so it's mutual artifacts. it's mutual trust me yeah the art the artifacts are uh, pillars of the uh, Tim Wright uh, LLC yeah. community and he's a very talented photographer. I, I actually, yes. uh, as, his Instagram is amazing. Yeah, if I had a little bit more time, I I want to level up to uh, to get better at picture at photography, like the artifact. We'll take it. We'll, we'll take a little bit of time, but I'm mm. I'm getting there. We have the same camera, by the way. Yeah, well, <laughs> I just I just I just do my best. I don't know what I'm doing, but. Someday huh. when me and my someday when me and my dad get down uh, to one of the meetups, Tim, we can we can talk about photography and and uh, the little Ooh. the little tricks that we each know to make our photography better. One hundred percent. Hey, just really quickly here, Mister Milgaus, two euros. I love Tim's first London watch show. Hashtag vodka. Mm -hmm. It was brutal. Uh, I barely survived the first. Be believe it or not, everyone got COVID except me. I don't know mm -hmm. how how it happened but i was just so glad to be able to get back and you know do more shows og baby girl what 50 dollars og baby girl timmy congrats on 1000 episodes thank you og baby girl uh, where's my pony she's uh, by the way it's og baby girl who started the pony meet so we got her wow. oh we were talking about the ponies earlier yeah oh well i have a different one I accidentally grabbed another one. This is a. Uh, I'm actually a huge fan of uh, uh, my of my pony. little pony. The animation, it's really good. Are you a brony? No, not really. I haven't watched in a while, but 
That's it, a yes. It's... <laughs> I like I it because they have a lot, lot of like adult yes. jokes. It's <laughs> it's great uh, fun. Yes, so I haven't watched in a while. I'm not really yeah. a bro. <laughs> Yeah, you have to you have to watch it with the right state of mind. But maybe that's why maybe that's what influenced me to be so uh, so kind to people because that's mm -hmm. uh, that's what My Little Pony teaches. It's the power means? of friendship can overcome any Only difficulties. Power. Man, I sound oh, yeah. so gay right now. Sorry. Yeah, it's pretty bad. I subscribe bad. to the uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin school of thought: arrive, raise hell, leave. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, whoa, hello, Danny Donut. Donny Donut. Donny Donut. Donny Donut. Hi, Donny Donut. Tim you, Tim, you said gay, and I and I just wanted to come on and tell you <laughs> hi, and and tell you that I'm actually I've actually made more money off of Boston Collector in the last couple of years than anybody else because he buys all of his donuts from me, and that makes me so happy. <laughs> It does. It does. And, 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 and he likes the pink donuts. And, and then when he gives away the donuts, they have something special in them and it makes people want to give him stuff. So I know all of his secrets, but I've made so much money off of him this year. Oh my goodness. It's just wonderful. Brian, you, you, know, you know what the, oh, <laughs> but Donnie donut. You know what the funny thing is, is I could have like made more money probably by doing a few flips in the background, but what I, would have been done to me if if you want to make more money you you you've almost got the frosting on your head but ah. you need to put some sprinkles on your head and then you can charge even more and it'll be wonderful and so fabulous where do you put the cream filling on his head then oh no 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 son no the cream filling it goes in a secret hole in the back Oh, you know, that's Thanks. actually a brilliant marketing strategy right there. Opening a donut store right next to a, a high-end uh, uh, authorized dealer for Rolex and Paddock. Uh, yeah. and, and sometimes that filling isn't cream. Sometimes it's fudge. <laughs> oh, no. Dude. Oh, DC and LV makes a good point. Boston, how do you, how do you aggregate your costs of your donuts? Mm. <laughs> to your spreadsheet? Well, you're... Your uh, donuts technically could go towards your cost basis if you can determine, according to the IRS, that it's a necessary. How do you amortize it? So basically, when you do a file, when you file uh, for taxes, right? If you made profit, who's filing taxes on on <laughs> selling watches? You yeah. can offset uh, the money that you spent on donuts to get yeah, it those to your cost watch. Basis. Very good. If you can count it as a relevant <clears throat> expense dude united this, this just shows how freaking mentally screwed up american tax system is it's the most convoluted thing ever you you, you never know this stuff should be automatically taken out I, I just want you all to know that the boston sucks avatar has been retired and replaced <laughs> with donny donut thank you <laughs> i appreciate Don, it don't Thank come back Don, I Don, need my filling. Donnie Donut is based off of Pee Wee Herman meeting Donnie Wahlberg. Ah, oh, really? Oh. Yeah. Oh, no. What happened to the cowboy that was calling me the Mexabetic earlier? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> the diabetic. <laughs> Let's uh, let's. Uh, by the way, you guys uh, look at all the new releases. There, there's some. There's we a few more watches here. Yeah, we looked at that huge, ugly Oris. Uh, this thing, a 400 meters. It's, uh, yeah. Wait till they do it. Five days power reserve, four thousand meters. They're just doing this to compete against Sea Dwellers, I guess. Sea Dweller <laughs> and. Look at Both the probably. specs on it. Look at the specs; they're amazing. Do you know how? You know the name Oris is not too far away from Snorris. <laughs> oh, we got a very private gentleman joining us. Hello, private gentleman. Tim, how are you doing? <laughs> hey, it's been tough, private gentleman. I've I've missed you. I've been watching from the background and. 
I have to say yeah. I'm very disappointed with the, the Why? progress Why? of the direction. What did I do? What did I do? I, I thought I was doing a fantastic job. You 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 cut me down, Tim. You 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 rip my guts out. What? You, let, you hang me to dry. What? When did I do that? Mark, when did I do that? I don't know, but my maybe my favorite moment in the history of the show was the two hour episode where the two hour uh um resignation. Keep, keep talking. Keep <laughs> keep talking, Mark. Keep talking. You 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 think you're everything but you're nothing. You're just a sack of old dusty bull sacks. That's all you are. you see, Private Jeff, this is what I'm saying. Like you hit people really hard. People go back at you, but but you don't see uh, that that is kind of mutual, mutual disagreement. I came from a time when a man stood by his word, and you you it's it's six a.m. here, and and, and I'm my, my I'm trying to get some sleep, and you guys are talking about me in the chats all the time. <laughs> I'm getting, I I'm getting what people say in the chat. That's not. I'm getting messages saying they're at it again. That 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 Diego and that Negroni, the the boys are back in town. They're not. But look, hey, hey there, Tim Tim Wright. Let me let me explain you something here. Down in Texas, we handle things differently. See, see this here very private gentleman fellow. He's being right and he's being nice. He's true. He's true. He's true. He's true. And you the problem. Don't. Is, the problem you is that don't they, see it, Tim. You can't yeah, see, see beyond the trees. See, Tim, what, have, what, what, Tim, what the very private gentleman is trying to tell you is that there's a wolf in the sheep's clothing around here, and the wolf in the sheep's clothing is that little tiny feller named Diego, and that little tiny, that little tiny feller named Diego. He got an evil plan. Private jet, but what I'm trying to explain you know? is that when, when people do, uh, when they talk. Like actually on my channel, I mean they they do it out of adoration, out of because they like the content. They they they, it's not it's not they're not doing it to make fun of you. They're doing it to have fun with you, and uh, we can't wait for Tom your Sabre impression of Diego. I want I want a very private gentleman do impression of a Diego. That's what I'm waiting for. Ooh. I'll okay. Here we go. Look at me. I'm the best. I'm so handsome. <laughs> hey, I'm going to tell you something right here. Right here. This very private gentleman, fella, he, he, he's a real man. He's a real man because down here in Texas, we're very Come. private. We live out on our own ranches. We got all kinds of acreage. We don't talk to nobody else. Come say a very that. private gentleman, can I ask you a question? Come say that to my face, cowboy. Ooh. That you would never, idea. you wouldn't come to my country and say that to my face. Uh, yeah, listen, listen here, very private gentleman. I agree with most of what you say there. I don't understand a lot of it because you talk funny, but I agree with most of what you say right there. But your country is about the same size as my back pasture, and I ride around that all day long on a horse. And listen, your country, it's Tim, tiny, it's tiny, and it got too Tim, much. Tim, I've given you the playbook. I've written out the outline to success. If you wish to not follow me. So be it. I'll leave, and I'll never Very come back. No, I no, I I don't want you to leave, private gentleman. I actually really. That's like how you make me feel. You know, I thought I was a great contributor. You know, I've been on the streams, and I've brought new prerogatives and and visions. And you just you 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 what? you 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 just what? ignore me. I don't ignore you. I I, I, I I'm very busy. You gotta understand, private gentleman. I'm very busy, and it's very tough to reach you when you don't want to share your WhatsApp number. I'm done. I'm done. I'm folding. I don't it have in, time Tim. to write five Tim, five page email replies. That's it. it. it, takes, it I'm, I'm putting still, I'm the cookies. I'm putting the cookies back in the cupboard, Tim. I'm done. Like I've had enough. Cookies. I've had enough. Not the cookies. I have a though. question. I have a question. Yes. Is Andy he, been a four piece spy? I know you're one of the trolls too, Boston. You think I don't see you behind the <laughs> behind the mask? I agree with you. You're, the, you're one of the worst good. trolls there are, and you think you're going to come to my country on vacation without getting into a fight, mate? Watch your back. That's all I got to say. Gonna bring, I'm going to bring tea back. and biscuits to the ads when I visit your country. Yeah, yeah. You think you're funny? You you ain't got a set of balls on you though, mate. Watch your back. That's all I'm going to say. 
Why does a why does a very why does a very private gentleman look like Steve Womack? <laughs> very very private very private gentleman. Let me explain something to you about that Boston collector feller up there. Up there. He's he, he's one of them what they call New England Yankee ass elites. He don't think that nobody gotta work for a living. They just gotta read a book and think about it and then they make all that money. And then and then if they get mad, they throw the tea in the in the harbor. Uh, see the baby left. Boston the baby collect. Oh, oh. no mind, he's back. Oh, he's back. Good, uh, careful. Uh, um I'm done, Tim. I'm going to put the cookies in the cupboard. I'm going to fold the sheets, make my bed. Well, listen, private and gentlemen, the, the, the supply it. of Rolex and AP has been uh, pretty thin uh, in the United States for Boston Collector. He has to yeah. you know, use yeah. other countries <laughs> to get his supply. He needs his fix. Well, I can't control that. Well, how is that my fault? I don't understand he's, how am I responsible for coming, what Boston Collector does in his free time. He's coming to my country and he's r pillaging and robbing. But how is that my fault? See, this is what You what support I, him, Tim. You you give him a platform. So You what? give him a platform to 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 to, Dude, to talk. I'm just showing you guys. How do you think how, how do you think it makes us feel, it. Tim? That we, Tim. He's not stopping. He's literally teaching all of you guys how to do it, how to get how, Rolex and AP. How do you retail. think it He's makes doing us it for free. feel? Tim, we have well, what do you want? To, what would you want to happen? You want people to pay two hundred dollars to Jenny L's husband to find this information? This information is out there, and people I'm on can a wait get it list. free. I'm, Tim, I'm on a wait list for an Aquaterra. I've been on a wait list for two years. <laughs> And Boston Collector comes to my country and he gets a root beer at retail. Now, how do you think that makes us feel? I think that's a you problem rather than Boston yeah. problem. I, yeah. I, I, at this point, I got I to gotta tell you, uh, uh, look, we had Alan early today. Mm -hmm. He got a, a, what's it called? A GMT. He's, he got the Explorer too. Black he's, a good, he's a good bloke. I like him. Yes, hey, Tim. I gotta go. It's that, that, there's a lunch bell ringing, and I gotta get up there before Mog. Like, oh, come on. You can't, Tim. You can't put the salt, Tim. You can't put the salt back in the shaker. You see? I get it. Did the eggs been cracked? It's been boiled. It's that's it's it. Cooked. It's done. You, you you had your chance to become a success, but you didn't go the ways. You, you didn't follow my direction. And now what do you have to show for yourself? You barely made $2,000 yesterday. Well, that's actually a lot for me. Maybe for you, <laughs> fancy Englanders over there, $2,000 is... Uh, that's, that's, that's it. I'm, I'm packing my bags. I'm going. Like six pounds or something. And a half, could, you, guys. could you please leave the cookies, very private gentleman? <laughs> yeah, you think you're something over there, Mark, with your damn <laughs> sunglasses on your head. I'll show you a little something. You know, I might be 89 years old, but I can still Taekwondo. $2,000 oh, is like 20000 from where I come from. Listen, I've said my piece. I'm gone. The soap is down the drain. Thank you, Tim. Where's the you have, you have my permission to read my letter. Thank you. Goodbye. <laughs> Thank you, Private Gentleman. I, well, we'll see you later. Uh, All the characters coming back for this show. It's <clears throat> amazing. Well, it's after, Bre after Brexit, um, it doesn't surprise me that Switzerland likes the United States better and sends us more watches. I there like how go. all these Brexiters are leaving UK now. Now that they fucked yeah. up the country, they're all bouncing. Yes. Wasn't, wasn't Paul a big Brexiter or was it, wasn't he? Because he's, mm. he's announced that he's leaving the country. Yes. Really? He's yeah. Brexited? He's Brexited. Yeah, no. I, I, <laughs> I think he's pro Brexit, though. Does it but work now, both ways? If you leave Britain, is that a Brexit as well? Or is it just <laughs> it's a Brexit? It's a other countries. It goes, it goes solo. Maybe these guys realize that, uh, that UK is, is fucked up beyond repair. And they run, and they they wanted to do the Brexit so that they can then leave, and 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 just leave the the people who can't escape the country isolated. I, I have a question, Tim. Is is yeah. Paul leaving TPG technically a Brexit? Ooh, ooh, cutting ties with TPG—that's a Brexit, right? I think that's uh, a Brexit. 
<laughs> bros it? Because <laughs> they were bros. <laughs> true. Yeah. That was... He was in the Spain? Ooh. Does he know I'm... Spanish? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I really? think so. That's, that's what he's saying. Yeah. Is there less crime in Spain? Is that why he's doing it? I don't know. I mean... Like watch crime? When, when I went to Barcelona for like a, a week. Sorry, Brian? There will be less crime there shortly after he gets there. <laughs> mm. Look, I, I, don't, I honestly, I don't, I don't think that... Is there really an uptick in crime? Mm. Because, you know, over the past, <clears throat> like, 30-something years, the crime has been ste steadily going down. Mm. Maybe now we had a little bit of a surge up. Because of the, well, uh, the I know, I know that uh, AP has kind of snuffed out a lot of the crime, right? Right. Oh yeah. And by crime we mean flipping the the, the crime of watch collecting. Yeah. Exactly. The flippers. Yes, they did. Snuff it out. Fuck! They snuffed out the flipper scum. Who do you think's getting robbed? It's the flippers. They're the ones. You know, it's the collectors. The it's the watch collectors who are, who were getting robbed, and uh, AP. With this brilliant move, they snuffed out all the all the flippers. Mm -hmm. There it is. And the gray market is suffering. It's bleeding. Mm -hmm. But uh, I mean, at retail, is this is still a good product? So is is Britain taking over Spain? Is that what's happening? They're turning it into a colony. <laughs> I <thought> <laughs> Are they at it again? <laughs> They tried that in the 1500s. They're retiring there and taking it over, right? That's yes. what I've heard. I just find it really ironic that people who were pro-Brexit would now like leave after getting everything yeah. they wanted in politics, getting their guy, getting everything. Now they're like, oh. This sucks. Yeah, yeah, this sucks. I'm out of here. It's like, dude, <laughs> wait, it's your guy. It's your guy. Yeah, I don't get it. But now Britain, Britain I, is cool. Britain's uh, really cool. Yeah, I, 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 Mark, Mark, such a beautiful yep. place. They have cool taxis. Oh, dude, the, the taxis on are on the next level. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. What's up, Brian? Uh, Mark, Mark. Brian. I just, I just wanted to say, wasn't I right? You showed up for the interview and found out there's nobody working there and they wanted you to run the place? <laughs> pretty much, pretty much, pretty much. <laughs> it was kind of, it was interesting. We'll, we'll talk on the after stream, after show, but tomorrow maybe. Uh, it was, uh, it was, uh, wow. <laughs> just, I'll, that's I have all a I'll question, say. Mark. Do you think yeah. that your watch helped you to get the <clears throat> job? So it's funny. I told him when he, he called me first thing in the morning because they had an ad for a salesperson. So he calls me first thing in the morning and it's the, I worked for them years ago, but I worked for their father. The, the sons mm -hmm. run the business now. And okay. um, so I knew them as kids, you know? Mm -hmm. And uh, so he called me, he's all excited in the morning. He's like, you know, come on in. I said, I said, well, look, I'm sort of obligated to do this, watch show and he's like what I, I said a wristwatch youtube live stream he goes seriously i was like, yeah i said so i could be in you know like after 3 3 30 something like that <laughs> you know and he's like okay <laughs> and they were both wearing apple watches when i got there so nice. i don't think i don't know if the watch helped they like to watch they were they were comp very complimentary I, there you go I yeah cleaned her up real good and did the uh the diego method of uh, cleaning my watch to make it sure it was perfectly shiny and not scratched. I think there's a lot of people that just wear Apple watches that actually like watches, but don't know what to get. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like if you're, if you go to the mall and that's your only experience, like with watches, a lot of people, that's mm -hmm. the only thing they see is like Macy's, you know, like yeah. fossil watch or whatever, or G shocks. And, and they don't even know anybody that wears a watch sometimes. Yeah. And I think when they see like a cool, even, uh, you know, IWC or Tudor or anything, like, mm -hmm. they're kind of like, oh, what's that? You know? Like, yeah. Uh, by the way, what's this, what's this whole thing about the digital PRX? Oh, don't look at it. It's terrible. 
It's horrible. It's horrid. What does that mean? What does Swatch it mean? Group. You can buy, you can buy a digital copy. Hashtag so Swatch Group Shitter. What, we looked at it when you were napping. We, were, we looked at it when you were taking a nap. Pull it up. Look at it. I, I don't even know where to pull it up. I'm on the PRX website. Uh, I don't just, see it. Just go to the TSO in PRX it. in the first mm -hmm. row. Hashtag Swatch Group Shitter. Ooh. By the way, oh shit, is that it? Yeah. Oh, dude, wait. Oh no. Oh, they did it. They did it. Wait, how Shut much is the it? Fuck up. It's expensive. Dude. It's like just under four hundred bucks. Four hundred fifty dollars. Four hundred bucks. Damn. It's horrible. By the way, uh, before before <clears throat> we get too far away from the UK subject. I just want to point out that when I was in London, I mm -hmm. spent whole day, like I, I spent one day power doing a hundred thousand steps in one single day. So I walked like fifty three miles. Mm. I walked the entire day and I had to finish it like three o'clock at night. And I was walking through all types of sketch areas because I don't know what the hell I was doing. I was wearing my Explorer two and you know what? No issues so that's good mm -hmm. well tim it's because you look so damn poor that you'd have a fake anyway i don't know i don't know brian i think it's smell, a little bit exaggerated and you and you smell kind of bad sometimes and that was <laughs> well i did i did take uh, uh, one hundred thousand steps so i probably yeah. was not the best smelling guy but I, I was walking through the park, middle of the night, no issues. Now, uh, listen, listen, my, uh, I've had a discussion w about this similar subject with, uh, with my wife and a couple other people. Mm -hmm. If you're wearing super fancy, nice stuff, and you're in the way wrong neighborhood, yep. they don't care because odds are it's fake. But yeah. if you're wearing super fancy <laughs> stuff in a super fancy neighborhood, then they'll target you because odds are it's real. I just thought I was such a easy target, easy looking target that it, no no way like like if there was a thief and he saw me, no way they would be able to resist. It's just yeah. too good to be true. No, but the watch thieves are all working the really good neighborhoods where the really good yeah. watches are on a regular basis. They're not working mm -hmm. their own neighborhoods where things mm -hmm. are shitty. Mm, I get well, but I I was walking through some neighborhoods that I thought were a little bit sketch. I was I was I was a little bit. I'm not gonna say I wasn't totally uh, like I wasn't freaking out, right? I was in a you know foreign country mm -hmm. uh, at two o'clock a.m. Uh, there were other people walking around, and I remember when I when it was getting close to three, I was finally arriving to my hotel, and I started coming closer to where there was more people. But before then, I was walking through, I don't know, weird places, not a lot of traffic. But no, you know, at, at no point did I feel like I was in danger. Just wanted to put it out there. I think it's a little bit, uh, uh, usually crime, when, when it happens, it's just so random uh, that I think it's it's almost impossible to prepare for it like you can't the the only thing you could do is probably just get insurance and then if somebody tries to take your watch you just <laughs> uh, you just hand it over because it's insured yeah. so yeah. um steve l thank you so much for five pounds tim after the usa which country does most of your subscribers come from canada australia or uk i'll pull it up pull it up, pull it up. so and while you're doing that by the way Buckley's comment is why he's one of my favorite people I've never met. <laughs> uh, Buckley, I don't know what Section 8 housing is like because I don't live in your neighborhood. <laughs> at Tuesday, on a Tuesday at 11 a.m. <laughs> uh, and, and the answer is Tuesday at 11 a.m. is perfectly safe because they're all hung over or sleeping in or whatever. Uh, yeah. After 12.30, then you're in trouble because they're all waking up. <laughs> All right, here we go. You guys ready? Ready. It goes yeah. like this. United States, United Kingdom, Canada, Australia, 
And then are German. You gonna share, are you going to share the screen, or are we going to just assume that you're? Yeah, I can. Uh, I can share it. Let me just make sure that I'm not doxing anything. Hey yeah. Tim. Yeah. I'm gonna. I'm gonna send you. I'm gonna send you a screenshot. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think. I think. I. I found something that you might be interested in. Oh, cool! It's not that. It's not that picture of me that I sent you. There you go. You can see the full breakdown right there. There you go. For the last 28 days, United States, <coughs> 76,000. Well, oh, actually, oh, oh yeah, 76,000 views. Follow the United Kingdom, 39,000 wow. views. Canada, Australia, Germany, Ireland, Netherlands, Sweden, Japan. It's probably I That's Ireland. Yeah. <laughs> Ireland is just O'Sheen's family watching when he's on. I'm surprised. Very little Italy, France, Denmark. I think it goes out to India. I have some Indian uh, viewers from India. Shout out to our Indian viewers. I mean, Indian viewers in India, not yeah, whatever. Netherlands is interesting. Who's from Netherlands? Nico? No, no, Nico from from Denmark. No, no, Ireland. Nico is originally from the Netherlands. No, he's from Denmark. He's Dutch. No, he's from Netherlands. Dutch is Netherlands. Dutch oh, is the okay. Netherlands. <laughs> Danish, is, Danish is Denmark. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Well, let's just pick one of these places on the list and see if Tim can tell us yeah. where it is on the globe. Oh, come on, man, that's brutal. <laughs> no, just tell I know us a few of these locations. What the person's Italy. called from each place? Australia? The basic stuff I kind of know. I wonder why some names are in blue. Anyways. It's the demographic break that breakdown. Can I can I just be honest with you guys? I kind of dig this watch. I, I for this is this is for non watch collectors. I think this is better than than getting like um, G Shock. Yeah, no, no, not no. like a G Shock. No, Cassio? no, yeah, like Cassio you know, God tier, right? Tim, isn't Cassio mm -hmm. God tier? Yeah, uh, no, Cassio is not. Cassio is nice, but let's not. It's not over hype how amazing G Shocks are. They're good. They're, they're good for, for what they are to tell the time. This is great. This is a great gift, I think. Because mm -hmm. it's for someone who doesn't because you know, you, you give someone automatic watch, they're gonna think like, what the fuck? I'm not saying you know, like who has the time? Who's the time to set their watch? Yeah. Or, or to even to, like learn about the gears because they're gonna bust, they're gonna break it. Like I gave an automatic watch to my brother, he doesn't wear it. Should have should have given him the moon's quartz. watch. Tim, is he wearing the moon's watch? He is because it's quartz. Yeah. Good. Uh, it's easier wear. It hasn't broken yet. I don't think so. I'm gonna ask Good. him. Oh, he sent me. Uh, uh, he he got me a gift. You guys want to see it? Sure. Yeah. I think this is a, oh, it's shit. definitely a lot of money though for what you're getting. Yeah. And then it's like a that's a lot of money, right? It's like a computer. Ooh, what? Yeah, what so apparently I think that's my name written okay. in the gym. Hieroglyphs. Yeah. All right. It's it's called it's called <coughs> it's called a cartouche. Cartouche. Oh, re really? Yeah. Yeah. It's cool. What, I wonder. What's the I wonder why I'm the guy on on the chariot. But it's pretty cool. That's I like the frame. He matched the, the frame. Symbolizes your AD, and then you just want to <laughs> shoot it. This is me sniping sniping <laughs> your Rolexes. AD. Before you guys can get to them. Maybe that's you and the chariot being thrown out of the ADs. That's true. <laughs> no, but All uh, right, guys. I'm going to uh, take off a little bit. I'll be back on yeah. later. Yeah, go take a break. I'll yeah. uh, I'll be here for, for a long time. So. I know. I know. I'll see you guys yeah, later. I mean, see you, Mark. This is right. this is too much money for a digital watch. Yeah, it is. You know the only buy... problem was the three seventy five, and then the gold one is even more, right?
Yeah, if 450. A, if, a, if a Speedmaster Moon Swatch is 250 and it's a five, you know, eight, eight thousand. Hey, wait, watch. when you put it in those terms, actually, right. it, it sounds like like a good deal. If they could make it same price, it's double, it's double that a it's double as the moon, yeah. double the moon swatch price. Well, not double, but no, 50 percent more. Fifty percent more. If they matched the price to Moon Swatch, yeah, they could have embarrassed them. I still think a Moon Swatch is better, though. No. Ah, uh, no, no way. This is a proper proper watch. Moon Swatch is very this problematic. Is the proper watch? Moon Swatch? No, it's not. No, this this is just a quartz. No, but it's quartz, but it's look, it's got a, like a Friday, right? It, it tells you what day well, it a, is. It's got an alarm. Yeah, it's got an alarm. Does yeah. it have a, a date? I'm not seeing it on It's like a $20 cor uh, Casio can do the same thing. You know what the problem with this watch right? is? This is the watch <laughs> that people like Cam would wear when he goes out to the club and wants everybody to think his watch is cool. He would want to think uh, that this is a royal oak. <laughs> yeah. But look, they could have done this a lot better, right? If they if they made a cutout, maybe circular, because it makes very little sense what, to have a what like, on this rectangle. cost three hundred and fifty dollars. So three hundred fifty dollars. It's just steel. Yeah. Right. And then and then they stuck a quartz movement that's a ten dollar casio yeah but i don't think this is a normal quartz movement uh they also had to yeah. redesign the case in such a way that would take the pushers lazy right i think it's just internal internally there's a the, the different um uh, it's got a different internal layout right to hold the quartz movement but this is very <sighs> Unfortunately, this is a very lazy mark. Like the way they've done this is very lazy. But you know, I, I, I'm a I'm a conspiracy theorist, so I'm gonna say they did they did this on purpose, so that they're gonna make another version of this where they're going to improve it. Like they're gonna make a proper circular cutout. No, you don't think so, Brian? Why? It sucks. It's a swatch group. They'll screw it up. No, but Swatch Group, guess what? Swatch Group has access to better quartz modules, especially if we go to, let me show you. You see this one. Uh, Casio is $21 right now. <laughs> yeah, I see you. Same thing, and it looks the same. Sw but look, Swatch is capable of making some amazing uh, displays. Like some amazing quartz displays. There's no, there's no reason why they couldn't uh, make. Like this is a watch that I think if they spend some money putting in a proper, you know, qu quartz, like it'll take time, right? Right now, all they did is they took a quartz module from a different watch and slapped it in here to see if it's gonna sell. I think this is this is a test. This is the test case before they invest money to make a proprietary uh, quartz uh, quartz screen for this uh, for this watch. They're, they're testing to see if people are even interested. Is the PRX shape worth three hundred and forty dollars? Because that's basically what you're buying. Because yeah. I just sent you a watch that's Casio for twenty dollars. Is this waterproof? Because I'm. I'm I'm worried that you know when they make these plastic, they put rubber gaskets to make these waterproof. But is this does this have even a hundred meters? Was, oh, it does. Shit. It has a sapphire crystal. Oh, that's good. It's unnecessary. <laughs> no, no. So a sapphire crystal changes everything uh, because. You know how easily these screens scratch. get yeah. scratched up? Yeah, especially because people wear the, uh, this type of watch, this cheaper type of watch. They're mm -hmm. going to be wearing them with a lot of j additional jewelry on top. And Do you think this looks 
like a nice watch though i think it could look interesting you think if... it kind of looks cheap because of the way that they did the digital layout yeah. like like if the whole thing had been a round screen and then you just have the digital in the middle it would have yeah. looked different but i think the way they did it and just squaring it off like that is kind of like lazy and looks yes. cheap you know like it if like sick. if it was the whole thing i think that would look kind of cool and you just have the the numbers in the middle mm -hmm. and you have like the actual like to sew on the glass or something i don't know just or like missing something like swiss me at the bottom like really like <laughs> come on <laughs> come on like did the did the casio um digital clock come from switzerland no it's just the case they made the case and then they stuck the casio in there it's probably exactly. like if you open up the back of this thing it's probably a, a small little casio <laughs> square inside oh i of bet it. i bet we can empty. even we can probably find which watch it comes from um, i sent you it i just oh i just to do it sent it oh, okay let's see here oh there we go <laughs> no but it, it's not this one because pushers in, in the wrong location but I, I i know what you mean you know what i mean it essentially has the same functions though you know and it's just a yes square. no no the one you sent me it's even more complicated it's a better yeah, quartz it's, more, on, it's, man. it's twenty dollars a one five eight, the problem eight. is when you pay 350 you kind of want something that looks nice you know yeah, like that's that's the whole point of the like the powermatic. Yeah, see, this one is a lot. Okay, if you look at this one on the yeah, right, the mountain, yeah, there you go. Just yeah, like... this was a, a this is done a lot better because they included a little bit more text. Although, and and they have this border. You see the border. They just don't have the light function, right? And then the lap reset should be on the other side. It might be upside down. Because the two, if you think about it, if you put this module upside down, there's going to be two buttons on the right and one in the top left corner. And that's kind of what they, yeah, it's what not they the get. Same. It's mode it's is just reprogrammed. Yeah. It's reprogrammed. It, they're, not, they're not expensive to make the insides of, though. Let's just. No, yeah. it's just sense. You're paying for the case, basically. But I'm serious. So I think what they're going to do is uh, cash in on this. They're going to try to mm -hmm. make some money. They're going to see if this sells. If this sells, then they're going to probably put in more effort into it. But like right now, they already had the case. They yeah. had the, the quartz movement. They're like, hey, this is free. It doesn't take, they don't have to spend any additional money. They can combine those two things and see what uh, what people will say. And people are I saying, probably, ugly. yeah, I think it's probably looking at like a Timex Q, you mm -hmm. know? Like the Timex Q quartz uh, ones, something like that. But hey, those, hey, those, Boston, those don't uh, have Boston the how physical. many? How many donuts to get up the wait list for this watch? Which one? The uh, the the new uh, Tissot digital thing. Mm. Oh, dude! <laughs> I don't think they have a digital. I think they're just like the three hand. Time excuse is so over milked. Yeah. I I can't stand it anymore. It's just they have so many oh, the dude. Rainbow, man. the rainbows. Oh man. It just Those reeks nice. with desperation. Those look nice, Dan. The Q. Look at that. You no. rock that. Come on. No? They're terrible. I'm sorry. They're <laughs> terrible. There's too many watches out there, guys. You need a rainbow collection, Tim. You get this watch, you get the Zodiac, you get the, the Rainbow Daytona. Look at this one. What do you think about oh, this one? That one's cool. That one's cool, for sure. Yeah, it's kind of cool. It's it's okay. Um, wouldn't buy it, though. How much is this? One ninety nine, Dude, yeah. It's too expensive. Uh, look, it's just yeah. endless, endless... That's because they're twenty dollars to make, and they just pump them out. Yeah, it's a problem. Oh, dude, I'm look at this nice, one. Actually, that's nice. It's kind eh? of nice. Is that PVD stainless? Uh, be, let's right? see. 
PBD. Uh, stainless steel color black. It doesn't really say. Acrylic crystal, though. That's what, it, it, that's what. So it can go on the moon, right? Because it has the acrylic crystal. I remember Boston when uh, when they released the first time XQ. I was really excited. Yeah. They, they made the Pepsi mm -hmm. kind of like this one. This is a Coke, but they made a Pepsi. Do you think the roommate would would take the Pepsi version? And then you can sell the Pepsi? Just time XQ the... Pepsi? Yeah. No, she can't stand this, this stuff. <laughs> She's all about the brand. She She yeah. would take this watch. If it said Rolex on it, like this quality, mm -hmm. but if it said Rolex, whereas, you know, for me, I really, I really like the quality uh, on the Rolex. It's Dr. Bob's Nightmare. Palm Angels. Hmm? It said Palm Angels on it. Would she be down for that? It said Palm Angels. Palm That's... Angels. No, I doubt it. No chance. No chance. Dr. Bob's Nightmare, thank you so much for $2 Super Chat. How much for this egg timer? That was too much. It was way too Three. much. Three seventy-five. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's mad. I don't know where they pulled out this pricing, but... Is, and the gold is just gold pvd or something, right? Yeah, it's just PVD. It's gold paint. Gold painted. <laughs> Scratches off. Elmo, thank you so much for five pounds super chat. Thank you, Tim, for your incredible YouTube content. Your passion for horology is inspiring new generation. Keep up the hard graft. We all love it. See ya. Uh, Tim, I horology is is a, yeah. is a high technical term for watches. Oh, yeah. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. But what I was going to say is that this, at first, I, I thought, Stuff like this was good for for horology, like uh, uh, you know other brands making watches that are you know designed kind of like what people in horology want. But now I'm kind of starting to realize that it's kind of making all watches look the same at at every mm -hmm. level, and it's not it's not a good thing because when everything looks the same nothing looks looks special so mm -hmm. i hope that you know brands at higher tiers will start bringing out some new stuff i we really we really need new stuff you know what's you, coming up Tim? there we're gonna get all these independents and brands mm -hmm. popping fp joins well speaking of independence did you did you see this one what did you think about this arm and strong ew you don't like it, Brian? No. Hmm. Well, does it have a GMT function? Not this one, but the but Armstrong does make a watch with a GMT function. Uh, they Ooh. they might eventually introduce a GMT function to this so to this watch. That's seconds on the left there, the black. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. I, I like, it's got nice symmetry. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah it, uh, these two, there's two barrels here, um, except for the screw at the top and the. Um, you mean this one? At the bottom above the se seconds. Which one? This one? No. Oh, this, this. This one. No, up one. That one. That one, yeah, is a screw at the bottom. Yeah, but, it's a sapphire. Yeah, but oh, you mean in symmetry? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, you're right. Uh, <laughs> That's, right. oh, that's the only thing that's not that's symmetrical. Idiot. There's a screw, and here it is a pivot point. It's probably yeah. because on the back side, there mm -hmm. you can see uh, the balance bridge. It's a very interesting mm -hmm. looking balance bridge. And mm -hmm. what do you think about this blue? It was very the, nice. Uh, yeah, the blue treatment. This I, like is, I, I bet we're going to start seeing a lot more of mm -hmm. these. We saw with Z Zenith does a lot of this uh, kind of deal seeing different bridges. Blue. That, Sorry, big of a, that big of a base plate looks like it needs to have more coats to Geneva or something on it. It looks like uh, I think this is just a digital rendering. That's why it looks so yeah. lifeless. 
They should have some more cutouts, I think, or something. Well, then, then make the rendering better looking. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, it's not the best rendering. Shouldn't your rendering be more interesting than the actual product? Mm. Yeah, it, it kind of looks like a three quarter. They're doing like a three quarters plate. Yeah. Tim, I have a question for you. Yeah. Wasn't the deadline the end of August on your contract? Isn't that getting close? What you kind of contract? You have to sell a certain number of watches. Or yeah, something. I'm going to. I was a little bit delayed with all with all the stuff. So now, but I'm going to start selling. I'm going to start selling really soon. I, look, I'm done it's after, after 1000th episode. September is I'm going to. And yeah, I'm going to start taking off Sundays. I need to uh, have like an ocean type ep episode where I sell like 26 <laughs> watches. Look, people, my viewers, I don't want to look. I don't want to take advantage of my viewers. Or, or I don't want to make it look like I'm taking advantage. They're just, my viewers are probably not the right buyers for the stuff I have. Mm. Um, no, I'm saying I need to. I, oh, I need you to need to. 26 watches. Jesus. Is that all? all? <laughs> well, I probably could sell more than that, but let's be honest, but. I was just thinking I think there wasn't sell, that much. Yeah, I'm going to sell them and then bring them to watch time so that people can get them then. That's my, that's my plan. Dude, you know what you can do? I got a perfect idea for you. You ready? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Bring them all in a backpack to Las Vegas and claim that they got stolen. Mm. That's a good idea. Or I could, or I could do the same and, and go to Atlanta. Yeah, or the south side of Boston. <laughs> uh, this yeah. looks good. They should have. They should open it up more. You know, selling watches is difficult. Yeah, until but until, it, not for long. Not for long, yeah. Boston collector. Well, well, that was my thing. Like maybe there'll be something available by the time Watch Time New York happens. Mm, I think that that's going to be still a little bit too early. Some watches to people. Try it out. Yeah, actually, that's all right. I'm probably gonna end up selling back to the AD anyway. Well, that's the easiest. You you have a good plus. You have a really good relationship with. Yeah. Uh, Do you think European? they'll be shocked if I bring 26 to them at one time? <laughs> I don't think they'll. I'll bring well, a I don't think they can take that many. <laughs> My question is: is I if, think if they you, would. I think they would take really? that many. But if you <laughs> go to them to sell watches to them, are they gonna bring you donuts? Uh, no, they'll bring me other watches and they'll oh, try okay. to, they'll try to make me buy more stuff, which is okay. Or they'll, they'll bring in espresso or something. Yeah. Hmm. They always offer me stuff. Espresso is nice. By the way, I, I got myself, well, uh, shout out to Eric King Ben for the bottle of wine. I got decoy yeah. Merlot 2021. Around the time that he joined the streams, are you are you gonna open something special for tonight for the thousandth show? Oh, that's tonight. special enough. Are you gonna sell a bit? You gonna do the decoy for tonight? Yeah, a nice bottle of decoy. No, I'm just. just I didn't. Back. I didn't say that. That wasn't. I just was asking if you're gonna open something. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna open it. I'm gonna open the decoy. Didn't you, a, didn't you have a nice whiskey? Uh, well, I have the a Blantons? nice, I think the Blantons, right? The Blantons, you have the roommate that. poured out the Blantons. What, yeah, the whole thing. I no, thought it was, uh, no, uh, I had it was 30% there. Oh, okay. I was drinking it like oh, uh, glass by glass here and there, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, yeah, unfortunately. She didn't know what it was, and for, but like, also, what the hell was she thinking? Just pouring <laughs> no out, like, was. yeah, <laughs> it's like, know. oh, I didn't know it was expensive. Well, what I thought what do it you was, mean? I thought it was old soy sauce, <laughs> yeah, in a, in a whiskey, whiskey container that says whiskey on it. <laughs> uh, when does the uh, when does the 24 hours end? 5 a.m. tomorrow, 5 a.m. tomorrow. Yeah, yep. but it doesn't have to be 24 hours. Oh, it's got to be close enough. Yeah, Look, it, it's just the thousandth episode. Yeah, 
it's so, a thousandth episode. It's marketing. Whenever, we're doing twenty four hours. It doesn't have to. You don't have to be. It doesn't. The watches don't have hey, to Tim. run right. <laughs> yeah. Hey Tim, have you gotten your tickets for the watch time event? I did. Okay, because they're out. The the sold out. Night. Yeah, we looked last night. They're sold out for for Friday. Oh, for Friday. Oh yeah. shit. Uh, we were looking last night. Watch time event. I don't think Here. I don't think Buckley got a ticket. I think what Buckley's for Friday? Ticket. Yeah. What? Why didn't he get it? Because they're Buckley. out. Buckley doesn't need a ticket. He just shows up with his Hold tight out, pants. See? You have to do the waiting list now. Yeah, I see it, but why wouldn't he bought it? Oh, he should have bought it like months ago. He thought he had. He thought he had. I don't know. What do you mean? How, how did he think he had? Did they did they didn't go through or? I don't know. Just... I, th I think he thought he had maybe he had gone to the page and like started oh. it and then never finished or something, but. Oh damn it! He was, he was saying that last night. Hopefully, I think he went on the wait list. But <laughs> Double D says, "If you don't make it till five a.m., I'm, I'm scaling my membership back." <laughs> no. Okay, I'll do it till five a.m. Just joking. We'll See, we'll keep the, going. I mean, the thing with Buckley is, if he shows up at the at the door and you know they're sold out and he's got his tight pants on, and then they'll just say, "Oh yeah, okay, come on in." So what watch are we supposed to buy for the for the Friday watch event? Tim. Uh w w buy? You have to buy like an independent to go. Oh, to the did you see that? That was double D. Was it double D? Yeah, right there in the back. Oh, bam, double D. right there. Look oh, at that. He's a celebrity. Yo. Speaking He's a of celebrity. the devil. <laughs> the IP. Is this a, is this the uh um, what's he wearing there? Is that the uh oh I don't even know UV that looks one? Like... the ultraviolet uh Erwork? No. Uh no, it's a Norcane. Oh Norcane, okay. Brian yeah, you see it double D is not even looking in this direction. He's like <laughs> he looks like Norcane. a giant. <laughs> oh, sorry, Brian. It's the camera angle. You have a Norcane, right? <laughs> Two? Two? Yeah. He that's too many, man. That's way I had too five. many. I had five. Five? Yeah. I'm down to two. He had Jeez. five. Yeah. He has a lucky AD. His AD is very lucky. That looks like Q a little bit. They probably get like a 50% commission on those, Brian, right? On the North Kings. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, look at the the bar that's going to be there. It's, it's it's worth the money. All right, let's see if we can find anybody else in the background now that we. All right, here we, we go. Oh, Parmigiani Florier. Did you make it in too? Uh, I think so. Look in the I, background. Oh, is yeah, that yeah, in the back with the long hair? Uh, <laughs> I'm, just... I'm not sure who that <laughs> is. No. Okay. Uh, oh, there was red shovel right there. Red shovel, that was red shovel. Yeah, should have known by the yeah, should have known oh, by the plaid. It was funny. either it was either red shovel or the air conditioner repair look guy. At, look at the face. He's not talking to anyone, just drinking. <laughs> they had him uh, to fix the the door locks oh. on the on the bathroom. Yeah. It was investigating, making yeah, sure the yeah, plumbing what the, was up. What were the door, door lock situation at watch time? Was it okay? Huh? Was the door lock situation okay at watch time? It's pretty pretty good door locks on the uh, bathrooms there. Uh, yeah, the situation was. It's pretty good. Yeah. It was okay. <laughs> Take a screenshot of that, Tim. <laughs> Send it to him. Oh wait, where was so the? Uh... Let's see, it. who else was that? Kevin. Oh, that was the RGM watchmaker. Okay. Kevin, I was wearing a red polo that night. All right, apparently, let's try to find... apparently Kevin, Kevin was working yeah. as a valet that night. <laughs> let's see, it. what is that? DoorDash, Brian? Oh Door yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Uber Eats. What is this? This is Guillaume Shade Pendant. How do they 
how do they work with like the big crowd there? That must be tough, right? When they're doing like this crazy. Oh yeah, I think. Well, they're not trying to make it perfectly. I think if uh, because it's so easy to screw up. If they screw up on the final product, they just start over. But there is value in even if you screw up, kind of finishing it. Most people Mm -hmm. won't notice it it's so you have to look under the loop to see mm-hmm. how perfect how uh, the craftsmanship yeah. have to be oh damn oh, very good the new, the new uh avatar there the new avatar like, look at that ten dollar like, super chat is over guys he should change his from the 5980 now he's gonna put the he's gonna change it from america 5980 to uh america Day date reference, right? Mm-hmm. See my see my updated avatar. That's it. Oh, the war. Uh, that's the the space Pepsi meteorite Pepsi. Yes. Oh, yeah. I did mine sideways because I'm cool. That is cool. Yeah. Yeah. That's really freaking. It's Meteor Pepsi is great. It's great. He's got a really good dial on it. Mm-hmm. Retail, just because he felt like they have they haven't been giving him anything for a while. He just went in, just said, "Hey guys, what the hell's going on?" And that scared them into giving them giving him the Pepsi, the Pepsi with the meteorite. I, I just well, it helps. It helps when they actually have them, and you do that. If they don't have them and you go in and uh, strong are them, then you're not going to get a Pepsi. But it, wait, 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 wait. It, it came like right? five weeks after I went in and said, you know what? You guys stop. Everybody stop screwing me around. This is what I want. It wasn't that far, was it? Was it um, I don't know. Like three weeks. It was like two or two weeks after you weeks unboxed ahead. your douchebaggery yeah. moment. Yeah. Oh, I mean yours. Mm hmm. And then I went in to see them, and then it was like another four weeks. Five Did weeks. Marcelo get the first batch of meteorite? He must have, right? Because he got oh, it a while ago. Yeah, right? he's had it for a while. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Let's see. All right, guys, I gotta run. I gotta. I got a few things to do. And Brian, see you later tonight. Hell yeah! Take care. I'm going to drop the link. Oh, actually, the link is pinned. If anybody else wants to join us, hop on the stream. I think that's Buckley in the background right there, no? Out of focus. That looks like Buckley to me. I don't see Buckley. Oh, well, Buckley. That, in the back. That's Buckley. I mean, I don't know. It looks like to me. Did he have it's a pink focus, shirt on? But Did he have a pink what? shirt on that night? I don't remember. He did have... Uh, I, th- I do think he dressed up for, for this event. Mm. That's kind of looked like him a little bit. I don't know. Let's I'll take a fade. screenshot. Let's we'll... get the fade. Yeah, I'll ask him. Not sure what that one. Blank Pond. The shooter. Oh, that was a nice that guy. guy. Might have been that guy. <laughs> no, no, no. Who is this? All he right, wore blue suit. Got here. Yeah, I don't know these guys. There's a lot of strangers at these places. A lot of strangers. Yeah. I have to be uh, cross arm. Is that how you have to stand when you're talking to show the watch? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's that's a, it's a, it's a really, it's not a good way to get a lefty. It makes you look like you're defensive. It makes people not want to talk to you, but it's also the way that you show the watch off, right? Yeah. Yeah. Check the watch. You're standing like this, right? See, this guy's a lefty here with the glasses, too. Oh, because he's got. See on the right. Yeah. That's kind of better. I, I think I'm going to wear my watch on the right just to. to just so stand. that you can cross your, your arms the opposite no, way. That way. Yeah, just for fun. No, you don't want to cross your arms. It's not a good b- body language. I know no. it, it looks. No. Yeah. Can you do the hair scratch? The hair the scratch. Or the chin. You can hold the chin, too. Just, just hold a drink. Hold that's it. Hold no, no, just chin. hold a drink. That's hold all you have drink. to do. When you With hold the a drink, it, look, look, look. With the left. Don't, don't.
don't drink it. Yeah, but what? you need to you need to put the watch on the right. Put the watch on the right what? and hold it with the right. Nobody what? holds the glass with the left. Do you drink, drink with your left hand, Tim? It doesn't matter. I'll drink with whatever hand I'm holding the watch. It's about the watch, right? It looks natural. It's awkward. It's awkward. If you're if you're not what used mean? to drinking, you can't left. drink from the left hand. With, no, with your left you get hand. all all shaky. You know what? <laughs> After a few drinks, you get a really concentrated. Drinks. Left. No, the key is to not drink your drink. Just hold it. Pretend you're drinking, but never actually okay. drink. Yeah, double D has it. Drink with I drink with both hands. That's what he says. There you go. <laughs> you can, double. Uh, fist. Yeah, you can double fist and double watch. There you go. Two watches, two drinks. Do people double fist watches, or is that too too over the top? Double fisting, or is that kind of Look, okay? I think it's okay. You're going to a watch event. It's okay to to bring two watches. Uh, Can you wear it look douchey? The yes. There's people with Apple watches at the event. Hmm? People wear an Apple watch at the event. Or you know, that... I think most people who who show up at the event they wear an Apple watch on their right oh, yeah. wrist. Okay. Yeah, that's the etiquette. Okay. Negroni, look at this, Negroni. Timmy. Hey. Negroni. <coughs> How you doing, Negroni? Boston. What's Timmy. Up? Yo, how's those cigars? He's in. Uh, that's good. Yeah. Did you ask You're him? In? Tim, we need we need a favor from you. What's the favor? It's something that you're not used to, but uh, it's uh, involving sports. Oh shit! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what kind you're of gonna sport? have to watch some football this year. Oh. We need a 12. We need a 12 for the league because America's playing. I want America mm. in the league. He's our 11. We need a 12. Why doesn't Tim be a co manager with someone? A co manager? Yeah. He could yeah. do that. Yeah, I could do that. You could send, I could send two invites for one team. Yeah. I think he needs a co manager. You can't, we can't just leave him. Uh <laughs> He's gonna just leave. Yeah, I'm, I'm afraid. I'm afraid he's not gonna pay attention to this team. No, he's not. He's definitely not. I okay. don't. Who, who I else, can't. Who I, else is literally? I have, I have really bad ADHD. Sports. Is Georgian? Is Georgian? He's a he's a Niners fan. What? Um, what about George? PG? George V. Did we get PG? Or PG? PG is a Browns fan, right? I know. Yeah. We. I think we asked him. I don't think he wanted to play. I'm just not good at it, man. I'm gonna screw it up. I'm nobody, gonna get blamed. Uh, nobody I, I'm is good a, at it. It's all you need, luck a, you need a co-manager. You need a co-manager. Yeah. You need a, yeah. All right. Find someone to play because we're drafting on Thursday. Ooh. Guys, who wants to play? Who wants to play fantasy football league with the guys? Let me who know. Wants, who wants to co-manage with Tim? Yeah. Man, it would be so cool if Lolix was still around. Oh, oh, Lolix would Lolex. play, man. Yeah. Yeah, Lolex, he, Lolex he would play. And co managers. That would, that That's would a good go, team, dude. <laughs> you go wrong. It would have been so good, but we're gonna we're gonna have all all our names in the yeah. fantasy league are gonna be named after our favorite troll <laughs> in the street. <laughs> I love the trolls. The trolls is why I'm here. I'm here for the trolls. Tim should uh, Edward 40 hands up there. What does that mean? Edward for all oh, <laughs> wear 40 watches. No. What? You know what's a what would be a cool uh, uh 40 watches. Like a uh, Halloween costume for a watch enthusiast. You, you, you know there is that uh, dress like TPG. Of, no, no, you know that god <laughs> whatever with many hands like Ed Edward scissors. Yeah. No, not the scissor hand. He doesn't have many uh, hands. <laughs> no, I'm talking about like you know, like there's a Buddhist god that has like a lot of a lot of hands. A lot you of put arms. wrist watches on those. Boom. Mm. The god of wrist watches. You should make it you should make a shirt with that swag in your shop. I've I've 
whole milk. I've I think a TPG get, costume would be good, Tim. That'd I've tried to get Tim to do forty Edward forty hands before. He wouldn't. What is that? Do like it. A, you know, oh, what it you is. have to do two forty ounces. Yeah. Duct tape to your. Oh, I don't want to do this stuff anymore. I don't want to do alcohol. I wanna. I wanna do some stuff. Oh, look, I, I still like to drink. I got my Ooh, this is right here. This is big. This is big news. He blocked you. Is that what it means? Text to Lolix turn green now. He blocked you. Yeah. Oh, is that what happens when you're blocked? Wow. Yeah. yeah. Oh well. It is what it is. So what's going on, boys? Hey, we're we're getting ready for Watch Time New York. We're getting ready for Vegas, Dubai Watch Week. I'm going to be buying tickets soon. Roommate just has to make sure that she can take time off. If she can't, then, oh, well, I'm going to have to go by myself. But if she can take time off. So, yeah, a lot of uh, a lot of excitement is getting ready. Are you, you coming to New York? Mm. You ready? I just couldn't get tickets. Like sold out. Oh. I'm on the wait list. Yeah. Buckley couldn't get it either. Tim, I, <laughs> I just sent you something spicy. Oh. For the What's that? A voicemail? Wait, no, no text. That's, sorry. It's a text message. Oh, <laughs> dude. Who's what that? is this? Oh, I know. Oh, this This is at the... Geneva Watch Days, apparently. Geneva Watch Days, yeah. That's a yeah. that's a that's a trio, huh? Oh yeah, that's interesting. <laughs> Very. Yeah, should I should I show it? Can. Okay. We need we need dice. We need somebody to, to pick this apart. We need like go see. Mm -hmm. What does this mean? How come how come you asked Boston if you could show it, and then Diego's message yesterday, you just put it up? <laughs> yeah. Because. <laughs> no, because there was no text attached to this thing. Yeah, this is this is cool. You, you, you went behind my butt, Tim, and you you, <laughs> you put my you aired my dirty laundry on the stream. Hey, Diego. Hey, Diego. Keep your keep my name out your mouth when you're talking about. <laughs> look at, look at this when you're talking about private gentlemen. Oh my gosh! Check it out, guys. Uh, Paul. Aww. Paul's a good Georgia Mondani. Yeah. And producer Michael of all oh, people. Producer Michael. Yeah, producer awesome. Michael. Uh, this is shocking. Good producer photo Michael right there. At the yeah, what is this? I was like, what is going watch on this? Not a great photo. Paul has no freaking idea how to take pictures. Honestly, <laughs> he's one of those guys that like, you know, he like taps the phone really hard when he when he presses it. You know, when he takes a picture. <laughs> Yeah, what a screw I know up. what you're talking about. That's so <laughs> My mom does that too. <laughs> like that's why they're always blurry. <laughs> Those are taking it with the wrong hand, so he can't get like a a nice wrap around. He's got the inside hand going he's, off. He's taking yeah. it with his iPad. That's an iPad shot. <laughs> <laughs> does it annoy you guys when Georgia Mondani takes like she posts a photo of like I don't know some like superstar with a watch, and then it's her with the same watch the next slide. Yeah, it's yeah, like a yeah, deep like, sea. It's like, okay, yeah, you're cool. That's well, that's how you advertise watches. It's <sighs> like, hey, do you want to be Diego? This is this is marketing. It's called marketing. Do you want to yeah. be just like Jennifer Aniston? Do you want to be just like Brad Pitt? Do you want to be just like I your don't? Favorite I don't give celebrity? a shit who spruks a watch. I have to like the watch, right? Yeah. In all honesty, seeing a celebrity wearing a watch makes me want it less. Well, I mean, you see, that's the Shit. different different people have like different personalities and why they like certain things. But this is why R Richard Meal, the celebrity feeling like you're the celebrity, is how Richard Meal became so successful. Advertising through partnership with top athletes. It's it's a it's a way to make people feel like they're an athlete, but they're really not. They're just actually getting an overpriced Richard Meal. Yeah, it doesn't do anything for me. Yeah, but every every brand has celebrity endorsers, pretty much. Yeah, but not yeah. every brand. I just ignore that shit. 
No, 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 but I think with Richard Mio, it's a lot more personal because, like, Nadal literally wear like right, doesn't he wear the watch mm -hmm. on the field playing the game like yeah on the fields yeah yeah rm is the only brand <laughs> where the athletes actually wearing the watch while doing their sport that they're kind of advertising so it's a yeah lot like um, well connection. serena williams wears ap and Same. while she's playing yeah it's a it lot more break. personal. It doesn't break either. How do you know it's not broken? We, we, we don't know that. They, she would never. She, she, she never locks her it. movement. That's why it doesn't break. They, they, no, it doesn't have a it's movement. The it's, it's the offshore. It's made, it's made for it. No. Um, yeah, but like Ublo does all the soccer stars. And Omega has George Clooney and all that stuff. And mm. JLC has, uh, you know, Benedict Cumberbatch. <laughs> yeah, but stuff. like Jeez. JLC like doesn't call JLC. their watch. You know what I mean? The like Benedict just... can counterbat <laughs> the, the, the badge edition. They don't. They don't design a watch specifically for him. <laughs> they, Completely they butchered his name. Uh, <laughs> it's hard to pronounce <laughs> name for his movie. <laughs> they did it specifically for the movie. They included in the movie, but it was just a perpetual calendar, wasn't it? It, it just in the in the Marvel movie. Yeah, they they released it for that. Yeah, they're just like, oh, he's a watch collector. He's got all these different watches. No, it's for his character, right? They released a special version just for his character. Special that's limited. He wore edition. he wore it he in wore the movie, it. right? That was the yeah. That's why he wore it for that character. To, the thing know. is, though. The part it's different. It is really the 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 way other brands market their watches is different to Richard Mille. There's something personal to yes. when Richard Mille makes a watch for right. their for the celebrity that they might like. For example, if with Jackie Chan, right? They make it like with this samurai. Like it, yeah. it's it's inspired. I think they like they talk. With yeah, uh, actually with the guys, yeah, yeah, like they asked him, like, what would you it's want? Would like you the, like to see? It's more like the piece unique stuff that Patek or AP will do with some of those celebrities, right? Jackie Chan, yeah, has pillaged the United States of America. <laughs> what <laughs> that dude has made so much money off our backs, and he refuses to learn the language. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's not, I'm not a fan. Wait, what? Man, this is he doesn't know English. Benedict? He doesn't know English. What do you mean? Doesn't he speak English? <laughs> he like Jackie Chan. Are you talking Bruce no. Lee or Jackie Chan? Jackie talking Chan about Jackie does not know. He does not. What do you mean he doesn't English. speak English? What? He fucking word. He like memorizes the sounds in his movies. No, no. Wow. I swear. Wait, you, what? I swear, uh, yes, where did you see, see that? Dude, did that's, you see this? that's fake news. There's no way. That I'm seems way harder Jackie. to do. Jackie Chan. Jackie does Chan not. doesn't know English. That's more no, difficult, English. right? I think I kind of agree with Negroni. Like memorizing. <laughs> how <laughs> to I'm not gonna learn English. Down, memorizing <laughs> each, each phrase. It's way harder. That's. I. It feels like you read it on some fake news website. It sounds. It, I get it. English, it English is my, better. Jackie Chan or Marcelo? Did you hear? Oh, I'd say pretty Jackie close. Chan. Yeah, it's pretty close though. I mean. <laughs> Did you hear that news on like a Jackie Chan hate stream or something? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know. It doesn't sound real because I because he's communicated with all these stars. He wrote all the the like fighting scenes. There's the, he would how would he be able to communicate a fighting scene with uh, in Chinese? Like, it'd be impossible, right? Yeah, no, no, no. Come on, man. Jackie Chan is like the last actor Chinese I would hate. censorship. There's the interviews with him in English. He I'm just gonna ask him under R. He memorized every interview. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he memorized every interview. The sound patterns. <laughs> and then when somebody asked him a question, he had a little earbud with a translator in Chinese. All right, anyway, anyway. Maybe I'm wrong. Look at look! It says this guy's saying that he speaks all these different languages. Is this true? Yeah, he just he just googled that. I literally saw that on Google too. I don't know, man. 
literally. <laughs> Look, it does sound <laughs> like YouTube. This is why YouTube like is. is I, I agree with the timepiece gentleman on this one, actually. Uh, on the Jackie Chan thing? Made, no, no, not on Jackie Chan. <laughs> oh, shit. But he had a post yesterday that <laughs> on the internet, people can say anything. It doesn't mean that it's true. <laughs> Bro, this guy's dead. Why, why are we still talking about time yeah. these gentlemen? <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. He got, he hey, got what do you guys think about right? this? Doxa. Got arrested, right? Time these gentlemen. <laughs> Didn't they lock him Bro. up? It's not over, Did right? They? For Trumpy's gentleman, he's still he's still chugging along. He just has to pivot to fragrances. What do you yeah, what do you think the pivot is for him? I think he's cooked. I think this goose is done. He, I mean, if he, he was he smart, he would have pivoted to he would have pivoted to like cars, you know? Nah. He, could, he, tried. he, tried. he needs low end <laughs> stuff. He needs tattoos no, no. or something. Look. Yeah. I, I only have one advice with tattoos. the tattoos. <laughs> he is like I think he, there's doing. only one way out of this, and it's to actually understand, to try and and understand what he's done, because he still he does still doesn't understand it. He made the confessional yeah, the, video where he admitted to join, like the mob, like a real criminal organization, so that he can refine his skills. Yeah, well, really that's that's the so he has two choices, right? Either to actually like what Boston said. Work for you know with other like criminals, like a real organization, you know. Yeah, no, but he's not a real criminal. Like he doesn't, he doesn't know yeah. how to be. A real, he knows how to be an accident, like like pretend criminal. Dude, right. have you guys seen the mugshot he's too compilation? Soft for real thing? crime. It's too soft. Dude, you know when I when I lost when I lost trust in him is in one of his videos. I knew early on he was talking about getting a tattoo, yeah. and he was he was like, oh, "I'm gonna do one of those places where they." put me to sleep and then just because i don't have time for it they're just gonna do the whole tattoo <laughs> i was like what so <laughs> like, the, the, this is... like you're gonna go to like you're gonna have a medical procedure to have a tattoo like, That's like, he should have just said hey i'm gonna have this tattoo grafted on somebody else's arm and then we're just gonna do a quick skin exchange look at look at the middle photo <laughs> That's crazy like, don't skip leg day photo the middle phone. <laughs> <laughs> Tiffany <laughs> Blue. Look at all those Daytonas. This, hey, what's not to be trusted here? These are all consignment watches. Who's, who's watches are these? These two They're Daytonas are getting banged against each other. They're getting scratched up right here. These bracelets. <laughs> <laughs> Unworn. <laughs> Who wouldn't want to buy from that? I mean, come on. You know he's dropped one of these doing these pictures. Oh, all of this. They're all touching right now. They're all getting scratched. Oh, yeah. He doesn't care. You have to put oh, a little guys, bit of tape. What, what, do you, what do you guys think about people that put like a bracelet next to like a super rare watch like that? His, his hate that jeans shit. are way too Terrible. tight. Those jeans are way What do you think tight. about John Mayer doing that with his new uh, puzzle day day? He's stupid. For what, the bracelets? Stupid yeah, bracelet. Just like slaps a bracelet next to it, like, oh yeah, it's just a watch. It's nothing special. It's just another. No, but he, he he just wears um, he doesn't wear scratchy ones, does he? Yeah, I I've seen that picture with the puzzle. I think he was wearing like some kind of metal bracelet. Really? Do you have a, do we have a link? He wears that because of the size. I think. I think on the smaller watches he wears he wears like a bracelet next to him, so they look very. Yeah, but if we all agree, it's like stupid. We have to just unnecessary, you know. Yeah. Depends on the size of the watch, I think. Hmm. Yeah, it's I mean, this, I, I agree with Rohit. There's no, there's no shortcut with tattoos. It, it hurts for a reason. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and it, the pain is part of the. It's part of getting the tattoo, man. His tattoo's yeah. pretty bad too. It's it, all he up. just, he just wants to wake up with a tattoo. He, he, it's like he's skipping. You see, he, the, the, his entire life, he's, he's, he's yeah. taking shortcuts. Oh yeah, just want to not skip actually to going through the learning process. It's it's kind of like, look, what am I doing? I'm at a thousandth episode. I'm doing this super amateurish because I want to. I want to learn. I'm still like, believe it or not, with everybody thinks, well, we're a thousand episodes, and you're you're professional. No, no. Uh, to be good at something, you need to spend uh, like ten thousand hours doing it. Uh, maybe halfway there. So. 
Tim, honestly, though, you can't, is this there's not no shortcut. Is this not a red flag? Like well, the tattoo? I didn't you say no, that the clock this tattoo picture, was this a red picture. flag? Yeah, no this clock picture, tattoo. Like, imagine this being like Watchbox or European watch company. Would they ever like take a picture like that and think, "Hey, this is going to attract people to buy watches from me when I stick four on my arm"? No, but they would also put four watches on like some crate and barrel table, right? Yeah, but like, like you know what I'm saying? It just feels like so it's like cheapening just oh, yeah, sticking four timepieces like together on an arm just like cheapens the the thing. It's a, it's a hype. He's flexing like how... in a weird way though. It's like it's like for Wait, him not customers. He's making it look like it those are his watches. It's okay. These videos make me nervous, man. Them. Like he's, oh, he's yeah. outside on the concrete. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> slippery glove <laughs> they just do this like a hundred different videos like oh it's outside oh uh, you know he drops the one of these he's like, got to drop on one of them, right? it. like this. dude i'm telling you that, that that dude i got my seed oil from posted a story today he's like camping but there's like a fucking ferrari with like off-road tires <laughs> what? like he's really turning me away from doing business with him Wow! Oh, you times. talking about you talking about the guy that in Davis when you I looked at a watch, Lunar Oyster. Yeah, go to Lunar. Oh, Lunar. No, no, not not Lunar Oyster. It, it was another dude. No, it's Lunar Oyster. Yeah, watch this. Tim, when when was that middle picture from? He's Ukrainian. Like all the watches. I don't know. Let's go to his story. He's Ukrainian. What, does he have a flag in the thing? He he gets good watches, but oh, like, yeah, he's at, Ukrainian. Like, oh, I'm sorry. It's a fucking Lambo. Camping. Uh, oh, camping. This is like all he posts now. It's camping, man. Like, are these like his? This. Are these Photoshop kind of all? Uh, they're, yeah, not his. they're not his, I don't think, but like he's. All right, fellas. I'll like... see you guys later. I got to get going. Boston. Cheers. Oh, Boston. See you later. Take care. He's That's just fun. like 10 minutes. He's going to like all these like super expensive events and posting photos of him eating caviar. And... Mm. It's like, you know, the people that travel around the world. And they just like are always flooding your feed. Like my life's amazing. It's one of those. He's starting to do yeah. that a lot. On Instagram or on you on like on his stories? On his stories. Yeah. Uh, he well, gets good watches, you know, but Yeah. Kitty. I, I don't want to I don't want to see that for my watch dealer. Yeah, it's very What is he gonna do with all the money he makes then, Diego? It's the problem. I mean I don't go to Walmart and then like see like the they don't have pictures of like the mansions that the CEOs live in, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, by the way, <laughs> this is where all the profits go. Oh yeah, this is why you should shop at Amazon. And there's like a picture yeah. of Jeff Bezos on And his hot wife on yeah. <laughs> yeah. So funny. But that's kind of what a lot of these guys who are who are into watches. Ooh, that's a good price. That is pretty good price. It's pretty beat up though. Look at that. I mean, but it's honest oh, condition. Yeah. Yeah. Is there a yeah, way I mean, to it... clean these up, or is this like rust that you can't? It's not possible. Yeah, you could steam yeah. that. If only it was a Rolex, you could just run it under the sink. What about exactly. like with a little brush or something? No, but that's going to leave yeah. scratches. A little cute. Ah, uh, it's already scratched. A little Q-tip. That'll, that'll be fine. Mm. Oh, and these speedies man. are nice. Yeah, I really want bright blue speedy. If he ever gets rid of it. Yeah. It's yeah. depreciated bright blue. though significantly, so I, I won't pay him what he paid. You pay him oh, with this... exactly what he paid. Oh, so no. I didn't know that they had an off-road Huracan. Oh, it's... I mean, but the way this picture looks. <laughs> It seems like cool? it was uh, AI Photoshop. It does, right? The background looks AI. Ah, this like is his life, man. This no, is the Porsche isn't this there. Is where, right? This is where all the on, goes. You can't. You, this can't be the life of a guy who's flipping like used watches. Can't. <sighs> Apparently, it is. I mean, it could be if you if you like just want to spend He's like always every at single a dollar. You make. He's always at a Porsche event and hanging out with like. Seven dudes with FP Jorns, and I—I I mean, I get it. That looks fun, but 
for me, I don't want. Maybe that's where I, I don't. Where I, don't he, I don't care to see that. I mean, that's where he finds his clients, probably. Maybe could be because you know, it, like it, even me, like I should be going to as many events as I can, especially if I can live stream there. I because because my job depends on me live streaming and a lot of these places they don't allow live streaming so okay i kind of stopped going but mm -hmm. let's say if i was flipping watches i'll be going to to all these type of events uh to advertise my business because that's yeah. where you the know porsches are right on. yeah i don't know about right <laughs> but like i i wouldn't be photographing <laughs> kind of stuff like this this doesn't really it doesn't even say anything what does this mean okay it's a nice photo it doesn't uh, say anything. It's, it's not it's even just that a, nice. Tim, it's a way of going. Uh -huh. yeah. See what I'm doing? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But See what I did no yesterday? Text. Yeah. I know. The, what, what's the text going to be? Too ambiguous. Oh, this is amazing. I'm having so much fun. <laughs> like, mm. he's being this, is like, this is like when Tim humble, takes pictures of his, his Dunkin' Donuts. It's like, mm-hmm. Exactly. <laughs> Flexing my Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> humble brag. Tim, you got to be careful. Humble brag. <laughs> I, I genuinely love Dunkin' Donuts. By the way, uh, I was going to join earlier today. I went to McDonald's. And I ordered two uh, sausage burritos because Al Alan reminded me of how amazing those are. I was going to show them on the live stream, but they look so sad and pathetic. They taste amazing. <laughs> but you ate them both. <laughs> I ate them both. They're so good. But visually, they look I, I I was like, I know oh, I know what you mean. Sometimes you like, like take want to take a picture of like, some food. It's like, yeah. it's like this doesn't even fish. look good. Yeah. You're going, it's like bang. The <laughs> Wait, what? You just close, you just close your eyes and enjoy it. <laughs> no, no, that's not the same. <laughs> don't look, don't look at it. <laughs> I mean, compared to the stuff that that we were eating at uh, in Miami, dude, the Miami bar almost murdered me okay Dude, that we, good we, food? We could, we, that food yeah looks so good me mathis uh nathaniel and uh, uh mickey check this out <sighs> mickey got fish and chips i mean that's like three fishes who gives this much in uk they give you one all right a little bit of pea and and, and chips How, why do they give three fishes and we had appetizers. It was a big mistake. I had <laughs> this one my, my tacos. Dude, these tacos. are real, real portions right here. Dude, yeah, I couldn't man. even finish. I ate one taco. I was Dude, full. I when I was I in Greece, eat the salad at all. When I was in Greece, I'm ordering like uh, you know those chicken skewers. What are they call? Mm. I forget what they call, but like it would come with like one and like a little bit of rice. Yeah. What the fuck is this? Like, I'm gonna starve here. <laughs> <laughs> it's like 20 euros dude yeah we we went to a restaurant in venice and ordered two antipastas or whatever they call it two entrees and and the guy's like i think that's too much food they, 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 did, the same to me. <laughs> they did the same to me too and we were like oh, okay cool this is gonna be like you know legit portions and and it was like nothing we we're starving yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we we're like damn wow. They they would well, do the same thing. In Italy too. eat a lot less. Dude, this spaghetti. I think it's a yeah, it's European incredible. Thing. Holy shit! This is what Nathaniel had. Nathaniel had the. Oh, and that he, looks good. Nathaniel was the only one who finished everything, and he had oysters too. Oh yeah. He only had half a dozen though. That's kind of weak. You got to go like <laughs> two dozen. Half a dozen is weak. Uh, math is. Ooh, math was is that weak. lobster roll? Yeah. What is yeah, that? That oh. was good. It was qu quality over quantity. Mathis got the uh, chicken fingers and fries. Yeah, kids meal for Mathis. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so like, yeah, I, this is food like this. I wanted to show this on the live stream so bad, but and then we we had all the the mojitos, the the drinks. I was, mm. I barely got home. I passed out instantly. Those tacos look, look legit. Good presentation too. By oh, I saw way. the mug, dude. <laughs> What's what on the other think? side? Is it Trump? Huh? No, no, no. I, 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 actually, I was told like to be careful with that. Not, not to. Uh, <laughs> get not sued to by Trump. 
Yeah, I don't want to <laughs> get into trouble. Yeah, that might be good for your. Channel. I didn't realize. I thought it was, this was like public. Uh, it is. It technically, uh, this is public property. This picture is public property. You, you know, you never know. Trump is litig litigious. I don't have anything, so no. even he you know who me. sue you. You know who would sue you is is the uh, the Fulton County Jail. They would sue you. Oh yeah. Oh. Oh yeah. Okay. But Hillary this is actually sucks. even better. I, I, it's pretty I good. actually you got the angle right. Why would I put a picture of Trump? I should be putting picture of myself like Trump. That's it's brilliant. It's just funny thing. I, I nobody should should buy this unless they like you the did gag. Good job. But I, I, I saw think it's this funny. morning and I was like, damn, you fucking nailed it. You should have put a suit on though. <laughs> like look the same the same energy. <laughs> like I'm not happy to be here, but you've made a huge mistake bringing me here. I love it. What is happening? What's happening? Well, oh, I just accidentally turned on Photoshop. It almost glitched me out. Sorry. Hey, the other it's mug cute. sold out, didn't it? It did. Yeah, it's gone. The 1,000 episodes. Yeah. I still have a few uh, like numbered editions. Oh, Jesus Christ. This is so Send me number one. Uh, number one is actually sold. But uh, I have number three, four, five. Which one do you want? How do you have four? Didn't no, sorry, want I don't that have four. Four is America. Sorry. <laughs> I don't want it. It's too expensive. I Daniel Katz said he went it. broke buying it. It's expensive. Hey, is that all shtick, by the way, with Daniel Katz and his sister-in-law? <laughs> that was real, dude. No, it's they're not real. really. They're not really screwing him, are they? It's real, dude. <laughs> why? Why? Why is he saying sister-in-law, not brother? Is is his brother no longer? I think, oh, his brother passed away, right? No, no, it was his father who passed away. No, but I think he lost his brother recently as well. Because that's who, that's who did a lot of the art that he has in his home. But didn't he pass away before? Before his father, yes. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, that's dirty. Oh, yeah, no, Daniel's that. taking care of his dad for a long time. Yeah. Daniel is Daniel's a good guy. Sweetheart. He is. He's coming to uh Vegas for sure, Vegas. right? Yes. He's staying in my room. He's the only one left. I'll stay in your room. Uh <laughs> you can not, actually is not coming. Um okay, so if you want to stay in my room, that's you're gonna have to talk to Rich. Because Rich buddy? No, 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 rich, rich, um, not the rich buddy. No, what rich buddy? I think rich buddy doesn't like me because I, I got into a big fight with rich buddy uh, because mm -hmm. they're used to they used to downvote the stream. They used to have the shtick telling everybody to downvote the live stream. Actually, it really, it's not. It's a bad. It's a bad joke. And I, I told mm -hmm. everybody, like, guys, it's actually. Let's not. Let's let's change this joke. It's hilarious. I know. But it hurts the show, and uh, so I we we started promoting upvotes, and then Rich Buddy hopped on and was like downvote, and somebody told him like, uh, no no we're not, we're not doing downvotes anymore, and he just went ballistic. He's like you fucking bitches. <laughs> I said downvote. He was missing. Oh yeah yeah. He was missing for like a month. He came back and all the rules changed. <laughs> Is this the dude that had like? 700 napkins in his car no that's the that was tim the uh loudmouth tim oh loudmouth tim. okay yeah. yeah um gorilla time hey uh george if you want the limited one i have just i have number six five three and two left if you want me to put to put you down for one of those let me know. There's a little bit more. Uh, yeah, there's only four mugs left, actually, right now. Uh, yeah, the the other ones are also kind of limited. But anyways, it's different. It's different. Uh, uh, Tim G. Trump, the next president. 
it's uh it's gonna be a really tough battle uh i think republicans according to my analysis at least the way the way i see it, this thing going down um it's either trump for republicans is either trump or if something really terrible happens to trump and then maybe desantis can take over uh but other than that they're they're screwed they're really screwed they're, they're gonna have to just fight for it seems for just the house and congress yeah democrats are not doing much better uh e either because they got biden biden could also at any moment something could terrible happen and they don't have a replacement they don't have anyone so that's why if something happens to Cam to biden uh, Kamala. Kamala. Yeah. well Kamala, i don't think she'll be able to win uh like collect oh. elections Kamala's biggest chances of of winning presidency is if Biden runs, and then he steps down and she's a vice president takes over. Uh, and she she has she got like four uh, percent in the in elections last time, so she's got no zero chance except for this type of scenario. So Biden could win, uh, and he most likely going to win. It by the way it looks. That's just that's just how I see it. Um, I'm just trying to be a, a unbiased as possible, unless unless yeah, uh, I mean, there's another water burst pipe hmm? in, where they're counting the ballots here in Atlanta. There's a burst pipe that never happened that delayed the counting by like six hours. Is this in? Uh, you mean for? for for which election? For current, some kind of election, or, or back in the for the previous and the future? I mean, yeah. If if stuff like that happens, I mean, yeah, Biden's going to win again. I mean, it's just I, I don't think one burst pipe is enough to overturn the election. No, it's just it has to be a lot more like that. You know what I mean? It's I like I think if he had won Georgia, he would have won. I don't think so. It so, needs yeah. more. He 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 yeah. right, he lost Arizona. He lost all the purple states. And it's really tough now. Now that he uh, they overturned, uh, now that Republicans overturned uh, Roe v. v. Wade, they really they can't even talk about it because it's such a it's such a powerful issue on the left. You can get a lot of voters turn to turn out. It's a really like like what what do they do? They they can't talk yeah, about it. They can't. That, that needs to be a state decision i don't think the federal government but but democrats issue. are going yeah. to make it they're going to ask republicans like what are you going to do and uh they're they just don't have an answer the best answer is not to not to engage with it but they're going to be at they're going to be challenged on it and unfortunately it's a it's a, just a really polarizing issue and uh democrats are really passionate about uh you know the the abortion it just I just like uh Republicans are also really passionate but they want you know they want to push push it further and that's just it's not popular it's not popular it, it excites it's a negative issue for Republicans right now so it's it's gonna be a really tough tough election but Democrats and for luckily yeah. for Republicans that Democrats don't have they literally besides Biden they don't have anyone who who's capable of garnering any type of numbers or challenging anyone on the Republican side. So it's the best chance is game, right? Hmm? Well, here's a problem with it. It's like if you obviously it's the incumbent, that's who your hmm. candidate is. But okay, for I'm... them to have anybody else in, in, in no, the but... back room ready to go, no, no, that's no, no, no. a statement is... that we don't trust who we've got. Hold on, uh, Diego, because the the incumbent is not it's that's not the rule. You don't have to run an incumbent. Uh, I know. But I'm saying, old, imagine the he, message it got... would send. I'm saying, imagine the message it would send from the Democratic Party if they had somebody else ready to go. That's why they don't have anybody. No, I mean this. The message well, is worse. Of course, than Biden, Biden can say he's not running for re-election, and they can start working on preparing uh, an, an That's what he should have done uh he should have but, but then i think th they that's just admitting that's anyone. admitting that the guy that's admitting the guy's incapable to run to be president no no that's that's admitting right? that like they he, don't have he, anyone better than than biden that's their problem that's why they're running biden because they they literally have no one uh bernie's not gonna run uh yeah. kamala got four percent who are they gonna run besides biden 
literally like what Dude, there's plenty of people you know, there's plenty of Democrats. people that can govern there's plenty of people that can be president better than Biden. But what I'm saying is they could if they, they don't brought have anybody the forward, they won't be able to win the elections. Diego. See, that's the that's the problem. They don't have anyone on the national scale. Like what is a who is the most prominent Democrat? I have no idea. Exactly. You see, this is the problem. Politics, that's I'm using I'm using mm -hmm. com yeah, but I'm just using common sense. Even if they had somebody, they wouldn't put them forward. You think so if they, the, the president made more money that Biden's that, incompetent. That we'd get better people that wanted to be president? There's plenty of people who want to be president. They just they they don't have platform. Nobody has been platformed enough to to have uh, garnered big enough uh, like um, uh, inter Inter, like interstate national support, right? It's a shitty so job. I would vote for. It's a shitty uh, job. I would vote oh, yeah. for. <laughs> what's the guy that bought t Twitter? What's his name? Elon Musk. I'd vote for him. Yeah. As an independent. <laughs> as a no, as he's not. He's not a he Democrat. Wants to be. Democrat, Republican. But he's, he's not a Democrat. Vote. Who cares? Yeah. Independent. It's not the way politics work. He's going to lose. He actually listen. Elon Musk is incapable of being president. To be honest, because he he has no. The reason he bought Twitter is because he wants to say what he what he feels, and he doesn't want to be blocked. But the problem with politics is that it's not about saying what you want to do. It's set. It's it's all about pushing your constituents uh, uh, like uh, their goals, like what your constituency wants. So he does like he doesn't care about what people want. He just want to do what, what he wants to do. He, he's not he wouldn't be able to represent you because his his goals for the country are completely different from any of those voters. See, this is something that Trump knew. Uh, Trump was a very skilled politician because he could play up to uh, his uh, his constituency and uh, and and get them excited about voting for the things that they wanted. These other guys, they they just they incapable of of like talking about that stuff. They just they just have too much ego. Like Trump has a lot of ego, but he's he's actually a lot smarter than uh, than people give him. He works on uh, a different level. Than a lot of other politicians. Uh, Andrew Volkovich, twenty dollars oh. super chat. Happy anniversary, Tim. Upvote everyone. It's free and only takes a month. We're gonna run, Tim. Yeah, I'll be back later. Thank you. Uh, yeah, sure, sure. Negroni. See you later, man. Congratulate, dude. Keep it running. Day -day. Wear those day dates. Wear the day date, okay? All right. Congrats on the on the one thousand. Thank you. We're gonna keep keep on churning. Mm -hmm. But yeah, hey, listen, I love talking politics, but let's not let's not do it here anymore. But I, I do want to in the future, I do want to talk a little bit of politics, but I, I like I like analyzing. I don't like taking sides or talking to one side or the other. I like analyzing strategy for how both parties, what they're doing and what can they do to advance their agendas and how, you know, what they say, how yeah. they're able to influence people. It fascinates me fascinating because both party uh, both parties operate completely differently their constituency cares like about completely different things it's fascinating uh whoa yeah, shout out wild. to andrew volgovich for five memberships thank you so much andrew sorry diego what were you gonna say i was just saying it. it's definitely wild yeah oh I love it. It's it's like a it's like a really complex uh, game of chess. Mm -hmm. uh, Tim, speaking a while. Tim. How are how are you guys? Games. Diego, how are you? And who else? Good is man, on? How are you? Oh, okay. we just got me That's and it. Diego. That's it. So th this is what I think is going to happen for the president election. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> R RFK is going to stay in there, take some of the Karens away from Biden, and Trump is going to sneak right in. No, but RK doesn't appeal to to Biden's constituency. He he actually is taking away from Trump's constituency. Okay, I'm not going to argue with you there, but I, we'll we'll move on. So, Timmy, I'm yeah. in New York. I don't know if I'll be able to see you or not, but tomorrow tomorrow I'll try to get together with you. So I'll give you a call. 
Okay. Oh yeah, you're going to be in the city tomorrow? I'm in the city now. I'm actually in Tribeca for the next like couple of days. Holy shit. So, I'll I'll, uh, I'll I'll text you. I mean, you've got a show to do and congratulations yeah. on your 1000. And you. uh, see, that's a big deal. That's a really big deal. So, you I should think, you yeah. should get a, you should get yourself a couple of drinks and and uh, and uh, you know, celebrate with roommate or something. I got a yeah, bottle of wine over here that I'm going to open uh, a little bit later in the show to to celebrate this partnership with uh, with my new uh, new partner. Yeah, well, that's awesome. Congratulations on everything. So it's Thank all you. great. I mean, surviving that long is 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 very difficult. So you, and you've Thank done. You, well. Tim. I appreciate that. <laughs> Diego too. Diego's Diego survived too. It's Diego's like the you know if you're like the Johnny Carson, Timmy. Diego's almost like the uh, what's that guy McMahon when he was around? Um, oh, she's like the McMahon. Diego's like uh, Vince McMahon. Yeah, Vince McMahon. Yeah, the other McMahon. But anyway, you, you kind of got the idea. Honestly, Tim G. Yeah. After after Diego had the fight with the Sheen. And yep. uh, how they were able to come back uh, together. This, this, that was, I think, for for Diego, like the biggest, like experience in in these live streams. How to survive I, on the I, live. I, I, I got to tell you something. Nothing. I love worth, not, Nothing is worth fighting over. I mean, I didn't like what Oshin said either, but I get, I get him, and he's really smart. He's really good guy, and mm -hmm. he actually has a really good heart. So you just have to get by all that stuff, you know? You just have to get by it. So it's all good. It's everything's good. I'm I'm hoping some of these other cast of characters see the other other lining too and they'll 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 be visiting the show soon. So we'll see. We'll mm. see what happens, yeah. you know? Anyway, I think that's it's safe all. to say, Tim, that people people enjoy you on the show as well. Oh no, I'm uh -huh. I, if I showed my I if I well I if I showed my ugly face they'd probably shut it off. So let's get that. <laughs> no. But in any in any in any event, um, have a good show. I'll I'll try touching base with you later on. Uh, Thank tomorrow. you. All right, see ya, F guys. Feel free to hop on the stream to say hello. The link is pinned in the chat. Come on to say hello. Tell us about your favorite wristwatch, your favorite episode, or anything that you want to share. Mm. But yeah, I think the way the way Diego you handled because like I had fights with people uh, on the show, and it uh, every time you have like a disagreement, it's a learning experience, and and you learn how yep. to kind of work with other people on a on a different level. Understand? Because like being on the show is different than being in real life, and that adjustment takes a little bit to get used to. Yeah. But once you've been through a few hiccups, it's like you start to get it. Uh, Billy Piccolo, $2 Super Chat. So Rolex is going to open up 50 more stores. Says wow. who? Is that, is when, that news? When did, when did he get this news? I don't know. That's, uh, because in the past, we're all. I've heard. Yeah. Uh, Billy Piccolo, let us know where you read this because for the past, like, what, two years, we've only been hearing about Rolex pulling their licenses, right? Everybody was right. making big deal how, oh, they closed it down here. They closed down over there. They, this this one was closed down. That one was closed down. People were freaking out. Yeah, I asked, I asked my ID. They just, you know, obviously built their new showroom. And I was like, you know, there's a lot of people that think because Rolex bought Booker that they're going to, like, pull your license. And they just laughed. I was like, mm. I mean, you guys must have signed like a contract. And they're like, we're going to be just fine. I'm like, yeah. There's a lot of uh, UFO hunters out there. Yo, UFOs. Do you think? Do you think we're alone out there, or or do you think there's other? I, I look. I think if there were aliens, they, if this because the gal if the galaxy was around for eleven, like what thirteen billion years there were chances there were civilizations they all fucking killed each other and then there were new civilizations and those civilizations the civilizations killed each other and now we're like the the, the less remnants who freaking knows it's just you know what's crazy they they have found artifacts deep within mountains thousands of feet below the earth that 
Like they found a wheel like mm. a thousand feet below the earth, just embedded in the rock. Like a legit wow. wheel, not like a Michelin wheel, but like a, I think it was either iron or wood. And it's just like shit like that kind of makes you think like. Like a gear you know, or what kind of a, what kind of a wheel? No, Google, uh, do a Google for like wheel found underground. And you'll see it. Um, we know that it was actually found underground, or it is. Yeah. yeah. There was also some mountain that they were blasting for like minerals, and they found this like uh, this like silver urn that was like mm -hmm. super like well, what's the word? Uh, decorated, if you will, I guess. So, oh, damn. I think. I think if you, unless you have like time warp or like that kind of shit, like, and you're just talking the speed of light. Um, yeah, look at that shit. Hmm. Wow. I, interesting. The wheel says author provided with only this written testimony it's that one of the other witnesses, the photograph remains the only proof of anomalous imprint. Despite any difficulties, very fine. It's a, the problem is that this is a really sketchy website. Look at all that freaking ads. Looks like something uh, that my grandmother would uh, would be getting her information from. <laughs> I, I I like to get these things yeah. triple verified, but it is interesting. Look at this yeah. thing. Freaky. It could Dr. be. Bob's nightmare says it's, it's a it's a wagon wheel found in a five million year old coal seam. It looks like a xenomorph to me, like a remains of a xenomorph. <laughs> like that's its tail going around the circle. I think the problem with the universe, let me see if I can just draw it. This might be better. Turn my camera here. Kind of looks like that. <laughs> uh, oh, here we go. Right, Billy Piccolo. See. Five dollars super chat from Billy Piccolo. Uh, Rolex bought 100 stores and they have watches and 50 most definitely. They're gonna have watches in every store. Uh, oh, I think he's saying that they bought the Booker, right? But only 50 of the 100 Booker stores had Rolex license, and he's saying that uh, they're going to add. 50 more because like obviously Rolex uh, Rolex will want every single booker to to carry uh Rolexes so I guess that that's the that's the argument he's making it's a good good point it's a very good point and they're probably going to increase production at all of those locations so you want to see the problem with aliens yes each one of these is a each, each of the dots is like a alien civilization, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, here we go. And the dotted line I like represents... Your pants. Um, thank you. The dotted line represents light years since we've had civilization. Right. You see the problem? So if you can travel at the speed of light, we might never cross... Yeah, and the galaxy is separating time faster than... Exactly. So by the time our light year... Um, envelope or whatever you want to call it is like this, we might be long dead. They might be right. long dead. So that's the issue. Unless there's like wormholes or whatever the hell people talk about. It, it, I think um, it, I think the argument is it's it's about like a time, like space time continuum, right? Like you can't travel faster time than what? Is but too, can, yeah, time can, is too long and, and the universe is too big. But if you can bend uh, space you can like if you take that paper, take the paper, and, and fold it in the middle between those two galaxies. Uh, yeah, like that, and you you'll exactly. be able to punch a hole straight between those two. Yeah. Now here's a crazy theory. And that there's Mary. Some guy that thinks. Theory. Some guy thinks that. Uh, Carolyn, this is oh, I, I keep Diego, I keep yours at home. Ah. Uh, uh, an RGC sanctioned pen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've never felt so betrayed. Oh. There is a theory, though, that like 
in the 40s and 50s when we were doing all these nuclear tests, right? Mm. These big mushroom clouds that there was a civilization that was like, hey, we're warned like all these like UFO sightings in the 50s, like warning us that these guys are coming. Like mm -hmm. they, they detected your nukes and they're coming to destroy you. That's like one theory. It's mm -hmm. fucking weird, but do you think there's aliens? I, it's gotta be. It's gotta be. Well, like, I'm not, I don't mean like aliens as space traveling, kind of the way, the way they're portrayed true, right? in Star Wars. But I think there's life on, there's gotta be life on other planets. Oh, yeah. Have you heard the doppelganger theory? Hmm? A doppelganger? Oh, have you heard about the doppelganger theory? I have heard this, yes. What's that? Let me draw this one for you. Too. Explain it. Explain it to our audience what that is. All right, let me get let me get my paper. Pretend like I never heard about it, so so that even right. the slowest troll can understand. All right, here we go. All right, so we have some assumptions, right? Mm -hmm. First assumption is that the universe is infinite right yes it's ever expanding it, it, there, might, there also might be multiple universes. so this is a one universe theory so the universe yeah. is the infinite. space is infinite i think you're, you're trying to say the space in which the universe universe exists is infinite and expanding and expanding so forever infinite and expanding oops mm -hmm. the next one is that the building blocks of the universe are finite do you know what that means? Yeah, there's a limited amount of atoms out there because, it, if, like, the the Car argument is that when the Big Bang happened, right, at one point, Helium. all the matter that ever existed in the universe was concentrated in in one uh, pin sized, uh, I guess. Well, more so that the building blocks are finite. You've got carbon, helium, hydrogen. Mm -hmm. So. The third theory, or the third thing that you have to believe, is that we are all made of an arrangement of atoms. Nothing more, nothing less. Right. Okay. But, but atoms, atoms are also just a made bunch of atoms. atoms of these finite building blocks. Yes. So if you believe all those, if mm -hmm. I were to ask you a question, flip a coin, flip a quarter, heads or tails, and I want you to land on heads mm -hmm. a thousand times in a row. Yes. It's not impossible. It's going to take a really long time, right? Yes. That's that's where the infinite comes in. Your yeah. your choices are heads or tails. That's where finite comes in. Carbon, helium, mm -hmm. hydrogen. It's an arrangement. The the you flipping that coin is an arrangement of possibilities. Mm -hmm. So the theory is, if you go far enough, eventually you will find that arrangement of a thousand heads in a row, or the hydrogen, the carbon all those arrangements of atoms exactly like we have on earth does that make sense in, in the right so yes yeah, so you can find another like uh galaxy what, out there or heads, you can find yourself yeah. if if atoms are arranged randomly uh well they're not necessarily randomly arranged but yeah we're just ones and zeros x's and o's heads if and there's tails, that's if there's intimate are. galaxies you're saying or infinite un there could be multiple universes there's infinite universes there's chances are that something like this is happening in an alternate universe yeah if you Ident go far enough if you yeah. go far enough or, you, or if you flip a quarter long enough yes you will find your solution you'll, you'll find the arrangement and so that's why they say there's doppelgangers, but there's an infinite amount of doppelgangers, and there's an even more infinite amount of people like you that are slightly different. So like this atom is a little bit different, and you have blue eyes instead of brown. Right. Hmm. Hmm. I actually believe in a totally different, uh, not believe in, but I find fascinating a totally different theory, which is time travel is more, in my opinion, more likely than um, actual aliens visiting us. But I think I've talked about that before. If time is real. Well, here's the thing, is if time travel is possible, which we don't know how to do it now, but we know that, that wormholes and everything can be bent and manipulated hmm. and things like that. We have no clue how to do it now. But Oh, yeah, you, maybe you need to create a freaking a, a right. black hole. <laughs> right. But if, 
if the yeah. human race has proven anything, it's that if something yeah. can can be figured out, we will eventually figure it out. So in yeah. 10,000 years, who's to say we don't figure out how to manipulate a wormhole and the aliens, quote unquote, that we're seeing now and the new the whatever ships and things that we're seeing are just us coming back to visit and try to manipulate things back now, back here. It, it just seems just as feasible as another planet had the exact same almost impossible evolution that we did mm -hmm. and people created, you know, spacecrafts and things like that. I mean, to, to have that happen on two different planets, to have it happen on this planet is almost impossible. It's not. It's improbable, but it's just so damn almost unfathomable to have it happen two different places. Now, that being said, Diego's right. Like the number of possibilities of it happening are infinite. So could it happen? But then it would have to happen somewhere close enough that somebody would have to be able to get it. It's just the, the it's it'll, really, it, make, it, it makes it hurt. It makes my brain hurt. It's there's a lot of theory. Is. There's a lot of theory there. But yeah. there's a fundamental question that we don't know the answer. Like we don't even know what the galaxy is and why it exists. <laughs> like we don't even know why Dude. this thing is happening. Correct. You know yeah, what I like, believe? You know what I believe? Yeah. What? That either there were grand ancient civilizations long before the Egyptians, long before all those people, mm. or aliens visited all these dudes and like helped them build their shit. There's way too many similarities between the stuff that you find in Mexico and Egypt and China that were built like the prior to like transatlantic, you know, people crossing the oceans. I, I there's think, just so many similarities i think it was pretty well documented how uh, the people traveled to south america you, you and how they got cross. separated from the rest you could but it's like in china too and then in uh, easter island and well there's so many so shapes tricky. you know how you said with atoms and stuff right there's only so many shapes that people can create and it like people could have created these things like pyramids right Build, building pyramids uh it might we might say well why why pyramids why are we doing pyramids and maybe yeah, maybe but why is the pyramid why is the pyramid yeah. of the sun in mexico have the same base size as the great pyramid of giza that's a good question I don't know. <laughs> that's so fucking weird it's a very interesting question. Maybe it's based on some kind of thing that they... It, it, it's possible that those tribes started out with some kind of belief, some type of a number or some type of a thing, and then they were trying... When they got separated, they were trying to emulate it. Yeah. I, I've just, no, so you, yeah. Here, here's a, so you're saying it's just like natural progression or possibility... But like we still have tribes in the Amazon that when they see a plane, they think it's a god. Yeah. So like, either yeah, they no, but they're not developing as fast, or like they just weren't taught by somebody, which I think is like the whole alien thing. But I, I truly believe that Egypt, all all these great pyramids and all these things were inherited mm. by the Egyptians. I don't think that they built them. Yeah. You know, who was it who said that uh, those pyramids, we we are closer to Cleopatra than Cleopatra was to the people who built the pyramids. Yeah. Like that's how old they are. And we have really bad perception of time. So like the, the, the time, the it's just, we don't even know if time is real. They found these, uh, I can't remember which pyramid they found them in, but they found hundreds of these stone vases carved to like an eighth of an inch thick. And I, mm -hmm. these are. Oh, sh Diego, you cut out. Damn. Diego okay. has cut out. Uh, hello? Hello? Oh, is he back? Can you hear me now? Oh, yeah, you're back. You're back. Yeah, so I was saying these are like. These are like bigger than Mike the Snake bases, mm. and uh, and they're carved out of these stones that are like, I think a few of them they said was like the second hardest substance known to man, like just behind mm. diamond. And oh. they're they're an eighth of an inch thick. They're perfectly symmetrical. Yeah. And they found hundreds, but what they found interesting was that the lids for these were made out of clay and mud, mm. and wrapped in like in uh so you're saying in thread. The, so it's like the, 
two civilization meeting like they're recycling stuff that they found the uh, other civilization uh, leaving behind exactly if they took such care to make the vase itself where was the care taken for the lid and if you look at like one of the things i was showing miss diego at the uh, louvre was these gigantic sarcophaguses just beautifully machined like 90 degree cuts everything perfect mm -hmm. and then i said do you see how precise this is? And she's like, yeah. I was like, isn't this insane? She's like, yeah. And I was like, now let's look at the hieroglyphs on the outside. Why couldn't they carve a straight line? You know, when they're, when they're, when they're carving the, the edge around the, the hieroglyph or around the sarcophagus, yeah, they spent all this time making this perfect tomb. But when it came time to actually write the dude's name, it looks like fucking Cam was doing it with a rock. <laughs> <laughs> like it doesn't add up. Mm. Does not add up. You have some pictures. I would love to, like, look look exactly what you're talking nah. about. No, damn. I'm at nah. I, I probably got okay. it off. I'm at work, but definitely we need to go down this rabbit hole one day. Yeah, it's it's very interesting. I, I, I well, actually, I mean, the, the the more we grow, grow this platform, we can bring some uh, some some people who are doing this stuff professionally. I would love to talk to them. Hell yeah. All right, I'm going to jump off. I got to All right, by, by Diego. Hey, uh, double D, anyway, double D. Yep. Is my audio okay? Is it? I, I oh, never, I'm, okay. I'm in my office. I never have an idea of how it is. So uh, it's very good. How are you doing? I'm doing pretty good. How are you? I'm surviving, surviving. Woke up five o'clock today. Yeah, I uh, saw that. You were on when I woke up this morning. I was like, this is uh, monumental, <laughs> the, the day of the year where Tim wakes up before I do. So, hey. You know. <laughs> I'm making progress but uh hey you know what we should we should do before i forget um mm -hmm. any any of the, the 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 members of the community or whatever who um who want to go to the friday night event part oh um and are on the wait list for that tickets like you said buckley didn't have his ticket yet and stuff yeah i know last year some people were able to reach out directly and finagle some some tickets out if you email directly we should probably tell anybody who really wants to go who doesn't have tickets to, to like get on the wait list but also send email. an email or call because i i know yeah. for sure that at least four or five people last year called and they were like yeah yeah yeah, we'll we'll we'll, we'll send you a ticket no problem so it yeah anyway they have some i'm sure yeah uh, I, I i bet they have they have them uh, especially because I th because if they if they open the wait list, that means they're going to try and adjust uh, the capacity of how many people are going to go to to this event. Um, yeah. They, you know, they're, they're, if they if they can sell even more tickets, they they would love to, of course. So oh, yeah, may, yeah, maybe uh, they're going to readjust, make the venue a little bit bigger. Who knows? Yeah, it's getting kind of crazy. Like, I mean, this is yeah. What is this? Our third or fourth year? How many years? Have yeah. we, this is our third year, right? Me and you going. Yeah. The yeah. third third year, yeah. Yeah, and the, and the first year was kind of COVID um, heavy, so it really wasn't that busy. But holy it cow! It's just, yeah, but this thing is like really taken off. I mean, yeah. last year they they sold out a month before, and this year they're selling out two months before. I mean, that's pretty crazy. Yeah. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited to see oh, what they're yeah. going to have there. It's gonna be so, great. Uh, yeah it's gonna be great exactly um, by the way we got red shovel in the chat it says evening all red shovel mm -hmm. hop on the stream What's up, uh, red? yeah because red's having issues uh so hopefully he has fixed it all up by now that'll be very cool yes. so over the uh over the weekend like because I, I sent you that message on whatsapp after i mm -hmm. talked to my ad but yeah this is my my yearly uh, uh, new blazer shopping for uh, watch time. So I was up at King of Prussia buying, spending way too much money on a stupid jacket. So that, that's what I did on uh, on Saturday. Uh, Sunday. 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 Yeah. I'm just going to customize mine a little bit, put a pin of French fries, and I'm done. Well, what's, uh, what size jacket are you now? Um, look, I, I lost a little bit of weight, but uh, I'm, I'm still working on it. If you, if you get yourself down to a 40 or a 42, I probably have a bunch of uh, sports jackets that you could you could take off my hands for me. Oh, I'll, uh, yeah, I'll buy some. I don't I'm not going to take money from you, but yeah, you can have them. 
Because uh, my 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 biker jacket, you know, the leather one, that's forty two size. Oh, is okay. Yeah, if you get yeah. down to, I think that's my, my jacket, that's yeah. my goal size. My jackets range from forty to forty two, so it should they should fit if you uh, lose a little bit of the belly. Yeah, hey, it. listen, if you're if it's better than you know donating to, uh, I don't know, uh, what's it called the. Uh, Salvation Army or something. Salvation just, Army yeah. or something like that. Yeah. Instead of use, or throwing it away if you're use lazy. Six hundred dollar uh, use six or eight hundred dollar blazers for rags. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No no point of wasting it. Uh I would I would love a nice blazer. Good stuff. Take a I need to only have one. All right. Yeah. I have I mean I oh. have so many like I just looked at my closet the other day. I was like, why does one person need like six black blazers? It just doesn't make any sense. So anyway, uh, what the what's going on? J W uh, says Geneva is fucked as fucked out. What happened in Geneva? Oh yeah, this Doxa. Look at this thing. What the hell is Doxa doing? This is so bad. That's why really are awful. they? Why did they even do this? It's a nightmare. Yeah. Uh, I understand that maybe they're trying to to go for that full out blacked out kind of look, but <sighs> Dox is not a fashion brand. People actually try to take this this brand seriously, and yeah. now they're just doing Ubla kind of bullshit. Well, this is not a serious watch, like because Doxa, right? Doxa is is a serious watch enthusiast brand. Yeah, every time. Yeah, every time I say something like even rem remotely negative or dismissive of Doxa, I get a huge backlash. They're like, don't you fucking say a goddamn bad word about Doxa. It's a great brand. It's a historical brand. They make incredible watches. Keep your mouth shut, Timmy. They're like a uh, yeah, they're like a Zin type of type of brand. Like you know, you don't really know anybody who owns one, but apparently everybody does. Yeah, MJ. Hey Tim, how's it going? Hey, you actually jumped on at the perfect time. I need to use the restroom. Just like two seconds. Oh, Just give me guys two seconds. I'll be right back. I'll show you my doxa. Okay, I'll be right back. MJ, what do you <laughs> think about this doxa? Tell 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 the the viewer. I'll be right back. Uh, um, yeah, I I can't I can't opine on this one. I don't uh, I don't have enough information. It's uh, well, just going off of. Just sheer aesthetics. I, I I can't get on board with this. There's just too much. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. So much yeah, I, I I like an all like a sort of a stealthy watch. Um, it has its place and purpose. I'm not a fan of gold, yeah. rose or, or rose or yellow. So, you know, personal personal preference. Not for me, but uh, I could see well, how it's appealing. Here's the crazy thing about the blacked out watches the the origination of them or whatever they kind of try to pass them off as almost like uh i don't know military inspired you know it's like all black it's very stealthy and everything like that well you kind of lose that allure when then you put gold all over it don't you i mean it's like okay it's a under the radar all blacked out watch except for all these gold accents which are very very glaring it's just not for me yeah yeah but i mean there's a lot of a lot of watches, uh, and and not just watches, but other things, sort of progress from their original form right. over time. So, yeah, um, yeah, yeah I, I, I mean, I, uh, if somebody I, bought it. If somebody bought it and loved it, then I love it for them. Right, right. I always want to talk to somebody, even if it's watches that I I absolutely would never own myself. But yeah, I bought. I owned a uh, uh, Bell and Ross. BRO3, I think it was. Um, and it was all blacked out model. <laughs> it's the dumbest thing I've ever bought. But at least it was all black. Like there was nothing but black on that watch. Couldn't read it, but it was interesting. Yeah. 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 I mean, what what is what does a piece like that cost? The Doxa or the Bellinross? Uh no, not the Bellinross, the one that uh, the that Do was just up at the screen. I have no idea. We didn't get that far yet. Oh, there's oh. Doxa. Yeah. Oh, he's got a silver. Oh, yeah. See that that, that I can, yeah, that that I can get on board with. That's I mean, as far as dive watches go, that's got the pedigree of a dive watch cushion, you know, and and then the I like the blue. It's nice. 
Yeah, I like that. It's got like a uh, rice. I think you're on mute, Tim. <laughs> Sorry. I was gonna, I, why would you tell hey. us? I was enjoying it. <laughs> T- Tim, you'd think after a thousand of these, you might figure that one out, right? Uh, it's it, it. There's just there's no red flashing. They they need to improve the UI. Uh, like when I'm muted, it should literally on my screen. It should like point it out that I'm muted, but I have to like look down. It's a pain in the ass. But guys, yeah, the but... Doxa. You know what this is? You know who this watch is for? Diving. Hipsters. It's not for diving. There's no way this watch is for diving. It's for hipsters. Okay. This is who I see wearing because when when I put this thing on, I feel like a total hipster. It's look at it because it's it's uh, it's it's a strong watch. Right? It's quality. It's built like a tank, but it's got color, right? It's got color to it. It's like very modern, but it's old watch aesthetic, and it's so j- jingly. Like listen, listen to this watch. You have to hear the vibe. This is the the vibes that this watch gives off. Oh yeah, you hear that? Sure. Uh, how how like that? You feel you see how that how that sounds? So, jing, like jingly jangly in a very unique way. No other watch makes a noise like this. It's cool stuff. But this one, this this ridiculous thing. How much does it cost? Three grand. Does it really? <sighs> no. Really? No, it costs seven thousand dollars. All right, now they can. What the Holy hell? Shit. I mean, you're Yo. you're in you're in Zenith territory now. I mean, what what, what are we talking about here? Yeah, <laughs> that's a bit steep. I don't get it. Uh, I I'm like I'm actually embarrassed for showing off my Doxa, and then this thing is it's a Salita SW, guys. What are you thinking, Matt? Oh, it's a matte black. Ceram- so what? Cer- it's a ceramic case. Like, ceramic, guys. A do- ceramic Doxa. It's cool, no? Oh, and it's 18K 3N gold unidirectional rotating bezel. So th- what's a 3N gold? 18K 3N gold. So, okay, maybe it's gold with ceramic, but why did they make it completely illegible? Is this a- I'm not sure if it's a gold bezel. One second. You have to be a, a, a Doxa collector for this. I, I don't get it. I don't understand this at all. Okay, so at least it's real gold bezel and crown, but it's not worth it. It's it's just a Salida movement, and it's so illegible. You can't even tell the date. If they made, at least if they made the window having a gold border, it would kind of match the hour ar- the other hour markers. It, maybe it would look kind of cool. If they left out the date completely, it would have been a little bit better, even better than gold border, but what an absolute <sighs> scam? I don't know. What would you call this? MJ, what's your, what's your diver of choice? Um, either Panerai or Sea Dweller. Ooh, you're a fan of Panerai? Yep. Nice. I, I love my Panerai. People keep telling me to sell it. I'm going to sell it eventually, but Pam's. They just wear so good. Yeah, they're just they're just unique. That's why I like it. Mm. It's a completely different uh, design from everyone else. I mean, this dock, so you can you can say the same thing. But it's really the rubber. I hate how low quality. Like, you you know how I always tell you guys, I would much rather wear Omega on the rubber strap. Uh, all and a, a lot. There's a lot of watches that I would rather wear on the rubber strap. Than on their proprietary metal bracelet. This is not true with Doxa. The, is, the rubber... or, is it limited or like is it? Oh, I hope so. Uh, I mean, let's see. if it's like one of one, all right, maybe we're kind of getting into that price range. No, it's not limited. Not limited. Holy shit! I mean, it. What would you? Well, it's limited because they're selling them for seven thousand. Yeah. yeah. Right. That's How many just... people are gonna buy at that price? It's. And and it's so far from my personal style that I, that, you know, I, I just don't get it. 
Yeah, full blacked out watch. Maybe PG is going to like it, but he's not going to pay this kind of money for a Doxa. Well, this, I mean, that's he... Rolex territory. You can get literally Oyster Perpetual. You no, can get. He... Oh. Yeah, PG's going to wait four years and he's going to get this for 2500 bucks. <laughs> He'll come on and be like, look what I got for two grand or something. Like that. And the ceramic just looks so low quality. Like it does, it looks like it's DLC. At least other brands, they do like exceptional work with ceramic, either some like very sharp polish or it like brushing that looks really cool. This just looks like it was DLC. Doesn't yeah, I don't know. Look, if, I'm sorry. Sorry. sorry go no, ahead. Like no, 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 say, doesn't it kind of look like somebody bought this? It had a smooth strap, but they wanted to order a special aftermarket strap to look kind of like the dial, but it didn't quite get it right because that strap mm -hmm. just doesn't look like it belonged anywhere on this watch. It just looks like somebody tried to match it, but didn't do a very good job. Hmm. Yeah. And that looks like a ceramic bezel, too. Like yes. matte ceramic. Yes. Yeah. So, and Doc, so there, some of these kind of cheaper, lower end tiers, uh, tier brands shouldn't. Uh, by the way, Diego, I found the picture of what you were talking about. Hello? Some of these lower tier brands shouldn't be uh, made, like adventuring into exotic materials just to charge more money uh, category. It shouldn't be doing it. It's, they're betraying. I, I feel like that's docs of betraying their customer base. Yo, Diego, I got the picture. Yeah, did you get those photos? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, I found them on the internet. But okay. Dude. So, so look at the ones. Is that Marcello the in the I background? Searched. Yeah, I want you to see the scale of the size of these first. Yeah. Okay. So show the one with the person. Oh, yeah. I'm sending it. Looks like Marcella. Well, yeah, that's actually the last one. But oh. zoom in on the uh, zoom in on the hieroglyphs. Oh, that's so will. how funny. shitty they are. That's so funny. You see how shitty they are. This is what this thing, Tim, has been measured with lasers, and it's like within point zero one percent of perfect as far as like the construction of it but then you got like Diego saying like look at this like the, the, these engravings are kind of pathetic compared to i mean the the rest of the the coffin which looks like it came from an alien spaceship look at this fucking thing looks like from the inside too the inside too how it's carved out is perfect wow. the polish of it is perfect how did they even how they got it get it in there how they yeah. got it into that room is like an unknown mystery they Without don't know how busting they a corner there. or <laughs> how did they move it? That thing weighs, I think, uh, it might be over a hundred tons. I can't remember, but yeah, it's just the Egyptians did not build this though. Interesting, they just didn't. Very, it is po it's possible that you know, just how, um, like we as a civilization or like UK, UK is probably a, a worse perpetrator of this. Uh, like London Museum, right? They took all those sculptures. They stole it from other civilizations, more ancient civilizations. It's mm. possible that they looted this from a different civilization and brought it over here. And then that's where they they carved. I mean, who knows? It's like it's so crazy. Yeah, the t the box is bigger than the tunnels to get to it. That's like Doctor Bob uh, Rivers, right? And these tunnels are carved out of like a mountain. This isn't a mountain. This isn't just like some dirt tunnel they built. Yeah, let me know, guys, in the chat. How do you think they got that uh, this this black sarcophagus in here? And without like scratching, because think about it. It's it's difficult enough to walk through through that uh, uh, through all those corridors without getting your Rolex scratched. On you know on the wall you could just fucking lean like that and get a whole bunch of scratches on the on the bracelet, right? They got this thing inside without it you know without any scratches. Fucking teleportation's got to be real, all right? There you go. I said it. <laughs> all right, sorry, sorry, sorry. Let's keep going. 
Uh, this doxa kind of looks like like that sarcophagus. They should make dials out of uh, out of this thing. <laughs> Could make for an amazing uh, GMT Master too. Well, it kind of looks like that. Um, the Patek, uh, I think they're going for the same look. That was it, the fifty three twenty six. Um, let's see, fifty three twenty six. Pull it up. Oh, the, the with the asphalt dial, yeah, yeah. So it's oh got... man, this thing is on another level. So beautiful. Wow. But you did twenty six. You know, Maldives has this watch. Oh really? Yeah, that's a yeah. killer piece. Yes, yeah, epic. It's the first of its kind movement with the combination of annual calendar with travel time. Yeah, but it, but again, it has that same grainy style to the dial of the, the, the you know the, the asphalt. Watch. Yeah, and I think it also comes with two straps. That's a new thing that uh, that Paddock is kind of trying to promote. See, they're trying to yeah. compete without with uh, with Vacheron. They're like, we're not going to be left out. Vacheron, Vacheron is giving out three bracelets. We'll we'll at least give two. Yeah, and I love. Look at the the this the sailcloth strap, the black strap. It looks so good on this. Look at that. Wow, they know how to put together a watch. Bala says, yeah, but uh, that's like hand engraving, handwriting, or art. We also make art and engraving that's uh, super sketchy. And then we also cut stuff to extreme precision. Yeah, we cut, but I uh, haven't been cutting stuff with this type of precision for a long time. So we'll see. The box is bigger than the tunnels to get to. Yeah, so they, they had to probably build the pyramid around you know, like they probably had to build half of the pyramid, get it in, and then build the rest of the pyramid around it. But that's just like one of the dumbest thing ever because it takes a billion years to build that pyramid. Hey, Buckley. Hey. Yo. Yo. Uh, by the way, do you got the timer? You gotta get no. the day date, buddy. Yeah. Gotta step up that game. I hope you're at the AD. No, I haven't even thought about it yet. No. Oh. I mean, I've thought about it. I don't know. I don't know if they're going to help me with one anytime soon. Mm. What would you go for? Um, A silver one? But what, if you were offered the yellow gold with the green dial, would you? Yes. That would be I'd go, it. I'd go for it. Yeah, you got it. You got to do that. It's a perfect you should ask for that one. Like, don't ask for easy. Like, not not the easy. You don't ask for average to get ones. Don't just ask only the 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 hard to get ones. Like Eisen Kaisel. Like, if they can can get you one, that's freaking amazing. If they can't, you're not losing anything. Yeah, I mean, I'm not a huge rose gold day date fan. Um, the only one that I would buy would be the Negroni. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I'm not really an Eisen Kaisel guy, to be honest. Yeah. But I, I get how I get it. I mean, it's really nice looking. Yeah. Pocket watch time. Thank you so much for 18 months, 24 hours. What a maniac. Just chilling. We're just chilling. It's easy. The, the show just runs itself. Trading profits, two pounds, new Rolex, sarcophagus dial, day date would be sick. Yeah, with the with the diamond baguette uh, indices. I would get in on the wait list for that. And uh, we'll look at Carolyn Martin, $5 super chat. Buckley, I feel your pain. I don't have a day date either. Mm. Yeah. I realized that day date is not for me. I'm just not a baller. All right. I had a realization last night. Oh, uh, well, yeah, last night when uh, when America and Boston, I realized, oh, they date this for, for people who got their life together. I got to I got to do that first. Then I'll start thinking about day dates. But hey, uh, MJ, what about you? Are you uh, do you have a day date? Uh, 
Uh, I'm waiting on one. Which one? Um, it's uh, it's white metal, so I'll white leave metal. I'll leave it at that. Yeah, I don't want to jinx it. Okay, um, okay. But uh, I've I got offered one, wasn't the one I I really wanted, so I passed. Um, mm -hmm. But um, yeah, I'm I'm the same. I think you gotta get you gotta ask for the one you want. Yeah. If if they don't give you, you're not losing out, and it's just because the way the way the times are. And back in the day when everything was freaking going above retail and continuing to increase, yeah, you just you, you take whatever they offer you. But that was tough. Now you have to get exactly what you like, otherwise there's no point. Uh, Negroni, thank you so much for eleven months, the Negroni. <laughs> Ha! In your face, Eddie. Oh, what's going on? What are they doing there? Oh. Ah, this Negroni kid. Uh, how does he get all those watches? Right? It makes no sense. How does Negroni get everything? Let's look at his Instagram account, shall we? He's got a lot of stuff. He's got a lot of good stuff. He does. He's got a great collection. Nothing about Negroni makes sense. He's just... It's too. It's too. He's he's like he's like Diego 2.0. It's just everything is happening. Look at this. The Greece trip. Wow. He made it there before I did. Wow. Looks fun. Looks fun, guys. Where do you guys want to go on vacation? Next. Let's go. Okay. Let's go around the panel. Where do you guys want to go on vacation? And which watch? Are you going to bring with you? And I, I, people in the chat, join, join, join as well because uh, during COVID, we were all were sitting down, sitting at home, uh, just building up our collections. Now it's time to use them. So, what do you think? Where do you want to go, MJ? What's um, the next destination? Uh, uh, going to Italy. Mm -hmm. So, but I haven't decided what watch to bring. Um, probably Could some bring the AP for Oshin. Uh, no, no APs for me. Um, uh, so, um, probably probably a GMT of some of some sort. GMT is cool. Yep. I mean, not a GMT master, but a GMT complication. So, like Sky Explorer Dweller two. Yeah, Sky Dweller or Explorer two. What's great. in your collection, by the way? So I have those two pieces. Um. I've got a uh, overseas. Uh, I've got Submariner, Date, Green, Hulk. Ooh, oh, you got the Hulk? Yeah. Um, sea Dweller Forty Three. Um, nice. Panda. Oh. Um. So I've got a Panerai. I've got an IWC. What kind of so, IWC? Uh, I've got a beautiful one that uh, I'll hopefully get to show you at some point. It's a it's the original Spitfire Chrono, um, thirty nine mil on a on a full bracelet, which was a pretty rare uh, configuration at that it's time. Blacked out with uh, steel. No, no, si silver dial. No, but silver dial, but the uh, the case. No, no, the case is all silver. The the case is steel. Yeah, stainless steel. Oh. Is it ha yeah. does it have that chopped off uh, minute ha uh, hour hand? No, it's got um, like sword sword uh, minute and hour hands, but it's got the some of the the uh, Arabic numerals are applied, and oh. there's a couple that are chopped off because of the way that they've done the um, the chrono. Wow, w what year is this? Two thousand three wow that's iwc back then was like the number one brand with panorama rolex was okay but it wasn't as like if you were a watch collector back then you went with iwc or panorama yeah I went, I, I went with the Panerai. i went with the iwc because i grew up outside of boston and uh, hmm. the fa founder of IWC was a New England guy. So, 
and uh, so he moved to Switzerland. That's right. Learned learned the craft, and then started started IWC. So it had a it had a good fit with the story, and I always liked their pieces. Hmm. Um, so it's a shame that IWC doesn't get so much uh, like any respect. I mean, fucking Doxa makes seven thousand dollar wires. Who the fuck do they think they are? Like, I bought this f- for less than five. I mean, what the hell? Sorry, sorry, MJ. It's just like, no, no, Doxa no, so. really pissed me off. I'm, I'm, I'm really upset. Like, yeah, I mean, I, I'm, I'm a, I'm a big fan of IWC. I haven't bought any of their more recent pieces, but um, I still like the brand uh, as a brand. Yeah, it th- their quality kind of goes up and down. Sometimes they make a real stunner like this one. I, I think this is good quality for, for 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 really for very little money. And then this they have some more expensive watches that are like shittier quality or it's just some weird pricing. But yeah, I agree. And then IWC, it, it there's something going on. They need to fix their 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 lineup. Engineer was a good addition. By the way, are you gonna go uh, uh, to see the engineer? No. Uh, if I if I if it's there when I go to uh, an event or an AD, I'll look out. I'm not gonna make a special trip for that. You need to check it out. If you're a fan of IWC and you got the coin, you should you should see it. Okay, because if I had the money, I would I would have actually liked to upgrade this one to the aqua engineer that watch is worth it's it's worth upgrading it's worth the money believe it or not i know it's fucking redonkulous uh amount but it's a it's a quality quality piece you need yeah, to my, hold it in your hand mj my uh yeah, my I, guy told oh, sorry mj go ahead no no go ahead good i was just gonna say my, my i talked about the engineer with uh my guy they have a iwc um boutique um, in the in my inside my ID, and uh, he said that um, even though they're going to get some in to display and they're going to have an event here uh, early next month, they're they're not going to have any readily available or even like you know on order watches probably until early 2024. It's a big mistake. It's a big mistake on their part because, like. That's when the demand is highest. When the watch is just announced, you have to have it ready to to sell instantly. Yeah, Tudor missing, missing Christmas is a bad is a bad mistake. I agree. Yeah, Tudor was very clever to start selling their watches right at Watches and Wonders. Like they had all this thing, all the lineup ready. And like yeah, yeah, we'll sell them at the Tudor boutique. Just go over there across the street. They sold like a million watches in one day. For real, it was, it was unbelievable. But yeah, so wh- what else? What else? Uh, I think that was me. And who's who was uh, who else is going or wants to travel somewhere? And which watch? Are you yeah, taking? let's uh, let's see. Uh, Double D, Double D. Where where do you want to? You want to go on the next trip? <laughs> Double D. Actually, uh-huh. you sold the Daytona to go to Geneva, right? <laughs> it wasn't it wasn't the purpose of it, but yes, the the proceeds of. The Daytona yeah. that I sold got me um, a fully funded trip to Switzerland, not just Geneva. Like I went all, I was everywhere in Switzerland. The irony and, of that trip was is that he sold the Daytona, then he went to Switzerland and realized that Daytona is really actually a good watch. No, I I, I owned it yeah. for two years up before that. It's just I didn't yeah. connect with it. I and I sold that, and I I, I got another watch. And my trip to Switzerland was completely paid for with the, the amount that I made on the Daytona. And I never really, I, I missed out on money, but I don't miss the watch. I missed out. If I would have held it longer, I would have just made more money selling it later. So it's not like, it's yeah. like one of those that I wish I had the watch back. I wish I had the watch back so I could sell it for more money, which is not the way you should. Really yeah. Think about your watch. You could have went on two trips. You could have yeah. paid for your Geneva trip and trip yeah. to Greece. And, and probably yeah, probably some. But anyway, Greece is uh, on my hit list. Um, I'd love to go back to, to Switzerland again and focus. I basically spent like a night or two in like everywhere I could. I was there for like eight days. I would love mm-hmm. to focus on like one 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 or two areas and spend more time in those little towns. They're really really pretty. Um, 
you know, yeah. Italy is all, but yeah, anywhere in Europe, I just, I, I want to get to more places over there. I feel like the, you get to experience a lot of different cultures in a small area. And, and, I, and I think that's pretty cool. I love Portugal. Um, one of the islands off the coast of Portugal, I think would be really cool. They compare those to Hawaii. So I, I I'd really like to go to, to one of those. Um, nice. Yes. Yeah, and that's it. And to go to as Lisbon. Far, well, Lisbon, yeah, Lisbon's easy. You just you, you fly right uh, right into Lisbon. Um, yeah. But uh, um, actually, there's direct flights from Newark to I forget what the islands are called from Newark and JFK. I think to the islands off the coast of Portugal, which are supposed to be very nice. Wow. Anyway, so I would like to do that. And uh, what watches would I take? Um, mm-hmm. I, I I try to keep it pretty simple. I take you got one three of- GMTs. You you have to knock it down to like two <laughs> or, or one only, preferably. Only- I would only take one GMT and then one dress watch. So I'd probably You know, pay. if you sell your left hand drive, that could pay for your trip to <laughs> get it. It's uh you know, you you you're not wrong, Tim. You're you're not wrong. Um but uh yeah, so I wouldn't take that one. I would probably take um the uh probably the two tone because it's pretty versatile. Right. And then um, take the white metal dress watch. Take the Vacheron as, as like my you know, going out to dinner. Ooh, so. go to nice fancy dinners. Yeah, yeah, nice fancy dinner with that. And then during the day, I mean, you can't go wrong with a two-tone GMT. You can wear that shit with anything. So. Mm. No endless time. Thank you so much for six six euros super chat. Congratulations, Tim. Please Google IWC Andrew Neuer 3227 Japan edition. Let's see this thing. Here we go. IWC. Engineer. You see, the, the the problem with engineer is very tough to spell. Seamaster, easy to spell. Submariner, easy to spell. A success of a watch, largely, largely uh, depends on if it's easy to find it. If if somebody asks me what is this watch, saying that's a bat, that's a Rolex Batman. It's the easiest way to translate this this type of information to another person. That's how you get the word out. Some brands don't understand this, but okay. There we go. It's a it's a salmon dial. Oh man. It's 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 nice. I like the dial. Fa- front facing, it's cool, but you look at the case side, the kilometer thick. Oh wow. That is thick the issue with the, with these older IWCs and why they had to go in-house it's because like late 2000s everybody pulled back everybody went in-house they lost the movement I think who, who owns IWC Richemont right yes they used yes. to use ETA movements but you know, Swatch pulled those they said no nah, nah, I'm not giving you any more F yourself. So so then they're like, oh, they started scrambling and then look at this thing. Yeah, it's ugly. Compared to the modern engineer, are you kidding me? The new IWC engineer swings. It swings. Uh, let's see. Oh, damn it. Come on. Watches. Engineer finally reworked. Oh, my God. This aqua. It's a stunner. How can people not like this watch? Look at it. It's glorious. The hands, the hour markers, even those screws, right? Like the old version just had holes, right? Just holes. And it looks so boring. It looked cheap. Just having those holes with nothing in it. Now it has like screws in, in this thing. And they're actual screws. You can unscrew them in the bezel. Uh, you do like a quarter turn and then it pops out. There are more screws underneath. It's really advanced the way it's it's put together. Here's the, the other pictures. Yeah. No open case back, unfortunately. They could have. They, they literally could have opened the case back on this thing. I just hope that they're not doing it because... They want to later release a new edition and and have an open case back on that one. Kind of give people a reason to to look forward to. I mean, they they could improve this thing, right? It doesn't have quick change strap system. 
that could be added later. Look, if you don't want the engineer, there's actually, uh, it's probably, uh, if you wait three years, they're going to have a, a much more improved version of it come out. So All right, Tim, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to jump off. I'm going to be listening on my Double way D. home, but uh, we'll talk to you. Uh, we'll talk tomorrow then. Okay. Uh, yeah, uh, about Philly. We need yeah, to talk just, Philly. Just, Do just, I go to Philly? The roommate just, wants to go. I just need to coordinate with her what, what's the best the best day for her and the, be, the best time for me to go there for content. Yeah, be cool. Anytime. Yeah. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll discuss. Yeah, okay. See you, Buckley! See you guys. Yo, see ya. See you, Double D. Buckley! What you up to, man? What you thinking? Uh, nothing. Smoking some tobacco outside. You got the, the cigars? Enjoying yeah. the cigars? Mm-hmm. Nice. Very nice. No work today? Yeah, I got done early. Oh. Very cool. Very cool. What do you want to take a look at? Um, I don't really have anything I want to look at. I don't know. Yeah? Sick watches and tired of watches? I'm tired of watches. Like Watches are stupid. It's all over. <laughs> There's too many watches, too many brands. There's so much stuff. Yeah. Really. Oh, MJ, look at that. Yeah, see that? Laurent Ferry. Yeah, it's kind of nice. But Buckley, you handled one of these, and you said that it just feels like... It, the bracelet. It, the bracelet yeah. was a... Was a not, no, no bueno on the bracelet. It feels like it's made of plastic. Right. Yeah, it wasn't good. I mean, the dial was nice, obviously. And, you know, you yeah. flip it over, and the finishing looks great. But that bracelet is a is a deal breaker. The big no no. It's a it's a titanium. Right. Yeah, it's just the design of it was very, you know, meh. Hmm. Yeah, look at that. Uh, I like the green. Green is so hyped right now. So. The green is nice. I like the green better than the blue. They did they did some really nice color combination here. This green with the yellowed ish loom. And then the purple highlights. Some kind of color theory going on here because they work. You wouldn't think, but they kind of work. And then there's that forty on the dial in, in the sub dial. Sports auto. What's that all about? Oh, look at that on the car it's based on the car from the top you can't even see the 40 huh no endless time the new engineer is so expensive the movement is standard what do you mean the movement is not standard it's a five-day power reserve movement on the engineer the class with no fine adjustment is hilarious no endless time there's gonna be two bracelets there's gonna be a non non adjustment one because that one, they wanted to make it so that it looks like a day-date bracelet, you know, where everything kind of comes around in the perfect symmetry. And there's also going to be a version with uh, the regular, uh, uh, like, under, w with regular uh, bracelet that they put on Big Pilot Chrono and on Mark 20s. So you'll be able to get it with, uh, with the other bracelet if you, if you, if you so desire. No quick uh, release for changing straps. Sorry, IWC, make an update. Three years. Give them three years, and they're going to do it. Newbie Tiffany Dial Casio, 45 pounds of bargain. Yeah, compared to everything else, yeah. Got Higgins, congratulations on 1,000 and more episodes. Thank you, Jonathan. Uh, Conrad Coolerfin, did you see Teddy's new video on the PRX Digital? No, I did not. You guys want to see it? The digital PRX, I kind of like it. I'm sorry. The digital PRX is poopy. You don't like it? It stinks. I hate it. Aww. Let's see. Is it, uh, it. Was it Teddy? We so, spell Teddy Bulbasaur. There we yeah, go. Tim, I'm, I need to jump. But yeah. I wanted, I, I did want to come on and, and say big, big congratulations and, and thanks again for all the 
the laughs and the great content. It's uh, it's a lot of fun. So I really appreciate the support, MJ. You know, it's uh, the show doesn't do itself. It's people like Buckley, viewers like you, the supporters, financial backing. It's not possible without you guys. So MJ, thank you. No, thank you're you so very much. welcome. And uh, and Buckley, I'll uh, hopefully get the chance to talk to you soon and, and enjoy your travels. Thanks, man. And MJ, I, I want to uh, talk to you more. So w whenever you get a chance, please hop on the stream. Let's talk a little bit more about your collection as well, okay? Send me the picture. Yeah, yeah I can you do get that. get a chance. All right, we'll yeah. do it. All right, all right. See Email you me. All right. All right. Bye-bye. Right. 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 Hey, check it out. It's a... Uh, uh, yeah, it doesn't look too bad. The whole, yeah, I was dragging them for making this uh, frame is square and it's in the circle. It makes it makes no sense, but it doesn't look terrible. It's kind of proportional. Yeah. But it's not a three hundred and fifty dollar watch. No way, Jose. It's a it's a it's more of a thirty five dollar watch, right? Because of that. It's not a quartz movement. It's not an automatic movement. It's a digital display. Come on, they could have they could have cut the cost a little bit more. Yeah, nobody nobody liked it. Yeah. Ooh, let's see those reflections. Did you see it when when he moved it like that? Oh, ooh, look at that. Yeah. The black looks nice. So I think I think I like the black one the most because it, at least it fills out the space with the silver one. It just makes it look like there's nothing there. It's just like more steel. Doesn't look as elegant. Yeah, I don't know. I think this is a dog. Yeah, I wish it had uh, the day. It doesn't look like it has a... Sorry, it doesn't have a date. It has a day, but no date. What's up with that? Kind of lame. But, oh. Dog. Yeah. Anybody's going to buy type one in the chat if you're actually going to go out and get yourself one of these. I'm curious if some people are going to get it. I, I wouldn't count on it. No? Yeah. Uh, but you can see it. Teddy was probably given an advance notice because this was just announced today and bam, the video comes out the same time. Isn't he a uh, authorized retailer of Tisa? He is. He is. Authorized there deal for, for this. There you go. Yeah. They sent him a stock preview. He had He's it ready to go. He's making a fortune, Tim. He's making a fortune. Yeah. He's running a legitimate business. I and wonder, it's... what do you think they do? You think that they, it's just a uh, affiliate link to buy the watches? He doesn't have to carry the stock, right? I think think he does carry some stock i would be so, if he's an authorized dealer yeah i think he's gotta but then he's on the hook right because he's buying all of these watches and he's he has to hold why would, the they, why would they do that if he's digital like hodinky holds the stock i don't know that's a good question actually like why know. not just you know whatever people buy yeah when I just forward the request to to Tissot, right? Like for example, if if somebody wants to buy a Tissot, they can come here, they can place it, but it could be it could be coming from like drop shipping. It could be drop shipped from Tissot's website. Exactly. And uh, he could just take a cut. But then what happens when when he wants to return it? It's it becomes a mess. I mean, it's just gonna fall underneath the Tissot. I would also, right? I would also say if uh, if it's drop shipped, I don't think his margins would be the same. Like if if he's buying stock, he could probably have thirty percent margins. If he's not buying and so drop ship, we'll probably give him ten percent, five percent. No, way more, way more. I don't know. I don't. I don't know. You, uh, Dude, Amazon uh, Rolex, gives ten percent. Rolex gives thirty seven percent to their ads. Thirty-seven, but they, but they have to buy the stock ahead of time, and you, I, I know, know what you're going to say. It's going to sell out anyways, but no, no, no. I think that these brands have even more of a margin because they're not, 
uh, you know, like a T cell. I mean, what does it cost yeah. them to make that T cell that they're selling for nine hundred? Twenty bucks. Um, a hundred bucks, maybe, maybe less. I don't even think a hundred. I don't even think a hundred, to be honest with you. No, I I think like if you take into account the cost of setting up the, the all the machinery like, like do you have to include some some sure stuff, not sure, the raw sure. production right the raw production maybe cost them less than that but but they're they, but they are made in switzerland so they're gonna be more expensive because swiss labor is not that cheap yeah but is to, i mean i would assume i don't know for sure but i think if you looked into it hard enough in switzerland there's probably some private label shop Right, there's probably mm-hmm. some private label shop that you can, you know, if you have the money, you can call up, put a uh, a cheap Seiko movement in or whatever ETA, whatever, whatever movement, right, a cheap one, and mm. slap your logo on there and get going. I bet it's really cheap. Like I bet, I bet a Rolex costs like, I don't know, it hundreds of dollars to make, hundreds. Yeah. So there's enormous margins, right? They're making, they're making. I don't know. What do you think they make on a sub when they sell it to the AD? Five grand, six uh, grand I, a piece. Uh, Rolex spends extreme, extreme amount on on <laughs> advertising. Like they, I think they probably yeah, spend a thousand dollars in in advertising. Uh, but I think it costs less than a thousand to make a to make a Rolex watch. Yeah. So you can imagine what it costs to make a Tissot PRX. Yeah. Because most of that money is going into making, you know, on a Rolex, most of that money is going into making a rock solid movement that's not going to break, you know, cost certified, all these little certifications, all these things to make sure the watch is a tank. Tissot, you're not getting any of that. You know, Tissot breaks, it's like, okay, whatever. It's not worth the service unless it's under warranty. The thing is, though, I think their their movement is pretty solid. That uh, powermatic movement, it's it's made to last. I I think I'm pretty sure. What did they What did they give you? What, what kind of warranty did they give you on the Tissot? Two years or is it five years? If it's five, that's what I'm saying. If it's that many years, it can't be very much money to make. Yeah, because you know it's going to break. I mean, and I think they're not going to be servicing these. They're just going to replace it with a new one. Yeah. So, I mean, I think if you had enough money, you could yeah. probably go right into Switzerland, go to some of these manufacturing places, and you could make your Tim Wright $500 watch, $1,000 watch, and, you know, you could make enormous amounts of money if you had enough followers mm-hmm. buying them. I mean, I think that's the move. I have to assume Switzerland has a couple of places that you can do that. Yeah. Or you can get it uh, like some kind of a amateur watchmaker to try and fix it for a hundred bucks on the internet. That's always a possibility. Yeah. Sometimes people take that, but then you, you're it's up. You know, it's you're taking. But the going risk. going back to this, I think it would be. You know, an easy move for someone like Teddy. He gets all these people, all these people under his uh, certified AD digital, mm-hmm. and says, "Hey, look, you know, the world's moving digital and capturing a younger audience. Um, you know, I'm not looking for any sort of advertising dollars, nothing. But when people buy a watch, I want thirty percent." And hey, hold on a second. It. Look at this right here: shipping plus fulfillment. Swift delivery directly from our fulfillment center. No product sourcing or unstocked consignment. What does that mean? I think that 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 to me, I mean, it doesn't sound like uh, like he's saying there's no um, drop shipping, but it sounds like he's saying that, there, that he doesn't do drop shipping. It can mean a lot of things. <laughs> you know, right? I mean, a lot of things. That doesn't mean like, he has the same agreement with every single brand. Whoa, I'm losing your audio. What's going on? Can you hear me? 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was just for some reason I was losing it there for a second. Like, think about Hodinky. Hodinky does the same exact thing. Mm -hmm. I don't think Hodinky has a warehouse holding, you know, a thousand Seamasters and a thousand Speedies. You know what I mean? I don't know. Mm. Uh, there's some brands that uh, that sell online. Omega sells online, right? Uh, so there's possibility that you could drop ship with those brands, but there's some brands that really don't. They don't do uh, drop shipping. Like they actually they don't ship on like for example like Rolex. Rolex, just, you, know, you can't to. buy. It. Yeah, you can't buy them. They don't have to. But these other brands. Um, I yeah, don't know. Then, let's see. Yeah, like for like example, G Shock. I, I would think G Shocks would be drop ship if because that just sounds. Like, it's just an easier way to do it. Sounds like pain in the ass. Oh, here, here we go. Factory order, financing, customer service, U.S. based full customer service. Let's see what is he gonna say about this watch. History. Yeah, so he's ordering it. He that you buy it through him, uh -huh. and you're getting it right from the manufacturer. They're shipping it right to you. He's just an affiliate <sighs> program. Let me see. It returns or refunds. This guy's a genius. Oh, here we go. Returns or refunds. Qualify for a refund. All items must be returned unworn, unaltered, and in their original condition with all included packaging, stickers, tags, blah, blah, blah. And may incur, may incur a 10% restocking fee. Special order items do not qualify for refund if you wish to return them. Return must be initiated within seven business days. Uh, refunds may take up to 15 business days. Uh, it's not responsible for any duty, custom fees, imports. Uh, authorized dealer, help us return shipping plus fulfillment, swift delivery. From our fulfillment center. I mean, it says it's ha they have a fulfillment center. It's very coded, though. Hard to tell. I, I, think, I think he's making the videos top quality production for free. And on the yeah. back end, anybody who's buying the watches from him, he's getting a margin just like Macy's gets or or Tornell. And you just buy it through him. He's probably making a fortune. I mean, yeah, he does carry a lot of these lower tier brands like like, like Lone Jeans. That stuff, there's no problem shipping. Like watches under three thousand, those are usually you can buy online. But going more than three thousand, that's where that's where it gets uh, complicated. Yeah. Long jeans marathon meter, yeah, but most of his stuff that I, I think he he might actually be uh, carrying himself a lot of the stuff and like think about it, uh, Buckley, if if Boulevard came to you and they said, hey, if you want to buy a hundred of these, that's gonna be one price, but if you want if you want to do like a partnership deal with us, it's not gonna be the same deal. They're not gonna give him the same deal though. Do you understand, I would Buckley? Rather do the I would rather do the partnership all day. You just don't want the headache. I don't want right. the headache because the reality is these watches are very hard to sell. Yeah. They are very, very hard to sell. I mean, I, you know, there's a Torno in a mall I go to. It mm -hmm. doesn't have Rolex anymore, so it's failing pretty bad. Uh, Tudor also pulled out. So the whole, the whole entire Torno is Nomos, Oris, Cartier, Breitling, mm. long, and long jeans. Okay? Mm -hmm. These watches these watches are sitting and sitting and sitting. Nobody goes in that store. And they're offering discounts. Big discounts. So I would not want the headache. And I'm sure Teddy knows like it's a headache. But if margins are big enough, it could be worth it though. It could be worth it if he feels like he, he his one video can sell a hundred pieces. Like if there's gonna be a hundred thousand people gonna watch that video, and if he knows he can sell, a, it, it depends on his numbers. For example, like think about it, uh, Buckley. If if your experience told you like that you can make a video and you'll be able to sell a hundred watches, uh. And then you know that if you buy a hundred watches from the manufacturer, that you know one hundred percent you can sell, and you can get thirty percent margin versus ten percent margin. Wouldn't you rather take the thirty percent? 
Not you necessarily. Can... Not necessarily. Not necessarily. It, it depends. It depends. It depends, Tim. Like he's not selling Vacherons. Yeah. Or is he? He might be at this point. I don't even know. Is he no, 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 no. There's no, no, no Vacheron. Selling... Me though. He's... Marathon, Longines, Younghouse, Hamilton, G Shock, Formex, Citizen Boulevard, and Ball. So, if the average watch, let's say the average watch is a thousand dollars, and mm -hmm. if you buy the stock, he makes three hundred. If he doesn't buy the stock and he just drop ships it, he makes one fifty. Uh, you know, he's getting paid from YouTube. He has other things that he sells. It's much easier for him to do the one fifty, not lay out any money, and continue to attack other brands in that category and just do a lot of volume and capture let's the just, audience. Let, let's just do this type of hypothetical. Let's do a different type of hypothetical. Let's see right here. Why would you There's lay out all that money for? You know, that's a because, risk. I wouldn't do it. Okay, well let's let's do let's do the calculation. Let's just say this Tissot right here, right? It's a thousand bucks, right? Yeah. Thousand bucks. Let's say the margin on it is thirty percent, right? Thirty percent if you buy a hundred of them, okay? Or is ten percent uh, to consign? I don't think it's ten, Tim. I don't think it's. I think he's getting a lot more than ten. You got to remember the the margin that they make. Like let's say let's say Tissot to him. Tissot's making this watch for less than a hundred dollars. So they're not you know, like you're yeah, assuming it's brand, like Rolex. But why at 30%. would these brands do this kind of deal with him uh, and not everyone else? I mean they, they already they're sell it on their website. If you go to because, Tissot No 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 look 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 I don't think Tissot would give him the same thirty percent margins. If, but but Tim, 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 my yeah. point is you're assuming they give him 30% margins. They might be giving him 70% margins. It could you be. You don't know. They could be. Like when you go, like Tissot at Macy's, when they do their little Macy's card sale and all these different things, mm -hmm. you're getting the Tissot at 50 to 60% off. Yeah. Seiko as well. So you can't assume it's like Rolex that gives 37%. It could be 80%. You have no idea what it could be. Or MD Chess says a uh, thousand dollar watch is probably wholesale for two hundred. So he might be buying. These. Bucks. Well, I know, but but drop shipping uh, pricing is completely different. It's like ten, standard standard drop drop shipping price is like ten percent. Yeah, but he might not be drop shipping. He might just be. It, it might just be an affiliate link that goes straight to the manufacturer and ships the watch, or. You know, it might come from. It could come out of a Macy's. You don't know. Yeah. You like like. Uh, oh, Whole Foods. he probably has codes for that. Yeah. He has yeah. like. Yeah. Like Jeff Bezos bought all of the Whole Foods in the country so that they could hold all the Amazon because it was the only food store that was in all fifty states. But I think so. he's doing a combination of it. Some he has a he stocks a lot of watches where he can get a very good margin, and he probably does like what you said, like a. Uh, uh, he advertises uh, other other like yeah like Tissot. He, let's just put a link yeah. or or I think he he does that to like less known <coughs> brands. Um, let's see, for example, like maybe okay, Mido. He's he actually carries Mido, but I could see uh, him. You know, a, a lot of people do that. Like just they 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 have uh, an affiliate link. I I think maybe even like, but lo, like a lot of these guys, they're much rather instead of doing for an affiliate, they rather do it for a flat fee. Like if if uh, IWC asked me to do a video uh, about their watch, right? What would you rather take uh, a commission for every watch that's sold or a flat fee for doing a video? And then it's just like, hey, if they sell, they sell. If they don't sell, they don't sell. Well, the thing is. If he does it, see, the, the next step to this is if he does it for a commission, it means he can track how many watches he sells, and then he can go to the next company and pitch it to them so he can sell more watch brands. So a flat fee doesn't necessarily make sense. I don't, I don't think he's doing anything. Like, what's special about Teddy is he was smart enough to understand he's, you know, he's young. I think me and him are the same age. Um, yeah, and he got all of the people that are fifteen to twenty-five, and he specializes in watches that are thousand dollars or less. And then he took that idea and said, "Hey, 
I'm going to sell your watches digitally, which mm. nobody's doing other than Hodinky. Yes. And I think he's making a fortune doing it. I don't think he's stocking all these watches. He would have had to lay out millions of dollars to stock all these watches. He doesn't have he's millions of dollars. He's a well-off guy. He's a well-off guy. I don't think he's that well off, but at this point, I'm, I think out of all the watch YouTubers that aren't gray market dealers, just regular YouTubers like, you know, O'Sheen and Adrian. Yeah. He's he, financially, he's probably doing the best. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's not even close. Not he's even just, close. he's killing the competition. He's like, use, he's using YouTube to its maximum potential. I think he's making more money than uh, Nico Leonard. The, the whole gray market uh, flipping stuff, it's a pain in the ass. It's, it's a headache. Uh, what, what Teddy done, he has a website, and it's all streamlined. You just go click click the button. You don't like the watch. You call customer service. He has somebody pick up the phone, yeah. do a refund. It's done. There's no there's no haggling on every deal. No. Uh, by no, the way, what... just really quickly here, huge shout-out to Batch Guitar. Uh, Andy, five euros super chick. Congratulations, Tim. Keep up the good work. Thank you, uh, Andy. And shout out to Parm, who who also sent me a PayPal. Very generous. Thank you so much, Parm. <laughs> I I hope these guys are going to be back uh, someday. We would love to do to, to do shows with Parm uh, and Andy. Uh, maybe maybe in the near future. We'll see. Uh, thank you so much, man. And huge shout out also to Jason Zebra, who sent me a, a very generous uh, one hundred dollar PayPal. Uh, uh, donation congratulations on 1000 episodes hey i don't want to hear any more hate on the british people british people are amazing they support me just as much as uh, as the americans love you guys but i'm not gonna stop trolling you so just just have that in mind i love you but that's why i troll you guys <laughs> sorry uh, uh buckley uh, keep going no, I don't. I mean, I'm just making assumptions. How many? Um, yeah. How many subscribers does he have? Teddy. Yeah. Eight hundred and fifty k. Yeah. Okay. So. You know. He's a force to be reckoned with. Yeah. <laughs> he's a force to be reckoned with. Um. I don't know. I, I think it's. I don't think it's as complicated. I don't think he's doing that brick and mortar idea like you're saying. I think he probably approached these companies and was like, look, you already do this at Macy's. You don't need to do it with me. But I can sell these watches online to a different audience that is not coming to Macy's. Because what are you, if you're that brand, what do you have to lose? He's not discounting the watches. So what do you have to lose? It's just another outlet for you to sell watches. Yeah. And it's, it's not like it's, I mean, I know that sometimes they do like a limited edition. Right, like well, Hodinky does limited editions that are much more uh, exclusive, but it's mm -hmm. like, uh, you know, what is it? G Shock might do a couple limited editions. Seiko maybe. I don't know. With uh, with Teddy, just in general, because it's not like, uh, to my knowledge, the limited editions that he runs on his site, I don't think they're exclusive to Teddy. Right? These are no, not, no, no. Right. He just runs other people's limited editions. He doesn't do. Right, so they might say, "Hey, listen, we're alloc we're allocating the ability for you to sell twenty of these on your site, and we yeah. have you know five thousand in the world or whatever." Yeah, that's, that's what I, that's what I probably think he does, because then he can track it and he can just go to the next brand, you know, and say, "Hey, look, this is this is um, this is all my metrics, and this is what hmm. I can do for you." Yeah, I'll I'll, I'll make a free. I have eight hundred fifty thousand subs. I'll make a amazing high quality video, and from that video, you can expect that I'll sell, you know, five hundred watches. And they're like, "Okay, go ahead." He's got to have a dedicated uh, team for for doing his videos. He's got to have a writer, and the editor, and videographer. He's got to have three people working for him, just for it's his pretty, YouTube. He's a very smart guy. He's a guy that you should have, I think, on the channel if you can yeah. get him. No, he, he actually said that he would hop on the stream. I, I, I talked to him at the Grand Seiko event. He's a huge Grand Seiko guy, apparently. He gets to he goes to a lot of Grand Seiko events. 
Uh, and yeah. look at this, he also has Zenith on his website. That's pretty impressive. Well, he's working the whole angle with Kevin O'Leary and, you know, oh, yeah. they're, you know, working that Grand Seiko. Theo and Harris does the same thing, which means Seiko as a brand probably gives a great incentive and is probably very pro digital marketing to get their watches sold. Mm -hmm. Like it doesn't, I don't know. To me, it just doesn't seem like a... Grand Seiko could use any help they can get because it's very... And Zenith, too. It's very... These are very tough... You know, you notice the pattern here. These are very desperate, very tough to sell brands. And, uh, hey, Teddy has uh, cultivated a following that likes these brands. And uh, he's a great... Uh, he's a great asset to, to, the, to these brands that are... A little bit more difficult to move, and it's like look look at these Zenith, right? There's a lot of Zenith. There's no way. I, I I'm kind of with you. Like how how would he able to stock he's not, so much? He's not. He's not. Yeah. Or so maybe think, he stocks them uh for like like kind of they give him for free, and if he can't sell it, he has to return them. That's another possibility, right? There there are brands that are desperate. They you know, they might go for something like this. Zenith could like send him like, "Hey, you know what? We f we can't fucking sell these for, for 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 what we you know we're trying, but we can't. So here you go. Here's some of these brands. Try to you know list them on your website if you can't sell them to return by the end of the year. Or, you know, like, there could be. I don't know. Like, I'm not building a, a website to sell new watches, so I wouldn't know. But it, it is interesting to. It would be interesting to talk to him and and like. Talk to him. Like, how did he build this business? Because I don't think he would. I don't think he would give that information up. You know. Yeah. I don't think he would say any of that. But to me, it just—he's been doing this for a long time. I mean, he's been on YouTube since he was like twenty, right? Something like that. Yeah. Eighteen, nineteen, twenty, and he became an authorized dealer before COVID. So I want to say he's like—I I guess he's late twenties at this point. Mid to late twenties, like in his early twenties, yeah. he didn't. Unless some investor came in and handed him hundreds of thousands or millions of dollars, he didn't go buy like those watches and stock them. I bet if he had an investor, it would be someone. It would be a legitimate investor. He it, like to me, Teddy is the polar opposite of Anthony Farron. So like, you want a conspiracy theory? You give me a conspiracy theory. Yeah, maybe it's Kevin O'Leary. Kevin O'Leary could be an investor. Uh, and, you know, the way Teddy is, I bet, I actually, I bet Kevin O'Leary is an investor. Like, he probably put some serious coin into 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 Teddy to buy a, a, a portion of, of the company. He'll be, that would be actually a very smart move. If I could yeah. invest in Teddy, I would, I would have. Well, because... I mean, why? Listen, Kevin. Kevin is the Shark Tank guy. He spends mm -hmm. his his time is torn between, at this point, who knows, hundreds of companies that he's put money into. I have no idea, right? Mm -hmm. But he seems to spend a lot of time with Teddy, all yeah. over the world. So, like, you have to think maybe he sat him down and was like, "Hey, kid, like, let's take this to the next level because that's what I do, and you yeah. sell watches. That's what you do." And it makes sense. It makes sense to me, right? It just maybe I sound like an idiot, but to me, it makes a lot of sense. I I think that uh, they they might be more than just business partners. They're like friends, and uh, I could see uh, Kevin O'Leary kind of learning about watches from Teddy, and about this this business and. You know, Kevin. You know, may, maybe that's how he, his interest even developed uh, in watches is and uh kevin he has a big network whatever he invests in that business is going to thrive so think about this if kevin invested in teddy and there is now a financial incentive for for them to keep making uh, uh kind of videos together making content together and promoting each other because they do directly benefit each well, other Tim, Ted, uh, Kevin O'Leary, he's all over crypto. He's all over, you know, he's with Teddy a lot. He's into a lot of stuff. He's trying to always 
you know, the, the next generation is 18 to 30, right? 35. Mm-hmm. So what's valuable about Teddy is his YouTube channel is the best on YouTube by far yes. at grabbing those people and getting them into the watch hobby yeah. through these cheaper brands. I mean, I found a lot of brands through Teddy. You know, I considered buying a lot of stuff. I mean, if you're, chances are, if you know about Christopher Ward or Orient or, you know, Oris or a lot of these other smaller stuff, Young Hans, mm-hmm. Nomos, Teddy is the, is the poster boy for that. Because everybody else is talking about Rolex. Yes. And Omega. Everybody else. Nobody, nobody before Teddy, other than like that, that uh, British guy who lives in Philly, um, and a few smaller channels. Yep. Nobody else was talking about those brands. And even him, he wasn't really into that. He was into buying like vintage. And well, uh, he saw selling. a business opportunity. There was a gap in the watch market where nobody was talking about those brands, but those brands needed a, a representative, someone right. who, who could like connect, connect uh, the brand to a buyer. Yeah, He's so you you you're right. He's a perfect face for for these uh, for these brands. They're a little bit more affordable. They're brands that can get people into <coughs> the door and to start buying watches. Uh, and then he can pass them on further down the food chain. But I wonder, I wonder who is he? Wh- where do people go after they? Let's say they go here to Teddy. They buy a Nomos. Where do they go after this? What do they well, do? Well, I mean, the internet, and even on your channel, Tim, mm. like you see guys, you see guys like, um, like a lot of people that follow Teddy, or some of these other channels that like those brands. Um, recently, they've gotten their first Rolexes, or they're waiting for their first Rolex, and you know, the yeah. Rolex will just pull you in because yeah. it goes from. It goes from, okay, the Seiko or the Longines. Teddy owns that. And then you get into Omega and Rolex. Tudor, right? Those are the three brands. Which he doesn't carry because the, those brands, the only way to make money off those brands on YouTube is used. Yeah. Yeah. A lot, of, a lot of people so have He doesn't entered, even touch that stuff. A lot of, like, like, I remember my, I mean, it kind of sounds funny, like my YouTube journey because I started getting into watches around 2018, 2019. If you wanted to find a watch for 500 bucks and you were like going through the reviews, mm. you were finding Teddy all day. Teddy was running that entire thing. And then, and then when you started looking into Rolexes, what would happen is you'd have Adrian pop up, you'd have Watchbox, and then you'd have like Oshin later on pop up because if you typed in Rolex Batman, there'd be a 40 minute video of him walking around. Yeah, right, the artistic side. Um, but I, I think Teddy is a. Uh, I think, you know, I mean, I said what he, I think. He makes good commercials for the for these watches. Yeah, he's in the business of selling. He's not in the business. Uh, he's not in the YouTube uh, space to to kind of tell the the truth because. When you tell the truth, you kind of have to tell the good and the bad. And he he just gives kind of nice positive advice. He's, he's some good. His 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 show his videos are very good. I I think I think he has somebody writing them for him. I mean, if I was in his position, I would have some you know assistance. Uh, but yeah. Now the the question the question for Teddy, uh, would be. My, my question always with the guys on YouTube is when I open your watch box, yeah. am what I is- going to find uh, young ones or am I going to find a panda? And I'm okay if I find the panda. You're never going to find out what... Uh, right? What- I'm okay. I'm okay if I find the panda. But a lot of your audience isn't. And it's stupid that they aren't. But yeah. I think that just naturally happens. The guy, like uh, Roger Smith wears an Explorer. It's unavoidable, right? Yeah. Unavoidable. Like, Alex is a huge tag guy. He just bought his first Explorer. You know, sight mm-hmm. unseen, he's like, ah, Rolex. Sight unseen, they were like, here, you want it? He's like, yes, please take my money. Then you had, uh, uh, what's his name? Um, 
Johnson. Johnson's Johnson into DDT, Omega. Yeah. yeah, and then all of a sudden, Samariner so comes. Now he's like, okay, what's the next Rolex? Yeah. It's unavoidable. Um, yeah. Once you try Rolex, you're not going back to any of these brands. But my, that's my question is, if I open yeah. Teddy's draw, do I find Young Hans, Omega, JLC? Or do I find Panda, Royal Oak, F. Pijorn? You're going to find uh, Young Hans, <laughs> Zenith, and uh, JLC that he got as a gift from brands that are part of his collection now. <laughs> that he got like as a gift for, for doing business with them, promoting the brand. So, yeah. He'll probably have a variety. Uh, by the way, just really quickly here, shout out to Daniel Katz, 279 Super Chat, O'Leary helping Teddy without the Dragon's Den. I, I agree. I think so too. I think they're just they're the the and, and by the way, full of John full of John here says that uh, many people don't know, but Teddy's dad is a former banker, guys, worth hundreds of millions. Now, I don't know. You gotta confirm that. that. I don't know about anything. About it. Yeah, I don't know how to. I don't know. But if he was, then I mean, then it would make sense it, that then I would actually believe it more that. Uh, Teddy actually stocks all these watches. Because, you know what's funny to me? I want to I want to yeah. talk about that comment for a second because that's a common theme on this channel. Like people go after um, people go after George Bamford and they go after you know like that comment. I'm not saying it's going after Teddy, but it's like, all right, his dad's worth hundreds of millions. Bamford's dad's worth billions, right? All these people. Yeah. Would you be more happy if you found out they were addicted to heroin, doing money, doing nothing but spending all the money on no, drugs, hookers, or I think or or yeah. they they took the means, they took the education, and now they're doing something themselves. Like, right. I no, that's what I'm saying. Uh, <laughs> Teddy's Teddy's father should be proud that his son has built a business like this. Like it's yeah, it's quite expansive. It's it's big. The only problem that this business has is that it's it's too reliant on his uh, kind of identity. Teddy without Teddy. There might be no Teddy Doc. There's no Teddy.com, right? So he has a, a slight branding issue. He wouldn't be able to sell this business to someone else. I think it would be very difficult. Uh, also, shout out to the real curly two dollars super chat. Congratulations, Tim Wright LLC on one thousand episodes. Number one fan. Thank you. I know. I know. Uh, got a lot of fans on all sides. So. It's good to see the haters showing some appreciation as well. Because without me, there's nothing to hate. What are you, what are you gonna hate? There's really nothing out there. So no, I, I, I it doesn't like that's that could be a, tr uh, a fact. But Teddy, I mean, he comes off like a like a really like a really cool guy. Um, very like see like if if Anthony got the same type of advice or education or mentoring as Teddy was, think about what kind oh, of business... Let's, let's not go there. Let's okay. not go there. <laughs> let's not go there. There are plenty of people every... You know, there are plenty of people that become millionaires and billionaires that have nothing. They come from nothing. So let's let's not go there, Tim. Uh, Anthony Farrer mm. is an asshole and mm -hmm. a moron. He's yeah. an asshole and a moron. He stole money, and he's shady. You can't get the shady out of him. And he's he's not. He has no remorse. He's not going to pay the people back. He belongs in prison. Oh, it, it is not possible to pay people back. He's just end he's, of story. I don't want to hear about the mentoring or oh, you know, he didn't know. Shut the fuck up with that. He knew. Uh, James, the advisor, says he's a nice. Guy, but very boring. He's very corporate. Uh, in Teddy knows, he, he he. It's almost like he went through media training. You know, Buckley. He's very cautious. Uh, yeah. Not to say something that could be then taken and you. That's why I don't think he would come on the show like this, especially if there's too many puppets. I don't uh, blame him. I don't blame him because no. someone will ask him a stupid question or put him in a stupid situation, and it's like, look. Yeah. I don't know what he makes, but let's say he's let's say he's like a Forbes under 30, 30 under 30, whatever it is, and he's making like 100 grand a month. You're going to no. sacrifice that to come on Tim's stream and talk with us idiots? No. Buckley, Why would you do I, that? 
Buckley, I th- I think you all would be shocked to find out how much he makes. I don't think he makes that much. Uh, like, yes, it's it's big, but I don't think it's as much as everybody is assuming. <laughs> well, whatever. If it's his living and it's a good living, he's not gonna. That was like my that was my one issue with uh, with you with uh, Watch Eric when you were in Miami. Uh huh. Was like. You don't know if Roman said, "Hey, listen, please don't talk to this guy. He's bad mouthing mm-hmm. me." If yes. Eric was getting millions of dollars on the consignment protocol, right? Yes, for dealer to dealer, and he's yes. making a twenty percent margin, ten percent margin. He's not going to give that up to spend time of course. with him, right? I don't blame so like, Eric. No, I don't blame no, him. Buckley. I don't blame Eric. In yeah, fact, no, but some people. No, do. I understand. I do. totally get it. In fact, I said the same thing. He probably he, look. He's got the uh, Eric. At the end of the day, right? He's got all these relationships. He is not in the. He's not in the. He's not the best situation. He's a one man. He's got an assistant or like a guy who's helping him out. Probably like a, another backpack flipper. Probably doesn't work for him, but kind of helps him out. Could source yeah. some watches here and there. But Eric is a one man operation. He's not like. Uh, luxury bazaar he's not crm jewelers with you know a family run business with multiple people you know he's got he's got to watch out for himself so i i don't blame eric i I respect him and and eric eric's eric's whole shtick is he takes the watches that are hype right because they're all hype yeah and they're not even from all brands he only deals with rolex ap patek i mean basically that's it and he takes them into the sunlight and he just says this is what I like about it. This is what I don't like about it. Should you buy it at my gray market price or try to get one from the AD? That's literally all he does. It's a six to eight minute video and he's gone. So Roman yeah. is the is the Roman is the chancellor of the fucking watch world. You know, like, oh let me let me comment on everything. Let me let me give you the philosophy. Let me let me educate the dealers and the consumers. Let me be a reality yeah. star. Like Eric doesn't do any of that. Yeah, Eric just keeps making his uh, kind of videos that he always made. Nothing too crazy controversial, and, and he it, he just stays out of trouble. <laughs> he tried. Yeah. He you know he actually did one day in the life, and then he's like, nah, I don't want to have anything to do with I don't that. Do it. Hey, Patrick, Alex, guys, just a quick. Oh, Alex, uh, Patrick, guys, hey, Patrick. We only have five minutes on this stream. Uh, Streamyard 